Hi guys and welcome to episode 15 of the progression PvP series. As you guys know from last episode, we are now starting by the monastery, which is actually a pretty cool unlock uh, because we get this altar up here. It gives an extra plus two every time you pray there. So I would be 54 if I prayed there right now, for example. But it also connects us to our giant landmass. Now, this plan is probably a bit overdue. Of course, I really want to try to go for that body. And we actually still will go for the red dehyde body. But um, I developed a plan where I can try to hit multiple goals this episode, assuming the RNG is a little in our favor. So up here, as you can see, there are the additional five that I get to unlock that connects. One, two, three, four, five. Now, these three right here, I have to unlock in order to even get it. I actually only have one Lava Dragon I get to kill. But the reason why I really wanted to unlock these two was because at 60 magic, I can get the the magic cape, the Zamrock one I like the best, so I'll probably go for the Zami one. And that one gives 10 magic defense, and right now I'm not wearing any other cape. I'd actually argue that the magic cape, even though I'm not maging, is better than probably the Avis Accumulator. I don't know the Avis Accumulator magic defense, but uh, it's not 10, I can tell you that. Um, and of course, I can't actually walk up here, but this lever right here, we can get there from Edgeville which we already have unlocked through right here. Boom, just like that. So I'm gonna go buy some runes. We have like 140K in the bank. We also have 55 Hunter now from the last XP reward from the last episode. So guys, let's start that timer and run to the bank, tell Varrock, buy some runes, and then actually I'm gonna come back to Edgeville and we're gonna hit the lever. Actually, I can't hit the lever, that's right. I just explained the plan. I do have to walk all the way up, but it is what it is. I can't get there from the lever, unfortunately, because that damn fence blocking the way. Hello, bees and Gs. Welcome back to another PvP challenge. I keep getting attacked by Law Shades, so I'm going to make this really, really brief. But in the last episode, we got ourselves uh, the Bird of Rot Chunk. And uh, as you can see from here, this is what we're going to be opening up. Uh, as I say, I just keep getting attacked, and they can, like, teleport like to me and stuff so I can't even like just safe spot them it's really really annoying so anyway this is a horrible chunk this was really really bad and I looked into a lot of possibilities and there just isn't any if I want to get a bank I've got to up unlock Canifis which I don't really need to do or want to do um, and if I want to do fairy rings I don't have enough chunks because I have to unlock the nature spirit plus Dreezel plus the bank no it doesn't work because I could get all the chunks to do nature spirit but I don't have access to a bank, um, and I wouldn't be able to get any items out to do it, and there's no way back. So there wouldn't be any way for me to unlock all the chunks and do Nature Spirit, which would mean I could then do Fairy Rings. Um, so yeah, that's the reason. that This is a really, really bad chunk, to be honest. I'm, ugh, there wasn't much to do. So what I'm going to do is prepare myself to do Nature Spirit by going here, and then just unlocking this so we can connect up to our big landmass. We are getting absolutely dogged now, so I'm going to get out of here. We're going to start the timer, and then I am going to teleport away because I get thrown rotten fruit by these guys. I get attacked by Law Shades. This is not a good start, so let's start the timer, and then let's get out of here. We are going to do a little bit of herbs because I need to get some more herbs. We really want to push this to the uh, to the 38 so that we can get ourselves the, uh, the prayer potions because they're going to be so, so big. I mean... Thankfully, even with Rag bringing two, we still won the last fight, which is awesome. Oh, and we got 58 Hunter, by the way, uh, for that reward. Um, so, yeah, that was awesome. But if we could sit there on Protect from range for the whole fight, that would be amazing. It would also force him to bring another combat style. He's not very strong in either melee or, ma or mage, so that's pretty cool. We are now on our way. We teleported to LMS. We had to walk around the long way, unfortunately. We had to zip around, so wasting some time there but you know we gotta do what we gotta do um we are going death spells this time the blast spells now i'm not 59 magic just yet so we will be going earth Ooh, let me make sure i put on protect from magic so i don't get one banged um so we will be going earth blast until we get 59 it's pretty much only one level because we are so close to 58 um so it's just a matter of maging getting up to at least 60 magic for the cape, getting runite bolts, and, you know, after I get some decent runite bolts, then it's on to the crazy archaeologist to try to get the red dehyde body as well. And we can get a rune kite as well, and how funny would it be if we get ours pretty quick, uh, considering Link got his pretty late. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! What kill is this? 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 Oh my gosh. Okay, uh, kill four. 
Kill four? Four kills? It didn't even pop up. Is this under 5k? I have my price thing set at 5k. What? 3.5k? These things fucking tanked. Guys! This is unreal. I only wanted 60. That means we need one more drop here. And honestly, if we get them too early, which is looking like it could possibly happen, I'll still probably stay to 60 magic. Um, no, 59 magic, sorry, so I can get fire blast. That's what I want. Dude, sorry, my brain's spinning right now. So I was actually initially scared that the spawn would be way too slow. Oh, I saw that white dot. You guys see that white dot? Um, anyways, but I, th I th Pfft, that guy's freaking me out. You saw that, right, on the minimap? Anyways, the point of this recording was to show you how quick this fucker spawns. Uh, but now I'm distracted. There he is. So, uh, but this is the only dragon I could kill in this area. Could he hit me there? No, he can't. I'm still trying to work out what spot exactly I can stand. But, uh, yeah, look how small this slither is. I think one kind of walks in every now and then, but honestly, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's that fucker right there. And there's 59 magic on the exact same spell to end up killing it. And, uh, no runny bolts there. But we are getting some alkables. These aqua do came out. That aqua for, like, 19k or something, so... Um, yeah, we also have to hop back to world 444. I half killed the dragon over there, and some, some PK or tried to log in and kill me. So I have like three worlds where I've half killed dragons, which I, I keep kind of going back to. Uh, yeah, so if we can force him to bring some sort of combat style, that would be so, so good. So that is the plan. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go do some more herb hunting. Also, apologies, I just saw that the timer, um, didn't look like it was going in the last clip, but if you minimize the web page, then the timer stops. So, like, if I minimize it right now, the timer stops. Well, it stops on the screen, but it is technically still going, like, when you bring it back up. So it was going. Don't worry, Team Rags. The, the timer was going. It just wasn't showing on screen. But, uh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Pretty good, actually. We got a super defense already. We got so many herbs. Wow. I actually need to... Uh, I need to drop this apple pie. Yeah, pretty good uh, first haul there of, uh, of an inventory. Very happy with that. And uh, yeah, we just need to sort of keep this going, to be honest. It's a little bit, you know, of a boring thing to have to do. But getting those prayer pots would just be so massive. Especially when I have like 60 Raynars or something in the bank. It's just prayer pots for, for days. Okay, so I've done a rough estimate. I could be slightly wrong. But I do think I have enough herbs in the bank now to be able to get 37 Herblore. Um, what that would do is we could then boost up to making prayer potions uh, with a Greenman's Ale, which they sell in your Neil. Um, I don't actually have all... I, I do need to do a quest. I need to do the dig site, which gives 2,000 XP, which is actually massive in herb lore. Um, so the 2,000 XP plus all the herbs that we've got in the hour and a half here and the several other episodes where we've just been here training, I think I now have enough herbs um, plus the quest to get ourselves at 37. So I am going to drop out after this kill. Hopefully we get just one or two more herbs. Come on, Chaos Druid, drop them for us. And yeah, the problem is I don't have secondaries. Oh, nice, Harrowlander. Um, I don't have secondaries. So we need to get unicorn horns. We need to get limp work roots. Um, energy potions are really easy to make. We can just buy the chocolate bars. It is going to take some time. You know, killing... I've got to kill, like, 100 unicorns, grind all their horns. I've got to kill, like, 50... Uh, phew, I don't know how I'm going to get the limp wet roots. Probably... Uh, giants, probably. Um, so this might take all episode to get everything together and then do the dig site, but it's so worth it. So, so worth it. Let's hope the health doesn't really regenerate. Uh, and it doesn't. Sweet. <laughs> awesome. So, yeah. It's a bit stressful, but we've got this. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Oh, they, yes, right. They go right in my uh, my quiver now. Yes. Yes. Oh, guys. Look how much casts I have left, too. I'm honestly making less than I thought in Aquables than I would. But we have the 60 Runeite Bolts. We're going we're gonna to stay here until we uh, just use up these runes, to be honest, because we still could get that Aquable, maybe still get that Rune Kite. Um, oh, but dude, I am so happy in 16 dragon kills as well. That was my 16th, like my fourth and my 16th. Whew. I'm out of breath from screaming. My heart's pounding right now. This episode is going pretty good so far. We're only 45 minutes into it as well.
decided to leave a little bit early. I wasn't going to get that last kill, so I figured why waste 22 death runes. Uh, we're one magic level away from that cape, but now we got to kill the crazy arc. And, you know, we're going to be training magic doing that as well. So we will get 60 this episode, and hopefully we will, in fact, get that red dehyde body as well. Um, the problem I would say right now is the runes. I don't have much money. That didn't really earn me much alchemical stuff, but we definitely can get some money back. And the crazy arc does seem to supply more money than the runes are worth. So at least with chaos is, unfortunately. I, I absolutely can't stand um, using Firebolt, but it's going to have to do, guys. It's going to have to do because I need it this episode. I did think about actually going for Ibans this episode. But then it just throws back the plan even more. I knew for a fact I can get the bolts. I didn't know I was going to get this lucky. But um, with this much time, all I have to do is really make money and kill the crazy archaeologist. And that's the goal for this episode. So hopefully we can get it. Let's go. Al can sell everything we have to a general store that is. Unfortunately, I can't go to this general store right there. Um, you get a little bit extra. Got some old stuff. Won't need that. Won't need that. Won't need that. I mean, I probably should alk some of this stuff. I'll alk that right there. That I got from the uh, Lost Tribe quest, I'm pretty sure. Or Death to Dorgan Shun, one of them. These, let's see. That's all the same exact amount. We're going to sell five per world of each and um, then go buy runes. Okay, so first up is going to be 114 unicorns I need to kill. Because uh, I have 114 Marantils. Um, there's two spawns here. There's a bank right above us in Edgeville. Um, and we've got access to these chunks. So I think this is going to be the best place to do it. Luckily, the kills are really not going to take long. Um, that's the one positive. Like, I could one-hit them. I think I can hit a 21 um, using the spec. Okay, took a bit longer than I thought. We've got one more kill to do, and then I am done. 114 unicorn horns. That was, uh, yeah, I don't know, what? 40 minutes? Just under? Probably 30-something minutes? Can't remember exactly when I started. But yeah, it took a lot longer than I thought. But that is a load of Herbal XP, which we can now use up. So uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's see where it takes us. I'm hoping it takes me fairly close. Um, and yeah, then we'll go and do the dig site. Okay, 32, nearly 33 Herbal coming in. So dig site time. So I actually need a couple ropes for the quest. And I know these outlaws drop them like one in three or something ridiculous. Okay, this should be the end of the quest. Let's use this on the archaeologist and i think that is it 15,000 mining 2,000 herb lore absolutely amazing 32 mining coming in 33 herb lore as well can i make defense mixes super close to 34 okay let's get to the grand tree now uh what's the best way to do that probably going to be using the fishing trawler teleport yep um let's go to the grand tree let's buy a load of chocolate bars and then we'll uh, make up some energy potions and let's see how far that takes me. Hopefully gets me really, really close so we don't have to get too many limp work routes, but we'll see. 65k. That isn't too bad. Going to spend it all on runes. Boom. What is that going to be? 600? I think we have a little bit in the bank. I think we have like 60 in the bank or something. So I'm actually going to go buy more food as well. So let me get that chef's hat <laughs> real quick and uh, buy some food and get ready to kill the crazy arc. First drop of this episode. Imagine, come on, red dehyde body. Okay, no, that's fine. That's fine. I'm, I'm, I, you know what? We could use as a lot of those actually. So, yeah, cool. Thank you, thank you, crazy archaeologist. Now give me the red dehyde body. Another prayer potion. Forty-three kills in total. One, two, three, four. Looks like four kills today. Oh man. Okay, no, that's good. That's good. We did uh, blow our last two prayer pots in last fight. And um, I think if I do have a red dehyde body, room bolts, praying the entire time. I, I really hope he doesn't get the same idea and kill some of the arcs. He has Ivan's now getting prayer pots for him probably isn't too hard to do. Just got two more rune crossbows, guys. Um, at least they're more alks. That's basically all I could really think of at this point. I mean, it's going to help fund even more magic because we are running low on runes now. Uh, just want the body. Guys, if I get the body, I don't think I'll ever come here again. Truthfully, I don't think I'll ever make an appearance at the Crazy Archaeologist. Ooh, I made a 118 log. Rarg, badass. 60 magic has been now achieved. We are 52 kills in. This will be our 53rd. Um, and as soon as we get this kill, we're actually going to run up. Or actually, we can't run up there. We have to go down to Edgeville, pull the lever to get ourselves the cape to go to Deep Wildy. 
um, because that'll help us kill the crazy archaeologist plus 10 magic defense but of course we're ultimately getting it for the plus 10 magic defense which is huge it's huge and I think it'll do us great in the fight. I am now using my rune crossbow funds for this. I have one rune crossbow in the bank. I alked the one plus the two we got this episode to afford these chaos runes here. Also bringing those leftover deaths, which I'm saving for the um, the last guy. I mean, it should be easy no matter what spell I use. Um, it's looking like I'll have enough prayer as well. I'm definitely not wasting my prayer pots. Um, but yeah, after we do this, we can get the Mage Arena 1k. Telly me back, big man. Let's do this. Let me hop in the water. Okay, this is the last of my energy potions. Not only was that a load of XP, got us to 35, nearly 36. But we now have energy potions, which will make things a bit quicker when I'm doing quests and stuff, which is always good. Uh, 68 Taramins. I've still got one Guam here, actually. Let's do that quickly. Um, how far are we off? Probably like 3k? which these would do 10 500 yeah these would do it i think uh so i'm gonna have to get some limp words so i'm gonna kill these hobgoblins here um just because there's so many of them the level 28 and they drop limp words one in five chance um and then i'm gonna take the boat to Ardy and then just bank there because that's the closest bank and then come back and forth between the two um so yeah that's the plan this is going to be 63 defense coming in. There we go. I think we might also have enough. Uh, we were getting like Harolanders and stuff as well, which really helped actually. Uh, okay, no more. I'm going to give it a go. It actually wasn't enough. We need 454 XP. Very annoying, but 18 minutes. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm fine. I'd rather get this than get recoils if it comes to that. There's definitely things to do. There's definitely things to be done. Um, I'll probably get the Karamb one straight away because we've got that just here. Yeah. We are cutting this very fine. Very, very fine. Uh, seven minutes left. I was going to use the uh, minigame teleport, but I'm going to need that to get to Yanil to get the Greenman's Ale. So not able to do that. Also, haven't bought any death runes. I've got like 90 something in the bank. I think it will do me for the um for the fight. I think it will. Um, but if I do have like 30 minutes or th 30 minutes, I wish 30 seconds um, at the end. Or if I think I'm going to have enough time, I might quickly grab the boat back and buy some in Port Sarum. I was going to do that before I got here, but I need all this money because I'm not exactly sure how much this is going to cost me because these Quran ones are are actually quite expensive. I think we've got enough. Yeah, we do have enough. We're definitely going Zami. We are definitely going Zami. Let's grab a few extra. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. You guys know the stats of this bad boy. Let's pop it on real quick. And now we can talk to this guy, and I think we can actually get a free staff, which I am just going to elk for like 50-something K. If I absolutely need it back, I can buy it back when I have a little bit more money. But uh, this staff will also supply our next batch of runes, because like I said, that's all the runes we have on the account. So let's see how much this alks for. Oh, it's over here. Yes. Boom. Hell yes. Oh my gosh, I need a second. I need a second. I need a second to process this, guys. 58 kills. Wow. Let's just get away from his spawn. Wow, wow, guys. Oh my gosh, the magic defense. 75. Obviously, this isn't what I'm going in with the fight with. I want to have that plus other stuff. But oh my gosh, guys. I don't think I'll be back here. Maybe in the case of prayer pots or whatever, but uh, definitely not with this staff. It, it'll be an Ivan staff for sure. I didn't think it was going to happen. I really didn't. Look at my runes. I didn't even have enough air runes. I was completely out of money. This is my bank right now. 4k. Okay, so since we now have the red dehyde body, we need to actually alk the rune chain body. And we need to make enough money for the rune plate skirt, which I think is around 65k. We're at 35k now, so we need about 30k. The quickest way I could possibly do this is I am guessing just ham chests. I have no idea how long this is going to take, but I have my necklace ready to go right there once I get the funds. And then I'll probably focus on getting a super defense this episode and maybe training some defense with 
a rune scimitar. I can definitely get at least one level, assuming I have like 20, 25 minutes left, which I should definitely have. I can't really see this taking too long to get 30k together. Dumping a last little bit here, 74k. Plenty, plenty. I even brought my air battle staff just in case I didn't have enough, but uh, let's go buy that rune skirt, guys. Just got to run south and buy it. It's all we got to do. We've got 2k left. I am going to quickly go and see Betty for some runes because we've got, what, 4 minutes 30? Yeah, I'll be absolutely fine. Uh, buy some runes, although I don't have any space. Fuck it. I'm not doing it. We'll uh, we'll just go on the, on the hope that 90 whatever runes I have is enough. I'm bringing the D-Long to the fight, so I'll just sit there and, and smack him with the D-Long if, uh, if it comes to it. But yeah, I, that's so annoying. I'll try and buy some death runes somewhere, but I don't know if I'm going to have enough time uh, to do that now. I've run out of bloody Taramins. I've run out of Taramins, guys. I, I was so caught up in getting Limpworts, I don't have enough bloody... Oh, man. Okay, I'm going to have to make defense potions and waste some Raynars. Yeah, that's what's going to have to happen. White berries. Oh, man. Uh, how many of these are we going to need? Oh, I'm fuming with myself. So dumb. Okay, let's make these up. I didn't want to use these, but one, two, three. Yeah, all right. There we go. Uh, let's get some snake grass out. Five of those. Let's get some coins. Okay, and we want a Greenman's Ale that is going to boost our Herb law, I believe. Please say I've done this right. There we go. Prayer Potion. Prayer Potion. Right, let's uh, Varok Telly and buy some Death Runes. I forgot that it only makes a three dose. I've to I am all over the place here. I'm going to try and make one more. Fuck. That's so dumb. Please say this boost holds. It did. Thank God for that. Okay, we can now have a four-dose prayer potion made on the account with the Greenman's boost. We've got a minute ten left. I can easily get this in time. This is amazing. Right, guys, this is going to be the setup. Not really any changes in the uh, in the gear, to be honest. Um, I am bringing the hard leather gloves instead of the clanks this time uh, because I'm going to bring a dragon longsword. He's definitely bringing an anti-poison because he knows that that's what I'm going to, you know, the DDS can poison him. But the DDS is way worse than the Dragon Longsword, so I might as well switch it up here and there, bring the DDS sometimes, bring the Longsword sometimes. That way he always has to bring an Antipot, but I'm not always going to be poisoning him. And obviously this has a 25% spec, it hits harder, it's more accurate, so there's, you know, it's just a better secondary weapon to bring out and try and hit him with rather than just, uh, you know, specking with the DDS. So that's why I'm going to do it. He's going to bring that anti-potion anyway, so it's still going to waste a slot. I don't think he'll be able to go, okay, next fight, he might bring the long sword, so I'm not going to bring an anti-poison. He's always going to bring one because I'll switch it up. I'll bring a DDS here and there and whatever. Um, we had two recoils. One of them has 36 damage in it uh, left. So that was good that we already had those. Um, and yeah. Prayer pot, super defense, and an attack pot just so we can hit a bit more. That's the plan. Let's see how it's going to go. Just realized that I accidentally took the wrong cape, so we're switching that, obviously, to, to this. <laughs> Here it is. The rune plate skirt. Yes, guys. The knees are out. Let's fucking go. What are the stats looking like on this thing? Amazing. Amazing. And with 12 minutes to go, we get a super defense potion. Would you look at that? So because there's such little time in the episode, deciding to just stay here to, you know, just get some more defense XP, collect some more herbs. By the time I leave and try to do something else, I mean, the episode's going to be over anyway. Uh, really, really happy with everything that's gone on. If I get another super defense, I'll let you guys know. But other than that, I will see you guys at the end in Edgeville. And I got these pizzas from the Crazy Ark. They dropped eight anchovy pizzas. So if you're wondering why I have pizza in my inventory, that's exactly why. All right, guys, here we are with the final setup. We have some pretty decent melee defense as well as some pretty decent magic defense. Of course, I don't have the rune chain anymore. So to get that extra magic defense, instead of switching it with the frog leather, I am now switching a rune plate skirt and my green D high chaps just in case he decides to go full on magic. I thought about bringing the shield as well, the mirror shield, but it's another switch and plus 64 is high 
And if he does go melee, I do want to make sure I have enough defense and food to help, you know, combat that. Because, of course, he's got two styles right now. Um, we also have the anti-poison. Unfortunately, got to have that in every fight going forward now. We have a recoil as well as the one we have on. And we have the two prayer potions. The exact same plan. We're just going to pray the entire time and uh, try to time it with the end of the fight. So... There's not much to really say, guys. We have a lot of upgrades. Zami Cape, Rune Bolts, Red Dehyde Body. We're looking really, really strong on the range strength, magic defense now. Even on the melee defense, we're pretty up there now as well. Really, really excited about this, guys. I would say the, the last thing to really make this a, a decent setup is ranging pots, which aren't the easiest thing to get. It's quite a grind to get it and get that thieving up, which is why I haven't been doing it. But, um... Not much else to say, guys. I will see you in the final fight, and let's turn this around. Hello, Link. Another four hours has officially finished, and here we are again on a Tuesday for yes. a reveal and a fight. Just overall, Link, how you feeling this episode? My my chunk was actually really horrible, mate, and I couldn't really do much with it at all. So um, pretty much all the squares were just like, okay, we'll plan for this in the future. We'll have this open for this, and and they weren't really any help. I got the uh, bird of rot chunk, oh. um, and obviously couldn't go in there. Had to be outside. Then it's like the haunted mine round there and shit. So yeah, it was it was really not a great one. So um, I actually just thought, fuck it, we'll forget about those chunks. They can enjoy themselves, and I'll uh, execute a plan, which uh, I did execute. So I'm right. uh, quite happy about it. How yeah, about you? yeah. I was gonna say when when you said you had bad chunks, I'm just thinking we have so many chunks unlocked. Yeah, now. it's like yeah, bad yeah. chunks don't really necessarily mean a bad episode. Where you know the first five episodes, it was extremely true, especially when you were stuck in like yeah. a six or, or like five or six you unlock. So yeah, I think you know what I did. Crazy archaeologist. Yep, just like the last two episodes, man. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did he get it? And and uh, I, I want to say you would have unlocked Lava Dragons now at this point because, you know, as you say, you've been doing crazy art for so long. I'd expect you to probably have it. And yeah, but Lava you Dragons... said that the last two episodes too, Link. You're like, oh, he's got it. He's definitely got it. He's mm. definitely got it. And then I slap on a rune chain or or like the frog leather. You know? <laughs> <laughs> on go, Link. Three, yep. two, one, go. Ooh. 75 okay he Ooh. has been training he has been training he has been training okay <laughs> all i can see is your magic's gone up to six yeah uh, just you know passive maging just maging 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 i mean i've been maging a lot recently Other the, than the crazy that, I arc i've gained i don't know how many levels alone i don't really see anything else to be honest i think i got a defense level as well right yeah, um that's about it I I mean I I was looking at your stats as I am uh as it's, as you were reading and I I see it I see it Link. What do you see, mate? If I say green mins, is that going to? Uh... <laughs> yeah, dude. So did you just kill warriors all episode? No, I killed warriors to start with, but I already had a fuckload of herbs in the bank, but I didn't have secondaries. That was my issue. Mm -hmm. So I killed enough warriors. I think I did it for about an hour at the start. I got a defense level. I killed enough warriors where I calculated all the XP and I was like, okay, this is enough for this now. Then I went and killed unicorns. Then I went and killed hobgoblins. And I also did the dig site, which gave 2000 herb lore XP. So my whole four hours was just get herb lore XP, get it any way possible. And uh, yeah, managed to throw it up to 37. I actually fucked up, ran out of um, herbs and had to dip into my Raynars to make defense potions, which I'm a bit fuming about. Thankfully, I do have uh, prayer pots too. I'll just say it before. Yeah, before, I, I, yeah was yeah. I was expecting it. I was killing the crazy arc, but uh, you have them a lot more steady. You got a steady supply now. Okay. Okay. Um, right, Link. Let's... Um, just hop right into the gear reveal then man let's do it let's do it you pick the first item uh let's go hell mate Ooh. i don't think you're changing that up the for a while boy. But... yeah okay, yeah cool. unless i get a d med somewhere or something so, <laughs> <laughs> go for a cheeky barrows happen. run mate oh, cheeky barrows run. Let, let's go legs i know that'll give away his combat style or maybe he's hybriding me now i don't know because he knows i have prayer pots it's okay he's definitely yeah. going magic which i expected magic is 
Ooh, he got his uh by he got far. His... He got his rune plate skirt, which probably means he's got his red dehyde body. So let's go body, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what KC? Finally. I don't even know. 50 something, <laughs> maybe low 60s. I got it and just, I was, I was in disbelief of staring at it on the ground for a minute. I was like, I need wow. to process this, this, guys. GZ, mate. GZ. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Fuck me, it took okay. way too long. Okay, so he's got some upgrades here. Um, Let's go Cape, mate. Cape. Plus 10 magic That's defense. I, when I saw the 60, I thought, has he done this? Has he done that? Yeah, fair play. Fair play. Fair play. It's a good one to get. It's a good yeah, one to get. Yeah, yeah. And, dude, I'm even thinking it's better than an Avis. You know? I'd, I'd, I I think defense, especially with how accurate magic is, like, your attack bonus is, like, plus fucking 25. I agree, but, like, at the point where right. you've got Runite bolts and stuff, like, it's not going to be fun having to keep juggling Runite bolts. I think it's your pick. Oh, right? yeah, it is. It is. Uh, let's go necklace. It's going to have the magic. I just still don't know if you're going to hybrid me or not, man. That's what I'm... That's what he's worried about. Um, Actually, I think I'd good. rather you do it. It's more inventory spots, if I'm being completely let's honest, man. go gloves. Glovey boys. Still rocking the greens, the greenies. Okay. Are, are those oh, still yeah. the first ones? Like the hard leathers, hard yeah. Leather, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I haven't really looked into doing more of it yet, but okay. we'll see. Ah, uh, boots, man. Mystics, yep. Froggy boys. I actually can get snakeskin. I just didn't really have time in this episode. Right. Uh, we'll just uh, focus on other upgrades. Let's go shield. Did he get a rune kite? Did he did get one? Not get a rune kite. You unlock lava dragons? I did. I did. I did. I didn't kill much of them Good. though, man. Did he get Runite? But he sounds he sounds like he's got a little smile going on. He probably did three kills and got 20 bolts. Oh, God. Well, they dropped him in groups of 30, so I don't even know how that's possible. Oh, do possible. they? Is it 30? I thought it was 20. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, Recoils, obviously. Recoils, yeah. yeah. And then, and then I mean, I'm not yeah. fucking getting rid of this bad boy for a while. Neither <laughs> are you. You might as well do weapons first at this point. Jeez. Yeah, yeah. For real, man. Um, um, I mean, I pretty sure you might expect this but i do have that as well okay yes no i i'm happy because now i can't get yelled at for not taking off my helmet and shield <laughs> <laughs> uh so yes. yeah I, I i brought this rather than a dragon dagger because i know that there's no way you cannot bring an anti-poison like because i could bring a dragon dagger next time i could not bring it so like that spot is used so I can sort of flip and switch, and I think the D long's probably a better secondary. All right, let's get our inventories, man. Let's do it. All right, let's see our inventory real quick. Uh, Link, I did right. just drop one Karambwan to show you my bolts. Oh, um, for fuck's sake. <laughs> right. I just realized that. I came right into that with no intro. <laughs> <laughs> fuck's sake. Show me the room bolts. All right, first, uh, I mean, come on. I, I did get another one of these, but you know everything that I'm going to bring. Oh, are you only bringing one prayer pot? No. Oh. I don't think I need to. Okay, fair enough. I have the skirt, <laughs> the yeah. Karambons. I got, got two. two. I got two. In how many KC? Like 17. And they're like oh, one in 21. Fuck's sake. Hey, fuck the off. RNG averaged out from the shitty RNG at the crazy arc. I don't want to hear it, bro. You got a two KC room crossbow. <laughs> that lost the fight, Link. <laughs> You've got red D on body, power army, rune crossy. <laughs> Guys, you yeah, watched him still yeah. win this fight and he sat here complaining. Fuck yeah, sake, no, fuck sake. Orange. Let's let's Jeez. hop to to an American world, Link. When you kill five hundred lava dragons for a rune kite, then you can talk to me, mate. <sighs> Maybe I won't do that method, Link. But that's <laughs> dead man mode. Don't want to go there. All right, Link. Um, yep. You attack first. All right. Just ready, hit kids? me with a two-second warning, my man, and we will get into this. Here comes your two-second warning, mate. Okay. So, here we go. One, two. 
okay, good start. Good start. Gonna be a silent fight, guys. So I apologize yeah, in advance. Definitely, it's gonna be a very, very <laughs> silent definitely. fight. Okay, you are hitting a lot less uh, right off the bat, which is very good to see. Ooh, there's a staff bash coming. Staff bash you had there. Yeah. Got it in. <sighs> staff bash. Fuck. Nice. See, guys, I told you he might staff bash. That's why I got the helm and shield on. Oh my god, I didn't do my super defense pot. Oh. Well, it's on now. It's on now. So, so guys, go easy on me, okay? Fuck. <laughs> the, 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 the nerves are way too high on this shit. I'm hitting, though. I am hitting. I am hitting. That's, that's hard to play against. You switch it like the exact same tick. Yeah. Go. <laughs> I saw you done that way too many times. This <laughs> <fight>. <laughs> Gotta do something, mate. Gotta do something. Oh, come oh, on. One. Yes. He hit, but he hit a one. Oh, my prayer. I just turned it off. It didn't even drop. How did I not hit? <laughs> I'm so angry. Every so angry. Well, still isn't out. Okay. I hate when you back me into this corner, mate. I can't even see my own character. Got to pick up their bolts, you know? Yeah. I switched that. 12, that's okay, that's okay. I got a few hits off prayer, but they haven't hit hard. Been a real shame. Come on. I'm hitting nowhere near as much. Hitting. Ok, 
Keep him going. Keep him going. Big hits, big hits. Sad Come on. Prayer. Big hits. I've still got enough to flick. <clears throat> I ain't gonna fall for that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I genuinely do, but I don't think you can smite it. 19. Oh. Fuck. Fuck. That was a big misclick. Big misclick. Oh, he's out of prayer as well. 22. Is he out? Come on. He's out. I'm He's out. out. He's out. You're going to win it. Kids is going to win. No. That's it. <laughs> no. No. The raid is over, guys. It's over. <laughs> no. I have nothing to say. You hate to see it. You I have absolutely to nothing it. to say. Just got to make sure I pick up my bolts. Oh, yes, one food left too. Like full HP, really? but yeah, one food left as well. Oh, and I also didn't I didn't sit my super defense the first like five pieces of food I ate. I'm going to get roasted still for that, but we did it, guys. GZ, mate. GZ. It, it, like, it was happening at some point, guys. It was happening at some point. He's got prayer pots, though. At least I'll see him coming next episode. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Wow, guys. Wow, wow, wow. We're back. We're back in action. Link's got prayer pots now, which is a bit concerning. But we know the account builds are very similar now. And I feel like I'm back in action. And the XP reward is going to help me out massively. But anyways, let's stop rambling. Let's, um, let's generate. 240. I think that's actually a pretty good one, if I'm not mistaken. 240. Where are we? Ooh. All right, bigs and jigs. It had to happen at some point. I wasn't going to win forever. Um, he got a lot of upgrades there. A lot of upgrades. Like, that is insane. The change that he turned up in. I think the cape is huge. Um, I'm going to have to definitely have a big think about what I'm going to do. Let's see if the uh, chunks can help me out with something. Let's generate 455. Okay. All right, let's see where this is, 455. Ooh. Okay, dig site. <laughs> Link actually just did the dig site quest, so maybe I could also get the 2K Herblore, because uh, that would be unlocked uh, alongside a few others, or maybe I could start going to Barrows, so when I do get prayer pots, maybe I'm able to just start sending Barrows. I also don't even have the defense level for Barrows, so uh, I don't know, guys. It's definitely going to be a case of uh, brainstorming, coming up with a really awesome plan for next episode. I kind of want to go for Ibins. This does connect us to our our uh, big landmass, and maybe we can get Ibins. I really don't know, though. That's so bad. That's like Hero's Quest or Legend's Quest to get in there. guess I could start working towards Monkey Madness, but do I even want to go down that route? Because magic's been so good. Oh, man, I don't know about this. I sort of have to. I'm going to have to waste water chunks as well. I've still got to do things up here as well. For the Grand Tree. Hmm. Not sure about this one. Obviously, a Dragon Simi would be great, but I don't want to go down that route and do all the work for it if I'm not even going to use a Dragon Simi. We'll see. We will see. Hello Bees and Gs, welcome back to another PvP chunk progression episode. If you've missed any of the previous episodes, I will leave a playlist up in the top right corner and in the description so you can catch up on anything you would have missed. 
in the last episode. As you guys saw, I got this chunk here. And uh, it's a bit of a way from everything that I have. And that is sort of the reason why I'm going to go this route up. So if we go one up to Shiloh, then we go one right, one more right, and one up here. That means that I can then do the Grand Tree, which is always good. We can just slither in there, which is nice. Um, and then that is only using four. One, two, three, four. It connects up to my whole giant land mass, as Kins likes to call it. Um, and that means that I can go all the way up here and unlock Barbarian Assault. The reason for this is we need a Granite Plate body. We need one because Rag's range is getting pretty uh, getting pretty good and that, that Rune Chain body just isn't cutting it. And there's no way for me to get a Rune Plate body because it's locked behind Dragon Slayer and I just don't have the quest points. I don't have the chunks. I, I There's no way I'm doing that. So we might as well skip right over it and go for the Granite body. So uh, yeah, that's the plan today. A few people asked about Barbarian Assault. I can't use a team. I can't get people together or anything. I just have to turn up in a Barbarian Assault world and uh, and try and get a team together and, and do it. So hopefully people will take me on being level 75, but we will see. So yeah, that is the, uh, that's the plan. That's what we're going to go ahead and do. So uh, let's start this timer and let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome to episode 16 now of the PvP challenges. We got 50 thieving with our XP reward. We got to put 50k XP into any skill. And I think getting range pots can be very possible this episode. Whereas if I put it into fletching, it's way more of a really, really long-term plan where I can't get that benefit in you know these next upcoming fights. I really want to start snagging those XP rewards because the account bills are very close. I know he's going to have prayer pots and you know getting that 57 thieving allows me to get range pots, prayer pots, and super stores. To be honest, it is quite rare, but even if I don't get it, I should definitely get a range pot or two in the process and super defense, so I'm not constantly going back to the chaos roads. But then again, I will need that herb lore experience sometime anyway, so there's a lot to juggle here, but I think that going for thieving this episode could be the greatest thing going forward because I'm going to have range pots, hopefully, in every fight going forward as well and of course those are gonna boost up dps through the roof with those runite bolts oh it's gonna be so so nice so the first thing what we're gonna do you know we can actually start that timer i'm gonna teleport home just because it's quite annoying to get to the bank and i'm telling you quickly about my unlocks we have this one which is of course where i started simply unlocking these three as well because i will need to get a dwell berry from the grand tree at some point and of course down here i want the agility pyramid so those are my six unlocks let's fire right into this episode guys we're actually going to grab a games necklace and uh, we're gonna go down and do that mini quest that i was telling you guys about with the pages we're gonna get 10k xp and yeah, I think we need a slash weapon, we'll grab our scimitar, and let's just go down there. All we need is some telly outs, and we should be good to go. Do I use the book on... Lagosia? Yes. Oh, no, I don't. Okay, we got a roll. Someone's picked me in, let's do it. Okay, we got in. We got in. That really didn't take long either. I'm very happy, I and mean, it looks like we've got a decent team around us as well. Uh, let's go. I haven't played BA since last season, or season two, so yeah. Okay, looks like we're going to get wave one done pretty nicely. Looking very good. Okay, it really looks like we've got a decent team. They're like helping. They're helping one guy. This guy's never done it before and they're helping him out. They're teaching him what to do and stuff. So it looks good. It looks like we've got a solid team and they're not going to drop out on me, which is lovely. Okay, we're on the queen and I have no idea what I'm meant to do, to be honest. Not really sure. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. He's, oh fuck, I gotta heal this guy. I gotta heal him. He's gonna die. Fuck me, he died. Okay, this is attempt number two. I think we're gonna get it down. This guy has 46 HP and it's been so hard to keep him alive um, that we got another healer and it seems to have made this a lot easier. Um, so hopefully we can get it down here and then I can get myself the granite body. But what? We wasted an hour doing this. Oh, man. Yes! Come on! GG. GG. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, out of here. Now I've got to make some money before I can do this. Oh, yes. 
you guys know the drill. Agility Pyramid, we need 95k to buy the granite body. So, uh, yeah, let's do this. So I was just stocking back up on some food from the bank and uh, I looked into the rune chain body. I'm not going to need it anymore because we're going to have the granite. Um, I was just going to alk it, but the uh, shop actually buys it for more than the out price. So we're just going to sell it straight back, which uh, is very nice to see. We've got to find a world that doesn't have one overstocked. But uh, yeah, we should get 32k back from this. Just over 32k. Where's my reward? Yes, here we go. Now, I can't put this in Herb Lore. It has to be over level 40, which sucks. So that's that's actually higher than the prayer pots. So we want to go to thieving. Thieving, thieving, thieving. 10k experience into thieving. And the reason I'm actually not doing the fruit stalls is because I forgot that you need 15% favor to steal from them to begin with. Which really does suck, because I have the stalls unlocked, but I don't have the plowing unlocked. I even have the fertilizer unlocked. It's just the plowing. I don't have that 5%, and I can't do Client of Current, uh, so it messes me up a bit there. So we're going to have to do it the old-fashioned method, the 2005 method, and steal um, some seeds from Master Farmers. It's not crazy slow XP, but it is a bit slower. But we still will get it. Don't you worry, guys. So we're going to be here for the next few hours now doing Master Farmers. I'm going to drop all the seeds that I get just because it's so much quicker just to drop them all. Now, we're actually only going for 55, even though we need 57 thieving. Because there is a cheeky little way I can get a nice plus two boost for the 57. Get through that gate. Open up the grubby chest happy days so i just got that 55 thieving guys i instantly tell you at home we are now getting beers because for the squirt juice in sorcerer's garden you actually need to have empty beers so let me start drinking these i'm gonna get a few more because i don't know how many times i'm gonna have to continuously get squirk and then go in there with the plus two boost because you know it, it's actually a decent amount of time to get that 57 thieving i don't exactly know how i'll handle that um, but we'll, we'll have the beer glasses ready at the very least. And look at this, Sorcerer's Garden is right on the edge. So that 55 thieving took about two hours from start to finish this episode, but, uh, the ranging pots and the potential to get a prayer pot or a super store is definitely worth it in my eyes. Oh no, I need Prince Ali rescue quest. I know Osmond's here, I start the quest here. Um, Leela is over here. The jail's over here. The, the ingredients I need for the quest, it's, oh my gosh, it's looking like I can do it all. I'm just giving it a quick thought. Oh my gosh, I, ugh! It's okay, it's actually a quick quest. It's actually getting the ingredients, which is the more, or the requirements, the item requirements that are more annoying. Fuck! Okay, alright, you know what, we're, we, we're still gonna try to do it, cause fuck that. Okay. Okay, let's do it. We're questing, guys, we're questing. Right, here we go. This is going to be the last one I do. I think 132k is going to be enough um, to buy the granite body, to buy some runes, uh, and all that good stuff. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be my last one. And we actually got 55 and a half agility as well, so pretty decent. Is that on him, and then let's Barbarian Assault out of here and get our granite body. Commander Conrad, my man. Okay, we want the granite body, please. Select, accept. Boom. The granite body is on the account, and we look like a beast. Okay, so the plan now is to kill some undead druids. Um, unfortunately, magic isn't viable against them. They've got such a high magic level that it just wouldn't make sense. Um, so what I've done instead is I've got myself my nature runes, some of my lava dragon drops and i'm just gonna alk them as i kill the undead druids uh, we're super close yeah 4.8k away so this should be enough um all of this should be enough to get me that level and then we'll be 67 one closer to 70 and obviously every level we get also gives us an advantage in the fights with uh, just more chance of being able to hit so that's the plan and obviously we can also get ourselves grubby keys which is another reason why i'm here there's an amulet of strength on the floor but anyway yeah so i'll get defense levels magic levels while i'm here um and yeah we'll just uh slowly go up in both those levels i think they're going to be important for the future and also these guys drop insane loot like so so good whether it be runes alcables just coins um so yeah they're uh they're really really decent this is going to be the magic level coming in and we have made just shy of 40k there we go 67 magic coming in 
Which is insane. Well, actually, I think we came here with like 10. I can't remember exactly what I came here with. But like, the money is so, so good here. They're just constantly dropping amulets, constantly dropping coins. Uh, got some more natures as well, so I topped up on those. We are out of food now, so I'm going to hone telly. Probably hit up um, Karamja for some Karam ones, because we just have so much money uh, now. There are so many item requirements, it's actually unreal. The only way I think I can mine clay is actually to use this unlock with the uh, Necklace of Passage. I need soft clay for this quest. Uh, use it on that. Then we need to go back to Lumbridge. We just need three balls of wool, which I have the wool already. Yellow dye, I have the onions, and a rope, which I can get at net as well, which is kind of where I have to go as per the quest, because I already spoke to um, the guys in Alcarid. Um, so yeah, guys, I'm going to fire through this quest because I'm just about to get all the materials, and uh, hopefully it won't take too long, and then we can get those squirks. Oh my gosh, it's problem after problem, isn't it? Yellow dye and rope. That's all we need. This quest has scared me. I am so close to the black that I could be one or two steps away. I know Leela was just in the darkness and I got really scared, but there she is walking in the daylight. She's come to the light side, guys, so it's all good. I should be okay. I really think I am okay, but the nerves are pounding because this whole plan would be a flop. I mean, the hours put into thieving wouldn't have been a flop, but it, it I, I could have put you know, my time elsewhere in this episode if it, didn't, if it didn't work out right now, which would really suck. But, you know, fingers crossed. I, I, I truly believe we got this. This should be the quest complete. Yes, we did it. Okay, now I know you got to talk to Osman. Osman then tells me something about the squirk juice or something like that. Oh, my heart was pounding that entire quest, guys. Squirk juice. Um, I'm just going to ask a few questions just to make sure. Um, okay. I had to go through this entire dialogue to get teleported there. We are here, and we need the autumn. Which one's the autumn one? Uh, looking like this one. Autumn elemental. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. I, I don't know how easy or hard this is going to be. Uh, it should be very, very easy, guys. So I'm just going to get a bunch of the squirk stuff, and yeah, I'll see you guys once I finish this treacherous task. So we are coming up on our last juice here. We need three per beer glass. We actually need a pestle and more as well, which I do have in the bank, so it's not that big of an issue. Uh, I don't know if I can make that one because he's going to swing around. It's very annoying. <laughs> I hate this place, man. It's not too bad once you know when to, to uh, run and stuff, but it's just it's not the most fun. Um, there's no wonder why it's, it's a ghost town in here. Okay, there we go. There's six. And for farming. Actually quite cool. I, I had one before that. Uh, yeah, I will. That's what we're going to do. So, let's home telly. I might get some cheaper food. I don't know if I can work it out before that, if we can get something fairly simple. Um, but yeah, and then we'll get take the boat back, and uh, yeah, we'll come straight back and just keep on doing this. We've got, the, uh, we've got the magic level now, so it's just a case of getting a defense level, hopefully. So, with the money left over from the Agility Pyramid and the money we just made at Undeads, I've got 77k now, which is insanely good. Uh, I'm going to pick up some Death Runes because I don't have any, um, and we definitely need to buy some. How much? 180, so 10, 181. Oh, we can buy like 50 at a time, I'd say. Yeah, it goes up hardly anything. We'll buy like, f yeah, we'll buy 50 at a time and I'll hop. Uh, yeah, just need some deaths and, and fire runes so that I can actually get myself uh, ready with the Ivans for the uh, for the fight. There we go. That's 200 casts. And I've actually got, I think, 29 runes, 29 death runes and like maybe 400 uh, fire runes in the bank anyway. So we're set. We are set for the fight. Uh, I am going to buy Kram ones just because they're such a good heal. It won't take long to buy and we can just come back here and hit the ship again. Um, I was going to do cakes, but the problem is the undead druids can hit like 12s, and by the time you eat a cake three times, there's a chance it's hit you again. Um, so yeah, I think the money's so good now. The undead druids are just paying for themselves. They'll definitely pay for crab ones. So we're just going to we're just gonna use crab ones from now. Just filmed a whole clip about getting 64 defense, and I've realized I wasn't even recording, so that was good, wasn't it? But uh, yeah, we just got 64 defense. Uh, we've got 30 minutes left. I'm going to do some recoils, just do like admin stuff, Karam ones, all that good stuff, um, and I'll see how much time I've got left at the end. So that's the Karam ones bought. I'm now going to take the boat from 
here to Port Sarim and then Port Sarim to uh, Rimington. No, well, walk to Rimington, then take the boat from Rimington to Ardy. Then go down to Yanil, buy some Greenman's Ales, and we will... Uh, Ooh, ninja Impling, I wish I could catch that. Um, yes, yeah, so we'll get some Green Maid's Ales, we'll make some Prayer Pots up. I'm going to do all of the Rainars I have into Prayer Pots. I'm not going to make them into anything else. Um, and hopefully that will also give me the level so I won't have to boost and I won't have to go to Yanil every time I want to make Prayer Pots. I'm planning on bringing three Prayer Pots to this fight, guys. Three. Um, home Telly should work now. Sweet. So let's go home. Get a pestle and mortar. And honestly, guys, I'm going to go open up those grubby keys right now after we make the juices. Um, wait, if we're doing that, just go to Wintertop Camp. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Start running south. Squirk juice has been completed. We definitely need a slash weapon. Um, I actually might want to kill baby reds, but I, I, I want to do that on my second trip there because you just get a full inventory of like a million things. Need the grubby keys. <laughs> what am I doing? Um, and I want to loot them all, so it means I will have to drop food there, unfortunately, and everything. But I want to bank what I can. Um, the only reason why I'm doing all three in one inventory is because, you know, I, 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 as you can see, I'm struggling to get in as it is. And I am bringing my second just in case there's some issue where it goes down when as soon as I try to walk in or something. Um, but this hopefully means ranging potions. Okay, guys. I am so nervous. Let's do it. Pick lock. 57. 57. You attempt it. Yes, we're in, fellas. We are in. Come on. Yes. <laughs> no prayer pots, but yes. Come on. Come on, RNG. <laughs> Look at that. Prayer pots. Come on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, we got to drop this stuff. Oh, ooh, ooh. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Um... I mean, again, I can't leave. I can't leave to bank this stuff, unfortunately. Uh, we'll just drop it for now, and we'll we'll take a look after. <gasps> Come on. Oh. My. Gosh. Oh! I'm sorry, I'm clapping. I. It's just not the most common thing in the world, guys. It's not like you're guaranteed to get this stuff. Hold on, okay. That's not going to save any spaces. But um, we did get the ranging pot. Only one, unfortunately. But, you know, we, we did get the super store and the prayer pot. So it made up for it. We're going to have to drop the eggy boys. Uh, take the sharks. Maybe we can bring some to the fight. Because at like, this point going forward, we now have access to the grubby chest. We just got to rely on these fucking squirk juices. Um, that's alkable, so I might save that. At least I think so, at least. Uh, we'll, we'll just save it. We'll save it. It's just an egg potato. It's not a big deal. I'm hyped. Uh-uh, that's fucking brilliant. Do I have a telly? I do. Oh my gosh. Oh, actually, no, I'm gonna walk out this way. <laughs> I can't even leave. <laughs> imagine I got stuck in here. Oh, imagine I had to wait for that to come back. Okay. Okay. All right. I mean, I don't even know what I'm going to do. There's a few things I could do. I can go for more grubbies. I can start making money now because I have the agility pyramid. Because uh, I do want Ibn soon, but I also need to get prayer pots. Uh, I don't want to have to rely on the grubby uh, chest, you know. I feel like because I was so focused on trying to switch to the longsword and, and just try and get him off prayers, that I actually flicked, like, no offensive prayers at all. And I think that might have lost me the fight. So, instead of trying to do all that bollocks with, you know, trying to get him off prayer, like, I, the, I've clicked on the wrong thing. The Drang Longsword slash Drang Dagger at the moment just isn't going to do enough damage anyway. Like, it's not worth it. So, instead, what I'm going to do is just try and smash it with the magic and just have the offensive prayers on and hopefully that does enough. There we go, 38 herb lore, and right on the amount where I ran out of snake grass. That's good, but I've got loads to make. I've got 11 more potions and 25 more Raynars to, to put into potions. So we're going to go ahead, do this. I'll probably go hit and get some snake grass just so I've got some, because I don't want to forget that at some point and then be like, oh shit, I can't take prayer pots to a fight or something. So I'll do that. Uh, 16 minutes left, so no crazy rush um, on doing anything, to be honest. It's a pretty chill last 16 minutes. Oof, that's given us 39 herb lore. Very, very nice. Four minutes left. I think I'm just gonna... I don't know. Maybe do some thieving. I'll probably do some thieving. All right, there we go. I've got three HP left, so doesn't really matter because I 
There's no wines in stock. There never are. So yeah, that's going to be it for me. But we did get a level. We were at, what, 100 XP or whatever it was away. So we did get 46 thieving. Let me show you my setup for today, guys. Right, this is going to be it, Beza Gs. I, uh, I'm going tank mage here. So with the granite body, it takes us up to 165 range defense, which is massive. I think that's about a 30 plus on what we previously had. Still got a bonus of 18. That's a little problem here where I am lacking um, with my magic attack bonus, but I'm just hoping I'll be tanky enough that this means I can still output enough DPS, um, but still be so tanky that we don't take too many hits. Um, I'm bringing three pots. I'm bringing three prayer potions so that we can keep on uh, Steel Skin and Mystic Might for the whole fight. I think it's worth it. I really do. Um, and then obviously a super defense as well, uh, along with a spare recoil and the runes and crab ones that we need to do everything we want here. I'm keeping it simplistic. I'm keeping it easy right now. I don't think it's worth doing switches and stuff. I just don't have good enough stats in the melee side of things um, to make it effective enough. Let's see what happens. Let's go into this. I think I am going to start getting herbs together. I, I have to. It's it's the one thing that's going to hold me back from these fights right now is the lack of prayer potions. And of course, Link can now make them, and I have to rely on methods like this. So let's... uh. Uh, okay, yep, okay, that's what we'll do. Shit, oh my gosh, I'm buzzing. I'm buzzing. 200 death runes as well, I just realized that. Boom, all in the bank we go. All right, guys, here we are. We're potted up. Uh, we're at the druids. We're at the normal druids now. I, I feel like super defenses aren't going to be an issue now because they're actually extremely common from the grubby chest. I'm talking extremely common. And right now, I just want as much low-level herbs as possible. Like, quarms, uh, I guess I'll pick them up. It really isn't too long to bang. Back-to-back -back quarms, really. I mean, who, who, who knows? Who knows what herbal level I'll get to at some day on this account? But, um, yeah, there's so many plans I have kind of in the back of my head that I want to do, you know, make money for Ibans or make money in general. But this is the one, like I said, where I feel is most crucial. The only annoying thing with Ibans is that it's, it's, it's going to be a whole episode long. Do all the quests, make the money to imbue it. Um, but I will have to do it soon anyway, because I will need to get more, um... Runite bolts. We have 41, which means we used, what, 19 last fight. So I know that's enough. I have to be very careful of picking them up. For right now, I'm going to grind the next hour and 10 minutes here, guys. Um, and just Dwarf Weed I'll probably never use. But I feel guilty leaving it there just in case. Uh, but yeah, let's see how many herbs we can get. 24 minutes on the clock left. 60 defense comes flying in. This is our second trip. Um, which is two inventories each time, essentially, because we have the looting bag. we got a full looting bag ready to bank right now, so, uh, you know, hopefully still putting that really, really big dent in. I might actually switch to range for it to be a bit quicker. Uh, I'm not sure yet. I, I still very much value, um, this defense XP, and range I can always get up decently at the, uh, at the baby red dragons whenever I have to go back there, which will be very soon. A little bit of a gear change, as you can see, and also a little bit of an inventory change. His magic is leagues stronger than his melee, and he knows that. Um, so, I am rocking the mirror shield in this fight, so I can get that plus 70 magic defense. A bit nervous in doing so, but even if he does go melee, or predominantly melee, I could always just put on the skirt. I still have 148 slash defense. It's physically impossible for him to have... The Dragon Scimitar, I think, in one episode's unlock, so I'm not worried about him having a Dragon Scimitar here at all. My main concern is that magic defense keeping prayer up, and we now have a range pot, the super defense, a restore, and a prayer potion. I'm only doing this because I only have two doses of prayer, two doses of restore left in the bank, and of course, I just want to max it out, because I think he will have two prayer pots in this fight as well. Uh, the recoil, the anti-poison, which unfortunately we still have to bring. I'm also bringing, what is that, seven sharks. I still have seven sharks in the bank, but I did want some combo eats, but I'd like to save some for the next fight as well. Um, so if I lose this fight by like seven HP, I'm going to kick myself in the throat. But let's hope it doesn't come to that. I'm pretty confident about this fight. I won't lie. I really am feeling it. But of course, Link could have conjured up some crazy, crazy plan, but we'll just have to wait and see, guys. Let's hop in the fight right now. I believe he's ready for me, so... Whew, I'm a bit nervous, but I'm, I'm feeling good. Feeling good.
Kiddos, kiddos, kiddos. It's another four link, hours. Link, link. It's a few days of you winning as well, mate. Team Rog have, have had, they've, they've been partying, not in the streets because they've been COVID safe, <laughs> but they've, they've been at they, home. They, they have their masks yeah, on. Yeah. It's okay. Following regulations. How'd it go for you, mate? What'd you get up to? Where did you land? All that good stuff. <sighs> so I landed. Where did I land? I landed in the dig site. Um, I mean, of course, you're going to watch the video. So my unlocks this episode were setting the precursor for Ivan's. I mean, yeah, I, again, right. you'll you'll figure it out. People yell at me all the time for, Rarg, don't give your plan away. Guys, it, it's impossible to hide it from each other. He's gonna we we do video. so much research. I've done so much research yeah. that I actually think I sort of know what Kins would have done as well. Okay, hit me with it. Like. All right. So you probably you're gonna fucking nail it. I, I well, know it. Those of you who don't know, I was actually done a couple of days before Kins, so I've sort of been sitting on my account. I haven't really, I haven't done anything because I've been waiting for Kins. Um, so I decided to go hard on the theory crafting. What I would do is you. What I would do is obviously you got the 50k XP that goes into thieving. I'll tell you right now, I put mine into thieving. Quite close. I don't know if it's possible to get thieving to 58 or was it 57 i can't remember now to get 57, 57. 57 and then i looked into thieving boosts and i saw the fucking sorceress garden shit and i was like he has that unlocked if i was him i'd be fucking trying to get thieving as close as possible and then use the second um juice to boost and then go and open grubby chests and see what you get that that's what I theory crafted together. Link, if you want to just play next episode for me, I'm more than it? happy, my man. Did I get it? You got it. You <laughs> nailed it. Fifty-five thieving. Wow. But it, it it bit me in the ass a little bit. Wow. Okay. Well, since you just told me my plan, I honestly have no idea what you've done. Um. There's, just, there's no way you would. <laughs> <laughs> because I'll just tell you my chunk, mate. And like from what it is, I got the Kazi jungle, mate. You know the Legends <laughs> quest. Yes. The bottom of that. Oh, okay. I was like, do I go down, start trying to open up Apatol and all that shit, and because I could just touch it if I went down. So what I did was I made a path up um, to up and right, and then just connected up to my mud skipper point and just made a even bigger landmass. Oh right, so um, I guess to increase your chances of getting close to it to uh, eventually yeah. unlock. Apatol. I didn't think it was worth just trying to put some straight down because then, like, if I get one to the right or one to the left, then I still don't have it. So even if you hit a patrol, I think it's impossible from a one episode standpoint. Right. It was I'm very behind. worried about the ranging potions, which I'm sure you would have got one from three. Very worried. That was that was my big worry. If you were able to pull it off, that ranging potions were now in play, which just with runite bolts is devastating. It, I, you know, I'm, I, I kind of knew this low key. I, but I haven't. I, I did run the DPS calculator. I didn't realize how much a ranging pot affects DPS. Mm -hmm. I looked into it's it. I looked more into than it. I thought. Yeah. So worrying. I don't have a reliable source for prayer when you do. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I felt cornered to kind of go down that path, and I figured even if he tries to do something better, it's like, well, I still unlock it. I can still then get in there, and it'll help me out in every episode going forward. Yeah, no, I think it's a solid plan. It's exactly what I would have done, and I just proved it by saying yeah. it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, okay, all right, let's Literally. go to the reveal, mate. You pick your first item. All right, wait, first combat level link, and then, oh, yeah. and then we do okay. that. Yeah. All right, all right, on go. Cool. Three, two, one. Go. Did you even change? I really don't even know. I feel like point. I might have got one, but I'm not okay. sure. I've got one. I'm 69 now, so yeah. I... Naughty. Mm, wish you were 73. We'd be the fucking duo and a half over fucking here, but up. no, you fucking ruined it. You ruined it. Uh, Anyways. Okay. Do you want to do a little look up of stats? Because I just want to have a quick look. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Do cool, you want to go cool. first? I'll let you go first. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll go first. 60 attack, 57 strength, 64 defense. Going up a little bit. Wow, okay. 47 prayer, that's the same. Up one magic level, maybe he's still bringing magic. You just got that level too, so yeah, you like a shot bit for of it. high alchemy while I was at the undead druids. I don't know if I'm missing something, but it I, doesn't... I don't think you are, to be honest. I mean, obviously okay. I put my thieving XP in, but you know that. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, I mean, that, that I knew, 46. Yeah, okay. nothing too crazy. Right, let's have a, let's have a cheeky look at you. 48 attack, 50 strength, 60 defense. That's gone up, hasn't it? 
Yeah, uh, only one level. Nothing, okay. nothing to scream about. But yeah, I just range wanted is the to same. That. Yep. Fifty-two prayer, same. Sixty magic is the same. Uh, yeah, there's the fifty-five thieving. That plus two boost. Ethan fucking nailed it. Shit. Let's get into this, kids. Computer okay, wait, you, wait. You sound a bit nervous, but uh, yeah, let's. I let's am go. nervous because I think Runeite Bolt's Rune, uh, Ragey Pot beats me. On the calculations I did, I'm pretty sure it beats me. So, I, I'm yeah, well, all right. I, I I know there's a trick because he, he didn't tell me his plan yet. So let's fire into the reveal. Link, I'm just gonna go helm. You know, keep it keep it the same. Okay. All right, no upgrade. I know that's something he wanted, and I guess he, he isn't going for it yet. I was thinking that might have been it, but obviously not. Let's go shield, mate. Bring in the mirror this Ooh, time. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Okay, for that magic defense, respect. Yep, and it's 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 not horrible for melee defense. Mm -hmm. So I figured, whatever, you know. I know your magic is stronger. Yeah. Okay, that... rune kite, rune kite. I mean, that's I I don't think we'll ever upgrade that unless you get ice trolls. Uh, let's go legs. Definitely want to see what. Okay, so you are still going magic. All right, that was well, probably my boy. biggest worry. Major that was still boy. my biggest worry. I mean, I I did want you to go magic. It's mm. not here for me, Link. Pick that plant. Oh, really? It's bothering me. Yeah, it's you. Oh, okay. oh wow, that you don't want the free fruit. Nah, nah, I don't need it, mate. Don't need it. <laughs> I got energy pots now, so we're all G. We're all G. Oh, fuck's sake, human. Um, uh, let's pick. go body mate let's see what you got i'm sure that red dehyde isn't changing oh uh, I'm, imagine not bringing the fucking <laughs> red dehyde body you know this is where my upgrade is mate which probably gives it mystic away. top okay took me an okay. hour to get this we had a player on our team with okay. 46 hp and i kept having to heal him and we died once it was i was i was fuming i was losing my <laughs> shit mate. but yeah okay i mean i i, I knew that was going to make an appearance at some point Okay, shit. Yeah, that would gave it defense. away. It's it's fucking it's massive. Yeah. It's actually scary massive. What what is the negative mage attack? I it looks like you're 22. still. Oh my Minus god. Minus twenty two magic on it. Yeah. Minus... Uh, let's go. Let's go gloves. I need mage bonus, mate. I need mage bonus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. the, the the hard leather ones have been dropped <laughs> yeah, and they're bent. Gone. They're gone. Uh, I'll go boots. Did not upgrade them yet. No worries. Did, did not feel like it was worth spending time into it for like plus one extra range mm -hmm. bonus. Uh, you'll pick me. Um, let's go. Let's go, Cape. I know what I'm seeing here. Yeah, I know what I'm seeing as well. Yeah. Yep. Uh, necklace. Can't see these changing. Either. Power. Definitely not. Definitely not. And then two recoils. Yep. Yep. And I mean, you know my weapon. <laughs> yeah, as you said, we should do that first. <laughs> we really should. We really should. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. I I also do have this, so uh, I did not forget it. You know, yeah, plus yeah. seventy magic defense. Yeah, Could I, I I I just thought of it. I know your melee is much weaker, so I did think you were gonna rely on magic this fight again, yeah. even if you did train melee. And yeah. I figured I can tank through his melee hits much easier than magic. So fuck it. Let's just tank magic the whole time. Yeah, sir. Who, dude, my heart's pounding, man. Yeah? That body scared me a little I bit. Think, I think you've got this, mate. So I wouldn't worry. I wouldn't worry. Three prayer pot. Okay. Okay. All right. Since you just threw up your inventory. <laughs> uh, what? Just the mindset on three prayer pots. Just curious. Uh, keep steel skin and mystic might on for the whole fight. Last fight, I wasn't using any offensive prayers, or I flicked for maybe a tiny bit at the end. And the amount of DPS lost is not worth a crown one, I think. So three just to keep it on the whole time, I reckon. Right, okay. And he does have a ranging pop. So I... Uh, Bs and Gs, I think it's going to be two losses in a row. I'm not going to... I'm not going to... He gets defense pots with that as well. They come together, I know that. Uh, he's got a restore, obviously. He's got a prayer pot. I do have this though, so you nice. little cheeky nice. fucker. Good shit, good shit. And then that, that, and uh. Sharks, sharks. Yeah, there they, they come, yeah. Uh, yeah, B's and G's. Uh, 
I treated you to like 10 wins in a row. Get ready wow, for a few. Wow, he's selling himself short. Get Dude, ready for a few losses, guys. I thought guys. I was going to win and lost. So. This is, uh, yeah, this is, this is going to be painful for the next few episodes. I'll tell you that. These, geez, this is not good. This is not good. Team Rari, we backed him in a corner now, uh, so we're we're uh, we're, we're sitting all right. But let's 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 talk after we do this fight, because I still am there. I'll, I'll box this fight up and now, Okay. Oh uh, no, you're you're point. actually hyping me up. I I didn't say much, bro. So <laughs> careful, careful. <laughs> right, Kins, mate. Give me a two second okay. warning whenever you're good, mate, and we'll uh, we'll hop into this. Not gonna forget my defense bot this time. Don't well worry, done. guys. Well done. <laughs> you still watch me forget it. <laughs> okay, I'm potting up, so this is gonna be the two second warning, my guy. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, he hit. He hit. Ooh. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. Good. 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 Keep the hits coming. A few big ones. A few big ones. That's all we want to see. No, we don't want to see zeros. Okay, all right. Come on. Come on, Granite Bonnie. I want you to do absolute work. Yes. How many range pots did you get? Uh, just one. Okay. Which they come in two good. dose, so. That's good to hear, so you gotta get more. Yep. Oh, okay. Oh, he's hitting. We're doing okay. He's hitting. Doing okay here. He's hitting. See, guys, he sells himself short all the time and then hypes it up when he wins. It's like, what the fuck, Link? It's his strat. It's his strat. I probably shouldn't have picked it up that early, but we're not, we're not missing any ticks. No ticks. We're back up in that corner. No ticks to be missed. <sighs> Come on, hit, hit, hit. Yeah. That's a big hit, kids. Be another silent fight. Yeah. They're gonna get pretty silent from here, bees and G's. He's hitting a lot more than I am, guys. I don't I don't know about that, man. I haven't hit much. Our inventories have so much fucking space taking up food though, so uh -huh. <laughs> Whew, come on. Big hits, big hits. Keep hitting. Keep hitting. Yeah? Oop. Let's eat up. Let's eat up. Come on. Hit, 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 hit. I hate this corner, Kens. Oh, uh, shit. I hate this corner. Let my prayer drop, but you splash, so it's all good. I don't think I've ever hit when your prayer goes down. Link, I'm not taking my prayer down before you, you want me Go to on, fucking test. try testing this or test. some shit. Become a testy boy. <laughs> nah, I'm good, bro. Come on. Okay, that was a good little stint there. I'm out the corner as well. Now you're up against the ropes, Kins. Ah, it's the difference between you and I. I don't mind it. Yeah, you, you know? like being on the ropes? Ah, uh, I'm talking about being against the wall, not on the ropes, but, you know, a little bit of stress never hurt anybody, you know? Mm, I think it did. I think there's a statistic that stress is the biggest killer of people in the world, but, okay. Well, this just turned into therapy <laughs> session, at Link. I just Apparently. don't want to spit fake, you know, fake news and lies on the PvPs, you know? I like the integrity <laughs> we've got. <laughs> oh, come on. Link, you're hitting more than me, man. You reckon? I think you're hitting think more than so. me. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. I'm so focused on my hits right now, and I just... Yeah. My hits and my HP, I'm not even really watching the characters, because I know you can't switch. Um...
does have a lot of spaces taken up. I mean, so do I. Just the problem. Come on, big hits. Big hits. Can't hit. Can't hit. So many splashes, guys. So many. You have enough runes this time, Link? Yeah, plenty of runes. <laughs> This time, fuck me. Come on. Where are the hits? There's one. Let's have another one. No. Hits. Come on. <sighs> Ooh, his prayer dropped. Come on. Big hits. Big hits. Are you out? Oh my god, is he out? Don't even know, guys. He's out, isn't he? He's out. I'm out. <sighs> I'm out. 24 HP. What the fuck? Oh my god! <sighs> Jesus Christ. I'm actually, I can't believe I've won that. <sighs> Genuinely can't. You know what? I didn't use my second range pot and second super defense on purpose because I wanted to um, save it for next fight. Yeah, I think before, that's probably before quite... somebody comments that. But obviously, fuck. That's probably quite smart because it's better to try uh... and win the second as well. I did use my second super defense, but fairly late on in the fight, and I used all my prayer pots. Wow! And I ran. I, I oh, had wow, one wow. prayer point. On the kill. <sighs> Shit! I can't believe I've won that. I really can't. I really can't. Link, you say this every week. You, that, you know that. That right? you should have won. That you should have won. I, I tell. I shit you not. You should have won that. Like the DPS calc, definitely from what I've done. That that's your fight. One hundred percent. The RNG's just given me some luck there. As if you need any more. <sighs> With what you've got going on, mate, I'm worried. I'm worried. All right, piece of G's. Cannot believe I've won that. I really did not expect that at all. Um, let's see where we are going to be going here. Let's generate. 281. Okay, 281. Ooh. Link sells himself short all the time. I knew that body was going to be a, uh, a a force to be reckoned with. It's got like 90-something range defense. That's like 40 or maybe even 50-something over the rune chain body, which is ridiculous. I'm, I am a bit surprised the ranging potions didn't hit a little harder. And like I said, I, I did save these so I can use them next episode. Of course, in hindsight, now if I used them, I probably would have won um but i'm just happy the accounts are really close and his magic is is like pretty capped right now with what it could do and the fact that my range is is there and it could only get better it, it does make me feel pretty good i think that's the most important part but um let's get up the rng generator and let's type in one four seven two let's see where we go three two three it's not zaya so i'm happy do we have this chunk already do i no i've got this one yeah because i wasn't able to get to the crazy arc 
This is the green dragon chunk. Um, it connects up with what I already have, which is nice. I think we have like this. It definitely connects, which I guess isn't too bad of a thing, but it's not a great chunk in itself, but it does give us a bit of freedom to play with. Um, I'll take it. I'll take it. The last two weeks have been pretty bad chunks. I think this one's, this one's okay. Three, two, three. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, that is really close to our big land, um, but I can maybe start unlocking some pathways to barrows we got the xp reward this time and i don't know i mean it's not going to get a 70 of course but i know link's going to try to focus on getting some barrows here i think barrows actually gives quite a big negative um attack bonus so unless he gets arums i don't think ibins is going to be too much of an issue for me um this might fuck our ibin plan up for this episode but you know we'll have to do some planning around it like always Right, kids, we had so much fun in the Chaos mod the other day. I thought we'd go and do it again, but this time we're going to race from Franklin's house all the way to the top of the map and see who can get there first. What is going on, jumpy vehicles? Oh, no. Ragdoll? <laughs> oh, my God. Come on. Move. I think I'm close. I think I'm close. I'm going to turn. I'm going to turn here. I'm going to turn here. The wall. Hey guys, and welcome to episode 17 of the PvP challenge series. As you guys remember from last episode, the fight was incredibly close. I would say the two account builds are basically the same with at least what we brought to the last fight. It was very, very neck and neck. So when I had my 150k XP reward, I decided to put it in defense. I, I really thought about putting it in my combats or my melee combats, I should say. But the problem is that's not going to help me in the next fight. But what will help me in the next fight is, of course, defense. We're actually almost 65 as well. And if I have some spare time this episode, I'll probably round that off to 65 at Chaos Druids because we're still going to have to work towards our prayer pots. But in last episode, I also made a lot of unlocks to try to go for Ibins, and I am pretty sure I have enough unlocks to actually get Ibins in this episode. So... If I unlock those two to connect it to the giant landmass that I have, uh, we got to keep going. Three, four, five. We definitely need this area, of course. And number six, which of course is still connected, is right here. We got those dudes, those painters. And uh, of course, we need that as part of the quest. I, I already had Varrock unlocked over here, thankfully. So that should be good to go. Um, yeah, guys, it's going to be a case of getting all the materials for Biohazard Quest, Plague City, or Plague City Biohazard Underground Pass, wrong order there, and then just full sending all three quests, and then probably make money at the Agility Pyramid, which of course we already unlocked, thankfully. I was actually going to go for Prayer Pots initially, but Magic is going to be so useful in fights, it's going to be so useful in getting Runite Bolts, so let's start that timer and hop right into it. Hello Beast and Jace, welcome back to another PvP challenge, chunk progression thing. If you missed any of the previous episodes, there have been like 16 or something now. Click the playlist up in the top right corner up here or in the description and that will take you through every single episode uh, so you don't miss anything because you're going to want to watch everything to know what's going on. In the last episode, I got myself this chunk here, the green dragons just south of the uh, ruins which uh, I'm not too upset about, to be honest. It gives me easy access to the Crazy Ark. Uh, now that I don't have to go all the way up to Mage Bank to kill it, I can open up this square here, and it means that I can just walk to the Edgeville Bank. So we can just do sort of like a diagonal walk there. Um, and we've got a load of prayer pots now as well, so I can probably just uh, have a few goes and, and really try and get a rune crossbow. And that I will talk about in one second why I'm doing that. Uh, also opening up the Varrock Palace, uh, again, I will tell you why, but uh, it is to do with my plan today. Then we're opening up Falador, which is for one, two, three, four. And then we're opening up 
the Wizard's Tower as well. And the reason for that is, in the last episode, I won and got myself 200k XP. And it all went into range. All of it went into range. 200k into range because um, it's getting to the point now where I don't want Kins to get too far ahead of me range-wise. Um, I feel like I'm quite far ahead of him melee-wise, magic-wise. Defense-wise, I was ahead. I'm sure he put some XP into that um, with his 150k XP. But yeah, I want to get up there. I want to be able to like one item switch to the rune crossbow and bang, kill him. We've got a load of runite bolts because I killed so many lava dragons at the start of the uh, series. So yeah, my plan is to go for the Dorgashin crossbow. Uh, and that's why I opened up Falador, the palace, rune mysteries, uh, chunk, all that good stuff. Because then I can go over to the Forthos dungeon on Zaya, which we do have unlocked through the uh, Karen Castle. Go down there and then uh, range the druids. They drop so much money. Um, a bone crossbow, I can buy the bolt so, so cheap. That's the main reason why I'm going for this. And because there's an altar right there, I can just keep my prayer on and get as much XP as possible. And we'll need no food because they can't melee me because we'll be using range. So it's just a perfect way to go about it. I was just so scared I couldn't fit through here, but it looks like I can. Um, if I wasn't able to... Oh. I wasn't able to I was able to take the spirit tree over to the grand tree and when I had to walk all the way down so it would have it would have been possible still but shit like that is what we have to think about and it's so mind-numbing because it's all we fucking think about when we do shit like this but I'm actually walking up to the grand tree now to buy myself some dwell berries so I actually decided to buy some food here uh what's his name I think his name's just like gnome waiter or something but yeah he sells all this food and uh, it, it heals okay, but it's really, really, really cheap. I'm going to hop. I just bought one half inventory. I, I'm not going to sit here for a while and buy food. I just want to make sure I have food for Underground Pass. But this is probably going to be my go-to food from now on. Not for the fights, but just like for training and everything. If I need food, boom, I'll come here. Edmundo, my guy, thank you. Okay, next quest, Biohazard. Who are we talking to? We should have all the ingredients, um, except the teleports, of course. I don't have all of those. 25 binding, heck yes. Um, Elena, yes, okay, let's do it, guys. Let's just keep firing through. 20 minutes to get all the ingredients and finish Plague City. I think we're doing pretty good on time, if you ask me. That quest took five minutes in itself. Just have to speak to Lathis, and that should be the quest complete. We tell him it's a hoax. He knows it's a hoax. He's a little scumbag, King Lathis. We don't like him. And okay, longer than I thought. <laughs> longer dialogue than I thought. There we go. Heck yes. Now, I believe we have to talk to him again. Underground pass, right? So, yeah, we might as well just <laughs> talk to him right now, start that quest. Then we're going to head to the bank, get everything we need, and uh, officially go in those caves and hate our lives for the next 45 minutes or so. Really, really curious to see how quick it's going to be with this quest helper. I've never done it with the quest helper, only many, many times without, though. But to the bank. So I brought all my armor with me. I'm not sure if that was the best idea, but I know we have to kill some things. There's that giant spider guy, and um, I, I, th I think it's single combat in there, actually. And he has all these other spiders around, so um, definitely just didn't want to risk it. So I brought all the armor. I hope it doesn't bite me in the ass later, but uh, we're going with it regardless. So here we go. Let's, let's, really, let's really start this quest, guys. I'm going to focus. Going to get this done ASAP. Um, I think we'll probably lose... That was two food. Fuck it. That's fine. Come on, let's have that good RNG. Only 45 agility? Come on. Don't let me down, Brimmingtons. That's what you like to see. Train up. Get 61 range. That should be doable um, in about two hours. I've worked out. Uh, maybe a little bit more. And then try and get ourselves a rune crossbow. We've already got a red dehyde body. Uh, it'd be nice to get a power ammy as well if we could get one. I'm not going to lie, guys, I think I probably lose this episode, but I think for the greater good of the whole series, this is an important episode for me. And if we can get everything down, it's huge. Possibly the rune crossbow will come in clutch and I'll be able to get some like 20 plus hits off him in the fight. So I'm not completely down and out, but it is definitely an episode that I'm more than happy to sacrifice to, uh, to get this up to where it needs to be. So that's the plan. Let's start the clock and let's get into it. 
boom. We are going to send a home tally because I've got to do room mysteries to kick us off. There we go. Room mysteries completed. Super easy. Right, let's do the Lost Tribe next. Also, everyone roasted me for not using energy pots. So can we get some... Uh, can we get some likes on the video, guys, for uh, for using energy pots? Come on, treat me to a like and say a big GZ in the comments. Give me all that engagement, help us with the algorithm, and, you know... Oh, look, it's the pet Kinzaz, which is a piece of shit. Right, let's do this. Just missed it, but that was the Goblin Diplomacy quest done, and I already did a lot of the stuff that I already had to do for the Lost Tribe, so we could just start or carry it on here after finishing the uh, the Lost Tribe. Or the Goblin Diplomacy. I get so confused with these quests, honestly. We're now doing the Lost Tribe. <laughs> okay, we're going to go to Lumbridge. Let's go. Boom, there we go. That was super, super easy. Right, we can now buy a bone crossbow. So, it's time to head on over to the Forthos dungeon um, and just get a load of range training done get to that 61 range head over to the crazy arc and hopefully get a rune crossbow so yeah the plan is to chuck on eagle eye and just keep plugging away sit here recharge the prayer and get some xp wow i just like speed run that thing man only failed twice hell yeah my third attempt got across um what's this i think if you run past this i remember something like this i don't have much run fuck it we're to try it Okay, so you just take damage, but it's a lot quicker. Probably won't do that. I don't have all the food in the world to be doing that. Okay. Can I just thief past this? Picklock gate. I don't know what level you need. Uh. Oh! <gasps> Wait a sec. Can I just bypass this entire thing? Did I not even need agility? Can I just keep going? Oh, come on. Come on! You're joking! You're absolutely joking! <laughs> oh, I'm buzzing. I'm fucking <laughs> yoink. Probably the saddest part about the quest, you know, where we use a stick to push a boulder down a little cliff where he's perfectly positioned in a cage. Um, it's just it, it, this whole quest is set up so weird, but either way. You know, the unicorn didn't deserve it, but he was in my way. How to do it, man. How to do it. I'm sorry, little dude. We just got a prayer potion, guys. That's actually quite amazing because we have a two-dose prayer potion in the bank. So that's a complete prayer pot. No fucking way. No, we don't want that attack pot. We have too many of those. We are now at officially the worst part of the quest by far. Um, but on the bright side, we've only been doing this for 59 minutes, this whole episode. So we are killing it on time. And of course, we still need to allocate time to get money to imbue the staff, which is going to suck. But glad to see the quest is going well. But here's where it could go bad. So fingers crossed. Since I'm sick of falling, I decided to uh, range it and tell it to net a grab. I forgot I had my telly runes on me. So that's... That's what I did for that guy. Then I didn't know this guy was here. I fell crossing that and then I wasn't even gonna try to cross that. I need to go to here now and um, we're moving along though. We're moving along. Okay, we gotta run through and use the doll on the well. He's gonna start trying to dog me here. Use it on well. Come on. Stop taunting me. Let me go through. This guy likes to... Uh, talk really slowly i guess here we go here we go here we go uh yes okay easy enough see you later ibin see you never actually <gasps> you look at that <laughs> and now we can't actually leave through this way but that's where you'd uh go into the elf lands but oh i can't 50 <laughs> attack I can't even wear it. I've actually switched over to the red dragons. It's something I didn't really want to do, but I was only getting about 22 to 25 K XP over at the uh, undead druids. And I thought I'll test it for a little bit. And we're looking like we're going to get like 30 K just shy of an hour um, doing this. So I think this is going to be the way to go. Um, and yeah, I'll just have to flick until I lose aggro. Because they were hitting me a little bit. I test it. But yeah, I'll just flick uh, Protect from Melee till I lose aggro. And then I'll be able to safe spot. And yeah, we can sit here and get like 25 to 30k XP an hour. It's worth it. We kill a lot more as well. Which means grabbing keys are going to be a lot more common. 
Um, and yeah, so I think this is probably going to be the way to go. But I am a bit fuming I can't go and do Undead Druids because they do drop so much GP. Talking of grabby keys, there is the first one. That's well overdue from the Undead Druids. Well overdue. I must have killed 200 of those fuckers. Uh, we also got 58 um, range, which is nice. So it's coming on nicely. Right, guys, this is going to be 61 range coming in. Again, it's another one of those write-off episodes where I spent all episode just doing something. Do have four grubby keys, keys to show for it, which I'm quite happy about, but it was three three hours and a bit of training. But yeah, this will be uh, 61 range. I had to start doing a few undead druids here and there just to make a bit of money, because obviously I had to pay for the bone bolts and stuff. But uh, to be honest, they're not that much worse XP. Um, and obviously, as I say, the drops are better. So the, yeah, I don't know between the two. For Grubby Keys, the Baby Reds are insane. Because you kill them at like five times the rate of these. And the uh, the Grubby Key chance is only five difference. It's one in 75 from these guys. One in 80 from them. So Grubby Keys are like insane. Um, from there, there is 61 range. Absolutely awesome. I am going to get this kill just in case we get some uh, GP and stuff. I've got 26 minutes. I might go and send a couple crazy arcs, see if we can get a rune crossbow. I doubt it, um, but I do want to give it a go. So let's just see what we get here, and then we'll teleport out. Uh, are we going to get some coins or something? Something nice, please. Chaos rune 74. Not bad. We can sell those. That's the quest complete. We did get some attack XP. Still, still 48. <sighs> okay, guys. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is get 50 attack. We need to get 50 attack anyway at some point, and we could do it while killing herbs or killing Chaos Druids to get herbs. Uh, what's the quickest way there? Probably Varactelli and just uh, start hacking away. So that's what we'll do, and then we'll probably go to the Agility Pyramid after that and get all the funds we need to support this fucker, because this thing is going to destroy everything specifically lava dragons hopefully link should be the last kill before that 50 attack which then means we can rock the ibin staff there we go guys now like i said i was here just because i wanted to get some herbs this is our second inventory nothing is in the looting bag though um but uh yeah we're gonna bank and we're gonna teleport to the eagle's ire and start just getting as much money as we possibly can as fast as we can we still have two hours on the episode, so we could definitely get it. Although we're only 45 agility, so it's not going to be the easiest thing in the world. It definitely will take more than an hour, I can tell you that. But I'll see you guys there. 200k is what we need. Actually, a bit more. We need to buy runes and stuff. Thankfully, we did get the 200 death runes from the grubby chest, but that's not going to be enough on the grand scheme of things. So I actually don't have the Shanty Pass unlocked, as a lot of you guys know, so I can't buy water skins there, and I can't get any desert clothing there. I then told myself, okay, I'll go to Rosalo. My boy Rosalo, he sells water skins, he also sells desert boots. As I found out, I actually don't have him unlocked either. So as you can see, I am moseying on up to the Grand Tree right now, um, simply because I need to get food i'm gonna need a lot of food i can actually still get water skins in narda but the fucker sells them for 1k each bit of a joke but we're going there to make a lot of money and we're gonna have to do it because i don't want to have to be banking every six seconds so i'm probably gonna have to spend like 10k on water skins i have 11k that's my cash stack right now but we're gonna be pretty much cleaned honestly somebody report this man scamming me like this 1k a water skin it's uh horrible i'm gonna be completely frank with you guys oh there it is of course as soon as i turn on the recorder it's incredibly 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 hard to get to the top of this pyramid i had an hour and 53 ish minutes left i think when i started this um so an hour and 20 minutes see oh gosh an hour and 20 ish minutes i've only got about 100k granted i got a bit more money from the pyramid itself but the water skins are 1k. I only spent about maybe 15k in total on water skins. I just can't really refill them in this area. I mean, I just refilled them naturally because I tell you not to get more food. I used my last uh, necklace charge, which was, which was quite annoying. But uh, long story short, I'm not going to hit 200k this episode because my agility level is way too low. With monks robes and ibans, we are just using nowhere near the prayer. 
than we were before. It is so, so nice. We could definitely get a few kills here. Brought a few Grand Ones with me. Brought a couple of Prayer Pots just to really speed this up and see how many we can get in this short amount of time. As I say, already got the, uh, already got the, uh, red... Oh, I saw Rune. I saw Rune. Uh, already got the red DI body, so it is literally just a case of, uh, trying to get the, uh... What's it called? Rune crossbows. I'd like the power army as well, obviously. And yeah, still got to buy some crumb ones, and I've still got to get some recoils together. I think I've just got to do one recoil. Um, so what I'm going to do is just use the... Ooh, duh, duh, probably Tazar teleport, because there's a furnace right there, so we'll be able to make our recoils up. And then I can just go and buy the crumb ones as well. I'll probably sell off the, uh, the chaos runes for a bit of money. Well, that is kill number two. Oh! <gasps> Okay, then. <laughs> ah, don't, don't, yeah. Okay. <laughs> what did kids get it? What, what did kids get it? Three? So I'm one behind? Okay, uh, let's tally to Barrock. I'm going to sell the Chaos Runes. Going to get some money together. Okay, that's fucking fantastic. <laughs> I'm so over the moon. I am over the moon. Yeah, we've got 474 Chaos Runes to sell, so we are going to be looking great after this, money-wise. Okay, off to the Tazar, and we will make the recoils, buy the Kram ones. It just occurred to me, I could have also, uh, what's it called? I could have just out the crossbow, because I get two. you get two from the Crazy Arc, so I could have done that as well, but it doesn't matter. We got enough. And before everyone's like, Link isn't using his energy pots, I don't want to waste them, guys. I don't want to waste them. I've got 14 minutes. I don't need to use them. So that's the reason. All right, that's everything that I need to do. Food, recoils, everything, all good. Um, I'm just going to do a bit of Death to the Dorgishan, to be honest, guys. Because uh, we're going to need to now probably get our amulet that way. Because I'm not going to go and do the Crazy Archaeologist when I can just do this quest and then use the hand chests. So... Might as well spend the next nine minutes trying to get as far through this quest as possible. Uh, I was thinking about just doing some combat, but I think this is probably the better thing to do. So, uh, yeah, we'll uh, do nine minutes of this. We're definitely not going to finish it. Um, uh, but, yeah, this should uh, this should be a good... Yeah, okay, so we've got to go... Yeah, that's cool. We've got to go and do this uh, thieving thing. So hopefully we can get that done, and that would be pretty cool. It unfortunately still is probably my best money maker, and thankfully that that you know the fail chance does go down quite significantly with only a few levels. Like I am seeing a difference between forty six and forty nine. Um, it might just be in my head, <laughs> but uh, it definitely seems that way. But anyways, the main point I'm trying to get at is that I am not going to get two hundred k this episode. Now we can still use the Ibans, but we'll only have sixty charges to do so. It were 60 casts. There's 120 charges on the staff itself when it's not imbued. It's the same spell as when it is imbued. Um, but when you attack players, it uses two charges instead of one. So right now, I'm thinking hybrid in the fight, range magic. I got to spend the last 30 minutes just completely crafting up a plan to make this work. I only have 60 casts, and I have, I think... Like, it's 16 or 19 Runite Bolts in the bank. I forgot exactly how much I have, but uh, long story short, it's going to be an interesting fight. My back's a bit against the wall because I'm low on everything, but uh, we're still going to absolutely try our hardest. We'll, we'll, we'll definitely scheme to make sure we try to get that win. Um, but for the next 25-ish minutes or so, I'll be here. Then the last five minutes, I need to actually just imbue some recoils and which I already have in the bank, and just buy some food. So, should be the only things I have to do after this, but... See? I can't... I, <laughs> I hate this so much. And when you fail twice in a row, you're down twice. And it's just... It's so demotivating, man. It's so demotivating. Oh, dude, this is fucked, man. I'm gonna have 180k. Oh, I could technically get it, but I need to buy food. I need to buy food. Okay, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I need to go to RD. Uh, oh gosh. Okay, food's more important first. Uh, fight pit. Four minutes? I don't have any run? Oh gosh. Quickest way to RD. Oh my gosh, no, I can't. I can't. The only way I can get to RD quick, I think, is through... Fishing Trawler Teleport. And the only way I can get to Karamja is through... 
fight pits teleport. Oh no, dude. Horrible. There we go. I've been, oh, I haven't been kicked out. We might get one or two more pickpockets in. I doubt it though. I think this is going to be it. We, uh, yeah, we ham gloves and ham cloak off. And this is going to be the time as well, isn't it? We're not going to get out of here in time. But uh, yeah, we also got some polished buttons, which I know you need for some quest. We got two rusty swords, which... Let's stop that. We got two rusty swords, which you need to... Well, you need one, but there's a chance of it messing up and uh, not getting identified for the RD um, diary. So I thought I'd keep them. And we also got a steel pickaxe, which is an upgrade on the current pickaxe I have. Um, and then some jades and opals as well that we can craft and make into amulets. So there are a few interesting things that will be helpful uh, on the account at some point. But uh, that is going to be it. So I will show you my setup. All right, guys. So this is the plan. Um, I'm not really expecting it to work, but it's just uh, a bit of testing to see uh, what's going to happen. I did think about bringing the Ibans instead of a melee switch, but the thing is, I was hardly hitting with the Ibans last time. Like, it was so, so little we were hitting, um, and it's so obvious to see it coming. Like, pretend this is an Iban staff. I have to switch it, then go to the prayer, go to the magic using, you know, my hotkeys, then press the Iban staff, then click him. In that time, He's going to get his dehyde on. Um, and it's actually what lost him season two. Um, just because he couldn't get the Iban switch off quick enough. Because all you have to do is put on like a red dehyde body or, or chaps to, to make that Iban so, so pointless. So instead of that, I'm going to go down the drag along sword, melee into range. One switch is all we need. So we can hopefully get him off some prayers. Um, the Dragon Longsword, we got 71 slash with an 85 melee strength, which I think is pretty good. And then, yeah, as I say, with the range, we've got 90 range attack um, with 115 range uh, strength. So I just think that's going to be the only way. As of right now, I don't think any of my attack styles on their own win the fights. Um, so trying to get him off prayers and make him forget about doing anything but switching his prayers I think is going to be the way to go. Unfortunately, because it's his upload, we're going to be playing on American Ping, which will make it a bit more difficult for me, but we should be okay. Bringing an attack and a strength pot with a defense pot and then bringing two recoils. Um, obviously, the plan is to then upgrade this to a simi, which will then start to do some work. Um, so that's the plan and then, you know, We'll look into upgrading these. Hopefully at some point we'll be able to start using the red dehyde body and we'll wear like dragon plate legs. Um, and then from there we could even maybe get some carols, some tall rags, stuff like that. Um, so they're the natural sort of progression now. Going for a full helm and a power army as well is what I need to be doing. Uh, green dehyde vams, snakeskin boots. There's a lot of upgrades I can make. So this is more of a trial just to see how close we can get. I'm not expecting to win. Oh, and I've forgotten the prayer pots, but I'm going to bring three and I'm going to bank the strength pot. I just realized it wouldn't have mattered anyway, I don't think, because I'm going to buy food and this is going to go below, well below 180k. Um, and the two staffs out for 9,300 each. So it wouldn't really be possible anyway with concerning food as a higher priority, that is. Um, unfortunately, we were just shy of getting it but I really don't think that's going to affect this episode. Um, again, like I said, I've got the room bolts. We still have 60 casts we can use on Link with Ibans. And yeah, I'll talk more about it once I buy all my food. I should have plenty of time to do this, though. So I'll see you guys in Edgeville with everything and me pulling the Hail Mary. Okay, guys. You might be thinking, who the hell is this? Who the hell is this man with an Ivins and a red dehyde body and a wizard hat? I am doing a very strange approach in terms of my gear setup. As we know, Link has been a mage tank for far too long. Okay, so he hasn't really changed his style of these fights in forever. So I'm assuming... There's no reason for him to change now. I mean, maybe he's focusing on other things, but the current style he's doing, he knows is working brilliantly. Now, he has Mystic, which is something that I can't get right now. Even if I had the money, I can't get Mystic. I don't have 66 magic to buy it from the Wizards Guild. I'd have to get it from a drop, which my Slayer level probably isn't even high enough. But he brings a lot of rune, and now he's got the granite body that he will bring to the fight. 
So that setup versus this setup. The magic attack might be very similar. I think mine's actually higher. But my magic defense is through the roof. In a magic versus magic fight, assuming he did not take off his armor, I have the higher DPS. But of course he's going to take off his armor, right? It'd be dumb not to. That is where the rune crossbow comes in. I think this plan could work. Just keep switching back and forth. If he's constantly trying to take off his armor, not switch his armor, take off his armor, which means he has to go to this tab to do it. And change his prayers. And we have the extra prayer pot with the extra two doses of prayer pot to make the full prayer potion for. And I figure the super restore too. I can't top that off, but I figured it was still worth it. I actually almost didn't bring this, you know, but I feel like I might have to because I only have 60 casts of Ibin. I actually only brought 60 so I could visually see how many casts I have left. I decided to, again, go all in this episode and, you know, just play my heart out. I definitely want to start getting these wins here and the XP rewards are getting massive. Um, so they're much more crucial now than ever. And... I, I don't want to say I'm feeling confident, because when I say that, I end up losing. But I will say, assuming he doesn't change his strategy, I think he's going to be hurting. Which, you know, hopefully he doesn't see coming. I don't know how he could see this coming, but hopefully he doesn't see it coming. But, let's go in the fight, guys. Link, 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 link. Four hours is up, yet again. I think Hello. we're at like 64 hours in this fucking... No, I think 68 we've spent, or something like that. Really? It's basically wow. about to hit 70. I didn't do the math. Um, Probably a hundred with grinding behind the scenes. Oh as well. well, yeah, I'm talking about in in game PvP yeah. time, but yeah. uh, the strats are definitely neck and neck as far yeah. as last episode are, is concerned, and I have been stressing myself all episode to try to figure out what you might do, but instead of that, I just kind of followed my gut initially and went down a route that I don't know if I'm happy with yet. Uh, I'd say this was a bit of a write-off episode for me, mate. Not gonna lie. First clip I said, I said, guys, not sure we're gonna win the fight today, but I think it's good for the longevity of my plan. Wow. So I actually, I actually, not coming in thinking oh i'm definitely gonna lose but i do think this plan currently is inferior but i thought it was worth putting to get together now while i had the chance um right let's do a combat reveal mate let's do it, i don't man. know where you put your 150 so you ready yeah you Count know me in, mate. Oh, okay cool three two one go Ooh, i think you went up a level up. i don't uh yeah i might have gone one up maybe i think you were 69 weren't you yes Man's gone up a bit. Oh. Any guesses to where I put my XP in? Yeah, right. that makes me think defense, because I don't think you would have gained that many levels going range, because you would have only been able to get like one or two levels, I think, with range. Ah, I uh, could have trained range all episode two, got yeah, some true. HP levels, true. maybe I was killing dragons. Man, come on, Link. I, I took you as a more uh... roundabout thinker. Although you're right, it is not right. <laughs> Really, I call it right, and then you're like, nah! I, I put it in defense. I put it in defense. Okay, you got the same defense as me now. I didn't put any into defense. None in defense. None into defense. Uh, oh, we... you got 50 attack? That's yeah. Ivan's, isn't it? That's for Ivan's. Attack. Did you do Ivan's? That's the question. I could have uh, got it on my XP reward because I fucking hate using Rune Scimitar Link. Again, he's overthinking <laughs> everything. You think I want to spend eight hours with a Rune Simi at Rock Crabs Link? I don't know. Uh, I see 50 agility, so must have got agility pyramid. I, I sort of knew you did. Yeah, that was I actually like you... three episodes ago. Yeah, that's all I see there, mate. <sighs> 61 range. That was probably my biggest fear. I put all 200k into range and then trained range for three hours this episode. So, <laughs> yeah, it, it had to happen. It had to happen at some point, you know, wow. and I was like, I was like, this is the perfect opportunity. I've got 200k to throw in. I'll try and catch up a little bit. I don't know if uh, it's good or bad. Like you really diversified your skills here and I... That could be amazing, or it could be your downfall. I don't know, man. I, I just know range is powerful, nonetheless. Mm. But yeah, okay. Um, Damn it. So yeah, that was my uh, that was my plan. I just sort of did that. You killed three hours worth of red dragons. Yeah. 
<laughs> I mean, I know, I know you can't have range bots this episode. I see that thieving level, but that's... How many grabby yeah. keys? Four. It's probably about Which is actually, normal. It's, it's, it's just under. It's just under what I should have got. I mean, based on what you're telling me, you don't have a rune crossbow. Unless the other 30 minutes... You said 30 minutes questing, three hours baby reds. Uh, yeah, I got 61 range with 27 minutes left. What did you do those um, last 27 minutes? The last 27... Well, we went and played Happy Wheels. <laughs> oh, yeah! If you want to go check that out, guys, it's on the second channel. Not while the time was tinking, ticking, tinking, ticking. No, ticking. no. Even though you made it sound yeah. like that. Um, so, yeah, we had a quick interlude to do that. I came back, and... I had nothing to do, so I said, fuck it, I'll send Crazy Art fuck, for 27. Fuck, he did. Okay, that's that's actually not a lot of time. I, you know what, range probably isn't even that powerful against me. No range pot, 61. I know you've got the body. Go in the reveal. Uh, I can't, I can't, I can't take this. I can't helm, believe kid. this. Good helm. Helm? Oh, yeah, God. Helm. <laughs> 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 this is bringing Ivan. He's freaking Ivan! Oh my god! Or are you just doing that for magic defense? I don't know. Wow! Legs. Legs. Okay, alright. Come on, put some fucking mage on. Oh my god. Are you going range? Oh you got my the crossbow. God. Let's go body. Feel body. Ooh. Okay. What the fuck is the thought process behind <laughs> what you are wearing right now? Uh, oh my god. Talk to me, Link. Oh <laughs> Talk to speak words. What, why if we teleported back like 10 episodes? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> why are you looking the way you are looking right now, Link? Are you um, ranging with that on? I'm so Are you confused. even real? <laughs> Dude, this look is like... You. Look at you! We look like we're on episode two of the PvP challenges <laughs> right now. <laughs> what is going on? Wow, okay. Alright, you're on pick, mate. Shield. Okay. <sighs> Fuck yeah. everything, man. Wow. Gone mirror. Um... Let's go boots, mate. Booties. Rocking the Hamalams today, man. Uh, Climbing. Oh, yeah. The Climos. Gloves. Clanky boys. Misty boys. Ooh, yeah. Wow, he really went for it. Okay. Um, let's go Kate, mate. Yeah. Expected. Wow. Okay. That's different. Um, your pick, mate. Necklace. He's going melee. Why the fuck is he wearing those chaps, though? Maybe he's not going. Uh, two recoils. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Weaponkins. What you got? What is he fucking concocting over there? So are you just going for straight mage defense? Is that what you're doing? And they're just going to crossbow? I guess that's what you're trying. Um, Put it on. Incredibly, incredibly, I just... I cannot believe this has happened. I really can't. Like, yeah. So he's bringing Ibans. Ibans to range? That's brave, mate. You're not... That's... You did get it. Okay. <laughs> Dude, the moment I saw the chat, stop, stop acting like you got me right there. There's no other reason you bring fucking green D high chaps when you win seven out of nine fucking episodes, okay? I cannot believe you've decided to go mage the, the, the episode I decide to go rage. <laughs> I still think I'm losing, but that is amazing. Well, good thing I got this. <sighs> yeah. Wow. Oh! I, thought, I, I thought about bringing Ibans, but the, 
the switch is just horrible. Putting it on, going to the mage book, hitting the spell, like... You know I have that, you know I have that. Um... Mm. You know I have that. This, 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 this. This, this, this. I am going ranging pot. Yeah. I got a full doser because I did the underground pass quest and I got a two dose and I combined it with my other two dose. Had the extra half restore. My recoil. And I did not bring an anti poison. Hey, well done. <laughs> Proud of you. I, I, that, that's the one in my book. There, there was somebody who commented on the last video, Rarg lost because he brought the anti. And then I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not bringing it this time. I already have so much shit in my inventory. I saw the top comment was something like, I'm not going to bring all the sharks today. And if I lose by a bit of HP, I'll kick myself. Yeah, but the difference didn't matter. I actually ra I ran the numbers. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. it's like, a, oh. dude, it was like a 14 HP difference and you won by like... 28. I'm still kicking myself for the loss, but not for that reason. <laughs> Let's just say that, bro. This is gonna be... Ugh. This is gonna be interesting. Really interesting. Alright, let's hop. Let's hop. Let's hop. Okay. Alright, okay. Link. Um, You get the first hit, man, so just give me like yeah. a two-second warning. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, okay, mate. Let me just set up my quick prayers, because right now they are not on the right thing. Okay. Uh, cool, man. Here comes your two-second warning. All right, man. Pot up time with Kinos. Oh, okay, okay. It's going to take me a sec to get used to this, guys. Oh my god, my skirt's on. Fuck. What's your range attack with that body on? Uh, like 91 or something. Wow. Come on. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. There's the staff bash. Very <laughs> yeah, that. dude, it's Oof. quite horrible. Oh my god, yeah, the misclicks, fuck.
Fuck. Twenty-five. Oh, yes. you hate to see it. You hate to see it. Pick up your bullets, because I think I'm. I, I don't think I took any yet, but I want to make sure I'm not. You know. Oh, he's out. Oh my gosh, dude! I fucked up. For seventy-five percent of that fight, I forgot to put any defense prayers on, and I have like two prayer pots left. I fucked up so badly. Fuck! How much food? Two food, 25 HP. Three rune bolts left. Nine casts left. I didn't upgrade my Ibans, Link. Really? If you lasted right. like 45 seconds longer, I would have been staff bashing you the entire fight. I, I have three rune I Not that, that fucking matters. God. <laughs> Dude, the moment I saw your green DI chaps, I thought that was it. <laughs> I thought that was it. If you had a cape on, the Sarah cape, yeah, I think that's, you would have had yeah. that. Oh, dude, ah, it's all right. I'm not feeling fuck. too bad. He's got me on the on the fakey <sighs> magic. It always wins. The fakey magic yeah, always wins. <laughs> but then you just come prepared, so it's fine, guys. It's fine. Ugh! Wow, guys, that was that was way too close. We have nine casts left. Three runite bolts, that probably would be about 10 shots, but, you know, I have to pick up every single one I freaking shoot, so it would it'd be horrible. Um, we just got that. I can't believe it paid off, honestly. The moment I saw him with that rune crossbow and those chaps, I thought he was going full on range and I was about to scream, because I, I, that would have been the counter of the fucking century right there. But we clutched it. We clutched it. Let's generate. Let's see where we're going. 22, that is Zaya. Honestly, that's probably the... That's probably the worst place I could have gotten for this. All right, B's and G's. Um, not too bothered. Not too bothered at all. If I, the, the reason he's won is he's caught me, you know, he's caught me by uh, by surprise there because I wasn't expecting magic. And all I have to do to counter this whole setup is bring a red dehyde body and a Sara cloak, and that is not hitting, and it's going to get totally destroyed by this range setup. Didn't think I was going to win this episode. Didn't think I was going to lose that way, though. I thought he would just stick with what he's been going with, and and that would have beaten this setup. But, you know, fair play to him. Fair play, but I'm not too worried about it at all in the end because, uh, realistically, all I have to do is bring a couple items and <laughs> we'll be through the roof on magic defense. So, yeah, not bothered. Not bothered. Um, let's see where we're going to go. 399. Guys... Let's play a little bit of I Spy. I Spy a 22. I'll give you a hint. It's on the top right of Zaya. Probably the most upper right square there is on Zaya. Probably the worst unlock that you will ever see in this PvP challenge. I don't even think I can get much of this. I can connect it to my Winter Tot chunk like that, but... I, there's just not really much going on down here. The only thing I can think of is unlocking sand crabs. But at any training, I probably won't do at sand crabs. I'll probably do at the baby reds. Okay, 399 is definitely already got this. East Ardy. Love sending me this area. I swear like 90% of my picks are here. Um, We've already got it. So, and, it's, and that does connect to the giant land mass we've got. So we've got six choices. I could push towards Barrows, maybe. I could push towards Monkey Madness. I don't think I'll be able to get Monkey Madness done, but... Hmm. This is an interesting one. 
This is a real interesting one. I don't know what we're going to do, but it opens up so many choices. Well, Link, we decided to make this week's reward or this episode's reward over something that has been asked so many times, and that is stamina potions. So I now get 28 stamina potions just on the account, and you now get 23 of them to use whenever you want running around Gilanor with your unlocks, my man. So... Hello, Bs and Gs. Welcome back to another PvP chunk progression episode. If you have missed any of the previous episodes, I will leave a playlist up in the top right corner. Click that little I and it will take you to it. Or in the description, just click the playlist there and it will take you through all the episodes in case you missed one. Um, but in the last episode, I lost. And as you can see, that is 23 rather than 28 Um Stamina potions. To be honest, not an awful one to lose. I mean, five stamina potions, yeah, it might cost me a little bit of time at some point, but it's not huge. So, I'm not too bothered about that. We landed in the Ardy chunk here, which means I have six unlocks. Um, and as you can see, we've got one here, which is so I can do the Grand Tree. Because, remember, we've got to go and see Anita, who lives here. Uh, to do the Grand Tree, so that was super annoying. And then going down here, it's pretty obvious what I'm going towards. So two, three, four, five, six. Um, we are going to start unlocking the uh, Monkey Manda stuff. Is there any way that I don't have to unlock all of this? No, we have to land here. We have to go through here. Yeah, we have to use every chunk there. Um, and then by next episode... I will be able to unlock the whole of Monkey Madness because that's only one, two, three. And I'm sure we'll get a chunk that is like one away or a chunk that we've already got. So hopefully next episode I'll be able to uh, unlock Monkey Madness and get a Dragon Scimitar because I think that is going to be massive. So yeah, that's my plan. Pretty obvious what I'm going for. So there's not really much point in keeping it a secret or anything. Uh, yeah, the Dragon Scimitar... Rune Crossbow will just be so, so nice, um, and I think it's the way to go. Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 18 of the PvP Challenge series. As you guys know from last episode, I rolled probably one of the worst chunks you can possibly roll. I can't walk there. I unlock this one to connect it to my Winter Tot chunk. I can't even walk here to get that done. And honestly, like I always say, Zaya to me is kind of dead in terms of what I can unlock. There's still a lot of stuff we can do here, but from what I don't have unlocked on Zaya, honestly, doesn't really interest me too much. So ultimately, I just did these two down, or these four down here, sorry, to get sand crabs in case I ever decided to kill them, plus these two wasted up here. Um, ultimately, this episode is gonna be a direct continuation from the last one where I'm gonna get money. Um, I'm gonna go back to the agility pyramid because I still need money. I'm still short. I'm like 30k short now of getting the Ivan staff upgraded. I'll probably get a bit extra cash in the meantime because I will be there. I'll be in the zone getting that money. Plus, I want to kill lava dragons for runeite bolts, and that's gonna cost some money with some death runes. We still have like 140 in the bank. Um, to be honest, I have no idea how I'm going to approach this fight. This episode is going to get myself back up to speed with the Runite Bolts ranging potions and hopefully chip away at some herb lore as well. But no idea where this episode is going to turn to, but we're still going to absolutely send it like we always do. So let's start that timer. And actually, I do want to bank, but of course, I'm technically not supposed to use that one right now because I'm supposed to be starting in a place I can't even go to. It's the last time I let Link pick the fucking chunks <laughs> every series, guys. I swear I get the worst fucking ones. So I've got a few things I want to do. I've actually got some interesting stuff that I think is going to be pretty huge um, and a bit of a uh, advantage over Kins as well, possibly. Um, so we are going to try and nail that. But first of all, I'm going to do the Grand Tree. So let's get into it. Let's start this timer and let's go. And we've just used our first sip of stamina potion because I might as well use them. I know what I'll be like. I'll be like trying to save them and then by the end of the series I'll have 10. So I'm going to use them. We're also like halfway through this quest already so this really shouldn't take long at all. Okay, we now got to kill the black demon and then it's pretty much quest done to be honest. So uh, yeah, really, really nice. 
Let's get here. And from here, we can just save spot really, really nicely. There we go. 18k attack XP, 7,900 agility, some magic XP as well. It takes us to 56 agility. Very, very nice. And that is the Grand Tree done. Yes, there we go. That is everything we need. Let's go see Zanuck. I actually did this uh, quest on stream last night, so it's fresh in my memory. Um, uh, but uh, let's go and do it. Now, I've got a feeling I don't even need to finish the quest. I think we can just go down here. Yeah, and pickpocket. So I actually don't need to complete Death of the Dorgashen. We can just do this now and get keys and then, uh, yeah, go in and try and get ourselves the Power Ami. So that's the plan now. I think I will complete the quest though because you get 2,000 thieving XP and 2,000 range XP. So I think it's going to be worth it actually. Um, we'll just open up these keys, see if we can get a power ammy. Uh, no, we did not. I can't do it. I've, I've totally forgot you need this chunk, but luckily it doesn't matter. It just means I'm not getting my XP. Sorry, Zanuck. That's where our quest ends. Um, oh man, I need, to, I need to look into these quests better because I am messing up so badly. That could have been detrimental. It really could have, but luckily we can still get the keys, we can still get the power ammy, we're all good. You beauty, you find a diamond amulet, love to see it, I was worried this was going to be a long grind. That is so quick, okay, that's awesome, that gives me so much time for the plan I want to execute um, after this. Let's open the last one up, uh, sapphire necklace, diamond ring, uh, that alks for 6.30 which is more than this. But I will just eat a crumb one. Fuck it. Boom. There's a load of money there as well to be made. We can go and either alk it or sell it. So, so happy with that. Let's uh, get on with the next plan. Well, actually, let's make the uh, power army first. Right, guys. So we had to actually get another jade because we need to make another necklace of passage. Because, of course, we cannot get to the agility pyramid without it. We should have all of our water skins filled. And let's do this. Guys, and the best part of all, which is why I'm actually recording this right now, is we now have stamina potions. 28 of them. I will be using them as I train because why the hell not? Although, to be honest, I still fail enough to where I probably won't really need to be sipping on them too much. But they could definitely still help even like right now. Fuck it. Let's sip the first dose. The first dose. And we got 28 of them, baby. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be really, really good. And that is all I want to do. It took a little longer than what I wanted. Just ignore what's up top. I logged out. I have 32 done in total. I don't know why when you log out, it completely resets. Um, I had to make myself some coffee. I was dying over here. 300k cash. Oh my gosh. Hopefully we don't have to come back here for a while. Um, we don't need money for like mystics or anything. I'm drawing a blank here. Fishing trawler is what it's called, right? Uh, fishing trawler. Boom. We are going to buy the Ibans right away, and then we're going right to the wilderness. I can't use the teleport. Come on, of course I can. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna go for the rune bolts. Maybe get that rune kite shield as well. I think we actually will. Oh shit! I think we actually will profit as well. Uh, was that still gonna tell you me? I think we'll actually profit now from the casts because it's just as expensive as using, or just about just as expensive using fire blast. But this time I can hit nine higher, and it's. Is it more accurate? I actually don't know. Fire Blast is a higher spell. I still don't really know how the accuracy works on uh, magic and spells and whatnot. But uh, anyways, let's grab the Ibins. We'll probably get some Varrock Tellies as well. And then we're going to go right up to the, um, the Lava Dragons after we buy some runes. So easy as that. Let's go do it. Let's go imbue this baby. Upgrade. I hope it recharges it when I upgrade it. It should. I don't know why it wouldn't. Here's 200k. I can't believe I'm doing this. Actually, I totally can believe I'm doing this. Uh, check. Yes, fellas. Let's go. Sick. I'm fucking buzzing. Looks like we have 558 casts. Um, I really don't know if I'll profit, but I think I will. I remember I made some money back doing um, the death runes with the fire blast spell. So considering I can hit nine higher, that's not a PK, or is he? Nah, he's in the darkness. In the darkness. But considering I can hit so much higher, I want to say even if I don't make money, I should make enough money to buy a decent more amount of runes and come back here and get some more kills. So here we go. Power Ami on the account. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, so I'm going to hit up Puro Puro and try and get Ecolectic 
implings. The reason for this is they drop blue dehyde uh, chaps, red dehyde spiky van braces, um, and they also drop wild pies, which heal 22 and give a range boost. As well as a Slayer boost, but that's not really what we want. Um, so yeah, we're going to do some implings. Just going to be going for Eclectics, nothing else, um, and see if we can get lucky. But before we start on that, I'm going to upgrade my Butterfly Net to a Magic Net, just for that 7% increase uh, chance of catching stuff. I don't know how I do this Butterfly Net. Store? No. I want to trade? There we go. Magic Butterfly Net. Nice. And then I'll trade in this one for three more jars. And we'll just go about it like that. Um, awesome. Wow. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> Red Dehyde Vams. Almost instantly. I don't know how many I've caught there. Maybe 10? That's insane. I'm sort of thinking about bringing um, snares. But I am ca I'm catching them at like 90% like rate. Honestly, I'm, this is the first one I've missed. But the red dehyde vans were just looking for the blue, um, what's it called, chaps now, and I'm done. Wow. I have decided to go for the uh, snares just because, you know, I can just buy more nature runes, so it really doesn't matter at this point. So yeah, I think that's uh, what we're going to do. And boom, there's our first one. Blue dehyde chaps. Mm, gold bars, I'll take them. Well, okay. <laughs> Somebody is smiling down on me today, guys. There is some serious RNG coming my way. Blue Dehyde chaps. I genuinely thought this plan, do Death to the Dorgashan, do um, Grand Tree, get a Power Ami, get the red spiky vams, get the blue, would take two, three hours. It's taken me 59 minutes. Insane. Team Rog's going to hate me. Team Link's are going to be over the moon. I don't know what to do with my hours now, because I didn't plan this far ahead. There it is, fellas. There it is. The Ruinite Bolts. We're going to stay here. We still have uh, 304. I actually did die, by the way. Um, I didn't rebuy my food. Again, I mean, we say this all the time, but I want to make sure I'm extremely clear. We can buy our stuff back when we die with, with outside funds, but we have to waste the time walking back here. Uh, which is quite annoying, but it's pretty quick since I had this teleport. Um, but yeah, there we go, guys. The 30 Runite Bolts. We can now uh, effectively go range this fight. I will use the rest of my death runes up and keep going. And uh, hopefully get more and or a rune kite. So we're still going to stay here. And we got 61 magic. So uh, that's just extra magic defense and accuracy. We are coming up on the last kill, guys. 48 Onyx Bolt tips. If I was a non-Iron Man... Oh my gosh, is that a PKer? I'm gonna have to log out. No, it's not. He's a lava dragon guy. He's gotta be. Yeah, get out of here. Come on, dude. I'm risking it. I'm risking it anyway. Gritty red. He's not gonna kill me. Good old gritty red. Last kill. Last kill. Oh, he logged. Oh, you freaking love to see it. <sighs> oh my gosh. Oh, we're getting out of here, guys. We are getting out of here. I also turned off my region thing, actually, because it was making me glitch out to hell. I'll turn it back on. Um, but yes, 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 yes. 60 of them, guys. We're out of runes. Uh, we did get a few death rune drops, so we actually got a few more kills than expected, which now that I look at it, made us get those death runes. We actually have an okay amount of alkables as well. This actually alks for a decent amount, but it's going to take 48 gnats to get through all that. Um, these, of course, probably alk for about 50k, maybe just below. Um, so with all this, it's probably like 80 to 90k worth of stuff. I'm not going to really worry about alking this stuff for now, though. Probably just the these three items so I have some cash. And yeah, but aside from that, we're going to move on to the next thing, which... I, uh, here's where things gets tricky, because I need prayer pots, but I also need range pots. So, to be honest, I'm not sure what I should do right now. My heart tells me to go for range pots because I want to win this episode. But I know I'll need prayer pots for that too, probably. But if I go for prayer pots, it probably won't get range pots. I can get lucky on a grubby key and get a range pot. So I think I'm going to go for that. Plus, you can get prayer pots in super stores, but they are quite rare. I definitely got lucky last time I did that. It's not a reliable source. But then again, if I can get like four this episode... My chances go up that much more, you know? So yeah, 
Grubby Keys. I know it's not the most exciting content, and I apologize, guys, um, but it's gonna have to be. It's gonna have to be that way. Okay, I'm gonna go for the Rune Full Helm upgrade, so killing Banshees. Um, one in one, two, eight. Kins did it for quite a while, and uh, yeah, we'll see if we can get it ourselves. Right, well, um... <laughs> oh my god. Um... I'm gonna keep killing them just because the XP is actually pretty good um, while I come up with another plan. But there you go. There's the room full helm. I'm just getting everything I want right now. So I was trying to think what I want to do, um, you know, with the with the time now. Because I've got so much more time than I was expecting to have. Um, what's that? Oh, a tattered sun page. Nice. Um, yeah, so I've got so much more time than I thought I would. And I was thinking maybe I'll do some thieving because the XP reward today is 50 or 60k skilling XP. Um, but then I thought, well, if I just put the XP from th today's episode into thieving, then next episode I'll be thieving at a higher rate because I'll be a higher level. So it's sort of a bit counterproductive to do thieving now um, instead of when I'm a higher level uh, after this XP reward. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit here, get range up, get like 63, maybe 64, hmm... I don't think we get 64, but maybe 63 um, range. Get a few grubby keys together and then put the XP into thieving from today's episode um, and then go for those grubby keys next episode. That's the plan and that's why I've chosen to go with red dragons instead. 160 kills and that's the first one I'm seeing. Insane. Um, we are 62, nearly 63 uh, range. I'm going to get 63 and then I'm going to get 61 attack uh, just because I want to get, you know, that for the uh, for the DDS specs and the Dragon Longsword. Might as well do it. Tossing up whether to bring an attack pot or not. Looking at the DPS calc, I think it probably is a good idea um, to bring an attack potion. It adds about 5% increased chance of hitting with the DDS and about 6 with the D-Long. Um, so I think I will bring an attack pot, but I'm not going to bring a strength pot. Um, so yeah, got a little bit more XP to do here, and then we've got 40 minutes to get 5k attack XP and buy some Karamb ones. So, uh, yeah. Also, not too far off, 49, uh, prayer. Do have to start thinking about going for, you know, chivalry and, and piety at some point. Um, when I do that, I don't know. But, uh, it's definitely in the mind, because that's going to be huge. Just gonna alk these three items real quick to see how much money I have on the account. 21k, 40k, this will get us past 50. I think we have like 16k in the bank, 17k in the bank, 69k. <laughs> oh, you love to see that as well. Right, here we are, just killing some baby reds now for that XP, that sweet XP. Maybe we'll get 67 range this episode. The XP per hour, I always forget what it is here, but we, we definitely can get it. It's a, it's a case of do we wanna stay here that long? I think that depends a lot on grubby key luck and whatnot, but um, yeah, we're tanking them right now, and then of course when um, they're done aggroing, I'll swap to uh, different armor. But for now, I'm gonna tank them and uh, just get some levels or get a level and get some grubby keys. Hey, I was just thinking about where's my grubby keys, man? Where are they? And we just got our first one, and uh, 30k away from a range level. And we are 70 kills in, so we are actually under drop rate. So it's all we need, guys. We need that luck. We need that luck. I probably won't open this unless I get at least the second one. Um, but good start. We just got our second grubby key. Let's see how many kills in we are. 160 kills and now 10.7k away from a range level. So we'll definitely get that, guys. I'm just going to stay here. I, like, I, I could focus on trying to get prayer pots, like killing the crazy arc again and stuff, but... I definitely don't think it's worth my time because there's a very high chance it doesn't happen and I'm spending money, you know, going for it. And it's just not where I think my time should be spent. I think we should run our luck with the grubby keys. Maybe we get them, maybe we don't. Um, but this fight might be a little rough. I would say that's the one bad thing about a ranger is that bolts and pots, they're not the easiest to come by. Here's where we have to really start focusing on other combat styles now, which of course in the last fight it was magic. Um, I don't think I have the element of surprise for magic to work in this fight because he has mystics and I don't, and I, I'm thinking he'll probably bring Ivan's this time. And um, yeah, but of course I have no idea. But um, 
just going to camp it out here for the rest of the episode. Hopefully we get one or two more. I mean, that would be a bit lucky, but, you know, it's definitely entirely possible. And then we'll open up the grubby keys at the end and buy some food as well just to finish off the episode. And our chances of getting prayer pots and super stores just got that much closer. Three keys this episode. Okay, this is going to be 63 range coming in. Uh, I will finish off this kill. We'll just grab the bones anyway. Uh, there's 63 range. So let's go and get the attack level. Um, I think I'm going to teleport to the Tazar. Um, and I'll kill the pirates in the area where we buy the Kram ones. Because they're fairly low hit points. Um, and they don't, you know, do any damage back as well. So, or fairly high hit points, sorry. And they don't do too much damage. And then I can just buy the crown ones at the same time. Think I've got to make one recoil as well. But we've got plenty of time. Oh, we also got a second grubby key. So I am still under drop rate right now. But, you know, I don't feel as bad now. I don't feel as bad. Um, because we did get two pretty quick. Oh, why did I start that kill? Why did I start that kill? Right, let's uh, go here. And let's use... The Tazar Teleport. There we go. I actually have very little money. I am going to keep a room med. I got another one from Banshees. But I am going to keep one because it's fairly good if I want to go mage uh, over the full helm. So let's... I've taken blood runes out. Brilliant. Uh, let's out one of the rune crossbows because I don't need that. And let's out that as well. That's plenty of money now. Awesome. There we go. That is 61 attack coming in, and I've already bought from this world. We're going to hop by Karam ones, um, and then I'm good to go. I luckily had uh, a few sapphire rings from doing the ham chests earlier, so I just I just uh, turned them into recoils. Um, and then I think I'm going to home tally after we've got all the food, um, and I'll probably just do a bit of master farmer pickpocketing. Might as well get like seven, eight minutes of uh, thieving training in. So that is the plan. And that is time up. So, I will show you my setup. We did get the 47 thieving. We're 4k away from 48. Uh, that will be for another episode to deal with. But uh, yeah, I'll show you my setup now. All right, guys, I'm really, really angry. I am so close to a range level, but I couldn't actually get it because look at the time. I need to open this and buy food. Come on. Ooh, okay, that's cool. Uh, I mean, we got the ranging pot, which is awesome. Another ranging pot. Come on, prayer pot, prayer pot. Uh, we, we can drop this, we can drop this, we can drop this. Open the chest one more time. Oh! Ugh! <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, we have time. We have stamina pots. I think normally we might not be able to get enough, but uh, this is fine. Okay, let's telly. Uh, to here, sorry, panic mode activated, just some egg potatoes on the ground. That is amazing. We have the stamina pot to get there, ranging pot, super defense, restores. <sighs> okay, I usually never film this part, but I cannot believe how close this is going to be. 12 seconds left and the last three. Oh, that was satisfying. This isn't satisfying, though. I'm fuming about that. But it is what it is, guys. We got the ranging pots. We got a four-dose range pot, four-dose super defense, a pot and a half of super restore. <sighs> Let's go to Edgeville and get our gear together because I'm feeling okay about this. I still don't even know exactly how I'm going to approach this fight, if I'm being honest. After lots of thinking, I decided to bench magic for this episode. I think a lot of you saw I was leaning towards that regardless, but I'm making it official now. The reason behind it was that I got last win probably because it was a surprise. Link did not have the red dehyde body, and assuming all else equal, if he did have the red body on top of that, he would have won that fight. You know, the red dehyde body gets plus 40 magic defense, plus the difference that the negative gives on the granite body so we don't even factor that in but it should be so it's a pretty big difference and of course i don't have mystic if i had mystic i'd be a lot more comfortable trying to hit through the red dehyde body but i don't and i need to be really really careful about this because look at how much stuff i have in my inventory right now and if i brought magic switches even if it was a very low magic switch like staff and skirt for example like i did in the last fight I would have to have those two plus two more spots for runes and next thing you know like 20 inventory spaces are filled up with things that might be non-essentials so that's kind of the idea everything else is pretty similar we're only going to sip 
one ranging pot, one super defense, unless for some reason I feel like it's absolutely necessary and really close, then I might splurge on a second dose, because it did cost us a fight, I'm pretty sure on that, two fights ago. Of course, the super restores, I am going to bring an anti-poison this time, because I got him on last fight without bringing it, and uh, he'll probably bring it this time. And even if he doesn't, I don't feel comfortable taking the risk, and of course I have no way of knowing. So, this is what I'm going with, guys, and I'm ready to fight. 63 runite bolts let's get it let's go so this is going to be the setup uh did think about bringing the blue dehyde chaps but looking at the dps calc i just I, I obviously i get a bit more accurate but kins gets more accuracy against me um going off what he was wearing last episode or going through his range setup so it seems to be worth just going with this uh if he goes magic i've got 56 plus magic defense bonus we've also got higher magic than he does so i really wouldn't be worried if he started pulling out the ibans uh we could always take something off as well like the legs if i really wanted to but to be honest 56 magic i think that's perfectly fine um especially with he'd have to be in robes and this setup would just absolutely destroy robes um so not worried about that if he goes range you've got 181 range defense i, I think the problem here is not having a ranging pot that that's what's going to let me down here i'm still expecting to lose this one um the only saving grace is if he doesn't bring an anti-poison which he didn't last episode possibly we could get a poison off uh which would be very very helpful for uh going down that route of uh of just chipping away at his, at his hp and food um and then also it's just the one to click switch um which should be able to catch him off guard and hopefully we can get a few hits off the primary goal is to get the rune crossbow hits off because the uh obviously the longsword does less damage than the runite bolts do so trying to bolt him uh while he's protecting melee is probably the one i want to go for but at the same time the dragon longsword long sword still can hit hard so that's the plan um Right now, I think it's the best I've got, but next episode, we'll push towards a Dragon Scimitar, a Ranging Pot, and stuff like that, and then I'll start to feel a bit more confident. I think right now, I'm a little bit out of my comfort zone going down the range route, because it's not, you know, it, range is his forte, that's that's the route he's been going down, so he's obviously got a better setup than me in those terms. We do have the red spiky bams, which are better than what he has, and they give a melee attack or strength bonus as well, so they're actually quite good for hybriding. Um, which is nice. But uh, yeah, as I say, not really expecting to win this one. But we'll see. Let's jump into it. Kenahus. My man. man, Link. How we doing? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. How do you, how do you feel your four hours went? Uh, You know, it went as planned, but it's stuff I had to do. And I don't want to say anymore to give anything else away. Maybe... Right. Yeah, I mean, you, you seem to well, guess I, everything I, I do in all these episodes I mean, anyway. <laughs> one thing's super obvious, you were nearly out of bolts by the end of last episode. You had like yeah, three left yeah, or something, yeah, so yeah, unless yeah, you're not yeah. bringing range, you had to go I'm, hit Lava Dragons up. Thankfully, I had Ibans so, though, and I think, I think I told you I had like 180k cash, so that was pretty quick to like get to Lava Dragons. All right, Kins, um, let's do a combat reveal, mate. Let's, uh, let's see right. what, what, where we're at. So on go, are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Three, two, one, go. And Ooh, you're the same. You're the same as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, right. I guess you either didn't train or didn't do much training. But I'm going to look you up right now anyway, Link. So, All right. uh, All right. don't Have hold Have a little breath. look. I'll let you go first. 61. That actually went up one. 57, same. 64, same. 63, that's up two. That is 48, up two. I think that's the same. 67, that same, yeah. I think that's what you were. 11 rune crafting. Were you 11 rune crafting last yeah, time? Yeah, yeah, that was from episode one when I was killing essence guys. Oh, to try yeah. <laughs> wow, brain fart. Uh, 56 agility. I think you were 55 last time. Yep. Okay. My man was doing a Jilly Pyramid Y. I guess we'll find out. I think you, you, you thieving? No, you might have been 47. Uh, I think I got one level. I got, uh, I got okay. two tomes this episode, and I used them both in feet. Okay, 50 attack, 50 strength. That's the same. 64 defense, 66 range. That hasn't changed. 53 prayer and 61 magic. That's got to be from Lava Dragons. Yep, yep, um, yep. Nailed it. <laughs> 65 HP? Has that gone up? One level. Okay. One level, correct. Uh, bit of agility, 52. 
that's just me getting a bit extra cash to buy those deaths to cool. go and kill those lavas. I think herb laws the same, or I mean, it's it's irrelevant what that level is anyway. Uh, so fairly fairly standard stuff there. Nothing too crazy going on. <laughs> well, the fact that you're saying that's like you're diverting my attention to put my guard down or something. <laughs> well, I mean, um, so tell, I, I feel like I talked a lot about what I did, but what did you do? I mean, um, you're, so... you're just sitting there silent. I got an arty chunk again. Like, I landed on a chunk I already had, so I had 60 years. Oh, um, I opened up I really Anita's house so I could do the Grand Tree. That's why I've got an agility level, because you get, like, 8k agility XP. Oh, uh, right. Um, okay. I opened up the Grand Tree so I could finish that, and then I can finally go in and out and use all the tree spirits, which is nice. Um, because previously I was getting locked in there, having to, like, kill gnomes for 10 minutes until I had a teleport again. So that was that was fun. <laughs> Um, then I unlocked... Oh, I think I know what he did. I unlocked the whole Death to the Dorkishan stuff. No, that was last episode. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah just uh, um, You did it again? No, <laughs> you just I, loved the quest so much? I went down and unlocked... I, I'm three unlocks away from having Monkey Madness ready. But, uh, I ha okay. I'll tell you, mate, I had very, very good luck this episode. Like, everything I wanted to happen, happened. I budgeted... Two, I still don't know what you did. Two, I budgeted two, tree. two to three hours to do my plan. I did it in 59 minutes. What it, did you do? You'll, for you'll, see. you'll, you'll see. You'll I'm see. You'll see. You'll see. When you ask, I'm like, fair enough. I'll talk about it. Well, you because, were like, because no, it's, I'm it's, not gonna say anything. it's just gear. Um, like, it's I'm gear like changes. Arena, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> oh my god, it's <laughs> gear changes, so I might as well just put them on. <laughs> All right. For fuck's sake. Uh, all right, hell, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake. Hey. Okay, I'm, I'm not crazy concerned about that, but he finally got the rude full health upgrade. <laughs> Thanks, man. Everybody uh, clap in the comment <laughs> section. Dude's been trying for way too long. Uh, let's go legs, mate. Let's see what you're up to. You, yep, okay. All right, all right. Is. Okay, okay. I think I know what you're doing here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go body. Knew it. Knew it, knew it, knew it. <laughs> uh, let's go amulet, mate. Power. Yay! <laughs> Ooh, we got the power. Okay, I, I'm assuming ham chests. Or First actually, inventory. Actually, you could have First oh, inventory. Of course. <laughs> Takes me two hours to get that fucker. I was going to leave. I, I only had two spaces left, but I was like, fuck it, we'll go again. I got a key, and then bang, it came through. I was Yeah, yeah. That, that's the link RNG. I could just pick <sighs> Giggle the, behind they, too, the I'm RNG, the RNG this episode was fucked. Like everything I wanted came. It was, yeah, it was something else. It really was. Cape. Uh, you know, I'm not taking any chances. So <laughs> that's <laughs> happening. <laughs> okay. Whoa, uh, let's go gloves, mate. Ooh, interesting. Clanky boys. Oh no. Oh wow. wow. Spike, spiky red D D's. I also got the blue dehyde chaps, but I'm not bringing them. Are you just going range, or do those give strength bonus, or is that they range? They do give strength, strength bonus. bonus. They give two melee okay, strength. Okay, that bonus. makes sense. Yep, he's. I'm calling it. Uh, dragon longsword, rune crossbow, uh, rune kite, and your boots. I don't really give a fuck about. So. Correct. Yeah. Okay. And recoil. Yeah, obviously. All right. Recoil. Still not done the snakeskin boots, mate. Ah, uh, no. You know, I just think range pots and rune bolts are a lot more important. And, yeah, you right. know, I'd much rather get a range level. I mean, than, what is it, like you know, one range up over those? It's not anything crazy. Yeah, it? it's, and I think I actually need to unlock a bit more squares. Like, I, I actually couldn't unlock it this episode. The last few I was technically able to unlock it. I just chose not to sort right. of thing. Did you bring an anti-pot? I did. No! <laughs> I was like, I was like, he's not gonna let me do that move twice in a row. <laughs> I actually said that in my recording. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not risking that. My thought um, process was, if you bring it, then we just both sacrifice an inventory slot. If you don't, then I get poisoned. So that's why I went for it. Yeah. Let's uh, let's do the uh, inventory reveals, man. Yeah. Cool. I'm bringing an attack pot, a defense. I'm bringing three prayer pots, all the crumb ones, and a recoil. Okay. Ooh, full super defense, full ranging pot. Nice. How many uh, grabby keys do you get? Three, and I got the restores, bro. Wow. Only, only six and a half, but I'm not hybriding. That's also why I'm not hybriding, because I was like, I have to flick my prayers. 
Yeah. Uh, not my protection, of course. My other prayers and, um, yeah. I mean, my back was a bit against the wall. I, I knew I wasn't gonna get away with that magic twice. I did bring the dehyde chaps just in case you went magic. Yeah. Um, but the rest is just food. No sharks. No sharks. I didn't get any sharks. Okay. So that that HP advantage has gone a little bit, which is nice. But um, yeah. I'm not. To be honest, it's. I, I feel like this is the last of my I'm not feeling too confident. I think next episode I'll be feeling a bit better, but this is my last sort of like attempt to see what we can do with this setup. You know, I'm going to start doing what you do. Just say, oh, this is yours. This is yours. Because every time you say that, you end up winning. <laughs> so, so maybe now <laughs> if I say it, maybe uh... I'll start getting these wins, you know? <laughs> He's human. I really am, man. Um, um, okay. Uh, yeah, cool. Hit me with that two-second warning whenever, mate, and uh, we'll awesome. get into this. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Two-second warning. Okay. <sighs> Welcome to Zero Fest. For a silencey boy. Okay. Yeah, he's got the one item switch. That's very difficult to yeah. fucking defend against. That, uh, that's, that was the plan. I was just like, it's going to be hard for him to, to keep up with that, you know? We got to be careful about our bolts. But actually, no, we don't. That's right. We really don't. <clears throat> You know what? Let's see what damage you can do with that. Okay. <laughs> Instantly decided against it. Because <laughs> I know I'm gonna get roasted. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, my my ego gets hurt, Link. Okay. <laughs> oh, predicted nice. that switch. Fuck yeah. Not that just, one, just, <laughs> just call me uh, solo mission over here, okay? Oh shit. Oh, right, Joe, how you doing? Holy. Hey, man. I know he watches the series, which is why I... Uh, <laughs> yeah, and you I suck mentioned. him off whenever he comes into a live stream. So he gets that mission. You're now getting sucked off in a fight as well. I mean, how Dude, does it feel? He, <laughs> even at uh, RuneFest, was a huge fan, my guy. Huge fan. Gotta switch up those rhythms a little bit, Link. Yeah, I'll give you that. But, you know, it has to be done on the tick, otherwise it's fucking pointless. Oh, yeah, for sure. There you go, mate. You got me. Oh! What are you? He had a zero. Ask me so to switch it up, and I'll, uh, I'll give you it, mate. You know, I'll give you it. I, uh, gotta put the... I can't wait for the comment section to shout at me for not having my auto equip bolts on. Yeah, guys, please roast him, like, <laughs> like please. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm not the only one, man. I'm not the only one. No, oh, fair enough, fair enough. I feel like your range is actually much stronger, which is why I'm camping the range prayer much more. Like, like right now, guys, I know he's meleeing me, but I feel like, now I could be wrong, but of course you have to make split second decisions. His melee off prayer is probably less strong than his range on prayer mm, don't think so, Ken. i don't know if i'm right but this keeps them from days. going off a of range i know i'm saying my plan out loud but you know i i i i like i like the b's and g's to know you know yeah come on yeah he's not hitting with that thing guys even with protect from range on he is not sitting Ooh, 67 range. I did say I'd get that during this fight. I was so close to getting it. GZ, man. This fight. Although he's... Ah. Okay.
<clears throat> when are these recoils going to be out? Dude, yeah, dude, I've been clicking it the entire fight so far, and they're <laughs> not even... I'm not checking it now, but uh, it's not out yet. Okay. I hate this. I hate this. You love it, Kins. I don't. zero fest in here yeah and we both hit it's usually how it works by not making sense Moment I'm out of prayer. He fucking it's a 19. <sighs> Are you out? A prayer? Yeah, man. Oh shit. I had um what's it called? Thingy oh, the whole time? the whole time? Yeah. So it's now your fight. <clears throat> it's in your favor, mate. I'll tell you that. I have to give credit to range pots, which I, I look. I know where your XP's going. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh shit! Eat. He's out. Just eat up. Eat. Eat up. Eat up. Eat up. No risky. No risky. <laughs> risky. Come on, uh... one. Don't taunt me. Yes. How much food? Two. Yeah, I was, I was expecting it. I was expecting it. Woo! Oh, man. Dude, the, I feel like the only reason why I won that is because the grubby chest getting lucky. I've been getting so lucky on superstores, prayer potions, and... Yeah. <sighs> um, But, you know, I wasn't... I In a range-on-range -range fight, I wasn't expected to win when I don't have a range pot, so, you know. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's the way it goes. But magic loses that, and my melee loses it. It's the only way to go. All right, Beezer G's. Again, not too upset. You know, he's got range pots. He got super defenses. He got super restores. He got everything he wanted there. Absolutely everything he wanted. You know, I was smacking him with that dragon longsword for so long, and I know that wasn't worth it, but I was trying, just trying to get him to put his melee defense up because there was no way that I was going to win a fight where we were both just ranging each other. Um, so I'm not too bothered. Um, we've got our, we got 50k XP coming our way, which will take us very, very close to be able to get the grubby keys. I might do the boost. I might just go and get the 57, uh, thieving, just, just actually get the level, but we've got six grubby keys now to use as well. So I'm really not too bothered. Um, by next episode, hopefully ranging pots, hopefully a dragon scimitar, um, and maybe some more super defenses as well. So yeah, as I say, not too bothered. Also, we did have a little truce. Um, we're gonna allow unlimited runite bolts um, just because we don't want to keep going to lava dragons we find it personally very boring and we don't think it's great for the series either you know you guys don't want to just see us going to lava dragons all the time to get runite bolts so we've agreed we are allowed infinite runite bolts so we can have as many as we want we can put a million on the account if we wanted um, and yeah just just constantly go to the GE whenever we want to just top up on, on runite bolts that's just a quality of life thing to make the series better and just make it a bit easier on us as well so runite bolts aren't an issue anymore for either of us which is nice um I know a few team rivals are going to be like, oh, because Link's got a rune crossbow now, it's the same. The same will happen when Rog gets...
the prayer level for prayer pots. We are going to allow unlimited prayer pots as well. So, for those of you who think it's me doing it, no. We, we're just coming up with this now to just make it a bit easier for us in the future. So, Rug will get unlimited prayer pots. So will I, once he can make them as well. Um, so, the plan. Oh, and also, I have more bolts than Kins does right now. So, you know, if anything, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm in a better spot. But that's that's it. Um, we're going we're gonna to generate. I feel like this isn't the part to talk about things like this, but let's generate, see where we're going. And that's going to be 252. Okay. Really close fight, guys. Really close fight. I think gear above all else will really reign supreme in the upcoming episodes. Of course, stats as well. Um, but there's, there's never really big stat changes unless there's an XP reward to combat. Of course, that's not always the case, but it's usually the case. So I guess the point I'm trying to make is I don't really know what I want unlocked right now. I think the, the best thing I can get for right now is a nice, easy access to Barrows, like a path that goes and leads to Canifis to Varrock. Um, only because I think that's the next big, big upgrades for both me and Link to get. And of course, we're, we're approaching that 70 defense, but it won't help us next episode, that's for sure. But we can always be ready. Let's generate. 326. Let's see. Let's type in 326. Where is that? Where is the dude? This is we had 323 before. Right, 252. Ooh. Ah. Uh, bit of a dead chunk. I do have the dig site, so it is connecting already, but it is a bit of a dead chunk that, isn't it? It's like rag and bone man. I guess it gives me potential to start pushing over towards Canifus and stuff, but... Eh, I guess it's better than if it had been one up. That's what we'll take. That's what we'll take. There's stuff to build on. There's stuff to build on. No, it's 322? No, it was 323. I, I swear. I, wow. That is amazing. Oh, speaking of a path, it's not going to, like, complete it completely but we can go into like canifis because of course we have to walk through here and down to barrows when we start doing barrows i i have a few of these squares unlocked i think this one's unlocked this one this one and this one this one maybe i forgot of course we have the map but oh yes okay wow i feel like i called that it's right next to the other one like two episodes ago too there we go kins we got our chunks Yep, we're ready for next episode, man. Um, After we get that XP reward, of yeah. course. I just, while I was doing it, I also explained about the Runite Bolts thing. Um, okay. And I also told them that when you get prayer pots unlocked, we'll be doing the same thing for prayer pots, so... I, I awesome. don't really know why I did it solo after I started doing it. I was like, <laughs> should have done this now. But did you I'll... mention that we we are we are both like stockpiling Renards to the point where it wouldn't yep. even make a difference? Okay, awesome. Exactly. I mean, we got awesome. so many. Hey guys, welcome to episode... God, what episode is it? 19? I think it's episode 19. Yeah, and as you guys know, the fight, as always, as it has been, has been incredibly close for the longest time now, and we're still fighting for that first place position. Now, there's still one thing that I feel is holding me back massively from just a lot of things, and the main one, I guess, being just overall training and getting my stats up, and that's prayer potions. I still somehow do not have the correct herbler level from prayer potions i have gotten a bit lucky from the chests i know i said it last episode but i shouldn't have gotten that lucky getting the super stars and prayer pots i shouldn't have i shouldn't have won last fight i mean i can say that about a lot of fights maybe i should or shouldn't have won but the rng came through for me and of course i went with it and I still don't have the level. It's something I really have to focus on. Now, I came up with two possible plans that I could do. One, go for Edgar's Druze quest, which I believe is possible this episode. It gives 11k Herblore experience, but there's a lot of prerequisites and more quests and scaling that I have to do. I need to actually get 31 Herblore to do it in the first place. But um, the problem with doing the quest is that I feel like it's not as efficient as we can be. Right now, we have a Rune Crossbow, and we can now use Rune Bolts. 
in the episode. So my thought was I want to definitely train range as fast as I possibly can, get XP while also getting herbs. And what if I said we could possibly train, or not train, but use prayer, eagle eye, as we train today. So of course we have this unlock right here, the one we're starting. And this connects to, and I have to say it at least once per episode, the giant landmass. So we have free reign of where we want to unlock. I'm going to skip over these two, I'll explain those in a second, but this is my plan. There's an altar here with Elder Chaos Druids right next to a telly spot. All right, pizza G's, and welcome back to another PvP chunk progression challenge thing. And if you have missed any of the previous episodes, there have been a load. Click the playlist up in the top right corner here or in the description. The videos do alternate between me and Rog's channels. So the easiest way to keep up with them all is just to click that playlist and watch it through there. Um, but in the last episode, I got this chunk here, which was a bit of a dead chunk, but I didn't realize that I'd be able to walk um, through here and then uh, up towards here and then actually be able to go through this little gap here, which is pretty huge um, being able to get in here because it means I don't have to open up this chunk and it means we can probably in future go towards Canifis. But as I say, in the future, we're going to do that. We're going to be opening up five chunks here um, and the first one is going to be this one. Uh, this is because I'm going to be doing the feud today, 15,000 thieving XP and it gives you access to a thieving method that can do up to 90,000 XP an hour even at our level, which is just massive. Then I'm going to be opening up this chunk as well, just for p future stuff. We're going to need access to this. And then obviously with my last three, it's going to be one, two, three, um, to unlock everything to do Monkey Madness. Look at that, three wasted water chunks just to do this, but I think it's going to be worth it in the long run. So Monkey Madness, hopefully we'll do this uh, episode. But the first thing I want to do is the feud quest. Um, I put all of my 50k into thieving um, because we need to get those grubby keys out so the plan is to do the feud hopefully after that we'll have to do like 45 minutes maybe less 30 minutes of thieving with the blackjacking and we'll have 57 thieving uh, so it's possible that within an hour we'll have that 57 thieving requirement for the grubby keys so let's start the timer and let's start the feud boom eagle eye the entire time protect from magic Hitting hard, getting good XP, and getting herbs in the process to top off on that 38 prayer. I'm hoping that even if it's a bit slow, it makes up for it in some really decent XP. So I'm really excited to try that one out. I hope it works out because the Edgar's Rude Quest will then be looking that much better. But I'm already like locking it in, so it is what it is, right? Then I'm going to skip those two for a second. We're going to come down here. I'm going to unlock Ardun, this part of Ardun at least. A lot of people said, why didn't I telly in the last episodes? Like, use your Ardy telly. I couldn't. It was blocked off, but now it's not. Yippee. Come down a little bit. We have Yanil. I need to buy a Greenman's Ale because I'm going to stop at 37, boost that motherfucker at 38, and this is one of the spots, one of three spots you can get it, and the only spot I can unlock this episode, so, or easily this episode. Then we have two more. You're probably thinking, why are these two? Well, this is for the dig site quest, of course, plus 2k Herblore experience when I finish, so I figured as a last resort, if I need it, come and do this quest and then this one just to make it easier to try to get to Mortania when I'm going to be in this region a little more often for things like Barrows. Posted it wrong here, forgot to mention where I put my XP. I had 60k in total. I topped off on 57 thieving so I don't have to go and uh, get squirks anymore and I put the rest of the XP into fletching and it got me to level 36. All right, guys, we are off. So we teleported instantly to LMS. That's how we got here so quick. And we are right next to the altar where, of course, the Elder Chaos Druids are. This is the setup. I am bringing some melee and range defense here as well, just because, of course, PKers. Now, if I lose my stuff, the timer still ticks down, um, but I can get my stuff back at the GE. So that's why I'm not worried about losing any of the stuff. I always want to mention that whenever I am in the wilderness. So we have the looting bag. We have our emergency tellies because, of course, telling out is a lot quicker than buying it. And this world is taken. So uh, let's find the empty world. Hopefully we can keep Eagle Eye on and protect from magic on the entire time. You know, we could kill this guy and see how well we hit it. 
So this is the reason we needed to open up this chunk because we got to talk to Ali Morrisane to start this quest. Boom, there we go. 15,000 thieving XP and Oak Blackjack and the Desert Disguise. 53 fishing, fishing, thieving coming in and we've got that Blackjack in the bank. So I'm going to head back to Polly now and we're going to get ourselves that uh, 57 thieving, uh, which really shouldn't take long at all. We need about 60k XP and it's saying it's a minimum of 60k XP all the way up to 90k depending on how much uh, effort you put into being efficient and obviously because we're on the time we're going to be as efficient as possible so I'm hoping we get like 80 to 90k XP here an hour. Honestly guys I couldn't record and keep up the rhythm I tried to do it once and it just went everywhere so this is a bit of a voiceover after but the XP was insane and just you know, the bandits were such an option to go for. They they sped this up massively. Right, here we go, guys. Should be coming up. There we go. 57 thieving. We are out of here. Uh, I'm going to home telly. Yeah, let's send a home telly. We also got 48k. So that's not bad either. It's time to do monkey madness. I've got all the supplies I need. Everything. We are good to go. Let's start this bad boy. Here is Runelight absolutely saving the day. Just, sh I mean, not even just for this series, but for anyone, guys. How amazing is this? I remember back in the day when I was about 10 trying to do this. I think we need to grab some food, to be honest. Um, and I think we have to go to the teleporter, don't we? Okay, here we go. The famous bit of this famous scene, really, of uh, this quest. Can we open it before? Pick lock. Oh, we did. Nice. We got our anti-poison already on, so we're all good. And we'll just wait for this one to go out. And uh, honestly, done Monkey Madness so many times. Here we go. First sort of part of Monkey Madness done. Get away from me. There we go. And we will give him all the stuff we have. Zooknock really likes to talk. Bloody hell. Come on, mate. And give him the monkey amulet and give him the gold bar. And my guy should sort us out with a monkey amulet here. There we go. Or an enchanted bar even, which we're going to turn into a monkey amulet. Um, oh yeah, they teleport you and shit. Uh, wow, that's beautiful. That is amazing. I think we've hit it every time so far. So we just got to get by the altar. So I'll kill this one, hop worlds, and get myself nice and situated and comfy. And hopefully we get lots of herbs. You know, let's fill this looting bag up quick. And banking, too, should be so quick. Really excited about this. I hope this pays off. So, guys, I was right on one thing. The XP. The XP here is pretty darn nifty. But, unfortunately, the herbs don't really drop that fast. And I did get attacked once. And I had to run away. Um, I live, thankfully. But I did have to run away. And it did mess up some time. Um, I'm hitting these guys like a truck. But the problem is I'm just not getting herbs fast enough. I've been here, what, just over... 30 minutes, I guess 37 minutes, and uh, we have, if I can show this real quick, um, yeah, just over half a looting bag, and all these, except that one, I can't even use because my level isn't high enough, of course, so I don't really know if I'm going to stay here. I'm thinking I'll just stay here for the hour just because the XP is really good. Secure the fact that I'll get 50, or sorry, 50, 68 range in this episode. And then just rush normal chaos druids with the rune crossbow, rune bolts. I think it'll just be insanely fast. Oh, there we go. If every drop was like that, that'd be amazing. But it's not. And they have a lot of HP. Like, two massive hits. And the dude's not even half HP yet. So... Yeah, we're going to have to probably leave this place, unfortunately. I think it was worth the try, but it's definitely not worth the risk of wasting all the time re-gearing just to get a little faster XP, you know? So, oh, bit, bit sad. I'm a bit sad, but it is what it is. We tried. So here's the issue, guys. I actually technically have enough for the level I need in terms of herbs, but the problem is getting secondaries. That's pretty much the issue that I'm going to have. Now, um, of course, the attack potions are fine, so the guams I can get through easy, but things like Marantils, getting those unicorn horns are not easy. So I might have to revert to plan B now and just spend a lot of time killing unicorns and collecting secondaries. Thankfully, chocolate dust is pretty easy to get, and I also found out that I have 21 white berries in the bank, which is huge because I'll show you really, really quick. I actually can't get the white berry spawn up here, which I'm kind of upset at myself that I forgot about, but um, 
And, you know, it, it is what it is. So let's just mix all the potions we can. Let's see what level we can get to. We'll probably get to 27. I have, like, a bunch of Renars to clean, and that'll give some XP as well. I have, like, 59 Renars in the bank. Then I'm going to get, like, 6 XP per or something like that. So, yeah, I'm going to go through all the potions that I can really quickly. I think we can also make energy potions at 26, which is a lot of XP. So um, let's get out these Renars, and then we'll buy some chocolate. How much XP is it? Eight, okay, even better. And this should get us to 27 herb lore. There we go. For some reason, Monkey Madness, it's always seen, I think it's just because we were, you know, kids, it's a very nostalgic sort of uh, sort of quest, but it's really not that long of a quest, the, uh, the Monkey Madness one. It's really, really easy. And uh, it's really not gonna take too much time. Like I wouldn't be too surprised if we have like an hour 45 left after doing this, so. Yeah, we'll see. I keep getting attacked. There we go. The monkey speak amulet. Okay, so now we've got to go down here um, and get ourselves out of this side. All right, here we go. I think we are ready. We've got our runite bolts. We've got unlimited, remember, because of the sort of treaty me and Kins have. Let's wear this. And let's do it. Let's go and kill the jungle demon. And I think I've nailed this with saying we'd be done around 145. We might actually be a little bit before that. But uh, this should be very, very easy. It's weak to range. We've got a huge range level and range attack bonus on what we've got. So this really shouldn't take long. Uh, where is the big man, though? There he is. Oh, yeah. We are hitting beautifully. Very, very nice. This might be the kill. Not quite. Boom. That is the kill. Surely. There we go. Awesome. Talk to Garkor. I, I, I feel like Zooknock. He just teleports you somewhere random. Yeah, he does. I don't know why that's a thing. Let's uh, teleport to Ardy and get the hell out of here. Um, and yeah, we will go back to King Narod Shireen. And that is going to be quest completed. It's just whether or not I can get 100k together for a Dragon Simi straight away. I'll have a look. We obviously have that like 50k from all that thieving we did. So I'm feeling fairly confident that we will be able to out of a few things um, and stuff like that just to get up to that 100k. But um, yeah, easy. Super easy. 1 minute 50 left or 1 hour 50 even. Oh, you get given 10k as well, don't you? That's going to help towards the funds. Okay, there we go. So if we go up and talk to Dario now, we will get some XP. Now I need to make sure... Uh, I don't know what to go in. I think... I think I'm going to go for the uh, the strength XP. Talk to Dario. Yeah, I think we'll go for the strength. Let's get that to 60. And, uh, and then we'll hopefully be hitting harder and stuff. Focus on strength and stamina. Uh, I'm, I'm tempted though, I'm tempted on attack, but nah, let's go strength and stamina. Boom, this is going to give us hopefully a level or two. There we go, 58 strength coming in, 67 hit points, really close to 59 strength, so that's nice. Not too close on the HP, but uh, 59 strength really isn't far off. Let's try and get 100k together, travel back to Apatol, and get ourselves a Dragon Simi, which is going to be massive for the account. So, so big. It feels great now having already unlocked to its entirety. I could actually be buying chocolate bars in Zaya as well. So I didn't need this, but it's a teleport. And like I said, I just saved a few minutes getting to this part of the map by not using a game necklace and running down to the center of Zaya or using the fishing trawler to then walk all the way up here. So we're now making those energy pots 67.5 XP each. We have 81 to make. Let's mix them all, see what level we get to, because this should get us decently high. I think all this will be like 6-ish K experience. 30, Now I believe that's defense potions. Yes. Oh, and we can clean toad flaxes. That's good. That is very, very needed and good. And then these defense pots are going to get us to, I believe, level 32. Yes. So it is now time to get a lot of unicorn horns. When I was picking my chunks, I actually thought about picking the chunk right above the one I unlocked, which gives access to black unicorns, actually. But they're level 27 and not 15. Um, it might have been slightly faster. I really don't know. But these two are pretty close together. And I can one-shot them with, with relative ease with these... Uh, rune bolts here and i'm trying to save spot them like that so i could literally pick up the horn 
uh, my bolts and hop worlds and not have to wait that 10 second delay every time I get in combat, which is of course every time I hop. And about 53 minutes later, we get exactly 162. So let's not waste any time, guys. Let's just uh, mix them all and see what level we get from this. It's not going to be enough, but hopefully it's close. The last nine, I hate this so much. I really do. So if we do the dig site quest, that will actually get us to 36. So that's what I'm going to do right now. The only herb I really have left to make is Taramins and the Renars, but I can't get any more... Um, white berries so it's gonna have to be the taramins or questing or actually definitely a mixture of both so let's go do the dig site quest right now i'm probably just gonna bank everything we need to get light actually we might have a really easy route to it here we're not gonna need the dragon longsword anymore and i think that's gonna give me 50k there we go absolutely awesome all right let's uh get out of here bring our monkey talisman boom and uh, let's go and buy ourselves a dragon simmy. Here we go, one hour 45, and we're gonna have a dragon simmy. That's the wrong shop. This one, dagger. Is that the price it should be? Yeah, 100k, boom. Oh yes, let's telly out. Okay, let's not telly out of here because we will get absolutely destroyed if we stand here and, and put the, uh, and take the talisman off. So let's go behind here. And let's do that. Telly out. Ardy. Dragon Simi on the account, guys. Dragon Scimitar. Oh, yes. That is beautiful. That really is. Um, okay, I think we should go and do the grubby chest now because we've got the um we've got the level for it. 57. So let's go do the grubby chest. Uh the quickest way there is probably gonna be home tellying, to be honest, and going through Port Sarum. I think that's the only way we can really get there. So yeah, let's grab two keys out and let's see if we can get ourselves some super attacks and stuff. That would be amazing. Okay, I decided to bring three keys instead just because then I could do two trips because we've got six total. I can do two trips that way. And uh, if we get any like egg potatoes or anything, I'll just drop them. So here's the first key on. <laughs> oh, yes. We get ourselves the super set, which is exactly what we wanted to see. Let's go again. We get some toe flax, some a ranging pot, super defense, and some sharks. And the last key. Ooh, we get a crystal key. I think I actually have another crystal key to use, which I just keep forgetting about. So uh, we will have a look at that. Uh, might as well take some egg potatoes now, seeing as we've got the space. Uh, very, very happy with that. That's a really good start. I'm going to have to run all the way back through the catacombs now. Oh, look how many freaking jades I got before I got an opal. Literally ridiculous. And there is the quest complete. 15k mining, but we want that 2k herb lore. 36, 2.3k away. Okay, I need to think for a second. Um, I, I have a few options. You guys probably guessed it when I said I was thinking, but the very cliche option of just killing k druids. And, you know, the reason I'm here is because it is the fastest. All I have is the Taramins and the Renars. You guys know I can't use the Renars right now up. I don't have any more um, berries in the bank, the white berries and the Taramins. I can't get access to be able to make the Sanfu Serums 207. The Quest Shades of Morton actually also gives 2k Herbler experience to make the Sanfu 207s, but I can't get back to that region, so that's off the table. And um, yeah, Limport Roots, definitely not doing that. Those take forever to get. I figured it's just much faster to come here, get new herbs, get new secondaries, especially Harrowlanders. Do we have any Harrowlanders yet? We do. Those are the best because you can just buy chocolate bars and each potion gives like 60 something, 67.5, I think. They're actually ridiculous. I think I could actually make uh, combat potions now, which are better XP, but that's a, that's a hike up to uh, the desert, so... <laughs> probably won't do that but this is definitely the method i know for a fact we're gonna get it i just hope we don't get it like last minute i i don't want to be stressed to have prayer pots in this fight snape grass i'll definitely snag a few so we don't have to get some later i know i have some of the bank from killing these guys but anyways i'm gonna stop rambling i'm gonna focus on getting these kills i'm gonna start prayer flicking going about it very sweatily and um yeah with just about 17 minutes left i'm pretty sure i have enough to get the level um, we actually got a decent amount of XP just cleaning the herbs there, so we need 1.9k experience. 
and um, should be easily, easily doable. I'm gonna have like a very awkward amount of time left over, but I definitely don't want to cut this last minute. Are we gonna get it? Are we gonna get it? Come on. Really? One potion short? Okay, round two. Three more keys. I'd like to see a ranging pot. I would, so please. No more super attacks. No sharks there. 200 deaths though. Take that. I will take that. Uh, again. No ranging pot. 10k. Not bad. Let's put these all together. Save as much space as possible. And we have our last chance here to get a ranging pot. I mean, we've already got a half, but it would be nice to see another one. Uh, let's drop some of these egg potatoes. Come on. Give me a ranging pot. Yes, there we go. The super defense as well. Few sharks. Okay, very happy with how that's all come together. Uh, we can't put anything together. So let's RD teleport. And uh, yeah, very happy with that whole, a whole ranging pot. Uh, loads of super attacks, super strengths, super defenses. Bit of GP and some sharks. Very, very happy with that. Bit tempted to try and get some more grabby keys, but... I sort of need to come up with a plan now because everything's been for items. Nothing's been for the fight. Okay, I've decided to go for killing the druids with range. The way I look at it is I can catch Kins up on range fairly easily. Obviously, he can keep training range and keep staying ahead of me. That's fine. But at some point, he has to start doing the melees. He has to start doing magic if he wants to like keep up with me. And the way I look at it right now is if he tries to keep up with melee, he has to do everything I've already done. Plus then Monkey Madness, Lost City, all these quests that I've done. Whereas all I have to do is sit here, chuck on these two prayers, and attack these druids, and slowly get my range up. Get grubby keys. It just seems like a really productive way of going about things. We've now got the runite bolts. We can just sit here so nicely and just and just chill, to be honest. Oh, also, on top of that, I've got the blue dehyde chaps, I've got the red spiky vans, which Kins doesn't have at the moment. So my range attack bonus is far better than his right now. Uh, so I just think I'm in such a good position to try and catch him up, and, and it would be so amazing if we could be sat on, like, one level under or the same level as Kins range-wise when he's been putting so much time and effort into it. Um, so yeah, I think it's just a good all-round plan. Ooh, what's that? Amulet of Defense, nice. Uh, currently looking at 40k an hour, but I think it's going to go over that. I think we're going to be looking at 45 to 50, somewhere around there. But uh, very, very nice to see. Right, here we go. This is going to be 64 range coming in. There we go. Let's get this kill. And then I'm going to go over to the baby reds in the corner. Um, and I am going to chuck my melee gear on, which I've got with me. Um, and we're going to get an attack level and a strength level just because we might as well do that. So let's chuck this on. What do we get? Anything decent? Some cosmic runes. Got a lot of those at the moment. Uh, and yeah, just get an attack and strength level. And uh, yeah, go from there. So it turns out I actually had enough Karambons in the bank to fight this fight. Which I was getting a bit nervous because I used the teleport to get here through Nightmare Zone. And then I wouldn't be able to get to the Tazar. So this, this is working out perfectly. We have two Marantils. So after we buy the Green Man's Ale, we're going to go to Varrock. Kill some more Unicorns. Only make two Anti-Poisons. And uh, that should be enough for the level. And then of course the plus one from here. We're going to buy a few though. Because I want to make all my Prayer Pots. Or it doesn't have to be all of them. But I do want to make a lot of them. Alright, add those Marantils. I'm really excited. This is a long time coming. Add... The unicorn horn 37 drink that and the prayer potions oh my gosh this took way too long to get on this account I have like five and a half minutes to kill I'm just gonna kill chaos druids just to get some range XP honestly because I don't want to just sit here and do nothing for five minutes that's a complete waste of time and I can't really go anywhere in this time um, and I just figured chaos druids were closest so I'm gonna just kill five minutes worth and then I'll see you guys in Edgeville with all of my gear Right, guys, I'm going to be as brief as possible on this because I could ramble all day about why I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, long story short, I'm going range. The most predictable thing I could be doing right now, but I still think hybriding with magic is off the table for two reasons. Lack of magic gear and his red dehyde body. When I got the win with magic, that is, he didn't have the red dehyde body. He had one, he just didn't bring it. And I think he learned his lesson. Plus, on top of that, range is much more common of a style for him to use now because he was like 60-something. It's like 61. I forgot what it was already last episode. Um, but he has a rune crossbow. 
I, I'm honestly, I'm assuming he put his his XP into thieving and either got 55 and then you squirks or just got 57. I don't know what option he did, but I'm fairly certain he probably got his thieving up. It's it's the it's the it's the next progression in his range build to so the bow, the body, um, the prayers, and then the pots. It's the next big upgrade, probably the last big range upgrade for a while, to be honest. So he definitely definitely has that, and I think magic would just be a mistake. So we're going just straight tank range now. Some people might be thinking, well. The fight was really close. If you just go in this now, maybe you'll lose because he's going to have pots. But yes, but no. I now have the freedom of bringing prayer pots. I decided on three. I'm actually still unsure of that number. But uh, I want to be praying the entire fight. And I want to make sure I can keep Eagle Eye on so I can switch my prayers. And then that's the only thing I have to worry about in the fight. Plus the recoil, of course. <laughs> but uh, that that's for another story. Um, so that's kind of the plan. But I'm going to end it there. And I'll see you guys in the fight. All right, Peter G's. This is the plan. Uh, as you can see, going for the granite body, blue dehyde chap um, sort of combo here. The reason for that is I'm going to be switching to the scimitar. And I've looked into it, if he decides to just pray range and think that the scimitar isn't going to do any damage, bringing these three pots means that I will outdo his DPS. So if he just sits there like he did last fight and he's just like, actually no, I just want to protect from your rune crossbow, I don't want you to switch to that and hit me with a big hit, this will out DPS him. I don't know if bringing this much, you know, pots and stuff will mean he still wins because he will have more food than me, but this does out DPS him if he decides to just sit on protect from range. If he doesn't decide to sit on protect from range, because we have the blue dehyde chaps on, um, it gives us 108 range with 204 range defense. Also have a plus 28 magic defense in case he tries to go down that route again. Um, it just means that we're going to be way more accurate having the blue dehyde chaps. And of course, we've got the uh, spiky vams as well, um, rather than if we were just going uh, granite body and rune pl uh, plate legs. I looked into red dehyde body, rune plate legs as a combo, and it's actually worse across the two styles. Obviously, it's better when I'm ranging, but it's worse when uh, I'm meleeing. I would actually lose the fight um, DPS wise. Um, if I had the red dehyde rune plate leg um, on for if he did decide to just uh, defend from range. So this is the setup. That's the plan. Um, to be honest, until we get these stats up a little bit, um, the range is still lacking behind on him. I don't feel my melee stats are quite strong enough yet to be competing. Um, but obviously, we're going to work on that very, very soon. And then melee could really become quite dangerous. Obviously, the scimitar is quicker than the rune crossbow as well, so we will be getting more hits in um, than we were previously. Not going to bring the dragon dagger. I just want to see how this is going to do, but we probably will start bringing that dragon dagger in future to get those poison hits off and stuff. But just right now, I just want to see how this is going to do. Obviously, we got uh, 16 sharks from the gravity keys, so I'm using them. I really want to go ahead and try and win this one. Um, and yeah, that's the plan. Let's uh, see how it does. Link, how are we doing today, man? Four hours is up. Sorry, I just I just had an ice cube in my mouth. <laughs> I said, Link, are you ready? My guy's like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I took a swig, and it was too big of a swig, and an ice cube came with it, so... <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> right, Link, how are you feeling about this episode, man? Quite happy with my progression, but I, do I, I feel like you and me have gone down different paths. I feel like you went down the whole, like, okay, get my skills up, get some items together, and really... And really try and like maximize your DPS quite early on. Whereas I feel like I've gone down the path of like, okay, I'll try and get a broad range of things, get my plan together, and then work out where I want to put my XP and stuff into. So I feel like I've got a good range of stuff going on, but I don't feel like I've put enough XP into any particular combat style to be OP in it, if that makes sense. Right. No, it does. It does. Um, it does. So Definitely. I'm quite happy with my progress, but I, I still, I'm still on that sort of side of I, I do feel like you have a better build in the PvP sense right now. I had one goal the entire time I filmed today, and right, I'm not gonna say what it is. You'll just uh, have to wait and see. Link, let's start with the combat level reveal. Okay. And yep. uh, we'll take it from there. So three, right. 
two, one, go. Yep, that's Ooh. higher. That is definitely higher. Ooh, okay. Shit. What was he trading? Okay. That's gotta be. I feel like that's gotta be melee. I don't know. I, I don't know where you're getting those combat levels from. Is that like you magic based still? No way. Uh, we, I, I went and just got 70 prayer and got piety, mate. So yeah. Me, mate. <laughs> and how'd you do that? <laughs> Fuck's uh, sake. There's this thing called the Grand Exchange. It's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake. Uh, uh, okay, yeah. that's a bit nerve wracking. Um, um, I guess my biggest give me fear. A look up, mate. My biggest give fear is up. that you somehow manage to um, get a dragon simi, but I know melee is probably your weakest combat style right now. He's got. Uh, oh, he's I got think it, it okay. literally went attack and, and strength went up. I think that is it. Right. Um, okay. I got up to I got up to a few things this episode. Um, Was monkey mad? It's fun of them, Link. <laughs> If you look at the thieving level, I also got fifty-seven thieving. So that, like a lot, a lot happened. Oh it yeah, like you know I saw that, dude. I <laughs> expected that so hard. I looked right fuck it over it. Like yeah, right, uh -huh, yeah. Uh -huh. So so I, you know, it wasn't just like I was training all episode. I had to get the thieving level, and I had to do that, and then you know, obviously the grubby keys are now huge for me. Yeah, he's gonna have ranging pods. Um, I I I mean, this is all things I've well, the ranging pods I definitely saw coming. 50 attack, 50 strength, that's the same, because you did that for Ibans. Uh, uh, 64 defense is the same. 68 range? Yeah, we did go up a range wow. level. I unlocked the chunk with the Elder Chaos Druids. And oh, right. I was just... just the... Yeah, just sat by the altar, yeah. getting mm -hmm. like... I think it was like 55k XP an hour. And that's wow. with banking and stuff. I'm only banked once. Wow. But like wow, that was that's ridiculous, mental. yeah. Oh, okay. I see what you did. I see what the you elder did. The elder chaos the, Druids the, didn't give it away. <laughs> like shit. Thirty-seven prayer. I mean, how yeah. how how was that for you? That it, dude. It took me all episode to fucking get it. Um, it's not that big of a deal because you know I, I trained in the process as well. Um, yeah. but it got to the point where it was like. I don't have enough herbs to get the level if I sacrifice Herbler XP for just better combat XP. Yeah. Um, so I did Dig Sight Quest, and then I just started killing like the normal Chaos Druids, which right. then taught me to 68 range. I think it actually got me a little bit. Yeah, I'm like one fourth the way to 69 now, and uh, right. just got herbs, and I finished with like 12 minutes left got the level it was fucked okay yep. all right so prayer pots are now unlimited because we yep. both have access to them okay yep. cool yep. cool 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 i so, mean let's get into the reveal man i'm, I'm itching yeah all right link call first item let's do it all right let's go body mate let's see what's going man, there we've been trying wacky things recently i don't know what to ever expect <laughs> from my guy <laughs> here comes the reaching top or something. <laughs> okay uh, yeah so you go in melee well I don't know if supposed to take out those green DI chaps, <laughs> throw them on legs. Uh, dude, how long did that take you to get? I had it last episode, mate. I told you this. You He's did. already forgotten me, isn't he? Wait. <laughs> yeah, I, I said, yeah, I did Hunter, and I got my red spiky bams, and I got my blue DI. Wow, I genuinely, forgot, <laughs> genuinely forgot. Genuinely <laughs> forgot. I mean, I, I knew about the red spikies. Fuck's sake. Yeah. Yeah, um, I mean, I ha I got them last episode. So, okay, yeah. okay. Wow, well, fuck me then. <laughs> um, <laughs> Shit. Well, let's go gloves, mate. Seeing as we're talking about the red spikies, let's let's see, wag one. Greeny boys okay. still. Okay, all right. Greeny boys. Um, let's go shields. They're gonna know what to expect Ooh. here. I would, I would, if you hadn't told me you were trying to get herbs all episode, that you'd have a rune kite. But I'm guessing you didn't have time to go hit up the. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, uh. Um, with unlimited rune bolts, a rune kite was not on my plan this episode. Yeah, I mean it never yeah, has yeah. been. If it it, it would have been welcomed with open arms, would have gotten it. But yeah, our rune kite RNG is not there. Uh, um, I, to be honest, I definitely haven't killed sixty four of them, so I'm not or sixty five, right. so I'm not. <laughs> I'm not too stressed about it. Let's go necklace, mate. I'm sure this hasn't changed. Nope. Yeah. Cool. Uh, boots. To get sneaky boys or anything? Okay. No, so... I can't. I can't get them. Why is that? Don't you have? I a... don't have. I don't have access to the snakes that drop oh, snake hide. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay. 
Yeah. Yep. So I don't either. I'm like one unlock away from it, but I've just been right. too stubborn to actually fucking do it. So because <laughs> I just think it's gonna take a, an, an okay amount of time, and for like plus one well, I mean, bonus. I I, I looked at it and I was like, am I gonna waste a chunk unlock for fucking like a two plus range? Like, uh, nah, you yeah. know, probably not. Uh, let's get helmet. Cool. 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 Cape. He's not making that mistake again. <laughs> He's that, I'm gonna not. see that cape in the finale. That ain't going anywhere. Um, obviously recoil, runite bolts. Yep. And then it's just weapon, mate. Correct. Yep, yep, yep. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Okay. 59 Monkey. strength, though. I, uh,. I, you know what? It's this. This will tell a lot. I think you know because mm. if, if this yep. is a close fight and you predominantly use melee, I mean, I don't know what your plan is, but yeah, as you say, mate. That my, that was my preview before the fight. I want to see how this dragon simi does, how it holds up, um, and just whether or not you're going to worry about it. You know, might as well give it a test out now when we're lower combats and and just see what happens. I like the way you think. I like the way you think. Mm. Let's see what he's got today. Obviously that. Yep. Obviously that. Uh, yep. I'm bringing three prayer pots. I don't know how many you're going to bring. My sort of plan was to outlast you on prayer today, Same. but, you know, I got two of these. Yep. So I, I mean, you, you had a lot of fucking keys, so. Wow. Yeah, shit. Super I sad. mean, it definitely makes sense, but does that scare you at all that you have just so but many? My, my thought process is. Filled up? My thought process is. Each prayer pot allows you to keep all the prayers on as long as you want, effectively. A hey, thank fuck. Um, so a prayer pot's worth more than food, you know, just because you'll be able to keep on things for the whole fight. So each one of those prayer pots pay their weight in food. I think the ranging pot is just needed to at least compete with you. Mm. And then the super set, again, it needs to be there so I can see how effective it's going to be. So it's a bit of a test. It's a bit of a see um and that's why i brought the sharks to make up that food difference or at least try right. to yeah I, um, I, you uh, yeah actually you definitely have more heals than i do it's close so, it's close yeah, yeah. so i guess i'm it's experimenting just... in a way as well because this, this is the first time i can keep on everything the entire fight and really have zero worry about running out of prayer so yeah yeah yeah, yeah for sure right for let's sure. um the top worlds man american right. ping whoopty fucking do let's go Right, I'm feeling a bit anxious on this one, but I'm excited. Link, um, you get first hit, of course, so give me that two-second yeah. warning, and we will fire right into this. Cool, I've got a lot of pots to eat. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Drink, uh, okay. Link, you're going to get roasted for that one, too. <laughs> for fuck's sake. Yeah. Uh, let me just chuck everything on, make sure we've got the right prayers on. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Okay, cool. All right, man, I'm going to start drinking, but it's probably not your two-second warning because I've got a... Okay, probably a two-second warning now, mate. So... All right, do that. You ready? Yep, ready, man. Let's uh, do it. Okay. All right, don't okay. pick up bolts. I am... I know! <laughs> ...quite happy about that. Yep, I was scared that I was gonna make an appearance. It's happened. I thought you were so scarred from uh, Trailblazers with that spec. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I was like, will I ever see it again? <laughs> oh, nice, nice. Give you that one. That was good. Thank you. Thank you, kind sir. 
Fuck, he I heard my click. He heard my I click. I did fucking Fuck, no did such it. thing. Wow. I cannot He's, believe. He, that is the equivalent of screen watching, guys. <laughs> what? Right there. Guys, right okay. There. The chat could hear, or the chat, I feel like I'm live streaming. The the audience can hear if, uh, if, if, if the click was there or not. Ooh, he didn't range that one. He's distracting me, guys, now. I know his tactics. I see. Things are important, mate. Important. Ooh. Ooh. I'm reading his moves now, guys. He's enjoying himself. I'm really not. I'm 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 actually anxious right now. I'm I'm more yeah. anxious about this than when I when I do risky your shit because I'm like it probably won't work. <laughs> <laughs> this I'm oh! like. Oh. Yeah, that wasn't good. That was not good. <sighs> All right. Well, one or was it a one or was that my recoil? I don't even know. Yeah, your range is is much stronger, man. I mean, I'm not. I'm I, like assuming I'm I'm praying correctly. Your range definitely does. Yeah. More damage there. Yeah, I switched that prayer too too quickly. I think. Oh wow, smited, smited, smited. He did zero. That you know, I should just get smited more fucking often. <laughs> it, Shit, it, dude, it, I never hit. It's the biggest I meme. Never it's the biggest meme these days. He's trying. He's trying. I respect it. I respect it, kids. Because you could, dude. You have a one fucking switch, or a one item switch, so you could do it same tick, and it's, dude. Why that happen again? You hit a zero, guys. It's okay. I feel guilty leaving runite bolts on the ground. Still, is that is that yeah, weird? Legit. Don't know if I got that or not. I don't think I did. You look like you're fighting Jad over there, mate. Dude, my prayer goes down so fast. If it looks like I'm flicking, I'm just running out like a fucking idiot. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Go, go, go. Ooh. Oh, man. Poor prayer management. Oh, yes. <sighs> it. I'm out a prayer. Okay. <sighs> Come on, big hits. Big hits. Oh, yes. And again.
Yes! Oh my wow. god. Come on, hit, 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 hit. Yes! I'm out. Come on! I'm out as well. All right. <sighs> wow. Fuck! Wow, 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 wow. wow. Whew, okay. Oh, that was close. That was really close. I think Link said 30 HP was the difference there. A lot of mistakes on my end. Um, the biggest probably just being that I didn't start flicking Eagle Eye much earlier. I know I could have done it earlier. Looking back, I thought I had enough prayer to be honest. Uh, thankfully, Link made the same mistake. Um, doesn't excuse me for it, but on the bright side, it does mean that our account builds really are that close to each other. We both made the mistake and it was an only 30 HP difference. So um, yeah, guys, let's spin the RNG wheel and see what we get. 308, let's take a look. All right. I mean, yeah, happy. It's been two episodes since a one, so I'll take it. Um, yeah, I, I don't really know how to feel about it because I did bring sharks. Um, I was pretty late on my recoil, not gonna lie. Um, so I think if I'd been good on my recoil and Kins had had sharks as well, I think it would have been really, really close. It probably would have just come down to who hit the, the last hit in terms of like, we would have both been one shot. Um, so I don't really know exactly how to feel. I think we've got some time now to go and chuck some uh, some XP into the, into the combats next episode. So we'll definitely be able to get a few max hits, hopefully. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We've got 100k skilling XP as well, which is nice. So we'll, uh, we'll be able to put that in for our reward. But anyway, let's see where we're going to go next. Uh, 472. Let's generate... 446. Wow, that's good. That is good. That is good. Honestly, guys. Honestly, guys, I think it's time we start doing barrows. Maybe maybe we rush defense. This is like a sign. This is a Maybe it's time to rush barrows, guys. I mean, I again, I don't have the defense level, but this is a sign, man. I'm getting all these chunks over here. Maybe the RNG gods are calling for the, for this chunk. We already have it, but to go to this chunk, to use this chunk, to utilize it. But there's some stuff we could definitely do with 308, which is right here, and uh, we'll make it happen, man. Maybe, um, maybe Avas could go for Avas. Is ooh, ooh, okay, okay. Uh, Tybo One Eye. Don't know exactly how to feel about that. Don't have this chunk unlocked, so we will have to go one up uh, to connect. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that. Uh, I think that does unlock um, snakeskin boots, though, because I'm pretty sure that's where the snakes are within Taibo One Eye. Um, yeah, I guess it's not too bad because we do have to unlock this up here for Holy Grail so that we can uh, get our melee prayers. Yeah, I guess it's I guess it's sort of within what we need to be doing. So not an awful one. Well, congrats, Link. That was insanely close. Bit fuming at that loss there. 30 HP it was, right? <sighs> yeah, 30 HP, no food. So, uh, <sighs> yeah, very close, mate. Very, very close. close. You can't get away from me that easy, Link. I'm, 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 yeah. I'm doing any, everything I can to get that slight edge. But GZ, Link. Alright, Bees and G's, welcome back to another episode of the PvP Chunk Progression Series. If you have missed any of the previous episodes, there will be a playlist up in the top right corner and in the description so you can keep up with everything you would have missed. In the last episode, I got this chunk here, um, which, you know what, looking into it, it's actually okay. It means we can go and complete a couple of quests that I probably would have done anyway. Um, I'm not 100% sure I would have done them, but the fact that we got this chunk makes me think we might as well do them now. Um, and it actually means we have to open up the rest of Karamja. So uh, we're using five unlocks here to open up pretty much the whole of Karamja. I mean, there are these chunks down here, but that's Legends Quest stuff. And to be honest, right now, I don't think Legends Quest is going to be on my mind at all. Uh, but what it does allow us to do is it allows us to do Jungle Potion and Shiloh Village. Uh, these are all the chunks needed for those two quests. 
Um, and yeah, they're going to be two important quests on the road to winning this season, I think. Um, so that's why I'm spending all my unlocks here and not really focusing over on barriers yet. Um, that will be definitely something that we think about uh, very soon. But, you know, as of right now, we still don't have a 70. None of our combats are in the 70s. So uh, it's not even possible to do uh, as of right now. So, on top of that, I got 100k skilling XP for winning last week's episode, and uh, I put it into a little bit of smithing. Um, we went from 1 to 30 smithing, and then we went from 1 to 48 fletching as well. Um, so that's where my XP went. Um, you know, fairly obvious why. Dragonstone bolts are going to be pretty big. Uh, later on in the series and I think whoever gets them first is really going to push back the other person because then that person has to start trying to get anti-fires um, either by getting the pots making them getting them as drops or getting a anti-fire shield and that is a horrendous shield to bring to a fight so uh, yeah it will be interesting to see who gets there first it's like it's like the uh, the dragon fire race at the moment that's pretty much what's going on hey guys and welcome to episode 20 of the pvp challenge series i had 80k that i have to put in any skill i want non-combat of course i put some of it into woodcutting got 36 because that's level for lost city i don't plan on doing lost city this episode but having the option i think is very cool and i think it's just worth going for plus I am five levels off of Rune Axe now, which I do have in the bank from Lava Dragons. And since I put the rest of the XP into Fletching, I'm thinking maybe if maybe if I absolutely wanted to or I needed something to do during the four hours, maybe Fletching during the episode wouldn't be the worst thing to do. But I don't plan on doing that this episode, but who knows? It might show up in the future, which is why I put it in these skills. Um, I don't think I'll ever put any more XP into Woodcutting. After 36, it just kind of seemed like a waste to be honest so that's what i do with my xp in terms of my unlocks it th this unlock screams animal magnetism but it's a lot of unlocks i need i would need this one this one this one this one and this one and unfortunately i actually would need these two and this one the the mine over here in remington i actually am unlocking them because i do think animal magnetism will come into effect at some point so that's why I am unlocking them how I am unlocking them. Of course, I had to connect this to the big landmass and then unlock those because they all have to touch. But um, I, you know, I can't do it this episode, of course, because I'm now missing all of this. So that was my plan. We now have a limited prayer pots, and I'm thinking with this, I should use it to my advantage. We can now kill things using Eagle Eye on pretty much everything we want. And I think there's one flaw well, major flaw in my plan right now, and that's that I'm still rocking an Addy Kite Shield. I just think if I had any other shields, <laughs> and literally any other shield better than an Addy Kite, that fight might have been mine in the last episode. But yeah, that's pretty much it, to be honest, guys. Nothing too exciting um, that I want to talk about. Uh, again, we don't always talk about our plans because I don't want to give Kins any ideas. Um, so, you know... We'll, we'll talk about it later on in, in other episodes, but I don't want to I don't want to spill everything that's on my mind right now. Um, so I'm just going to start the timer and we are going to hop into this and do Jungle Potion. Let's go. There we go. Jungle Potion completed. 775 Herbal XP. Not going to do anything for the account right now, but it does open up um, at least three or four things that I want to do in the future. Um, as I was saying, along with all the other stuff, I'm not sure if these are the snakes that we need to kill to get the snake hide. So let me just check. Hmm, I don't know. Um, if we get the snake hide together, we can make uh, snakeskin boots as well. So I'll have to look into that. I know it's this area somewhere, um, but I'm not sure if you have to actually do the uh, the mini game, the clean up mini game to get the snakes that you need to kill. Um, so I'll look into that. We've got to come back here anyway to do Charlotte Village. Um, I'm just popping up to the Tazar Bank right now. All right, we're now pretty much done with Charlotte Village. We've just got a few bosses to kill here actually and a boom didn't bring magic i just completely forgot to do that to be honest so yeah we're uh, we're just gonna do it in this i got a prayer pot with me so we're all good i think i can probably put the amulet of strength on as well yeah uh we had to wear the beads of the dead for the quest but i think yeah as, as i say i think we're good uh yeah there's three different variations and they can all be um you know protect from melee they all use melee so really not a big issue and uh, yeah, I think the quest is pretty much done after we do that. So not too bad to do those two quests, probably 40 minutes total. 
um, it will be in the end. So yeah, not too bothered. And there we go. Two quest points, access to Shiloh Village and 3,800 crafting XP. Beautiful. Oh, we got 63 crafting there. Very, very nice. Okay. Um, the next thing I want to do is get a range level. Um, if I get one more range level, I actually go up a max hit um, with the ranging pot and all that good stuff. So I think that's going to be uh, what we go for. I'm going to send a home tally and we'll, uh, we'll probably do grubby keys again. Um, just because that's going to make the most sense. Um, I think with the room crossbow and runite bolts and being at the undead druids, we can get like 40, 45 K XP an hour, um, which is pretty good. And on top of that, we get the grubby key chances. So yeah, we're going to do, uh, probably just under an hour. Yeah. Just under an hour of, uh, of training there. And then I, my thought plan. process is maybe I can kill Tazars, kill Tazars. Why? It's even rare that a rune kite from Lava Dragons, but I can get ranged XP in the process, and I can hopefully shoot this to 70 range. I don't think that'll happen this episode, but I want to kill some Tazars, guys. I think that's the coolest thing we can do. So let's fire on to the fight pits, get all those nifty prayer pots out of the bank, and uh, start getting some Tazar kills. Guys, I don't even think I'm going to save spot these guys. I think it's a waste of time running behind the vent. I think it will be much more beneficial to literally just drink these a lot more often. Because now that we have Unlimited, we could just sit here and, you know, protect from melee, eagle eye, and just absolutely dog these guys. Look at this. I'm hitting like a truck. I mean, it makes sense why I'm hitting like a truck. Now, of course, we want the shield, but the cape would be a very warm welcome as well, as that cape is leagues better than this. Uh, this has magic defense over the uh, Obsidian Cape by one by one measly bonus, but the Obby Cape, of course, gives defense stats all around. So as it turns out, it's much more easy to save spot without wasting any ticks than I thought. So this weighs much more chill, just as fast. We're getting around 40k experience an hour with range with the Eagle Eye doing this method. Not the best, but again, chance of the shield plus range XP. It definitely seems like the way to go. Um, as I'm sitting here doing this, I'm thinking about all the other ways I could possibly get shield upgrades. Again, Lava Dragons, it could even be something like doing Barrows, getting Chaos and Death Runes, selling that to the shop here. But again, no ranged XP when I'm doing that, and I just, I still think this is probably the best thing I can do for the account right now. 69 range, and wow, and 69k to another level. I kind of want to just stay here until 70 range. And then whether we have it or not, we leave. Um, if we get the cape and the shield somehow in 69k XP, then I'll also leave. But um, I think showing up at 70 range on the fight is just one, a great level to have. It's a very high range level at this point in the series. I am going to die. And also, black dehyde bodies are possible. I can't get it right now. Unless I somehow complete a hard clue scroll, <laughs> that'd be very, very hard to do. Of course, I am a bit of a ways unlock from actually getting the black dehyde body, because I'll have to unlock all up here, and that's just a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. So let's get 70 now. Let's hopefully get that shield, and then we'll move on to bigger and better things. This is going to be the range level coming in. No grubby key, unless we get it in the next kill. Um, no grubby key. Really, really upsetting, to be honest. The druids really haven't been great to me um, with the grubby keys. Um, so yeah, a little bit annoying, but that's the way it goes. Can't win them all. Um, but <laughs> talking about other things, 61k just in alks and, and GP drops. We've got a few herbs. We've got loads of runes here. Um, the law runes are they're not all dropped um, here. I did bring a few because we did a little teleport, um, but the rest I think are all dropped. I think I did bring a few nature runes and fire runes as well for some startup alks. But since then we've had so many dropped. Um, so yeah, I mean that's the reason why I went here instead of the red dragons. It's just because we can get a little bit of loot. There we go. There's a 65 range coming in. We can get a little bit of loot, which will help me just with my passive money sort of grind. Um, but I do think we are going to have to go for the baby red dragons if we want to go for grubby keys. Just because we'll kill so many more of those in the same amount of time. So yeah, this might be my last time at the druids. I don't really need any more money. We're looking at quite a lot of money now. Are we going to get this kill before the prayer runs out? We are not. Come on, grubby key. Grubby key. Please. No. No. No grubby key. Okay, so now that we get unlimited prayer pots, um, it sort of strikes me that I could probably try and go 
for a uh, obby cape or a obby shield. Both would be huge. We've got unlimited prayer pots, so I can just sit here ranging with eagle eye. I looked at the DPS calc. It's very, very similar DPS as the undead druids. So I should be looking at like 40, 45, 50k XP, somewhere like that. I'm um, doing this. It's a 1 in 5, 12 chance of getting one of the items. So it's like a 1 in 200-ish chance of us pulling one of the items. So I thought, why not? Let's see what happens. We'll give it a few kills and we'll just go from there. Uh, we've got a bank right here. I can just keep stocking up on prayer pots. And uh, yeah, we'll just see what happens. Do these guys drop them as well? Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Guys! Yes! Holy crap! I was getting so nervous that I wasn't going to get anything. I mean, I'd prefer the shield, don't get me wrong. But we got something. Incredibly amazing upgrade. Slightly less magic defense, but higher defense all around. Especially that slash defense is what we're going for. Oh... Yes, I am freaking hyped. I, wow. Yes, let's get the shield now. Imagine we get the shield too. We've been here for quite a while. But 70 range is now achieved. Means black dehyde, which I don't have yet, of course. Um, yeah, there, there's still an hour and 15 minutes left in the episode. We have other things we want to do. So I'm going to finish off this last Tazar. Um, maybe we'll get the shield. Maybe we won't. But we did get the cape. But no shield, unfortunately. Still rocking that Addy Kite. Shield? No. Damn it. So like I said earlier in the episode, guys, we have a rune axe in the bank. We're 36 wood cutting. And the reason why I got that 36 wood cutting alongside Lost City was to try and fletch during the episode. Um, I wasn't sure I'd be doing it this episode. I don't know what the XP would be like at all if we're talking hourly rates. Um, I can make Willow Longbow's U unstrung that is and i i have no idea if it's worth doing it or not but i'll never know unless i try it so we're gonna try a little bit of wood cutting we're gonna fletch them into longbows bank them actually i'll probably just drop them to be honest it'll be faster which with it with the ship drop um and i'll get back to you guys very shortly just to, to see what the xp rates are like if this is like 20k fletching experience an hour it probably isn't worth doing it but I definitely want to at least try it and see what it's like and just have a nice baseline to, to figure out if this is something I ever want to do in future episodes. Because, of course, I got to cut the logs and then fletch the logs, and that's where it gets pretty annoying. The XP is absolutely trash here, guys. 14k experience an hour. I'm definitely not going to do this during my progression. Maybe it'll go up much quicker with a rune axe. Three birds nests, though. I don't even know how that happened. I think I am just going to get my rune scimitar out and start training at the baby reds. Uh, maybe get some keys and get a defense level. I am very close to a defense level. So let's go do that, guys. I will see you in the caves in the fourth O's dungeon. They only drop the cape. And to be honest, the cape isn't something massive because we will go for a fire cape at some point. Uh, I did consider it doing it this episode, but I just don't think it's worth it yet. Um, if I do have a failed attempt, no drop. If I do have a failed attempt, it's really like, it's a bit of a waste of time. And obviously we're still fairly low on some stats. Um, I'd rather just do it when I know that I'll get it straight away with no problems. Um, but, you know, the shield would be really, really huge because it actually gives higher range defense than the rune uh, kite shield does right now. And it also gives a melee um, attack bonus or strength bonus of five. So it would be really, really huge to get. I'm fucking raging. I am raging. It drops three items. Two of them I'd be more than happy to get. And we get a fucking Ketom. I'm, oh, I'm raging. I am fuming about that. I don't, I don't, is it worth bringing? You know, range, bolt, 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 and then bring out the Ketom every so often? Could be worth bringing, guys. I'll have to look into that, but it's definitely not the one I would have wanted. Um, the XP's decent. I'm staying here. We're getting a little bit of tockle. We're also getting insult heads, so yeah. <sighs> I am in shock. When I saw that item on the ground, I was like, yes, this is it. <sighs> ah, fuming. 
Oh, also, I had the uh, V-Clock minimized again. That's why it wasn't going. But as you can see, we're still going. We're still going. That is 66 range coming in. Um, I'm just going to get an HP level as well. Um, I think what I'm actually going to do is we're going to go over and try and get ourselves a grubby key um, at Red Dragons. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do because, you know, this is good. Unfortunately, we didn't get it, but we did get that. Um, you know, Obby Mall, and that will sell for, I think, 18-ish K, uh, Tockle. So it does save me a lot of money, um, or at least, uh, Chaos Runes and stuff like that because of that. Um, so it wasn't a complete waste of time. We also got the range level, 66 range now, which is awesome. Uh, I might go for a defense level, uh, because that does need to get to 70 anyway. So, yeah, we might go melee. Yeah, fuck it, let's do it. Hey, we got a grubby key. Yes. Okay, I'm getting a little bit low on HP, so we're going to dip out. But before we do that, let's open up the grubby chest and see if we're going to get anything decent. I want to see ranging pots, to be honest. A half pot would be amazing. Oh, we don't get it. Oh, we do get bruised, though. I have been doing a ton of thinking with how I possibly want to introduce poison in my plan. Range is 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 actually really bad when it comes to poison and I mean really bad between melee and range they're, they, they can't even be compared It's leagues different with melee. You have a one over four 25% chance of poisoning your opponent If your weapon has poison on it 25% chance with range it's halved so one over eight 12.5% chance range also does half the damage with, with the poison and let's say I even got a weapon poison drop. Because of course, if you have the poison, just you might as well use it. It's extra DPS. But if I got a weapon poison right now and I put it on my runite bolts, let's say, it'll poison freaking five of them. Five. Five rune bolts P plus I'd have if I got weapon poison from those spiders that are over there. Five! It's, it's that at that point, it's not even worth bringing because then, uh, then I have to waste an inventory spot to freaking bring those and I might not even poison him. We, we all know my poison luck. Now, of course, that rune dagger plan, you poison the dagger, you bring it. If you get lucky and you hit him in the first few hits and you land that poison, it is 100% worth it. It's worth the sacrifice of the food. But I did that much earlier in the season with an Addy dagger and it, it didn't work. I, I think I was getting a bit unlucky because I was I was hitting them again one over four chance of poisoning <laughs> took like seven eight every time to poison him and um, so that that that's the problem with bringing any switches I don't have like a dragon dagger I could bring but I guess what I'm trying to get at here is I'm I am really trying to think of ways to incorporate poison into my plan before I get to emerald bolts because honestly he's going to see emerald bolts coming he's gonna see it coming he's not stupid um, honestly, Emerald Bolts aren't even a big factor of my plan because Myth Bolts fucking suck. Okay, I might, I might snag an early win if he doesn't see it coming, but it's so easily counterable that, you know, the, the Mithril Bolts Enchanted aren't, aren't a long-term strategy. So, I want to try to throw him off his game before that's even an option, before he sees it coming, so then he always has to have that anti-poison on him i guess that's the goal i don't I, I don't know how i'm gonna really incorporate i really did think about going down the route of getting a rune spear and getting the karamja poison on it uh of course i can't because i didn't get the correct unlocks but I, w it was, I was thinking about going down that direction but i'm just thinking i'm just throwing everything to rng at that point um, which is why I ultimately decided to try to go for a shield and, and get 70 range. Because I knew even if I did not get the shield, 70 range would 100% happen. Same thing with defense. We'll definitely get 65 defense um, with maybe the addition of a grubby key or two. Ooh, oh, I don't... Oh, I thought that was a rangy pot. <laughs> okay, okay. Brews are nice to see. Really, really nice to see. I just missed 65 defense coming in there. Uh, I still got to make some recoils up, so I think after this kill, I'm going to home teleport, make the recoils, and then I'll probably come back here uh, with some range and just try and get another grubby key in the last half an hour or so. Uh, so let's home teleport. And yeah, that will be the plan, and then I'll show you the setup. Forgot to record it, but we did get a grubby key, which is nice. Uh, I'm doing a few red dragon kills 
just to be honest, because I think I'm going to need some dragon bones later on in the account. Um, and we hit fairly well on it, to be honest. So, yeah, I'm doing like one every so often just to grab a dragon bone here or there. But uh, the XP here is just insanely good. Right, here we go, guys. This is the setup we're going to be going for. Let's get rid of the link cam. There we go. We're going to be going for this setup. I'm bringing the black cape because... I don't think either of us go magic this episode. I really don't. It gives two range bonus. I know that sounds ridiculous that I'm, I'm not taking the Sara cloak, but I can't see him going mage. I just don't think, I think we're over that now. Um, and yeah, I, I just, I, I can't see it. So I'd rather two range defense. It does actually make the DPS a little bit better swayed in my favor. So, I mean, obviously it would, it gives a bit of range defense, but like more than I thought it would. Um, then on top of that, I'm going for the tank sort of look. I am going to sort out snakeskin boots next episode because I don't really need these climbing boots. I'm bringing the dragon dagger, uh, switch because I didn't bring any poison the last two episodes or I did but he brought an anti-poison two episodes ago then last episode I didn't bring any poison he brought an anti-poison I think there's a chance he might go for it and be like ah Link's not bringing it anymore um so I'll take that and I will use my specs well I say that now you know we'll see but I'll try to I'll try to and um, then we've got the ranging potion I've only drank one dose out of the uh the four that we got total so we've still got three there I'll try and only use one but I might have to sip twice um, and then we've got the super defense prayer potions, the four sharks we got from the grubby key. I should have probably opened up the other grubby key we got um, to see if I could have pulled some sharks, but didn't have enough time. Well, I did have enough time, but I wanted the XP. Uh, two recoils, and then we have our cramp ones. I think that's everything. Um, yeah, let's see how this goes. So with three minutes left, we just tellied to um, the fight pits. We got the 65 defense we also did get a grubby key um didn't have time to open it <laughs> i was that pressured for time looking back i actually definitely did have time but i wasn't gonna risk it i don't need the ranging pots this fight because um i have ranging pots and super defenses in the bank so guys let's buy the food and i will see you in edgeville with my final gear setup Ooh, okay guys 70 range on the account 65 defense, 73 combat. What a number and a half. Of course, Runite Bolts, the same gear, plus the Abi Cape, which is pretty crucial. Plus nine in all defensive stats. The main thing about this setup is I am not bringing the green D high chaps because I just feel like even if he does go magic, my, my magic defense is high enough. I think chances are he won't, but even if he does go magic, I, I he probably will be hybriding and it, I, I think the plan could still definitely work. I don't think green D high chops will make or break it. So we're saving an extra inventory spot because of that. I, uh, I have to bring the Ansi because if he if he does have a dagger, 100% um, he, he'll win because the fight was that close. I figure I would not take my chances on that one. So yeah, guys, let's hop in the fight. Let's do this and good luck. Kiddos. My guy. I think Whoa. we'll just quickly jump straight into something that we spoke about just to get it out of the uh, okay. out of the way quickly. Um, guys, we feel like we're slaves to Grubby Keys and we don't want this series just to be become like Grubby Keys. So we are now going to get unlimited uh, range pots, super defense, super attack, super strength, super yeah defense. Um, just so that we don't have to feel like we have to come to Grubby Keys for two hours every episode and be like, oh, I need a defense pot, I need an attack pot, I need a range pot. Um, they are the only things we're going to get. We're not going to get unlimited sharks. We're not going to get unlimited brews. We're not going to get anything else other than those things because that would just be broken. Um, yeah, we just wanted to get that out because, I don't know, it's just getting a bit ridiculous, isn't it, kids? Yeah, and, and we just talked about this now, and I know we both wasted time in what you just watched well, not wasted. Again, he, there are other stuff we can get, but that's why it, it seems a bit weird. So yeah. if we're guzzling down pots like it's nothing, um, after this fight, we will get the unlimited pots. So I have a two dose in my inventory right now, so that explains that. You guys can't watch it, but just yeah. want to be full disclosure here. Link's probably going to drink his pots like crazy, I'm sure. So. I'm going to be a potty boy, mate. I'll tell you that. Um, but Kins, how'd you feel you went? How was your episode? Uh, it could have gone better, for sure. Okay. Could have definitely gone better, but I also think what happened was fair, you know? 
So okay, right. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you nothing. About <laughs> yeah, I, I'm living for it, so that's okay. okay. All right. Well, you know <laughs> How what? How about mate? you? Um, yeah, I I had a I had an interesting chunk and and just sort of worked around it. Um, Say yeah. No, actually, I okay. got um yeah. I got a bit of karamja. Um, but it didn't connect to anything, so I had to go like down one to connect and stuff. So I just I ended up just opening up a bit of Karamja actually. Combat level reveal first. Oh yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um, um on go. You, you yeah. Three. You count us in. Two, one, go. Ooh, you've okay, gone up you, a bit. You're the same. You're the same. You got up one or two. I think one, but right. honestly, I really don't know. Okay. <laughs> I really have no idea. I, I, was, I mean, as you know, I I killed I killed some baby reds, so you knew uh, my mm -hmm. my stats were going up a little bit. Seventy. Oh wow! Okay, you fired right into it. Yeah, shit. And you got sixty-five <laughs> defense as well. Yeah, dude, went up two range levels and one defense level. Jesus so, Christ! I, I guess I'll look you up, dude. The, the you broke the Discord. I heard the second half of that yell. Wow. <laughs> Wow, you must have done like okay. nothing else. No, I I actually killed like two and a half hours of something that wasn't Baby Reds. Uh, I don't want to say what it is because it might spoil it. Oh, um, fucking hell. But yeah, I was a grindy boy. Honestly, my first two and a half hours, I didn't have much footage. I ended up having like 12 minutes of footage because the second half was a bit more jam-packed. But oh, yeah, I'm a little that, bit worried. I mean, a little bit worried. Dude, you, you know, guys, you he like... scares so easily. I could wear... I, 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 I'm, get, I'm taking a punt, mate. You ready? Did you kill oh. the deranged archaeologist, get a black dehyde body, and that's why you've got 70? Okay, if I can get two range levels, get all the chunks needed, <laughs> got know, zero magic levels in the process. Wow, you smashed. I don't know how I'm doing that in four hours. Uh, Fuck's sake. You never know, mate. You never know. Um... <laughs> Um, 62 attack. I think you had that. Maybe you were 61 last episode. 59 strength. That's the same. Up a defense. Did you go up a range level? Or were you 66? I did go up a range and defense level, yeah. Okay. Prayer same. Magic, I think he was 67. I did a little bit of questing at the start. Uh... Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. he had Karamja. He oh, he's does he have the fucking tease? The 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 Guthix rest. You've got to do one small <laughs> favor to do that. You got to go like round the whole map to do that shit. Yeah, maybe um, he did Shiloh. Maybe he's doing the preliminary steps. Um, I did Shiloh jungle and jungle. It, it, is your plan the tease? Because I can't think of any other reason to do Shiloh. Yeah, they're the tease, but okay, I looked okay. into it. It's fucking horrible to try and do it with this chunk system. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah, that's what I uh, that's what I got up to. I needed exactly five unlocks around Karamja to connect up and do both those quests. And I was like, fuck it, we'll do them both. So I did both of those. Um, okay. Yeah. Man's thinking ahead. Now, 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 look who's playing the long game, guys. I always play the long mm. game. I just don't mention it. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Throw on that helmet, big man. Okay. Uh, let's go cape, mate. Wow, cape firing right into the cape. Shit, you can't even let me keep it a secret. Wow. Fuck. Hey, bro. <laughs> Not even letting me, like, sit on this for a while. Did you get that as a drop? I did. I was going for the shields. I but fucking hate you. I hate you. I Why? hate you so much. Wait, what? What? Okay, talk. Talk to me, Link. Nah, talk you'll to see. Me. You'll see. You'll see. Okay. You'll see. Okay. Oh, okay. Fuck's sake. Oh, uh, let's go. Fuck. Body. Joke. 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 I. Uh, but you know, we we've talked about this, Link. Like we we've said it in calls in front of the fans too. We we said we'd never do that again, and my man's just brought the uh, the normal cape out again. Yeah, okay. I was like, he's not going magic. It's not happening. So yeah, I was like, I'll take the two range defense. Um, let's go gloves, mate. <sighs> okay, okay. Not the reds yet. I know they're coming. Like I see you know, that. They only give a they only give a plus two range attack over the green. Like they're really not worth my time, you know. Legs, Fair. by the way. I don't, know, I don't know if you heard me. I see the thirty eight uh, wood cutting. So he's doing lost city. Uh, 
uh, with my 50 attack? Yeah, uh -huh. you got me, dude. You really <laughs> why, why else have you gone and got 38? You got me. Why have you got 38? Okay. Uh, well, I got 36 because it was the requirement, but I also have a rune axe, but I didn't want to waste any extra XP and right. wood cutting with the XP reward. So it was like, I don't want to get 41. I want to get close to it. What's a good level? 36. Right. Boots. Yep, yep. A lot of the same. The snakeys, yeah. A lot of the same. I started the snakeys. I did it for like five minutes, and then I was like, okay, this is going to take some time, so I'll come back to it at some other point. They give a plus one and over these, and honestly, they just it, take it, a while. It, it's and it's literally it 20 minutes. It. I think it's 20 minutes. It's fucked. Like, yeah. genuinely, it's fucked. Yeah. So, but for and, me, and, it's a three plus, you know? Yeah, and then you always have to factor in, like, is that little upgrade worth the X amount of time of training, like the yeah. opportunity cost? Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, your pick. Shield, mate. Did he upgrade this? I don't think he did with everything he was doing. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, it did not get it. Did, cool, not, cool, get cool. It. did um, not get it. And I'm about to show you why I fucking hate you. Mm -hmm. I can't even show you. I've totally forgot that I don't have 60 strength. I got an obby. I'm not bringing it, but I wanted to wear it in the reveal. I got an obby fucking maul. Were you killing him too? I was killing him too. How do we on the same episode decide to start killing them? Honestly, <laughs> so, I, 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 I wanted the shield, bro. Yeah, dude, I wanted, I wanted the, the shield or the shield. cape. I got the fucking maul. So Good. sit there and Shit. be happy. Shut Shit, the fuck idiot. Up. Oh, I'm very happy. I mean, I'm not like, uh, the, the, honestly, the cape isn't exactly like a make or break. I think the shields, it's much more crucial. But oh, yeah, for sure. I am for very sure. happy because this. In terms of defense, it's basically a Zami cloak. It gives one less, but you get flash defense and range defense on top of it. So as long as I'm not going magic, this is the all around best cape by far. Bit yeah. about it. All right, let's uh, cool. do the inventory reveal. Let's do it. All right, skins. All right, we have this, 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 this. Okay, all right. Shiny Correct. boys, crumb ones. What? What's that last thing? Is that a dragon longsword? Oh, oh fuck! Oh, yeah. oh. Dude, I'm sitting there in the in, in the gear reveal, and I'm like, do I bring it? 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 I was like, he didn't bring it last time. He might think I tried to not bring it. Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, I. Uh, that and... Okay. Alright. This is gonna be oh, close. This is gonna be very I interesting. Be. I hate this. Uh, I, you know what? I, I, I'd rather know one of us is gonna win so I don't get fucking anxiety during this fight, you know? <laughs> Let, let's go. Let's, let's do it. Do let's do it. Do it. Let's go. Alright, man. Warning. Two I'm second drinking. warning. I'm, I'm potting drinking. up. Potting up. All right, man. Oh, Ooh. Link, it's me who gets the first hit. Numb nuts, what Fuck. are you doing? Okay, restart. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, sake. Link. What are I'm you doing? Everywhere. <laughs> <sighs> right. I was, I was like me, or... Wait, yeah, I give you a two-second warning, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, cool, 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 cool. All right, cool. Hit me with it whenever, mate, and I'll start potting. <sighs> All right, man. GL, GL. Do I GL. have this right? Yes, I do. All right, I'm potting. Right. So two second warning, big man. Right? I don't have it right. Okay. Uh, oh, Link, you better it's it's still two second warning. Okay. All right. Oh. Good luck. Come on. Oh, that's a good oh, start. Oh boy. It's a good start. Oh, that's a really good start. Oh, what the heck? Oh, I just, I just ate a food. Oh my god. <laughs> I just... It's been a great start Fucking for Team shit. Link. I... Oh. Don't worry, we're using the specs as well, Team Link. We're not hitting, though. Okay. Rough start, but... Still very, 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 very early in the fight. <sighs> Two?
Gonna be another silent E. <laughs> I think every fight from this, you know, moment on will always yeah. be this silent. Yeah. <sighs> you know, I've never looked at the negative range attack bonus on that body. I don't know what it is. Do you know it's, what it is, Mighty? It's fairly high. It's fairly high. For sure. When, when you say high, like the negative is high, so pretty yeah, low. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's no way it right, gives right, that right. much range defense and doesn't punish you fucking hard, you know? Right, right, yeah. Like 97 range defense bonus on the defense, though. It's actually, like, insane. Yeah, it's huge. There's just no hits. Yeah. There is no hits, wow, guys. This is... I don't like this. I like that. I don't like that. I like that. Oh, what the fuck? He is not eating. Dude, I could, could I have killed you there? I don't know what my max nah, is through prayer. You couldn't have killed me. No way. I'll sound like 21 HP. Oh, okay. What's a 21 come? <laughs> Mate, if you can hit 40s fucking normally, then I'd be very worried. <laughs> very worried. I introducing Dragonstone <laughs> Bolts Enchanted. <laughs> Snuck in a little extra hit there. Glad I did. Little six. Oh, yes! What the fuck? Yes! Broken. Yes! Your turn to take some kids. No, thank you. <laughs> I'll pass on that part. Go, 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 go. did poison but luckily <sighs> he brought it with him got protection always use protection guys otherwise you get fuckers like kins running around the world <laughs> never go skydiving without a parachute if you know what i'm saying there we go imagine they came to watch a runescape fight and they're getting sex advice <laughs> Sex said with, <laughs> with with Lincoln Kinos. Oh, yeah, dear. I'm having no part in this. This is your show, man. <laughs> oh, dude, what the fuck are these hits? I mean, you're not hitting either, so. That's where I wanted a 16. Oh, just come to on. Up. Ooh. Oh yeah. Honestly, is 14 my max? I, I don't know if it I've, hit, I've hit a 15, so there's no Okay, chance. okay, okay, okay. Come on. Oh, what is going big on? Hits, big hits, big hits. Okay, there's a 15. Yeah, I probably did it a 15. I just didn't realize it. Yeah. Come on. Yes. Eight. Oh, wow. He had another... You wow, got and he, it hit zeros. I know, I'm they hit zeros. I was just waiting for you to change that prayer as well. Dude, the ping is fucked. We're in a UK world and it's like horrible. Come on. Hits, please. Oh, I thought you put on your dagger. Oh. 
Hit. Come on. He's out of prayer. Hit. Hit. Ha! Oh! What the fuck? Hit. I just can't hit with when your prayers fucking drop. I can't fucking hit. I I, I can't hit. I can't hit. Oh, oh my god. Be fucking Come on. Joking. Come on. <gasps> you have to be joking. Oh my god. You have to be. You are not out. Go. 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 No. No, dude. Oh my god. Hit. 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 Yes. You are Come fucking on! kidding me! Come on! Come on! Yes! are gonna be fucking raging with me. Oh my god. Three HP for ages. <laughs> for, for ages. Team Rock. I mean, you guys saw it. I had prayer. His prayer was dropped. I, I, I was perfect flicking, defensive prayers on. It just didn't hit. It just didn't hit. It just didn't hit. The granite body. The beauty. The beauty saving me there. Guys, I've just rewatched the footage and I'm sat here with a crab one shark and I'm not eating it. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. Rewatch the footage. Like, wouldn't it still be in your fucking inventory? What do you mean rewatch the well, footage? Well, I looked at it and thought, have I picked up yours? And then I was like, no, it's in the bottom corner. So I then rewatched the footage of the fight just to see what happened. And I'm sat there, dude. 23 HP or something. I have no nothing left. No prayer. And I'm sat there just allowing you. You could have one-hit me that whole time. And I could have... I, I, Team Link, I'm sorry. I'd love to say it was me just being a dick. But that wasn't. That was me being an idiot. All right, B's and G's. We actually didn't um, film the RNG picker. Because uh, we just ran out of a bit of time last time. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it now. Also, I lost membership since then. So we're in a free-to-play world. But uh, we will go ahead and generate this. Right, let's do it. Three, four, one. Really not too much else to say about that one other than how freaking close it was. Um, I was thinking I might have should have hybrided, but uh, the fights were really close. When I did hybrid and catch them off guard, it was really close. So anyways, let's generate. 378. Let's see where that takes us. I, is, is that in Mortania? 341 is. Oh, is this one we've got? It's not, but it is Draenor, which definitely connects to a lot of stuff around here. Don't think we've got this chunk, but we've definitely got the Falador one. We've definitely got the Barbarian Village one. Not a bad one. I'll take it. I'll take that. Um, just because of how easy it's going to be to use things around it. 378 that is right next to an, an unlock we already have the agility pyramid uh which means we can connect it all the way to mortania of course the xp reward is massive in combat here and maybe 70 defense is on the horizon and we have the barrows chunk already unlocked so big things could very well be happening next episode wow I'm s I, I, I would have cried. I would have cried if I'd lost that. Hey everyone, welcome to episode 21 of the PvP challenges. As you all know from last episode, we got put smack in the middle of the desert, but it connects to our, and I'm going to say it, giant landmass. I know you guys love that saying. Now, when we come up, 
it connects all the way to Martania, of course. Oops, so you know we're gonna unlock one, two, three, four, and then five up there. These four to connect me completely to Martania to get some barrows. And this one, because it, it kind of doubles as an unlock towards the um, animal magnetism quest for the Avas accumulator. And it kind of, I mean, honestly, the real reason is to get closer to Fossil Island. So those are my six unlocks and Barrows is completely viable. But to make it even more deadly, Shades of Morton quest must get complete. So that's the first thing we are going to do. Why? Because it gives us a telly to, you guessed it, Shades of Morton. And my XP dumped it all into defense. Every last drop, specifically knowing that Barrows is going to be the move. 35k away from 70, unfortunately. I'm a bit annoyed now because if I would have won that fight, um, I would have been 70 already. But we can't let things hold us back, so let's smash it, guys. So we just tell you at home. Funny enough, we actually need five fire making, so I'm going to do that really, really quick. Maybe we could just burn those logs. Honestly, I think that's what I'm going to do. I, o I only need five. Legit, I'm going to light all these logs, guys, and top worlds and just get five because five should take absolutely no time at all. Then we're going to get all the materials needed for the quest and just walk down there and uh, smash it out. Let's hope there's people doing it today. I know for Shades of Morton, it's much easier with more people, so I hope it's even possible. Haven't done that quest in so long. Already three? Honestly, I didn't expect it to be that quick, but... Then again, it is fire making. One of the quickest skills in the game. What's happening, Beza Jays? Welcome back to the chunk progression PvP challenge thing. Uh, if you have missed any of the previous episodes, I will leave a playlist up in the top right corner just here and in the description as well. So give that a click and it will get you caught up to date on everything you might have missed. I got myself a Draenor as my chunk. And the chunks I'm going to be opening up are this one here for Fairy Tail. Uh, this one over here just because I need to get uh, Camelot unlocked at some point and start working my way over there. So we're going to do that. Then we're going to unlock these two so I can do Nature Spirit. And then, of course, Barrows. I spent my 300k XP and I put it in to range. 71 range. I put all 300k into it. 71 range is what we ended up with um i did want to put a bit into defense but i had to i had to go with it i had to go with the 71 range so that is what we got up to um let's get into the episode let's fire into it so i think i can be really cheeky here there's a spade spawn here um, and when we get spawned into a chunk, we can't actually leave it. And I can't get out of drain or I can't get out of here to go to my bank and get a spade. Um, but for fairy tale, you need to dig up this grave. And I'm wondering whether I can do it before I even start the quest. Oh my god, you can. That's amazing. Because of how our chunks are structured, I can't actually get into drain or. Um, and I would have had to unlock the one underneath to do fairy tale. But luckily. Oh, I'm so happy with that. That's actually 200 IQ play there. That's an actual 200 IQ play. It means we don't have to go to Draenor now when we do the fairy tale chunk. I am over the moon. Over the moon. Or the fairy tale quest. Boom. Let's get out of here and let's do uh, what we're going to do today. The first thing we're doing is we're going to be doing the restless ghost because it is a prereq to everything we need to do. So get it done. Super quick quest. And then I think we're going to go and do the Ardy Diary just because uh, that teleport uh, on the on the cape and it being so close to a fairy ring that when we do have um, fairy rings unlocked, it will be a really quick way to get back and forth between barrows. Um, and I think it's going to be huge having that telly on your back constantly. Yes, please. Absolutely love this boat shortcut. Okay, we are, we are all geared up and everything. Um, so let's just smash this quest out as fast as possible. I'm also going to try to melee everything this episode. Well, aside from the Barrows Brothers specifically. But everything else, I'm going to try to melee even though I know it's slower. Because barrows is pretty pointless if i don't have 70 defense and i'd rather just get a few less chests done and 70 defense than get a barrows piece that i can't even wear and this was the method that i missed out on right here that's an incredible incredible low level uh, method to training herb lord because ashes are so easy to come by but herb lord doesn't really matter too much anymore unfortunately <laughs> so it turns out this place is absolutely popping i need 10 percent 
uh, sanctity to use the olive oil on the flaming altar. Sacred oil. Isn't this like a money maker? Oh, I thought it was a bit more expensive than that, but hell yeah, that was incredible. Um, until 20 sanctity. Oh, I have to go back. Okay. Well, you know what? We, we have the sacred oil now, which is awesome. I think we're pretty much done. I think I have to use this on here. Put these on here. Light it up. Light this motherfucker on fire. It is 2k herb lore as well. 2k crafting. Don't really need those. Now, I'm not going to waste any time. My dumbass forgot teleports. Uh, thankfully, we actually do have Canifis unlocked. So I'm just going to take this boat back real quick and not uh, think about it. My home tele was used, of course, at the start of the episode. Um, so let's get out of here and let's gear up for Barrows, guys. Because we can tell you right back here. Hands off my boat. What? Ultimately, my method is the method called waste as many prayer pots as humanly possible. Uh, because, of course, we have unlimited prayer pots. We just bought a bunch of fire runes. Only 205 death runes, but we should get those back with relative ease. I hope so. Um, so if everything goes according to plan, we should be smooth sailing for Barrows the entire episode, which will be really, really, really hype. Now, getting back here is extremely easy, as you guys are seeing. That teleport I can use every 20 minutes. So, as long as my trips are at least 20 minutes, I should be fine. With all these prayer pots, I don't have to worry about um, getting smacked out by, by any of these Barrow Brothers. I just will pray on everything, because it doesn't really matter. So, that's the beauty of having all these prayer pots. So, let's waste no time and begin. I thought this was the case. <laughs> just by complete chance, we're doing two quests that require the same, like, head, you know? Like, that is the same model, just recolored slightly. You cheeky fuckers at Jagex. Re they love to reuse their uh, their models, they really do. There we go, 1,100 prayer XP and the Goat Speak Amulet. Boom. Um, I think we're going to go do the RD... Um, Diary, as I said, actually, let's go this way. It'd be quicker. I don't know if it'd be quicker at this point now. Yeah, Ardy Diary. I want to get that out of the way. We've got everything we need for it. Um, I sort of did all the prereq stuff before um, in earlier episodes. Like, we got the, the rusty swords, etc. Um, because I knew I'd want to do it at some point. So, we've got everything locked down. And it's just a case of doing it now. And I think we also... Yeah, we've done, like, half of it already just playing so shouldn't take long right this is gonna be the rd cloak took a little bit longer than i thought but uh you know worth it worth it in the end yes please boom we are gonna put this into prayer because i've got to start getting on that prayer grind and there we go the rd cloak we can now telly here which is awesome so let's go on and uh, do all the quests we need to do so that we can do fairy tale one slash two all right, this should be nature spirit completed. Boom. The grotto is going to come back to life. And there we go. 3,000 crafting, 2,000 hit points, 2,000 defense XP. Very nice. Now we can move on and do fairy tale. Now this could be make or break, guys. We need a really good three items here. Uh, these are three random items from a list of about 30. I looked into it. I can get most of them. But there are one or two that I can't. Here we go. Come on. Give me good items. Good items, please. What did we get? A pair of secateurs, a slimy eel, a bunch of grapes, and an uncut ruby. We can do all of that. Yes. Oh, yes. Awesome. Okay. We can get all of those. Lumbridge, bunch of grapes. We've already got uncut ruby. I've already got. We literally just need to go to Lumbridge. Uh, let's just home tell you it. Let's do it. Uh, or just send the send the uh, Lumbridge tally. Oh, I'm gassed for that. On my hardcore, I got it. Um, and it was some horrible, horrible items I got. So I'm very, very happy about that. Right, I fucked up a little bit. And you actually need 28 fishing to be able to uh, catch the eels. So I just quickly did that. It's taken me like 20... Oh, man. Like 20-ish minutes. That's annoying. Okay, I knew it was going to be slow. I knew it was going to be really slow using the rune scimitar on uh, the little guys in here. Like skeletons, I'm definitely not gonna attack. I knew it was gonna be slow, but I didn't know it was gonna be this slow, to be honest. It's pretty slow. Don't know what I was expecting, though, with 50 attack. 50 strength, wow, 35 strength. Oh, maybe it's not worth it. Ah, fuck it. I'm going against what I wanted to do here, but I forgot he drains 
your strength level. So, okay. Sorry, guys. If, if we get an item, we're going to have to do some training this episode to, to wear it. Because, yeah, it's just going to be too hard. I'm a little nervous because going forward, I feel like it's going to be an RNG battle. Now, I'm going to shoot for around 88%, but I'm not going to kill myself over it either. All right, first chest. No, but you know what? We need deaths and chaos because we ultimately want to collect as many as we possibly can to sell to the Tazar shop so we can get the Obby shield because that is how I plan on getting an Obby shield. So if we're not going to get a Barrows piece, death runes and chaos runes are definitely what I want to see. Definitely what I want to see. Oh, there's a D imp over there, but I told the B's and G's, so someone's going to get it, but I can't get it on this account. I'm over here to actually grab some monk robes, and I also just healed myself with that monk over there. You know what? I have two of those in the bank, so we'll just do this, and that is more than fine. Okay, and now we go back. We, our, our teleport should be there, and we are golden. I've never actually killed the same brother twice in one run. I mean, it happens all the time if, if you just run past a brother um, and he spawns in the next room. But um, I know, obviously, this isn't going to increase my chances at a Barrow's loot, but I am curious to see if my reward potential goes up as well. It does. Oh, shit. Okay, cool. I mean, it's probably usually not worth it, but cool little fun fact. All right, chest number three, Bolt Racks. What was my percentage there i don't think we'll ever need these but we'll of course stack them just in case all right let's loot the chest chest number four coming up nothing death runes though we were getting close to running low there so i guess that's a, that's a that's a good sign fairy tale is uh, gonna be very close to being done and then we just got to start fairy tale too and fairy rings are unlocked, which is pretty huge. And uh, you know what? I, there's no way I'm not going to go send some Barrow's chests as well with hopefully two-ish hours left. And what I'd love to see is to get a drop, whether it be a range or a melee drop, just one of the two, because then I can actually work towards it. Like if it's range, like imagine we get a Carol's top or something. Oh my God. Like we get a Carol's top, even a bottoms, I don't know if I'd bring them, but it would just be such a huge upgrade, you know? And we'd be able to wear them instantly because we have that 70 prayer, a uh, prayer uh, range, you know? So, yeah, I'd love to see it, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, we got loads of money. We've got like over 100k at the moment. I've got death runes in the bank. We are set to go. Um... So yeah, we'll see what happens. If we get some melee armor, then it is going to be a case of... Oh, there was one here. There we go. Um... It's going to be a case of... Did I bring the bait? Yeah, I did. Oh, thank God for that. It's going to be a case of having to get 70 defense if we do pull something. But that's even if we pull anything. Because uh, I don't know if you guys watched season two, but I think I went 180 chest dry or something on tank legs. So uh, yeah, it's 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 painful. I don't want that to happen again. It sounded like I was choking up there. I just sort of, you know, choked. Right, guys, the Tangle Root fight. We can't use the super attack, super defense, super strength. Um, they are only for the fight. So that's why I've got normal um, attack and super uh, or strength even. Uh, yeah, I don't even know if it works against Tangle Root, the strength pot. Because um, it goes off your farming level. The damage is off your farming level, so I'm not 100% sure if that helps, but thought I'd bring it anyway. Uh, yeah, we can only use those for the fights so that we're just not spamming. Um, you know, I'm not going to lie. I wanted it. I wanted to be able to use them in the uh, in the challenge time. But Kin said, you know what? I don't know if I'm going to go melee or not. And he didn't want me to have that advantage. So for all of those who are like, oh, Link always decides the rules. I, I don't. You know, Kin said that, and I was like, fair enough. No worries, man. So, yeah, it's actually uh, Kinos who blocked us having the uh, the supers, the cheeky little fucker. Um, but, yeah, I mean, super easy, boss. We've got the prayer pots. We've got, <laughs> you know, it really it really doesn't need anything else uh, said about it. So this will be the end of the quest, and then we just got to quickly do a bit of fairy tale too. Um, and then we will be done. And then fairy rings are unlocked, and we have a super quick way of getting to Barrows. We've got the telly out, the bank near... A, a, a prayer refill. Oh God, it's all coming to it's all coming to plan now, B's and G's. I'm telling you that right now. And hopefully, we can pull a Carol's top. Would be that. That's what we want to see. That would be the one. All right, here we go. This is chest number five, I think. Chest number five. Come on. Oh my gosh, you fuck it. Oh wait, this isn't that good. Maybe he has a tank body with range. Oh my god, I can't wear it. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Let me tell you out. Oh my god, I need to bank anyway. I gotta think about this. Oh shit. 
Shit. Let's get let's get up the fucking wiki. Hold on a sec, guys. Um negative two range attack. Oh my gosh. I think ranging with this. But I only have green D high chaps. Oh no, 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 no. This is a very weird item to get. Oh gosh, no, sorry, I fucked up the timer. I mean, it's still going down, but you guys couldn't see it. I was looking at, you can see the barracks, oh my god. Oh shit, 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 shit. Okay, uh, I gotta really think about this now. Right, well, I mean, if we get like Carol's leather skirt now, that that's a setup and a half. That would be a setup and a half. I could also be mage hybrid with this. Only negative six magic attack. Uh, which is massive for a fucking plate body, essentially. So, yeah, crap, crap, dude, right. That's such a weird item to get. I really don't know how I'm gonna handle this. There's gotta be some weird strat that I could do that's gonna really, really help in these fights. Um, if it was like a Varric skirt, that'd be a lot more straightforward of a plan, you know? Because then just keep the red dehyde body, wear the skirt, same with the helm. But the fact that it replaces the red dehyde body is what makes this tricky. Unless I just did the same setup, but like tank maged. Oh, I can't go that way. Damn. Um, but like tank maged. That could that that could be a move. It only negative six magic. I don't know though. It's definitely tricky. By the way, I'm going to buy some food. Um, some of the um the gnome food because it's really cheap and I'm out of food in the bank. Um, so don't worry, still barrows the rest of the episode, or so I thought, I still have to freaking train, and XP is so slow. I don't know, I'm definitely gonna do barrows for the next, like, 51 minutes at least. I, that'll definitely take under two hours to get. I just don't know if, I don't know, I don't know now. Crap. I have a freaking rune scimitar still, which is the problem. 50 attack and 50 strength aren't exactly the fastest levels to be training with. Question is, can we get the back to back? I'm gonna say yes. I'm calling it. I'm calling it right now. I'm calling it right now. <laughs> oh no, I jinxed it. That's the worst loot we got all day. 6kc though. There we go guys, 3,500 farming XP, 2,000 attack, 1,000 magic, 18 farming coming in there as well. I don't think that's going to be very useful. We sort of had a pact at the start of the series that we said we wouldn't really touch farming unless it was completely necessary because obviously we need to get episodes out and if you're sat there waiting for like a tree to grow and you're like, sorry, I can't film right now because I've got to wait 16 hours for a tree to grow, it's a little bit inconvenient to the schedule. Um, I probably actually need to start the quest right back there. So let's just quickly do this. Or do we start it again? I think we start in uh, Draenor again, don't we? Where am I going? Start quest? Yeah, Martin and Draenor Market. All right, let's go back to Draenor and let's uh, get our fairy ring unlocked. I think this is going to be it, piece of G's. Configure. And there we go, V's and G's. We have access to the fairy rings. This is what we're going to be using. So we're going to be teleporting here. Um, and they're just running over to Barrows from here. And obviously, every time we're done with Barrows, we can teleport to the Monastery an unlimited amount of times to this cape, get our prayer back. And then there is... Oh, shit, I don't have that chunk open, do I? Ooh, okay, that changes my plan slightly. But probably not massively. Yeah. I probably could have done without doing this chunk and doing the Ardy Cloak, but that's okay. Okay, I've worked out my route. I'm going to be home teleporting with runes every time. Um, and then we'll just run to the Wizard's Tower. Um, and we'll use the Draymond stuff there. I don't have it on me. Uh, but there's a fairy ring right there. So with the home telly to Lumbridge, we can get our prayer back at the church. Um, and then we can just run here and grab ourselves the... Uh, the the telly i think that's probably f for now it'll probably be the best but i'm sure i'll refine that while i'm doing barrows and i'll have a proper think but i just didn't want to waste time sitting around thinking about the way best way to do it just wanted to send it i also need to buy a few more fire runes so that's why we've got 10k and i'm just gonna yeah buy some fire runes and boom we're good to go also guys kins is currently live he's streaming and he's at barrows I've worked out what world he's in and we've hopped to it. <laughs> and we're gonna we're gonna do Barrows while he's live and just see if he realizes or not. And uh, yeah, he's on his 2005 iron. So I think that'd be quite funny. If he realizes, I'm not that bothered because we're gonna he's gonna know in the reveal anyway that I went to Barrows. So yeah, this could be quite funny. We'll see if we get the reaction. Alright, I think we're coming up on chest number seven. Okay, we did need those death runes. We did need those death runes. Oh, all right, chest number eight. 
It's coming up. Chest number eight. Can we get lucky? Can we get lucky? 88. Oh my god. Ooh. Holy shit. Teleport. 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 I'm not melee based. What's the negative range on here? Sorry, it's, it's gonna fuck up my timer again. It's gonna it's gonna fuck up my timer again. Oh my god, 132 fucking range defense, 120 slash, negative 10 range attack bonus. I might just say fuck it. Holy shit, guys. What the actual fuck? This is kind of pointless. I mean, I can't wear that either. I can't wear any of this. What? Wait, guys, oh, guys, 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 I just want, like, legs or a helm, but, I mean, I'll gladly take this as well. I might have to fucking go melee now, dude. I, well, not this fight, you know, we're still rocking the 50-50, but, oh, shit, 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 Jagex, you won't do it again. You won't do it again. You won't. You won't. Okay. <laughs> oh man, imagine. Imagine it happened again, guys. It's going to. It's going to. You just wait and see. I am calling on Mod Ash directly for this chest. Mod Ash. No, bad. No, no. I can't complain. All right, so we're not going to get any extra reward potential this time around because I am about to die. We have 12 HP. Uh, please kill it. Okay, that's ticket in. Only 66%. That's fine. Do we get an- Dude, what? What? We already have that. Who remembers when this thing was, the, like, the most prized possession in all of Gilanor way back in the day? The Guthan Spear was, like, the thing to get. I mean, I'm ha I'm still happy I got it, because if anything, that's an elk. How much does this even elk for? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. It elks for... 60k. I'm probably never gonna use Guthans on this account. I'm never gonna get full Guthans on this account anyways. What? That's crazy. That is crazy. I I, I mean, I wish I could say I was excited, but I'm kind of not. That That's still wild, though. I can't believe that. I'm also gonna be doing um 100% uh, potential because then we have a higher chance of getting the, uh, the Dragon Med Helm, which would be a really, really nice upgrade. It'd be so nice to get it passively as well. Um, so we will be going for that 100% every time. Um, and that those odds go up even more when we get that elite clue. I'm sure we'll get an elite clue. I think I got I think I got it last time we did this on the season two. So yeah, that dragon med is something I'm going for as well. So uh, that's why you'll see the potential up at 100. Kins is in the crypts right now. I am watching the live stream as we're going. He's got a few people. Oh, we're lagging. He's got a few people following him as well. So I, maybe one of them will realize. But uh, yeah, this, this should be funny. Anyway, let's put on Ivan's. Okay. I didn't bring a spade. Thank God they provide them here. And I'd like to pretend that this is going to be hard. But it, it's really not, is it? Like, it is, it's so, so easy. Uh, so to be honest, guys, I'm just going to show you the chests. But we're going to hit like a truck. This is going to be super easy. We got unlimited prayer pots. I do want to save them because we will be going out of the crypt. Oh, will I? I don't know if that saves time or not. Maybe I'll just be tallying. I'll see. I'll do a couple where I don't um, telly out and I'll do a couple where I do and we'll, and we'll sort of assess what's quicker. But uh, yeah, I'll just show you the chests and hopefully we can pull something today. That would be awesome. I'd be so happy. Right. First chest on the account. Come on. Be Give me the spoon feed. <sighs> Oh, Team Rog. How angry are you right now, Team Rog? Team Link, how super satisfied are we? <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's a great, it's a great one. All right, fuck getting 100%. Uh, fuck getting 100% what's it called potential. We don't need the D-Med anymore. We do not need the D-Med anymore. We're one in. We got a Torag's Helm. Let's go. We don't have 70 defense though, so we can't wear it. We won't be wearing it to the fight, but... Ooh, I'm buzzed. And here we go, guys. Chest number two. Can we make it back to back? No, we can't, but we will pull some Chaos runes there, which will help towards funding more runes. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to teleport to Varrock and then run to Edgeville um, is what I'm going to do. And seeing as we have unlimited prayer pots, there's literally no reason not to just 
you know, I don't need to bother with an altar. I need to just get back to a bank and then use a fairy ring. So we're just going to use that one. All right. As you guys know, we've been getting pretty lucky on the Barrows gear. I want to try to bring that Torag plate body to the fight. I don't really know exactly how I'm going to do it just yet because, like I mentioned earlier, it doesn't fit my combat style at all. And I really don't know exactly what I am going to do yet. But I want the option to do it. And this one isn't combat XP. And I really want to make sure I have it for all the fights going forward. So we have our attack potion, strength potion. A lot of prayer pots just to just keep attack and strength up the entire time. And we're pretty much just going to go to sand crabs. Because we unlocked it that one episode. Thankfully, I thought I'd never use it. I was thinking about still going to the to the baby reds to maybe get bruise and stuff, but it is pretty rare. And the XP definitely takes a hit. Here we could just literally focus on getting 70 defense, nothing else. And then ideally I'd like still some time to do barrows afterward. I just didn't want to do it last second to stress myself out. We forgot to replenish prayer and HP here, but that's fine. There's a bank right down here. And, um, yeah, we're just going to grind it. Um, ultimate strength and incredible reflexes the entire time potted up. I'm hoping to get high 20Ks in terms of XP per hour. I might be overshooting that a teeny bit, but we should have time left over is the point I'm trying to make. So, still will be Barrows, hopefully. And I'm going to find a nice spot, and I'm going to train, and I'll get back to you guys when I hit the uh, 70 defense, which is pretty hype. Maybe 75 combat as well. Okay, I just want to say that I'm literally getting over 30k XP right now per hour. I'm getting like 33. This is ridiculous, guys. It's going to happen much quicker than I anticipated. So, oh, everything's looking okay. Everything's looking okay. We'll have a lot of time for Barrows. This was crazy fast, guys. The pots, the prayers, 70 defense. I don't even want to kill that last one. Fuck it. I'm off. Wasting no time. 56 minutes for Barrows. Fucking say less, guys. I am i don't know what it was about sand crabs, but it just got me hella motivated because it was such fucking boring content to do. Right, let's gear up. Let's waste no time. I'll see you at Barrows. All right, here we go. It's another chest. And what are we going to get? Oh! <gasps> What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Shit. Um, drop that. We'll take the coins. I'm actually, we're going back out because uh, I think it's going to be quicker just to run out. It, this took me so, so long. Where's my, where's my ladder? Is it over here? I think it's over here. This took me so long in season two. We've got a helm and tank legs. What? What? I, I'm, I'm absolutely... I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. What? 3kc? We have a helm and tank legs. If we can pull a Carol's top, then fucking we're done. What? Wow. Wow. I am... I am in shock. I am in shock. What the fuck is going on? RNG blessing me hard. Um, as I was trying to say, I'm just... Um, I'm just running out the crypts now. It's just way quicker. Um, and I'm just trying to work out what the uh, food to potion ratio should be. But wow. I, I love you, Barrows. I love you massively right here we go guys it's another chest and we don't get the uh the body yet <laughs> uh we'll go for one more chest before we go out of here uh i've started marking the tile so it's a bit easier to see where i need to go um so that's helped a little bit we are a little bit low on food but we'll give it a go because i do want to see if we can get three i think i brought too many prayer pots well obviously i did so bring a few more uh foods oh, i can't get this way can i bring a few more foods um, and then we can probably do like maybe four, five, maybe on a good run six without having to leave. Um, so yeah, that's probably what I'm going to go ahead and do and try and pull off. But uh, yeah, we're, we're looking good. We're looking good. I'm buzzing. I'm, I'm just absolutely buzzing with this. And I know Team Link are going to be over the moon. Team Rug are going to absolutely hate me for this episode. But, you know, don't hate the player. Hate the game, you know? 
All right, let's see what we get. Another chest coming up. Death runes. Okay, I got so lucky. I don't even know if I should really ever expect anything ever again. I just use all my RNG for the rest of the series. Oh, man. All right. I don't know what chest this is anymore, guys. And ah, it's a lot of chaos runes. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I think this is chest number 15. Let's get something good. Oh, my God. What the fuck is going on, dude? What the fuck is going... What the fuck? I are... I... What? 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 Team Rarg. Team Rarg. Team Rarg. Team Rarg. Team Rarg. What do we do with this? What, 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 what do we do with this? I mean, this doesn't really change our current plan because this is effectively the same as a Torag play body. And I can't even wear this, so that's out of the question. I don't have 70 magic. But what is the what is the luck? I have gotten, I think, six items in 15 chests. Um, I, uh, <laughs> I'm just not used to being this lucky. I I don't know what to do. Guys, I don't know what to do. There's no legs, though. Like, I know I'm getting so lucky, and I know I'm being so nitpicky, but this honestly changes nothing. What? Two double chests! With 23 minutes left. Oh my god, man. Okay, okay. Back to back. Back to back? Dude, 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 dude. Bro, what the fuck? No, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, dude. What? What? I, I, I'm shaking. I'm shaking, guys. That's, like, I, I, that's, I, I said I wanted that. I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to act. Oh, I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I am fucking shaking. I don't even know which way to get back to the fucking arrows tunnel entrance thing. What? What? <laughs> I can't believe this. I can't believe this. I, I mean, we could still do another chest. I have to get food, and I. Uh, how much time do I have on the teleport? A minute. Okay, so I'll have. I'll. I'll. I'll have the telly to get food. I don't even know what to say right now, guys. That is exactly what I wanted. That's incredible. I'm sorry, Link. I'm sorry. All. All my past RNG. Uh, is finally paying off. It's finally leveling out. I. I just want to scream right now i just want to fucking scream oh just give me a minute all we have to do is do one more chest and get food we can't walk back soon so i'm just gonna take a second to breathe man right here we go another chest come on tank body no nope 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 um guys i've had a little think i don't think i need to really go for any more chests right now I really don't. So you know what? I'm actually going to send a Varrock Telly. Could have done... Probably that would have been the last anyway. We only had one food. I think I need to focus on getting 70 defense now. I think that's what I need to do. Also, uh, we keep getting our agility put down. Um, and it means that I'm going to have to suicide sometimes. Um, after a few chests. And just like Telly to Varrock or Lumbridge or whatever. And just get myself killed. Um, because I think I can do that quickly going into the Lumbridge basement and letting the bugs kill me or whatever with no light source, uh, just so we can get this agility back. So yeah, a little spanner to the plan there, but, um, yeah, I think I just need to focus on getting 70 defense. Obviously I'm not going to do it this episode, but realistically, just quickly, I might as well, like if I'm wearing the Torag helm, the Verrick body and a red dehyde body or the Verrick, the Verrick skirt, sorry, and a red dehyde body. That is going to massively destroy Kins. Um, anyway, I don't even know if I'd wear a tank body for that. So, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So, I'm going to spend an hour here just getting defense XP. Um, main reason for this is Dragon Bones. I need to start working on this prayer level. Uh, it needs to start going up. Um, because I want to go for, obviously, piety, etc. Um, so yeah, that, that's the main reason I'm here. I was thinking about doing green dragons, but I still don't have a, uh, anti-dragon fire shield. Um, which is super annoying, because otherwise I would have just gone, you know, to the wildy and done it there. 
but I need to get defense XP. I can't just sit there ranging. Like at the moment, my range is 71. I do not need that at all. Um, we just need the defense XP. So I'll go here, hopefully get some grubby keys. I know the grubby keys don't, don't matter um, for the fights anymore, but we could still get like brews, uh, dragon bones, etc. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, but yeah, it's just a case of getting 70 defense now, guys, really. Right, guys, this is going to be 66 defense coming in. I did get a couple grubby keys. Boom. Let's uh, open them up. I do have one in the bank as well. But, um, you know, they don't really matter that much. It's more for the final final stages now. But, uh, yeah, let's open them both up and see what we get. And then that is going to be me done. Already got Karam once. Already got recoils. So we're all good. Ooh, hoo -hoo, dragon bones. Yes. That's what we want to see. Some egg potatoes. Would have loved to have seen some sharks. But, uh uh yeah let's open it anyway no sharks no but we do get a ranging potion we do get a super defense uh and what's that toad flax mm, not great not great but if i want to do the fight caves i can definitely use these uh th this two dose for the fight caves which might be useful so uh there we go i can't imagine possibly getting something else i said that every time but um, we're going to open it up one more time for the last of the episode. Okay, yeah, dude, I, I don't know if I could have taken one more, man. My my, my heart is is feeling <laughs> too full at the moment. Um, so for the next seven minutes, guys, there's really not too much to do. I just need to buy food. I'll next see you guys when we're looking at our gear setup. I cannot believe it, guys. We are going in as a tank range with this setup we're actually taking a hit in our range accuracy here but our range defense and our slash defense is through the roof even with magic defense it's pretty high let's see if i take off the plate body i probably wouldn't take it off unless he's just going magic in the fight but 50 magic defense with the plate body off I cannot believe my luck. I'm going to go in. Three prayer pots. Of course, we now have the ranging, the super defense, the recoils, and just try to tank anything he throws at me. And we're going to just chip away at his health. We're going to focus on those prayer switches. The last fight was really close. So I want to say if he has a similar setup, I there's no reason I should not win this. However, with that said, Link could, of course, have gotten 70 defense and could have also done Barrow. So I don't want to get too excited. Just because I got lucky doesn't mean he couldn't have also gotten lucky. Uh, to be honest, his plate body, if he got something like a Torag or Darok plate body, it's a huge difference. But it wouldn't be as detrimental as, say, like Torag plate legs or Varric's plate skirt. Because he only has Rune in that slot. And it it that that would definitely be painful to hit through if he if he was gifted one of those. Um, so I don't want to get my hopes up too much, even though I was incredibly lucky. I'm only using two of these pieces here. So yeah, guys, I'm ready to hop in this fight, and you know what? We'll see it. Either we're gifted with the RNG or we're not. We'll see just how lucky I really am. Also brought the anti poison because I didn't want to lose this fight due to making a bad call see you in the fight guys after you know what i'm just gonna do a little bit more defense training might as well um and then yeah oh and i've attacked the one that we attacked earlier as well so we will hopefully get a drop here hopefully some gp or something um we also got ourselves an hp level we also got ourselves a prayer level um i was doing the dragons until that literally last 100 xp or whatever i needed uh, but i just came over here because we could do the grubby keys so yeah we uh we're looking pretty good pretty good this should be the kill coming in as well bit of gp extra 5k there we will take it okay let's get out of here and i will show you my setup unfortunately it's not going to be too different because uh we don't have that 70 defense but as soon as we have it oh my god the legs the helm they're gonna look amazing all right, Beats of Jesus, this is what we're going to be going for. Uh, straight range. I'm going to be wearing the Ardy Cape just because it gives a little prayer bonus so we can keep our prayers on a little more. I'm also bringing an extra prayer pot uh, because 
we keep running out of prayer at the end of the fights, and then someone just gets like 22s and 25 hits, and I think this is way worth a food. Um, so bringing in an extra pot to stop that. Super defense, raging pot, no dagger. I think he will bring an anti-poison. Two recoils and Quran ones, pretty standard. Um, just like last episode, where I didn't have them all in my inventory, and a load of you were like, Link was always going to bring them all, and then realized he didn't have 60 strength. No. In my reveal at the bank, I did not have them all, and just like that, I'm going to bring the Guthans Helm, or the Torag's Helm, and the uh, the Verex Plate Skirt to the reveal, just to trade it to him and show it to him, but I'm not bringing it to the fight. So, let's get into it. Link, another episode has come and gone, and we are here again for another fight. So I'm just going to straight up ask you, man, how do you feel about your last four? Um, like, 9.9 .9 out of 10. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, somebody went to Barrows then. Fuck. I had an episode and a half. Everything I wanted to get done got done. Oh. We treated ourselves. You know, the XP that we got from the last win was super useful. You know, I'm, I'm buzzing, oh. mate. I'm buzzing. I won't lie. How about you? I mean, I was feeling pretty good until you just had you said, dude, nine point nine out of ten. You you can't get better than that because i feel like we'll never ever give a 10 out of 10 so like you can't have a 10 yeah so that, that is the ceiling i've just hit yeah so well i am not a 9.9 .9 out of 10 i'll tell you that all right you know. dude um let's do a combat level reveal and then we'll hop mm -hmm. into our skills easy on go three two one go Ooh. Ooh. you okay. went up one level I think You've gone up a lot. Three or two? I think I went up two, but I'm really not sure if I'm being honest. Right. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Okay. Okay. So his XP went into something. What did it go into though? What do you think? Before you look, what's your guess? Magic or defense? One of the two. I'm not sure Ooh. out of the two. I'm gonna say you put yours in. Uh, 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 I'm still gonna say defense. I'm gonna say you probably didn't gain enough levels for defense, but I gonna say you put yours in defense link i'm gonna look uh, you up man uh no you did oh, wait you went up one level you went up one level i think you were 65 because we were both 65 yeah i did a bit of defense training in this episode 71 fucking range you have higher like, range than i do i was like if i what? can edge him in the range if i can edge him on the range here then it's then it's anyone's game so i was like wow i'll go to 71 i put all 300k into range mate wow. every single bit of xp went into range fuck's sake um, dude yeah you're higher than me now holy shit that's kind of so, scary and deep oh, 70 defense dude it got me to 69 i had to do some training during the episode it didn't get me there there. Uh, I think I got a prayer level, a defense level, and an HP level. I think that's what I got in the actual time. Wow, he does have 70 HP. Shit. Um, but other than that, I don't think there's much else to report on, to be honest. Let's not waste any time. Give me an item, or an item slot, I should say, and we will start with a reveal. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go. Uh, cape. Ooh, Capey boy. He wants to flex a new obsidian cloak. Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's that's different though. Got the prayer bonus. So, that is yeah. different. That is different. All right, all right. I think it gives magic too. Like gives defense. magic and stab, defense and attack, wow. and it gives um a two prayer bonus. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go shield because I know you want to upgrade your shield. I want to upgrade mm. my shield. Let's just go shield. Yeah. Didn't happen for me. I'm guessing you did. No. Oh wow. Okay. No, dude. Did you did you try? Uh no. No, okay. no, I did not try this episode. 70 defense is the priority, I guess. Uh let's go necklace, mate. Rocky and the power. Cool. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go helm. Let's go helm. The rune. Uh body mate. The body, he asks. Oh, you sound happy. The body, he asks. You sound happy. If that's a carols, I'm about to Chat. fucking lose it. Chat, which one should I put on? We're first? not we're not live, kids. It's fucking <laughs> It's a comment section, not chat, you cheeky fucker. <laughs> oh fuck off. What's he got? Comment section. Which one should I put on? 
Like the video if you think Kins is a bell end. Fuck's sake. Wow. Which one? So you've got. Do not say you've got a Carol's there as well. All right, these I brought. Actually, we'll talk after. I'm I, I'm gonna do my gear, and then we'll go into everything else. <laughs> What's the other one? You have to show both tops. <laughs> what? Oh my god! Oh, you are shitting me. <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, I, I'm just bringing the one play body. Yeah, yeah. The, the others obviously. are just a flex. I mean, unless Team Rog want to want to go at you as well for bringing that, oh, they had a no. fucking field day at me for bringing the mall to show it to you, saying he was gonna bring <laughs> it. <laughs> no. Uh, let's go legs, mate. Ah, uh, wait, I'm picking. I'm picking. Oh. I'm picking. Oh, wow. oh god, wow. has he got legs as well? Fuck off. Uh, you. I mean, do do, do you want to go legs? <sighs> well, is that you saying put legs? All on? right, well, then we'll do legs. Ladies and gentlemen, you've got to be. We got him. Jesus Christ. Jesus we Christ. We got him. We fucking yeah. got him. What's the fuck? How many chests have you done? 17. <laughs> I did 17 you, chests. You Dude, wow. wait, I got three more items, Link. We're not even done there, man. Oh my god. Right. <laughs> Gloves. <laughs> Uh, How is he not a 9.9? <laughs> How is I a 9.9? .9? I don't know! You tell me! How are wow. you a 9.9? Wow. Okay, you're fake, mate. Boots. Okay. I just have a weapon and recoil. Same. Okay, well... It's surely he's got a different weapon or something, or he's hybriding because... Uh, what else is there to your setup, Link? Um, nothing, mate. Except from let me let me trade you it because I can't actually uh put it on. Oh my god! <laughs> Obviously, don't have so many defense yet, but I am. Buzzing. Wow! Two, talk about two. spoon fed. Two items in. I four thought or five I chests. was spoon fed. Oh my god. <laughs> what? I think I've done five chests. Maybe more. Maybe six. I don't know. Something like that. And yeah, first chest with the Torag helm. Third chest with the Varric plate skull. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, at least you can't wear that now. Yeah. So when Ooh. I said I was. When I said I was confident, I didn't feel confident for this episode, but I feel confident going ahead with those two items. Oh, dude, I'm still thinking about that Barrows, man. Still mm. thinking about... You You got literally two of the best slots you could get. Honestly, yeah. I would much rather get tank legs than a tank body, and I got three fucking... What's your, uh, <laughs> what's your plan? Are you done, or are you going to go back? Uh, no, I am definitely going back. I right. am definitely going back. If it's going to be next episode, I don't know, but I, I will definitely be back at Barrows. Right, yeah. Four. Wow. Four. Is that because he always prayer. fucking run out and shit? I think the drop prayer is worth it, because if, if one of us hits a 20, that's one food anyway, if you hit them off prey, you know? That's so That's true. Um, yeah. What's that? Didn't bring the dagger. He got Come on. me. Yes. Yes. He yes, got yes, me. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, pretty standard. Pretty standard there. Uh, your two second warning starts now. So we will start being potty boys. Ooh, so ooh, okay. Conversation like that last time. Here we go. <laughs> uh, okay. Yes. Okay. Ah. Start off with the first hit. Oh, okay. Okay. And the third Probably hit. about equal. Ooh. Ooh, not anymore. Okay, yes. Wow, <laughs> wow. Okay, he's hit. In this, in it's this. the Addy Kite. It's the Addy Kite. I hate She's this thing. She's letting you down. She's letting you oh, down. Oh, I hate this fucking Addy Kite. It's such a little shit. <laughs> it's such a little shit, dude. You're doing okay with that, dude. <laughs> no, man, because I don't know how you're hitting so much. Fuck. Looking at my stats, I was a tank. Dude, if you win, oh. if you win this... Genuinely, I don't. I, I I'm just throwing the towel. Not I really. I know with 71 range, the main reason I went for it is you do get a max hit with a ranging pot and praying from 70 to 71. 
Ah. So I was like, I was like, it's probably worth it. Ooh, he's hitting hard. I mean, fair, That's but true. I, I was thinking opposite. I was just thinking, just be a tank. Like, if, yeah, if, yeah. if I out tank him, I win. Sort of vibe is what I was going mm -hmm. for. Oh, oh he's come hitting. On, another hit, another hit. Oh, yes. We are hitting. Oh, my God. Wow. Okay. All right. There's, oh, there's a hit back. There's a hit back. Wow. Can we get just a few more? Okay. Four is a four. I'll take a four. That is true. That is true. A four is a four. Truer words have never been said. Come on. Let's see a nice 16. That's a zero. That's the wrong one. Come on. 16. Now times that zero Fuck. by 16. Still got so zero. Just, well, yeah, that's that's my point. You're hitting zeros. I'm I'm going to prove you wrong in a minute, though, Ken. In you a that. minute? Well, I sure hope you hit in a minute. Fuck. It's 13. <laughs> oh. Hits everywhere. How's he hit oh, so much? Oh, there's the 16! Come on. Okay. Don't piss about. Oh! Dude, what the fuck, man? Come on. Come on. All right. How's he hitting so much? Like, yeah, your range is higher, but so is my defense <laughs> and my armor. He's fuming over there. Zero fest. I feel like there's loads of hits, then there's just a zero fest. Look, like that. Fuck me. Well, I'm breaking that. Breaking boundaries over here. Here's the comeback. Bit of boundary break from Kins. Come on, hit. <laughs> boundary break. Have you never watched that on YouTube? No, but that's my Shout season five my... name, so. Shout out to my boy, She Says. What a fucking show he had put on, mate. I'm not gonna ask, Link. I'm not gonna ask. <laughs> oh, yes. Don't ask. We'll just keep hitting. I'm sure we'll get someone in the comment uh... section saying, yep, yeah, big fan. Oh, yes. Right, and let's again. Just eat. Let's just see. Come on. Wally's an eaty boy. Am I in rapid? I am. Okay. I was gonna say, like, this doesn't seem right. I feel like something's <laughs> wrong. Am I doing I like something wrong? Died. Yeah, I would have definitely known. I mean, we're attacking the same speed, so you would have been unaccurate too. Yeah. Hmm. We can have an accurate fight if you want, mate. Slow it down even more. I honestly, <laughs> no thanks. I'll pass. Appreciate the offer, though, man. Come on. Okay. I am a bit surprised I'm not a bit more tanky. My defense bonuses, I mean, obviously, are much higher. I feel like you've you hit You know more. how much higher? I don't, but it's it's like 240, and I wasn't close to 200 last time, so like right. it's significant. It's not like it's I went up 20. at least. Probably, yeah. Come on. Where them hits at? Come on. This is tense, mate. Oh, that's so huge. Come on, another one, another one. In the in the in the name of the Lord DJ Khaled. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Yes. 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 What the heck? This is going to be close, Kins. This is going to be close, mate. It shouldn't be. That's what's bothering me. I though, do like. sort of agree it shouldn't be. But then is it going to be close? Maybe it's just it feels close, you know? 
We'll see. Come on, I want to see a 16. <sighs> Zero first. You ain't kidding, bro. You ain't kidding. Fuck. Come on. Yes. Oh, there's the 16. Oh, fuck's sake. Of course he pulls a 13. <sighs> That's painful. Oh. Power play time. Power play time. Come on. Big hits. Big hits. Don't want to see what happened to Kins last week. Oh, come on. Don't you fucking dare. We're the 20s. Both not hitting. Ooh. Wow. I, 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 I don't see how you won that. I, I, I don't get it. How much two food? food? Two food. How do you have two food left? And I didn't drain all my pots either. I have no idea how I lost that. I really don't. All right, Beezer Dudes. Do not understand that at all. I have no idea how I've won. I didn't even drink all my pots. I could have drank more range of defense. Like I have no idea. Like insane. He he's flabbergasted as well. But I'm fucking buzzing because it means as soon as we get this Torag helm and, and Verix plate skirt, we're we're looking really really good. Let's spin. Let's see where we're going. Hopefully it connects and we can and we can go ahead and you know do our plan and stuff. But we will see. Generate four four five. Where the hell is that? Honestly, I'm not. I. Uh... CBA to think about it right now. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna find my next uh place. 241. 241, right. Okay, cool. See you guys in the next episode. I pff, I'm too defeated to even talk about this. Right, let's have a look. 445. Oh you naughty thing. Yes! We've already got that chunk. We've already got that chunk. So it is a straight up six choice. That is perfect for the plan. So, so good. It connects to loads of stuff that we need. You know, obviously it connects to our big land mass as Kins calls it. So we can just literally go and pick six anywhere. Very, very cool. Right, guys, I do just want to say real quick that any Barrows that is broken during these fights does automatically get repaired for next episode. It'll apply to any Barrows piece going forward. Um, Link, congrats. Um, I, 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 we just I, ran I mean, the numbers and yeah. <laughs> like, it shouldn't have been close, like the other way around. So I yeah. don't know if I just got incredibly unlucky or if that thing is wrong or we're all idiots. <laughs> I think you got unlucky, mate. There's no way. Uh... There's no way. There's no way I should have won that. All right, Visa G's, welcome back to the Chunk Progression PvP thing. If you have missed any of the previous episodes, I will leave a playlist under the white sort of eye here click that if you're on desktop or if you're on mobile there will be a playlist in the description click that you easily could have missed some episodes because uh me and rog rotate the episodes one goes on his channel one goes on mine so uh that is the easiest way to stay up to date is just to save that playlist and click through it and watch it through there but in the last episode i got myself this chunk here which means i get six free picks and i'm going a little bit wild card here um and we're going to be opening up these six uh, completely dead chunk here. The chunk that takes us out of the underground pass, so that will be that one. Then this chunk, this chunk, this chunk, and this chunk. Uh, the reason for this is 
we're going to be doing Regicide, Roving Elves, and we are going to go for the Crystal Shield. I thought about it, and I was like, do I go and try and get the the Tok um, Obsidian Shield? And I was like, you know what? No. The Crystal Shield is far superior. We can do the quests, and we get it given to us. And also, very similar to Rog's Barrows, it degrades. If we die in the fight, we just get it back. So I don't have to worry about making like 750k to like recharge it and stuff. It's a degradable item, just like the Barrow stuff. We're going to get it back if we die in the fight with it or run out of charges. So huge, huge thing. Um, and I, I think that's going to be the play. Hey guys, welcome to episode 22 of the PvP challenges. Uh, I won't lie guys, I am filming this really close to when we just finished last fight. So I'm still not completely over the fact that I lost last episode. Um, I put my XP in Fletching, so it was really, really quick. Um, we got 54, almost 55. And, yeah, I just, I genuinely don't get it. You know, he had one range level on me, sure, okay, but I had higher range attack bonus, higher range defense bonus by, like, 40. Um, and I had four defense levels on him. So, I, I, I just can't, I can't put my head around it. I really, really, really can't put my head around it. Maybe it really just was horrible RNG in the fight. But yeah, the the shitty part is that is that I would be fine with horrible RNG. But now Link has Varric Skirt Toric Helm, which tank bottoms, tank top, or tank helm, I should say, not top, is the best combination because you can still wear the red D high body and be an absolute tank. So yeah, I'm gonna still do barrows because I feel like my gear just isn't good enough. Even if that fight should win, as in last fight, it should ne it should never be that close. Wearing barrows and he having no barrows, so that that's a bit fucked. I definitely need to um, I definitely need to go back to barrows. Plus, we can continue getting death runes because um, that means we can get the obby shield soon eventually. I doubt we can get it this episode, but I could be wrong. Maybe we can. I don't know. I've never actually checked how many deaths I need, but I think it is you know a decent amount. So, what we're going to do, guys, is um, start the episode, but first, I'm going to show you my unlocks. We're starting in, um, of course, the square that we unlocked, and I can't do it this episode, but I decided to spend all six, and again, it's six because I unlocked an area that I've already had unlocked, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, right here is, I think, or yeah, right here, I believe, or maybe it's like up here somewhere, but on this little peninsula is the archaeologist that drops the, the uh, black dehyde body i can't get there yet i mean i need this square and i might need a square or two for the actual quest itself i'm not really sure i haven't looked in it i just thought black dehyde body is that crucial um honestly make my problems go away jagex and give me that kyle's top this episode please <laughs> um so yeah guys i'm gonna hop in this episode let's start the timer and I will see you guys at Barrows. I'm going to buy some food first because those numb crunchies are running a bit low. Now, because today's reward is a combat XP reward, it means that I can put all of my XP into defense um, and we'll have 70 defense by next episode. So I was going to like try and work out what to do um, and try and come up with some cool plan. But to be honest, the plan is just going to be get a load of range XP. Because if we can get a load of range XP together, get ourselves like 72, 73 range today, then it means when I get that combat XP reward, whether I win or lose today, I think I'm going to lose because of the Barrow's gear that Kins has. Um, we'll have 70 defense and we'll probably have 72, 73 range. Um, so a bit of a write-off episode for me, but I think it needs to be done to win the series. All right. And we're telling, we have like four inventories of food now um, in the bank. We bought some more fire runes. Only took about nine minutes to get ready. Actually, more like eight minutes to get ready. So, um, yeah, let's hope our luck is equally as amazing in terms of the items uh, or the amount of items. But let's hope we get some better items. I mean, tank legs or tank helm is ultimately what we're searching for. All right, guys. First chest of the episode. Let's see what we get. Nothing. All right, guys. We like honestly. I'm so keen on doing barrows all episode long, guys. I need upgrades. I need upgrades. I can't believe I'm saying that after getting seven fucking items in seventeen chests. Chest number two. Nada. Good runes though. Good runes though. 
We got chest number 20 in total coming on up. Let's see if we get any luck. Nope, not this time. A lot of runes again, though. I mean, runes is the second most important thing we could be getting here. Because, again, we want that shield. And that shield is going to be a huge upgrade over this Addy Kite. That's still my biggest flaw. The fucking Addy Kite. All right, new chest coming in as soon as that kill ticks in. 255 Chaos runes. It, wow. I mean, I, could get, I guess I could sell blood, too, to the... Um, to the shop in the Tazar. Do, do they buy bloods? I don't even know, dude. I really don't know. But what I do know is we are running low on death runes. Uh, we can buy those, but our cash jack is actually 10k. Luckily, we have a, a lot of useless Barrows items we can alk. So if we absolutely need money... In fact, maybe I'll end up doing that this episode anyway to get the shield if I can. I'll have to do some math for it to figure out how close or far off I am. But, like, there are options. There are a lot of options we can do. All right, another chest coming up. Nope, a lot of death runes. Good, we got 31 of those. All right, guys, the chest coming on up. Ooh, an elite that I'll never complete on this account ever. But, <laughs> yeah, I can't even get there. Don't even have any of this stuff either. 10 HP, no prayer, and the worst chest you could ever ask for. Literally the worst chest you could ask for. All right. Wished him good luck for karma. 88%. Nothing. 160, though. Nada. Nada. I feel so repetitive saying, and another chest. Oh, no. You are fucking kidding me, bro. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. Don't know why, but I'm feeling something right here. Open chest here. Let's give it a little spin. Boom. Didn't work. Sometimes it just doesn't work, guys. Sometimes the spin is flawed. All right. It has to be better than last chest. Okay. At, le <laughs> at least that much is true. You know, I'm running out of things to say when I open up these Barrows chests. Like, what do I say? Another one? All right, Bees and G's. As I said, bit of a write-off episode, but we are going to do quite a lot in the last hour. Uh, that is three hours I spent here. Um, and we got 72 range. We got a prayer level as well. Um, and on top of that, I think we've got eight keys from all of this. Um, and we also had one key that I didn't um, grab or I didn't actually use from a few episodes ago. So we can also uh, bang that. So it looks like nine keys we're able to use. I'll probably do it now. Um, yeah, we'll do all of those now. Let's pray because otherwise we're going to get... Oh, no. They're de -aggroed, except for that one. Okay. Um, this is going to pain me as much as it's going to pain all of you guys, but we need to drop these. Oh, that hurts. That hurts a lot. Let's pick lock this door um, and let's open a grubby key because it's just going to save me like a trip, you know? Sharks. Hmm, prayer potions. <laughs> Literally just drop those, fuck's sake. Uh, some torstals. Okay, let's open the grubby key. Open anyway. Ragey potion. Okay. Uh, two more sharks. Okay, let's... The super defense. That means we can now use the super defense in our time. Uh, let's drop these two and let's take the sharks. Uh, prayer potion, egg potatoes. Uh, you know what? I'm going to bank. I'm going to bank and we'll come back just because I need to sort of save some of this stuff now. So we got full prayer nearly. Um, yeah, I will hit the bank. And then we'll use the Draymon to go to the Chasm of Fire. That's the way I've been getting there really quickly. Um, and then go from there. All right, let's see what chest this is. Chest number 30. Wow. 30. Chest number 31. Coming up. 241 death room. It's okay. All right. All right. That's a lot of death runes we have. So about 40 minutes went by. I didn't do any recording on the chests because it was just like the same clip over and over and over again. I know it's really boring. Guys, I'm going to alk this stuff. The Torag plate body gives the exact same stats, by the way, but I lost with this. So fuck it. We're alking it. Alk Dox plate body. The reason why we are doing this is because we need money to buy chaos runes to go to the Tazar place, sell it, get more to cool so we can buy guess what the obby shield so that should be plenty of chaos runes guys so let's go to fight pit 
and let's just start selling. Now, I actually do not have Kromja gloves. I could have unlocked it this episode if I changed my unlocks, but I just didn't think it was worth it because we have barrows and it's so easy to get money and chaos runes. And I knew I had the money. I knew I had the funds. Now, we should get nine each. Nine to cool. Now, this actually doesn't matter with the gloves. You get nine whether you have the gloves or not. What the gloves change is the buy price. So I would save like, I think 1,000 chaos runes if I did have the gloves. So that's why I think it's not worth it. Using two hands to go really quick. We need 67,500. Oh man, I'm misclicking. I can't even do this properly. That's it. That should be it. That should be it. Let's get an obby shield, fellas. Shield, 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 shield. Oh, you beautiful, beautiful thing. You beautiful thing. My range defense, 164 to 200. And this isn't my pvp gear obviously oh my dude that that is so good that is so good we just surpassed a room kite shield in terms of range in terms of range defense i can't even talk i'm so excited i'm gonna save some time buy some cram wands since i'm here and then it's gonna be barrows for the rest of the episode again we're actually pretty dry open the rest of these keys up see what we get then we're gonna go get snakeskin boots we're gonna do as much of regicide as possible i actually still need one more chunk unlocked before i can finish regicide um, but all the chunks I open does roving elves, so it's literally one more chunk and then we can get ourselves a crystal shield. Um, but I want to do as much regicide as possible today. I'm banking on losing this episode, guys. You know, I'm not, I'm not trying to pretend that I'm not. Yeah, as I was saying, I'm banking on losing this episode. Last episode, I got so lucky. Like, I should have lost last episode. Let's be honest. I mean, everyone knows that. I don't have the 30 coins. I need to get the boat. Um, but yeah, I should have lost last episode. That is completely fair enough, you know? Um, and to be honest, I'm, I haven't made too many gains. I've got one, um, range level. Uh, let's just take 10k with us here. Uh, yeah, I've got one range level and that's it. He's, I know he's going to try and get a tank helm. I asked him in the reveal last time, is that going to be your barrows done? Are you going to go back? And he said he's going to go back. So he's probably done like a whole episode of barrows. Uh, Remington. And, you know, that's one luxury I do have is that I got the helm, I got the legs. I don't really need to go back to Barrows. We'll probably go for a Black Dehyde top, to be honest, rather than just try and hunt a Carol's top, because that's not going to happen. The chances are so, so low. Um, so, for me, like, Barrows is sort of done, so I need to start, like, thinking for the longer terms. Crystal Shield, Black Dehyde body. Um, but for him, he's just going to be sending, 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 because... All he needs to pull is, is, is you know, the tank legs or, or, a, or a tank helm, and he's going to be really sorted. Um, so he's probably going to either turn up with the exact same gear and still win, or better gear um, and probably win. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really not banking on winning this episode at all. This was sort of like damage limitation. Let's get as much range XP as possible. Let's get ourselves ahead quest-wise. Um, let's try and get some snakeskin boots. Um, and then next episode, obviously, we're getting the... We're getting the combat XP. I'm going to have to just forfeit the 50k lost. I'm sure he's going to win it. Um, so yeah, he's going to get himself that 50k. Why didn't I use the Chasm of Fire like I said I was going to? Oh well. Um, so yeah, he's going to get the 50k extra XP today. That's fair enough. Whatever. Um, but I'll be able to use that XP to get myself 70 defense. And then when we have 70 defense, then we can start thinking about winning episodes again. But... I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I'm going for the win today, guys. This was uh, this was do as well in the episode as possible. Get yourself ahead that way. And then, uh, yeah, just accept the loss, really. So we actually had to walk back because I forgot I used the teleport to um, buy the shield in the first place, the minigame telly. But, uh, guys, there's actually a slight trade-off when it comes to the obby shield. We have negative six more range attack, but with, like, I think it was 36 extra range defense. It's just 100% worth it, isn't it? At least for right now, it definitely is. Plus, big upgrade on the melee defensive stats as well. It wouldn't be true if I had a room kite, but guess what? I didn't. So, even if he goes melee, I mean, I don't think he's not, let's be honest. But um, even if he goes melee, the shield is an upgrade. And if I go melee, the shield's an upgrade. It's just a great shield. I mean, look at it. It's our first chest back. And the luck still not there it's okay it's okay we were so lucky last episode that i feel like the rng has to level out it just has to it'd be wrong if it didn't actually i feel like my rng fucking leveled out last fight fuck me that was horrible what the fuck happened last dude i'm still thinking about it it's a joke man
All right, guys, so we actually have to charge the Ivan staff and buy more fire runes. I forgot to buy fire runes, but that is a really quick thing to do. Or enough fire runes, I should say. But the staff, we have not remove it. Oh, man. I have 36 charges left. But before that, nothing. Okay, so, yeah. I'm going to go to Varrock, buy more runes. And honestly, guys, I don't want to pay 100k. Uh, I don't have 100k. I could if I alk another thing, but um 100k is just a lot of money and in case i ever want to have to buy death runes or something i definitely want money on the account so i'm not going to do it the quick but expensive way i am just going to grab my stamina pots and run through the underground pass it shouldn't take too long but it's going to be annoying nonetheless and then back to barrows that took way too much time that took way 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 too much time i am so stressed i failed the rope thing twice Let's see what chest we're at. Let's see what chest we're at. 41. All right, guys. It looks like we can get one. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. I mean, not really an item I would have wanted, but it's interesting. Magic damage bonus. I think it's also a melee weapon. And, um, yeah. I I mean, I, I can't wear it now, of course. So it's definitely going to be a long-term plan if... If I do go down that route, but at least we got something. Okay, I was scared I was going to go all episode and not get anything. I'm going to quickly gear up for one more uh, Barrow's Chest. We can definitely do it because we have the teleport. I uh, know a lot of Team Links will be like, why didn't you spend all episode getting defense XP so you could wear it? I, it wouldn't have been possible. It really wouldn't have been possible. And then, I mean, I could have put the 100 XP, 100k XP into defense um this episode or, or for the, re the reward from last episode. I could have put it into defense and then done XP uh, or done defense XP all of this episode, I would have then had enough to get 70, but that just seems like such a waste. I'm now ahead of him in fletching, which is great. I'm ahead of him in range as well. And it would have been such a waste to put it into defense when I know that this defense XP was coming this episode um, anyway. So that's just my thought process. Um, I don't know how we're going to do this grubby key stuff. We've got so many to do. Let's do it. Come on, Sarah Bros. Prayer pots and egg potatoes. 200 bloods, though. We'll take that. Uh, another ranging potion. Another super defense. Toad flax. Come on. Sharks on the floor. Super attack. Oh, more dragon bones. Awesome. I don't need the egg potatoes. We're dropping them. We can get food from the uh, grand tree that's just as good. Four sharks there. Love to see it. Um, super defense. Let's put that into there. Cool. Next one. Oh, Sarah Bruce. Yes, there we go. That's what we wanted to see. That is what we wanted to see. Sarah Bruce. I think I've got like three now, maybe four, um, with all the ones we've done. Obviously, comes with a super restore there as well, which is awesome. Let's drop the egg potatoes. Uh, I might drop the toad flax, to be honest. Oh, yes, more sharks, but. Prayer potions. We don't want prayer potions. Egg potatoes. 28 egg potatoes. Come on. Okay. More super defense. More ranging potion. That's going to be great if we want to go down and do the uh, the fight caves. It's going to be really, really good. Let's drop that. Uh, five sharks here. Oh, man. Oh. Shark. Uh, fuck. I'm going to have to drop something here. Uh, let's drop the toad flags. We've still got three sharks. Um, fuck. This is a tough decision. I think I'm going to drop the super defenses. We got them for the fight unlimited, and I'm not really going to use them in the, uh, in the, uh, hours anyway. I mean, there's not much I'm going to be doing where I'm going to need super defenses. And to be honest... I've already got a few super defenses from this anyway. All right. One more key. One more key. I can't risk doing it because if I get sorrow bruise or something, that's so annoying. Ooh, we're cutting it close, but I wanted to get 100% just for that chance of getting that dragon medium helm. Nope, we didn't get it. All right, guys. Only 42 seconds left. Probably should have attacked the skeleton in the last 42 seconds, but eagerly got out of there. I'm going to just head to um, Edgeville. I'm going to get all my gear together. Unfortunately, no upgrades for Barrows, but we did get an upgrade for a shield. Sorry, Romeo. Can't do that quest in 22 seconds.
Actually, I'm just going to bank this grubby key. I, I don't need to do it right now, and I'd rather get snakeskin boots and regicide done, or regicide started at least. Um, so we're just going to leave the grubby key in the bank. Starting to get a decent amount of dragon bones together, and baby dragon bones, to be honest. We've got 50 big bones from Obor, 41 baby dragon bones, and 36 uh, dragon bones. Hmm, okay. Decent prayer XP there. A little bit tempted to go for it, but um, let's get the dragon staff out. So, I already have one snake hide from testing this uh, a few episodes ago. I just did it briefly just to see if it actually worked or not. But um, I didn't have enough time to finish it off. I think I had to go buy crab ones or something. Um, so, we've already got one, but we need six total. So, uh, yeah, I think this will take like 20 minutes or so. It's not the easiest process. Oh, we've got fucking one of these bell ends here as well. Piss off. Right, so what we do is we just hack at the jungle um, with a machete and there's just a chance of the snake popping out and then we kill the snake briefly and then bang easy as that so uh we will see what we get first here we go we got our first one i actually need to go and buy some anti-poison <laughs> this does 11 damage so once we kill this i'll go and sell like some fire runes or a lore rune over to the store and uh is that a bush snake in there now it's just a normal one and there we go they always drop snake hide so we really like it shouldn't take too long this is going to be the last one that we need so, pretty happy with that. Didn't take too long. And uh, we'll home tally. And we'll go and tan it in Alcarid. And then we will have ourselves some snakeskin boots, which will be awesome. So, home tally. Bang, out of here. That's going to be huge because we've been using the climbing boots just every, every fight. They give no range defense. They give no range attack. They've just been literally pointless wearing them. So, uh, nice to get those changed. Here we go. We got a little bit of money, don't we? Yep, awesome. So, yeah, let's go get them tanned. But uh, let's buy some thread here. And boom. Snakeskin boots, please. There we go. Let's chuck them on. Yes. Snakeskin boots on the account. Huge, 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 honestly. I know it doesn't look like it, but it feels like it. it really does. Uh, so we need to go here and mine some limestone. So we're going to use the path. I didn't actually explain how I got to uh, this sort of area before. Um, yeah, we go out of here, down here, through the gate here, up through the exam center, and then there's you can just slither through there. So that's how I've been getting there. I'm going to grab a stamina while we're at it. I'm actually going to bank all of this because we don't need any of this now. Um, and yeah, we need limestone for the quest. So let's get the pickaxe and a stamina pot. There we go. Um, I don't think I need limestone for anything else. But I will grab like three or four just in case. Then I need to look into Regicide to be honest because I'm not 100% sure what else I need. I know the the, uh, the limestone's big so uh, we'll go do that first. Just thinking about it, I need to get used to the, the, the fact that I have fairy rings unlocked. I could have fairy ringed there and then just gone under here. Would have been probably quicker. Um... But yeah, I've got, to, I've got to remember that I have the fairy rings. I've also got the gnome glider, but I don't think you can use that gnome glider, can you? Um, but yeah, I've got the gnome glider as well. Like, I really need to remember these things, honestly. Because uh, I could save myself a lot of time. Okay, and we just mine here, and that will give us a limestone brick. Oh wow, I thought it was like, you sort of one tick these fuckers, but maybe not. Um, I think we just need it in this form. I know you can use a chisel on it to make a limestone brick, but I, I think you need it just as limestone, so we will see. But uh, yeah, let's get four. And I probably should have brought a tally, but that doesn't matter. Let's go to Tsar, because it's pretty close to a bank. I think I've actually been a bit of an idiot here. I think... Ooh, that looked weird on the, uh, on the map there. Um, yeah, I think I've been a bit of an idiot here. I don't think there's actually much point in me starting Regicide, because... For some reason, I thought that as soon as you get to the other side, you have like a quick pass. But I think that's only if I have other chunks unlocked. I, I, I think this is a waste of time. We're sort of into it now. So I'm going to finish the path, see what happens. Um, I do need to still get Karam one, so we'll send a Tazar teleport at some point uh, very soon. I'll get to the end and just see what happens. But I, yeah, I, I think this is probably a big waste of time, which is a bit annoying because we probably could have just gone and got some uh, range XP instead of doing this. But that's the way it goes. This is the end, actually. So it didn't take too long. The problem is I can do the whole Regicide, except I need to grab the Sulfur um, from, like, you know, the Zora Swamp, the Poison Wasteland. 
and that chunk isn't unlocked. Other than that, I have everything for the quest unlocked. It's just that one little part of the quest. And my plan was to do all of it except for that sulfur bit. But, yeah, this is... Uh, uh, I'm fuming. I'm fuming. Okay, I think this will be the last part of the quest that we do. We're going to go get the uh, Quran ones after this. You know what? I'm not as fuming as I was before. We have got a decent amount done, so... Yeah. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. I wish I'd brought some gear, to be honest, so I could actually bloody hit this guy. But, yeah. Um, it's not as bad as I thought it was. We have got quite a few of the steps done. So, uh, crumb ones, and then I'll show you the setup, B's and G's. I thought about this one a lot, guys. I really did. I really did. I'm coming in this fight actually assuming that Link does not have 70 defense. I do think it's actually possible for him to get 70 if he put his XP reward into defense and then trained all episode at like sand crabs or baby red dragons or something like that. But honestly, I'm going to assume he did not do that on the premise that he's just going to get 70 defense through this episode's reward. Whether he wins or loses, he can easily get 70 defense by next episode. I think it's a lot more crucial for him to put it in like fletching or prayer when you have that full free range that's not locked to combat. So if I had to guess, Link will not have Barrows in this fight. Of course, he has Barrows on the account, but he won't be wearing the Barrows for the fight. That got me a little bit nervous because he knew he got a bit lucky in the last episode on the fight. And maybe he's going to try to snake that win by going magic and range hybriding. Um... I actually thought about bringing the red dehyde body. I, I decided against it, as, as you can see. I mean, massive range defense bonus, but only 45 magic attack. I just think it's better to maybe switch prayers and focus fully on prayer. We do have four prayer pots, by the way, because, you know, we did run out a little bit early last fight. But I am coming into this fight thinking that Link might hybrid or just roll the same plan, just kind of using it as a buy episode to get the xp reward to then ultimately get the 70 defense but um we are an absolute tank right now and if he goes in as a ranged tank theoretically i should have the edge assuming he doesn't have 70 defense but this is what i'm going with so um of course we have the range pot the defense pot for the four prayer pots i am still bringing the anti poison i know i know i know and I decided to drop the recoil. Last recoil, or last fight, the recoil had 26 damage left in it. And I put it on pretty quick after it um it got damaged. The higher we hit, the less damage a recoil actually does. Um, in terms of speed, that is. Because if you hit an 11 or a 19, it still rebounds 2 damage. Um, so when we're hitting really, really, really low, especially under 10, if you hit a 1, it recoils a 1. If you hit a nine it recoils a one so that's why recoils are much more stronger earlier on but i'm still gonna wear it obviously but i'm not gonna bring a second one because honestly just doesn't seem worth it a cram one heals more than the difference of 40 minus 26 plus i forget sometimes so there's that as well but i'm gonna stop rambling i am going to uh see you guys in the fight and hopefully my predictions are correct hopefully he doesn't hybrid all right basically this is gonna be the setup exactly the same as last time except we do have the snakeskin boots um i'm bringing the dragon dagger i wouldn't have to be honest but he brought the anti-poison last time i didn't bring a dagger if he goes fuck it link's not bringing the the dagger anymore we could sneak a win by poisoning him so i have to take the chance um, because I don't think we're going to win uh, any other way. We're going with the super defense, the ranging pot, four prayer potions, because that worked really well last time. Uh, but I'm not going to be using any of my sharks, just because I do think I have lost this one already. Um, and I'd rather save those sharks for uh, battles where I think it's going to be very close. Uh, but we do have a decent stock of sharks up now, which is nice to see. Um, yeah, not much to go on it. I'm expecting to lose this one, B's and G's. I think he deserves it anyway, so I wouldn't be too upset if he took it. Uh, let's Let's go and see how this is going to go. Kid Ice, mate. Another four hours down. More progress. Yep. More things to talk about. Oh, I've just hovered over your character. Okay, you're 75 combat. Okay. Okay, <laughs> so okay. okay you're 79. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be that quick, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> how'd you do? Nice. I, I've got an in inkling into what I think you did. 
Um, I mean, you're probably right, so just go ahead and say yeah, it. Yeah, you, you sort of gave it away in the last reveal. You said that you weren't done with Barrows, and I can't really see you going off and doing something other than Barrows, you know? So. Um, correct. Correct, correct. Okay. So you I did, did Barrows. You did Barrows. Oh, God. That's, that's the worry. Like, yep. if you got lucky, even more lucky than you did last time, and you, and you did pull some more items, there's a good chance you're filling up places that would start hurting me. So uh yeah, I'm hurting to you. It. You got spoon fed the t like the two best items you can get in like ah. six tracks. I don't want to <laughs> fucking hear it. My RNG might have been crazy, but Link, none of it worked. So who gives a fuck? How was how was your uh, barriers? Like, how are you feeling? Confident or what? Um, I'm I'm giving away nothing, Link. I'm giving wow. away nothing. You're okay. gonna get a fucking deep out of me, All this right. fucking guy. Well, what did you get up to? Because you you, you, um, you know exactly what I'm doing. Because you know I pretty yeah. obvious my meta. What's yours? I just trained this episode. Um, I did a couple quests <sighs> and yeah. I got a gear upgrade. Um, shields. You got the obby shield. That's gonna so... be my guess. So yeah. I, I, it was a bit of a. Fuck. It was one of those write-off episodes for me, where I was like, okay, I need to start getting some XP. I need to do this. I need to do that. So there was a few just, just bullshit things to get on with, to be honest. Ah, oh, did he train defense, dude? I, because when I filmed this episode, I kind of had the interpretation that there's no way you're getting 70 defense by this episode, because I, I, I was thinking like. After this episode, whether he wins or loses, he's probably going to get 70 because he's got the armor for it. And I don't mm. think he'd waste time training. Yeah, you uh, thought, thought again... completely right. The only way oh, okay. I, the only way, the only way I could have done it is if I put my 100k XP reward into defense. And I was like, that's such a waste of skilling XP reward. Um, yeah, I did say that. I was like, he's not doing that, guys. I very like, nearly did it. I very nearly did it. Really? I, yeah, yeah, I did. Let's just make this win off me too, you little shit. Well, my thought process <laughs> was if I can pull more wins, that's more XP. But I was like, no, we're going to... I, 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 I'm pretty sure I'm losing this episode. I should have lost last episode and I haven't changed uh, much. Oh, no, Link. I never want to hear you say that. You say that every <laughs> time that happens. Um, no, fuck you. Thanks. Guys, you know, I forfeit. Just kidding. <laughs> Let's do a little look Not up, true. mate. I'm going to look you up, all right? All right. Okay. Uh, 50 attack, 50 strength. That hasn't changed. That. 70 fuck defense, sake. 70 range. Hasn't changed. 53 prayer. That hasn't changed. 64 magic. That's gone up, but I'm guessing that's just from doing barrows. Um, yeah. 69 HP might have gone um, up. Not, I don't see much. See, this is the problem. I don't see much. This is the, this is the problem, guys. It's not even just like, getting lucky at Barrows is good for gear, but it just means you can spend more time doing other things during the episode. Oh yeah, That's massive. Seventy-two range. Massive. Like I, I, uh, I, I, I can go and do other fuck. things. I'm free from Barrows, which is lovely. Um, so that's my th view. Is you know, I definitely have the gear disadvantage right now. After this episode and the XP reward, I'll have some gear back, which will help me. But right now, I needed to spend my time getting some serious XP, getting myself up, and just and just trying to get myself ahead for the future, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I'd be so. dumb not to. Ah, uh, helm. Boom. Yep. No, no Ooh, upgrade no on the upgrade. helm. No upgrade. Wow. Okay, that's great to see. No upgrade on the helm. Uh, let's go body, mate. Interested to see what you bring here. Okay. Bring right. the Torag this mm -hmm. time. I out the Darox. It could fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It could seriously, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> He's for you, then. <laughs> All right. Your pick, mate. Um. No, it's actually your pick. No, I, I no, said it's not. It's my pick. Um. Fuck it. We're just taking our best items. Legs. Okay, yeah. I mean, I'm still rocking this. Okay. Of course. All right. Did you get tank legs, or are you literally just that? No, no. I, I mean, you're gonna find out. I, I don't remember how many chests I have. Actually, does it tell me if I look it up? Um, Remington to see if it tells me. Doesn't. Sell it doesn't. Look up. Oh it, no, it doesn't. It's like forty, like mid forties, like right. low to mid forties, and I didn't get anything I could bring to a fight. I, I got an arm staff. Which I can't even wear. You got one item this episode. Yep. Wow. That that change in yeah. shift from what seven to one? Like what? 
Yeah. Wow. Uh, it's it, I mean that that's actually about normal. I mm. I think I'm slightly under drop rate if we're f focusing just on this episode, but right. it just needs to be the right item. That's yeah. the problem. Like there's yeah. so many useless items that I can get. Yeah. Let's go cape, mate. Oh, maybe it was a cape upgrade, but then he he killed baby reds. Oh, okay, that's the same. All right. Uh, necklace. Okay. Uh, gloves. A greeny voice. <laughs> I'm guessing you did barrows all episodes, so there's just nothing that you're gonna change. Uh, pretty much. Right. I'm I'm more in suspense about what what you upgraded. Right. Maybe snake skin boots. Boots. Ah, he's called it. Yeah, it's okay. Dude, took like I just, 25 I, I, minutes. It's a joke. <laughs> like... <laughs> I just didn't know what else it could possibly be if you killed yeah. Reds all episode. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I still haven't taken the time to do it because it's a plus one range bonus. You've also got to do, like, uh, you've got to do like one of the quests to be able to start the cleanup mini game. So it's it's literally like a 40 minute thing uh, to do snakeskin boots. It's a fucking joke, bro. Yeah. Uh, if yeah. I had but when you already... have the extra time, you can fucking yeah. do it. I had the extra time and Little I'd already dick. done the quest. So I was like, fuck it, you know, might as well. Um, yeah, no, it's, I mean, look, I, it, if if I was in your position, I feel like fine tuning those small gear pieces is, is one of the most crucial things to do. Yeah, for sure. Um, for me, dude, everything else is the same. Not gonna lie. Uh, all right. You know, I'll just, I'll just fucking throw it up. Oh, we, we got, got it. it. We got it. Just I mean, it, I, that's rings. why I alk my Darok. I, yeah, I alk my Darok's plate body. I alk my two Guthins War Spears. I'm never gonna need that. Yeah. Just bought a bunch of Chaos Runes. I was like, guys, I could just keep doing Barrows, get it next episode, but like that would be really fucking dumb if I held it off. So yeah, 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 yeah. makes sense. Rather the range defensive bonus. Now this gives like plus thirty six more range defense at the cost of only negative six more range. Yeah. So it's like a hundred percent worth it if you're ranging. Oh which, yeah, one hundred percent. Which you are. Yeah. Um, I mean, I literally already accepts I've lost this episode. I yes, I know what oh you say God, about it again. I know what he you say about this, but let's no, be honest. No, like, I should have lost no, last episode like, and like, I'm now like, further like, behind like, on gear. So yes. no, wait, I'm not gonna hear it. La 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 <laughs> Mate, you no, need I'm to take a it. long hard look in the mirror nope, if you I'm think not, you're nope. not going to win in that nope. gear. <laughs> nope. I'm well, not, I'm, I'm guys, I'm not I'm not I'm not listening to this fucking nonsense. I'm he's getting not. my inventory. Right, let's see what he's got. Did he take the four pots, the the four prayer potions this time? Or is he not doing that? I'm going four again. Oh! Is he? Oh, okay. No. I... So I was like, it's like <laughs> no, is he I holding this off right? Okay. All right. No, uh... I, I mean, uh, if in, in, in a perfect world, maybe three is better if you could time multiple flicks at once and yeah. but you know i i there's no way i'm flicking eagle eye and the defensive prey so. i agree like my view is i'd rather know that everything's going to be fine than try and play better in the fight because if you have like a disastrous fight you fuck yourself there you know um, yeah definitely so. definitely so uh recoil and... boom and i did Ooh. bring the dagger Thank you, oh. from the heavens. I, no, I again, I thought about this. I was like, he's going to try to snake this win in any way he can. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. to be honest, I've been bringing that every time anyway. But I was like, if there's one episode he's going to try it, it's probably this one. Yeah, that was my, um, my view completely. I was like, I'm losing this. So the only way we might be able to get the edge is if he decides not to bring an anti and I bring the poison. So it had to be done. And I did not bring a recoil this time decided it wasn't worth it i mean i think it's still worth it if you are tick perfect on getting it on but <laughs> wow. Not... wow dude it had 26 damage left in it and i'm just thinking like and I, I i put it on last fight decently fast so i decided it wasn't worth the stress I and mean, of course i'm wearing one um yeah but yeah wow okay interesting right. kind of said fuck it i'll take the extra food so Let's... my inventory is looking a bit empty like like when i look at my inventory I, I it's it's like it's just like a piece of me's gone there's no recoil in there you know <laughs> you know sad big brain plays mate you can't forget to put your recoil on if you don't bring one so. <laughs> <laughs> hold on i'm gonna drink some water first link gotta hydrate mm -hmm. stay hydrated kids I feel like every fight there's like a there's a moral to the to the fight at this point and we give some sort of advice. Last week it was you on sex ed. 
now we're talking about <laughs> hydration. Guys, stay hydrated. Stay hydrated during Although... sex. Don't you know? We could we could we could combine our lessons now. I like that link. Stay hydrated because sex uses a lot of energy, a lot of water loss, a lot of sweating. Correct. <laughs> Correct. A lot of breathing too. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> I'm sorry, well, everyone. I'm so sorry for our conversation. Well, you lose a lot of fucking H2O by breathing, bro. Oh, That's not mate. even a joke, man. Make me lose, make Breathe me lose on a plus. mirror. Come on. Breathe on me. a mirror, bro. <laughs> Look how much water's on that fucking mirror, oh, okay? God. Just You know what? Just don't breathe during sex, okay? Rock's, Rock's advice this week is stay hydrated and breathe on mirrors. There you go, guys. Have a good weekend. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Uh, I am potting. This is your oh, two-second warning. I, I I can't deal with your shenanigans, dude. Honestly. Oop, that's the wrong prayer. Oh, wow. We hit our first hit. Okay. <laughs> not used to that, man. I am not used to that. I can't hit. Man's a tanky <laughs> boy. I mean, neither can I, dude. I hit once. That doesn't really... Okay, they're running twice. Yeah, 15. 30 damage as well. By the way, I just want to say something real quick. A lot of people in last episode were saying that I was missing my prayer flicks. And guys, I would not be able to hit a 15 if I'm missing prayer flicks. Um, you, you have to flick it before you bring the bow up. It's when the XP drop happens. I think a lot of people don't understand that. Sorry. How to say it. Had to say it, Link. He's fuming. You've rattled him I'm in not the really comment fuming. section, guys. Rattled. Well, I, I, I am fuming, but not for that reason, you know? Right. Not for that reason. Okay, this, this is, is a zero a fest. I'm glad I brought 15,000 bolts. <laughs> gonna need them. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Going anywhere nice on your holidays, mate? Uh, nope. Room fest? Come on. Come on, RNG. Two weeks in a row. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, no. Stop. Dude, I was around the JX offices sucking everyone off this weekend just to try and get a little bit more <laughs> RNG. Did you thank Mod Ash? Fuck's sake. <laughs> Mod Ash thanks I swear me, he probably so I did a good job. Fuck. I swear some J Mod is watching these fights, bro, and they're like, yeah, you know what? Let's fuck <laughs> with them a little bit. <laughs> Come on. A lot of people were getting angry with me in the comment section of the last one, guys. Like, it's not me who chooses my RNG. Please don't get angry with me. People are like, Link's such a cunt. Like, all right. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so I sorry. I mean, you are. But... Oh, thanks. Yeah, but for different reasons, you yeah. know? Yeah, <laughs> for different reasons. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Mate, it's getting to the point where four prayer pots isn't going to be enough. <laughs> Dude, dude, I'm about to say, can we true snow fucking steel skin? This is a joke. <laughs> oh my god. Uh... Zeros, you love to see it. Yeah, dude, my melee defense obviously is also through the roof, yeah. so. It's not gonna happen, is it? I, I, you know, yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna let him hit it. I, I, cause I, I, dude, I honestly feel like the, the biggest play about a melee weapon at this point is to just fake him off a of range prey so you get a free range. Legit, 100%. <laughs> you know? It's definitely the most DPS you can throw out in one of these fights. Yeah, range, range, range is fucking wild. Sure. Okay, okay. Come on. Nice. Hmm. Might just tally to the monastery at this point, mate. <laughs> we'll, we'll just take the fight there. <laughs> Honestly, it wouldn't be about AD, <laughs> fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, God. Come on. Speed up. Man's not feeling it. Doesn't want to sit on that no low prayer. No point. There's just no point in, in, in risking it. Now, yeah. okay, hold on. You aren't hitting much at all now. Now, granted, I do have a higher range defense. 
but like it was still massive last episode, bro. I actually I, have higher I still... range attack this episode because of the snakes in boots. So, you know, I've I've made up a little bit of attack as well. So yes, there's a difference, but I agree. Like the amount I was hitting last time compared to this is ridiculous. Yeah, fuck, man. Come on. How you feeling? Confident? I mean, yeah. Now, nah, just based on the hits. I mean, honestly, dude, when I came in this fight, I, I didn't know what to expect. I, I genuinely thought you were going to try to mage me. So I was a bit nervous. But you didn't go for it. I definitely wouldn't have worked. Sat here in robes. Like, fuck me. Yeah, that's the one. I mean, if you had like Arams, it'd be a pretty solid play. But fucking Mystic is brutal because it's just got no range or melee defense. Yeah, it's, Zero. It's just asking to get fucking sent. Ooh. Oh. 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 <laughs> Just gonna, just gonna keep to the range that. up, guys. Honestly, <laughs> he's so excited he hit. I'm not even poisoned. I'm so upset. <laughs> Fuck's sake. This is gonna be a fun one for Underpaid to edit. Underpaid, how much Hello, fun? How we doing, man? How much fun are you having right now, Underpaid? I've managed to accidentally take the piss out of myself because it's not Underpaid editing this. It's me. And I'm not having fun, Link, so thanks. Appreciate it. I mean, he'd love editing fucking last fight, bro. <laughs> yeah. Fuck's sake, man. Just watch me at like a 24-24 DDS spec. Don't <laughs> shit and take me out. <laughs> Oof, nice. It's just the story of my life, man. Come on. Seven. Eight. Thirteen. Wow. Oh. The train. The train. Just stop. I think you oh, might be right on the recoil. Yeah, dude. It's, dude, I still I, mine even, still hasn't run out yeah, yet. Me neither. Mine still hasn't run out yet. Me neither. He's gonna take that strat the next fight. <laughs> Fuck. Oof. Nice. Come on. Come on. One more. I, I do. I do think it pretty much plays to about equal as long as you remember to put it on. Now that we're talking about it, you'll probably remember to put it on, so... Oh, at least at this stage. Nice! Advice. Come on! <sighs> okay, we've had a strong middle of the fight here. Really strong middle of the fight! Wow. Oh man. Come on. What's going on? He's oh. really scared of that DDS spec coming in. <laughs> Come on, oh, sit on like 20 HP, mate. Let's see what happens. That's bold. I'm not that bold, though, man. I just want to win at this point. <laughs> I just want to fucking win, bro. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Is that too much to ask for, Link? Far too much, mate. Far too much. It was a three hour drive to Cambridge. I had to go and fucking pay off all the Jagex people. I mean, what have you done? You've just played, you've played RuneScape. That's it, you know? So I didn't cheat and I'm being called <laughs> out for it. <laughs> oh! Fuck. What, what, why did you I just yell? flicked melee by on? accident. As you hit, oh. and I was like, no. And I think I had like 26 HP. Like that could have been a death bear. <laughs> Nice. Oh, man. Hit. <sighs> okay. 
granite plate body is going to go up by hundreds of K, guys. Invest now. Right. Oh! Fuck, are you kidding me? He can't have too much prayer himself. Oh, oh my, my god. Oh my god, yes. Guys, this is why I Dude, didn't use fuck? steel skin. This is why I used rock skin instead. So I would have a prayer advantage at the end. I know a lot of people are probably screaming at the screens like he's got the wrong defense prayer on. No, I don't. Dude, no, are you I fucking don't. kidding me? No, I don't, bees and G's. Nah, I'm done. I'm this is Come on! Come on! There. How much food? Four crab ones. That, nah, that's 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 fuck. <laughs> what? When I saw you there, I was like, he's got to be joking here. There's no chance. What? Prayer isn't even the issue. I mean, it was down for what? Last 20 seconds of the fight? That I mean, it's not like that was even four Korean oh, bonds. Oh, legit. Right? Yeah, that's fucked that I've out dps Before you. anybody fucking says, them. what the fuck? I, dude, that was farther than last fight. That doesn't make sense. No, at I'm all. done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. That's fucked. I, I'm so over this. Fuck. Honestly, guys, I am... I'm just confused. I'm not even angry anymore. I'm just confused. I'm sad and confused. I, I really don't get how how I lost that. I know some people might say my prayer drop, but if it was like a one food difference and I lost, I'd say fair enough. But it was it was a five. He had four food, plus he didn't even use his freaking second recoil. He had like 30-something hits left in it. And I didn't even bring one. A second one, that is. I, I genuinely just can't figure out how the difference could be that big. Pulled up a DPS calc to show you guys. Because I'm, I, I feel like I'm going insane here. The only thing different is snakeskin boots because there's no frog leathers on here, but every everything else is exactly equal. Um, this is link stuff. Everything is exactly how the fight was, which is a bit skewed because he actually didn't have steel skin on the entire time, but we we did check it from Link's perspective. My DPS is eighteen percent higher. If you take point eight four divide it into point seven one, it is one point one eight. I, I I don't know. I just feel like something's wrong here. Look at the hit chance percent difference. Let's just spin. Let's just spin. One, four, seven, two. Let's generate. 439. Let's see where we're going. Where is this? Felds it pills? Okay, cool. I will see you guys in the next episode. All right, B's and G's. Looks like we're social distancing here. Kids, that's very good practice in these times. Um, I don't know. I, you know, I want to put it down to the prayer and him dropping it, but we went into the... When he dropped his prayer, I had four food. I don't get it, guys. I do not get it. And I know a lot of people are going to be angry with me, but, like, I didn't wish for this RNG, you know? I, I'm as flabbergasted as you are. I, d I don't understand. Um, pff, we'll take it, though. We will take it. Let's go ahead and see where we're going to land. And uh, hopefully, 363, that sounds okay. Right, three, six, three. Ooh. Okay, okay. Um, it'll be one click away. That shouldn't be 470. I've clicked that by accident. But it'll be one click away to get connected. I think we can either go up one. We could go side one. I think I need this chunk for what's it called the whole you know holy grail quest line because you need granite for king's ransom i think so i guess that's a one two three there but i would have had a one two three anyway because i've already got these squares so it's not that huge for that um but it does mean it's a one click so we're going to spend one to connect to our giant landmass then we'll be able to use that one over um to finish roving elves and regicide which means crystal shield next episode um, and also, with the uh, defense XP, we're going to be looking really strong because we'll be able to grab ourselves the uh, 
we have to grab ourselves Barrow's gear as well. So, you know, if Kins can't win in this gear, I'm worried to see what happens when we're uh, fully kit out next episode. We will see. Um, yeah, feel feel for Kins, guys. I genuinely do. Um, uh, it's really, really harsh to take. Kinos, there we go, mate. Your choice has been made. Yep. yep I, yep. you know, I was saying, feel a bit, feel a bit bad. I mean, that that's harsh on you, man. So, I wish you luck. I do. I genuinely do. And uh, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, you. the RNG swings back in your way at least a little bit. Maybe not too much. You know, I don't want you to go on too much of a train. But uh, yeah. Uh no, I, you know, <laughs> I don't need a big swing. <laughs> Uh, Small swing ain't gonna cut it. Episode 23, welcome guys, welcome. Has been a couple of crazy defeats over here on Team Rarg, but you know what? We are not going to let it get to us. We're going to keep pushing forward. As you can see, 73 range. All 300k XP just went right into range. I want to try to keep that range advantage. I really thought about putting it in other skills, either melee or magic, but decided against it. I really want to keep that range advantage and I knew it would get me really close to 74 and it's just uh, it, the, the range level is shooting up. His is of course as well too. Um he is going to put his into defense. It'd be I'd be a bit confused if he didn't to be honest, but then again he's winning anyway without doing it. So, but let's be honest, he's going to get 70 defense by the end of this episode. So, Probably going to get 74 range, and that's what I wanted. That's awesome, and we will get that by the end of this episode as well. So, anyways, that's where my XP went. This episode, it's going to be a lot of questing. A lot, a lot of questing. We're going to start Recipe for Disaster, and we're going to do the Evil Dave portion so we can get the stews that can boost Fletching. I can easily get 55 Fletching. We need a plus 3 boost so we can go for the Emerald Bolts Enchanted. Now, I know that is quite a weird thing to go for. I, I mean, actually, to you guys, it might seem quite normal. Emerald Bolts honestly aren't that good. They're, they're amazing if you catch your opponent off guard and they don't have an anti-poison. But if they have an anti-poison, they're really shitty. And I'd have to waste an inventory slot, just like Link has to waste an inventory slot for anti-poison. So it kind of does just average out, assuming I have no other way of poisoning. But... I, I actually talked about how this wasn't really my main plan and I didn't really ever want to do Emerald Bolts, but after the past two episodes, I'm going to need to really spend time going for these more like snaky type wins. Um, hopefully he doesn't see it coming. If he does not see Emerald Bolts coming, this wasn't a skill reward, so maybe he just thinks I'm not going to grind out the level. Um, but... Yeah, I mean, it's probably quicker just to get fucking 58 fletching. Actually, that's not true. But I figure if I do Evil Daves now, it'll help me for other bolts going down in the future. And you know what? It, it just seems like the move. It just seems like the move. Plus, Recipe for Disaster, best hybrid gloves you can get. And uh, we can start definitely working towards that as well well hello bees and g's welcome back to the pvp chunk progression thing which i think is officially the name of this series now um if you have missed any of the previous episodes there will be a playlist up in the top right corner here the little i button and a playlist in the description as well if you just want to click the link click on that and you get caught up with everything you would have missed i'm gonna be pretty brief here because we are in the desert and i will take desert heat otherwise but um yeah we got this chunk which completely useless chunk. It's really got nothing in it whatsoever. Um, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be connecting to our giant landmass. And by doing that, the first one we're going to choose is this out of our five picks. This is going to be the first one. Just because we've got a fairy ring here means that I don't have to do the whole like teleport to Lumbridge, walk through our grid, buy a pass. I can just fairy ring here now. So if I ever need to make some money or something, uh, we can do that. Or if we need to, you know, do some things down here at some point, then maybe we'll be able to do that. Um, which then connects to the uh, giant landmass we've got. Going to be unlocking these two squares just because they're needed for one small favor. And I really want to get the Guthix rests on this account. Um, so that's the two we're going there. No other reason. Uh, the sheep shearer. Other than that, yeah, it's it's literally because one small favor needs those. Um, 
Then I'm going to be going and opening up this chunk here. Same reason um, as before, there's a ferro ring here. I don't think that'll ever be useful, but I do think you need it for a clue step. So maybe there's a small chance we'll do that at some point. Um, and also we can get the sulfur and the coal here. So uh, yeah, that's why I'm doing that. So we can do regicide and roving elves. And then my last pick is White Wolf Mountain just because it's needed for one small favor. Um, there's also a gnome glider there, so we can get there really quickly, which is nice. Um, there's also the fishing contest um, thing to do, which does unlock higher level um, Cullen and Romance uh, gloves. I can never say that word, but uh, yeah. So fairly boring picks, but just things that need to be done. Um, I'm gonna start this timer and we are going to teleport to the Berthorn Games room, so. Let's begin. And as for the unlocks in this episode, of course, as always, we get six, including the one we start in. So that is one right there. Here we are. And we're going to connect it to, you guys guessed it, the giant landmass. So that's going to be three. And this connects us all the way over to the golem quest and also the shadow of the storm quest. So that's four unlocks. Then right here for demon slayer. We need that little ring there, unfortunately. But that's going to be five. Now I can actually complete... Bon Voyage this episode because you need a Zaya chunk unlocked. Um, but I wanted it ready when the Zaya happens, if it happens. So we're going to unlock Fossil Island, the boat, and that connects us to where the deranged archaeologist is to get the Black Dehyde body. So yeah, those are my six unlocks, guys. Hopefully that's everything we need to steamroll us through all these quests. Anywhere from Gertrude's Cat to Recipe for Disaster to ultimately go for those Emerald Bolty and eventually hybrid gloves. But this episode, we won't be using those gloves, but we'll work our way towards getting to like Black and Mithril and stuff and final fight material. So I'm gonna try to do all these quests in a strategic order um, and try to collect materials in a way where I'm doing it while I'm questing. Um, like I already got a sardine and stuff for the Gertrude's cat quest, which I'll be doing right after this one Let's just start recipe for disaster if we can just wrapping up Gertrude's cat now. We got a hug from Gertrude. Oh, yes <laughs> Find your cat any day. We got a white cat nice and this is ooh and some food was that lag or is that just delay? That was kind of weird This was the first quest I wanted to do because this kitten should grow by the time i get to recipe for disaster where i'm getting the stews and even if it doesn't we could just wait until it does because it's definitely under four hours you have three hours and 47 minutes left and i don't have any fish fuck I sh oh we have some sardines i did have sardines oh man i gotta look at my bank more often and there we go that's the demon slayer quest complete let's quickly look what we have next on our list we have um, the RFD cook part, or the golem. I'm probably going to do the RFD cook part. We need to go to, uh, oh, quickest way, Artie. Yes, we want to get, what's it called? A fruit blast. There we go, easy enough for the recipe for disaster cook part. Um, do I have to, I, I guess I have to do for the quest, don't I? Okay, yeah. This is a long ass cutscene, but it's fine. Gotta be done, guys. Gotta be done. So let's take a second, figure out what quest we're gonna do next. The golem. We're doing the golem next. Shadow of the storm after that. And then it's the RFD portion of it. And um Yeah. Which while we do that part of the quest, we can get our stews for the plus three boost. I mean, because technically we don't need to do the RFD part of the quest, but it, I feel like it's gonna happen naturally while we're going for the plus three boost because I will get the one flashing level. Today's plan is to wear Barrow's gear. Oh, I haven't even told you about my um, stats. So I might as well do that while we're uh, off doing the next thing. Uh, so yeah, I put all of my XP. Well, actually I didn't. I put 200 and something K, 230 K maybe um, into defense, which took me to 70 defense, which means we can now wear the Barrow stuff that we've got, the Varric plate skirt and the Torag helm. Um, and then I put the rest into range. So we now got 73 range, 70 defense. Really, really happy with that. Uh, so that's where my XP went and that's, uh, that's what's going on. I think we did gain an HP level as well, but of course HP XP is free. Is that a new chest? I don't ever remember seeing that chest before. Um, so what we need is we need Ardy. So yeah, the first plan today is to do Regicide and Roving Elves. That way we'll get ourselves the Crystal Shield, um, which is going to be massive. It actually gives the highest range bonus of any one-handed shield in the game. 
Um, it is only surpassed by an Ellie because of the Ellie's, um, you know, stat or damage reducing bonus. So an Ellie is technically better, but, you know, obviously we're not getting an Ellie on the account. So the, the Crystal Shield really will be absolutely unrivaled. Um, and it's just going to be massive. And the fact Kins went and bought the Tok um, Zill the other day, last episode, like... I don't think it was really a massive waste for him because he was getting the runes passively anyway from doing Barrows. But it, it, it feels good to know that he used some resources and time to get a inferior shield. Um, so, yeah. I don't know if he'll go for the Crystal Shield. Maybe he will. But I, I don't think he's got the unlocks really to go towards it. He's obviously done... Um, he's obviously done... Pff, I can't even remember what he's done. But he's done he's done the quest that gives you the Ivan stuff. Um so he has definitely started this sort of quest line, but I'm not sure if his unlocks favour trying to go for something like this. So, uh, yeah, the Crystal Shield will be massive. Whether he follows suit and does it um, will be will be down to him. But obviously, he's still got to try and do Barrows, and he's still got to try and get himself those items that he needs before he can even start thinking about a Crystal Shield. So, yeah, feeling pretty good about the situation right now. Um, this part is really annoying because we're actually going to lose. That's the quest complete, guys, of the golem. Um, I now need three pieces of black clothing. Normally, I just buy the, the robes and then I dye them black with the black ink, but I don't have access to that. Attention. Attention. Where is it? Is it interact? Yeah, interact. Boom. Stroke. You know, let's feed him too. He's He's been a good little boy. He's been a good little boy recently. Um, okay, we're gonna go to Varrock and just figure something out. Black clothing. Does black armor work? Black full helm? Does that work? Black full helm? Black plate legs? I can get those. That's the quest. Oh, crap. Um, oh, man. Crap. What do I put this to? Um, let's put it to range. Let's put it to range. Screw it. Well, let's get us a range level. I think it will. And we get a dark light, which I think is gonna be pretty pointless. It does lower defense, the spec. Um,. By 5%, yeah, considering we get four doses of defense potion of fight, probably not worth it. But there we go, guys. Okay, Shadow of the Storm is another quest complete. Where's my list? Where's my list? Shadow of the Storm and Golem are both done. Um, now it's just the Evil Dave portion of the quest. Our cat is so far from being fucking grown, though. So while I was thinking what to do next, decided just to top off on that 55 fletching. The Right now, the smart move would be to wait until my cat grows and then do the recipe for disaster evil dave um mini quest get that finished you know make the emerald bolts but to be honest my cat's not going to grow until the very end of the episode when there's like roughly 30 ish minutes left and while that should be enough time it's not something that i really want to risk guys because my rng has just been a little fuck lately and it, it is possible that i might get fucked over and just not get the dyes needed and not getting the correct boosts and then i'll have to make restores to speed up the process because if i get like a negative three um fletching boost or what would be called a boost at that point but if my fletching goes down three i might need to make restores to fucking bring it back up so i can drink my next dose and stuff but if i have plenty of time i could just relax while doing it and not stress over it um so i decided not to do the mini quest but just use my kitten to go for orange dye um is it dye no it's spices for orange spice so i can boost my fletching and of course i'll save all the other spices that i get but i won't actually try to complete the quest until i get a cat and and also i um have to make my own stews which is really shitty because I can't actually buy them from Camelot, or not even Camelot, Sears Village, because I just don't have that part of the map unlocked. So I'll have to actually make my own stew, which isn't going to take too much time, but it's an extra factored in time, which sucks. But all in the name of poison. And there we have it. 55. Maple longbows is actually really awesome. You don't have the wood cutting level to even cut uh, maples. But that's probably going to be your best fletching XP because while maples are really slow it's the same speed to get bowstring and to actually add the bowstring uh i hate this part because you can't actually take once you go over the bridge it actually stops you from taking anything you drop so we'll use this on there Equip that, take an egg potato and hopefully we hit the target and we'll only lose one egg potato 
Looks like we've got it. But yeah, if you drop anything... I think I found this out the hard way as a kid. I dropped like a, a dragon simi or something along those lines. And then I had to like telly back or something to go and get it. Um, so yeah, you can't actually go back and get it because the, the drawbridge gets ripped up. So if you're ever doing this quest or this quest line, remember that. And here we go, guys. This is going to be a regicide completed. Um, and we'll move straight on to rowing elves after this. There we go. 13,000 agility XP, 15k. And access to... Tira 1, or whatever it's called. Uh, yeah, let's start Roving Elves now. Okay, I'm not sure if this is the end of the Roving Elves quest. It probably isn't. I think we might actually need to plant the seed anywhere in the room. All right, plant. I think we might actually need to go back through the underground pass one more time. I mean, we're going to need to anyway to, uh, to get the crystal shield, so. Uh, okay, I think this might be Roving Elves completed. Oh, yes. I saw the picture. Shields are for wimps. Give me the bow. No, I don't like running behind mushroom shield, please. Oh, B's and G's. 10,000 strength XP as well. I didn't even know that was coming. Oh, 80 range defense. 80. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. 80 range defense, and it's amazing for melee as well. 50s in the melees. It gives no negative defense bonus it does give negative range and magic but that's fine it's not huge uh, i think the the uh rune kite was giving me minus six or four something like that um so it's not a huge step up in terms of negative range attack but that is amazing 80 range defense is huge Oh my god. Okay, let's telly and let's get out of here. So here in Host Sidious, we actually have access to bowls and a lot of potatoes. So we're going to buy those right now and start the ingredients for a stew. The other ingredient we need is beef. Um, maybe I can buy that somewhere off the top of my head. I don't actually know. But um, even if we can't, I mean, beef is pretty easy to get. Just kill cows for a few minutes and... Should get plenty. I believe this fucker, Chadwell. How we doing, Chadwell? I believe you sell lots of beef. Yes, he does. Beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna buy some beef. Then we're gonna cook some stew. The cook chance on the Lumbridge range at 40 cooking is like 80%. So I'm not too worried about burning a lot of them. I'm just gonna buy one inventory worth and basically however many I don't burn is what we're going with. 21 stews. To be completely honest, if it takes more than 21 stews, the time that would take to get those spices would honestly be pretty unreal. Um, could I just start? Do we actually need to like talk to him? Where's my cat? Uh, let's just try. I know the chance is like freaking 1%. Oh, yeah, he manages to get away. Of course he does. He's gonna be a hell kitten soon. What is it, five? He needs to catch? Maybe it's only one. I don't know. He's gonna become evil. He's gonna become evil, though. He's cute white, though. I like him white. He looks like a snowball. That's his name. His name's Snowball, guys. So as it turns out, I did need to complete the quest to um to actually, you know, drink the stew or eat the stew. Um, But I just got the last piece I needed. We have one brown. We have one yellow, we have two orange, and by the way, look at all the orange I got in the process, so I'm really excited for that. And the last one we needed was red. Red took a while, but since it took a while, we got more orange in the process. So, oh, please tell me this is right. It should be. It This this should be right. Uh, Yes, boom. Okay, guys, let's go cash this in. Then we have, um, what is that, 10 doses of spice over here so maybe we can get it instantly which would be fantastic but i'm also going to keep catching more as i drink them because you know it might it might lower my fletching and i don't have any restores to get it back up so in that time i'm actually going to keep um hunting more rats but um let's cash this in and complete the mini quest which is our first sub part to recipe for disaster you can't eat it by mistake i'm really upset I went through that dialogue too quick and I had to go back and have him taste the stew again. But we did it. There we go. Let's try the stew thing instantly. Let's go back to the bank and grab the rest of our stews out because we can try it like two times. Okay, the next thing I'm going to be doing is we're going to be using all those bones that I showed in the last episode. And we're just going to get our prayer as high as possible. Um, 
I'm debating between going for an obby cape or a fire cape. I looked at the DPS calc and the fire cape really doesn't do that much in terms of a fight against kins. It's literally like 0.4% extra DPS over an obby cape. So I'm just trying to weigh up which would be better. Um, the problem with the fire cape is it will probably take two to three hours. Um, and if it, if, if it takes, let's say it takes two hours 30, I've only got 2 hours 20 right now, so I would, I'd have to leave on like wave 50 or whatever, you know? Um, unfortunately, on an account like this, I'm not going to be able to do enough damage quickly enough to secure it. So it's the sort of thing that I have to do like at the start of an episode. Um, and that's the reason why I'm not super keen on it, because it doesn't even increase my DPS or, or makes the DPS that much better than the DPS would be with an obby cape. And, you know, an obby cape we can sort of get passively just by making money and selling runes and selling that obby maul I've got and stuff. Um, so it's, it's really trying to work that out now, um, whether I should do it or not. But either way, prayer will be help helpful for the fight. It will also be helpful if we do go for a fire cave attempt because uh, obviously we'll get more prayer pots or prayer restores out of our pots. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to run these big bones, baby dragon bones and dragon bones up to the wildy altar see what prayer we get um it should be a decent amount of xp hopefully and uh, yeah then i'll just see where i'm at i don't think we're going to be able to go for a fire cape attempt this time because we are cutting it a bit short like i i probably should have started it like 10 minutes ago realistically to be absolutely sure um and i'd rather not waste two hours of my time and then realize i've run out of uh i've run out of time so yeah We'll see. We'll see. I'm tossing up between the two. But we definitely have the gear and we definitely have the bolts and the pots now. So it's definitely, you know, very doable. Um, it's just whether or not it's going to be worth it. Okay, that got us up to 55 prayer, which is a bit annoying because if I had 56 prayer, I'd actually get one more prayer point per dose of prayer potion. So a little bit annoying we couldn't hit 56. Um, and that's kind of the reason why we're going to go here to the baby reds. Uh, again, want some grubby keys, want some XP. We're only 23k XP away from 74 range. So it means we can go ahead and, uh, and grab ourselves that range level. Just kidding. We can actually try it three times. So let's put the orange uh, spice in. Now we have to actually fletch this and then add the tips to the mithril bolt. So we got to be quick. We're not even going to check the level. We're just going to try it. Now... Up, oh, minus four. Okay, stuff like that. That's why I want to keep catching rats. Oh, we do. Okay, actually, screw it. Let's just try it all fucking right now, right? Restore potions doesn't restore your fletching level? Never mind then. Let's, let's go back to rats. Okay, I learned something new today. All right, it's time to try again. It's time to try again. Three doses of orange in the stew. My favorite tasting stew. That is three, right? Okay, yeah. All right, ready? Another... Oh, dang. I, what? Minus four again. It's okay. It's okay. It's only a one in four chance of getting what we want, and we only did it twice, and we still have more. We still can do one more without getting any extra orange, so we'll see. We're still trying. We have four minutes to kill now to freaking <laughs> try to get more orange. Okay, I just want to say how lucky I've been getting with the orange spices. Uh, just got a an, another two dose, I think it was. I, I combined them, and I just got a four dose. Uh, I want to say this should be enough, uh, just statistically speaking, but of course anything could happen. We have more stews in the bank, but again, we're just going to keep doing this until we get 55 and just do it again and do it over and over and over again. So the stew. All right, time for another round. One, two, three. We are 55, right? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Let's do this. Drink it. Come on. 57 we can do it again back to back though one two three uh i just want to make sure i'm not misclicking here because that would ruin everything uh okay drink 58 oh man we can do it again we need more stew though oh come on come on come on come on i think that was four so that mm, damn it damn it damn it let's try it again though Okay, my orange spice. I still have a decent amount of orange spice. Yeah, we have... Oh, we can do two more. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, yep, drink. 58, 57 again. Okay, one, two, three, drink. 
Dude, I, 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 uh... Okay, bees and G's, this is gonna be probably the last thing I do. We got three grubby keys, um, I got 74 range and 56 prayer. So pretty happy with that, couple of upgrades there. No HP level, unfortunately. Um, three grubby keys, hoping for some Sarah Breeze, hoping for some Dragon Bones. Uh, other than that, I'm not really too bothered. Um, and then I'll send a uh, Tazar Telly and we'll buy some Kram Bones. I actually think I've got like 40 Kram Bones at the moment. Um, but, you know, might as well stock up. So, uh, yeah, I think we've already got enough, but I want to grab some anyway. It's quite useful to have them in the bank. Um, and we're sat on like 130k or something right now. So, yeah. Um, in terms of this episode, really, really happy with the upgrades. Obviously, the Crystal Shield. Now being able to wear the Barrow stuff as well. It was one of those one of those episodes where I just had to get that Crystal Shield because it needed to come as soon as possible. Um, and then obviously already having those Barrow's pieces. That 70 defense coming in is clutch. Expect to win this one. You know, I, I really do. Um, I'm sure he's going to do another round of Barrows and try and get some upgrades. Maybe he will. Um, but I'm feeling pretty confident here. Pretty confident. Maybe we can get some Sharks here as well. Maybe I'll bring like a few Sharks to this fight for, um, what's it called? For some Tick Eats. But uh, yeah, we will see. Here we go. Come on, Sharks, please. Nice. Oh, a crystal key as well. Bruise as well. Fuck yes, man. That is exactly what we wanted to see. Uh, another restore, which is great. That was a perfect one. I've got like four or five keys now. I need to... Oh my god. Yes. More sharks. Ranging potion. Oh, it is all happening. Uh, yeah, I've got like four or five, maybe more crystal keys now. More sharks. There are more sharks. And dragon bones. That was a really good... That was a really good one. Uh, three sharks here. Awesome. Uh, that was an awesome, awesome loot there. Oh, I'm over the moon at that. That's actually really, really good. Let's go to Tazar. Teleport. Loads of sharks there. A brew and a half. A restore. Ranging potions. Defense. And the dragon bones. And some death runes as well. If I want to send some like barrows or something. Or just, you know, if, I guess I've got like 600 death runes or something in the bank. So it's not huge. But uh, there we go. All right. I'll grab some money. I'll buy some crumb ones. And then we are done. <sighs> I'm... Not happy right now. That was six. 25% chance. It honestly took forever to get three more doses of spice. Um, they were all just single drops, but we do have three more. Please, 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 please. Okay, drink. Man. That's seven now? Okay. Well, we gotta keep doing it. This is exactly why I didn't want to wait until he was fully grown. Ooh, that was super quick. Our next two was was an orange one and an orange two. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Uh, I need to wait a second. I need to wait a second. Let's just catch some more in, in the process. Okay, here we go. We're 55. We're 55. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I, the amount of negative threes I have gotten, which is the same chance for a positive three, by the way, just in case you were curious. I'm gonna lose my mind, man. I'm gonna lose my mind. That's eight. That's eight. We we are twice the drop rate, if that's how you want to look at it. Just got a four dose orange spice. Let's chuck it in there. ASAP. No. No, no, no. Not again. Not again. Not again. Not again, man. Alright, we got three more. Uh put that in there. Okay. Drink. No comment. All right, three more. Where's the orange? There it is. One, two, three. Um. Okay, eat it or drink it. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Um. I'm gonna let it do one more, and then I'm gonna do this just to make sure we can make some. Cause I'm terrified. It's the 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 level's gonna go down. Um, 58. Okay, it is 58. I was hoping it was 59. We should be okay. E even if we're not, we got it now. I'm so, I'm so happy. I'm just so stressed it's gonna go away. <laughs> uh, yes. 60 of them. Finally! You watch him have a fucking anti-poison.
less than 32 minutes on the clock. We are started our first Barrows trip. We're not going to really be able to get too much done, guys. In in, in terms of Barrows, the the um, the bolts took quite a bit of time. Even if it doesn't work, I'm going to say it's not a waste of time because um, hybriding in the final fight will definitely be a thing. And the important thing about that is, you know, having some decent gloves and Recipe for Disaster is how you get those gloves. So um, it is what it is. I think it could definitely work if he doesn't bring an anti. I mean, I guess there's always that chance he, he thinks I'm going to go for that wild card move. Hopefully he doesn't see it coming. Hopefully he thinks his armor and his barrows, maybe crystal shield could just tank through it all. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. But um, I mean, I need the emeralds to even have a chance at winning here. But uh, yeah, I'll show you guys the chests we get. Like I said, it's not going to be too many, but um, hey, maybe we'll get a nice tank helm to bring to the fight. All right, Beats of Jeez, this is going to be the setup. And there's uh, one thing you might think, what the hell is Link up to here? Well, I think the anti-poison's needed at this point because I think Kins is going to come into this fight thinking he needs to come up with some plan. He needs something to get me because he knows this is coming. He knows this is coming. I think he also knows the Crystal Shield's coming because uh, the episode went out a bit earlier than it normally does this week. Um, or it went out, you know, late, however you want to look at it. Um, so he had time to know and read the comments. And, and so he he definitely knows these two items are coming. He possibly could know the Crystal Shield's coming as well. I've got a fairly decent high, <laughs> decent magic level as well, 67 uh, magic. Uh, so I don't think he'll go down the magic route. If he does, I'm not too worried because this setup with that magic defense and my level bolting against robes, I, I can't see him winning that. Um, melee, possibly. He could have gone for 60 attack and bringing a DDS. That's the first reason why I'm bringing the anti-poison, because there is a possibility that he easily had enough, um, XP to get just 60, 60 attack quickly. He also easily had enough, uh, woodcutting as well. I believe that he had the woodcutting level already to do Lost City. I think he's got all the chunks to do Lost City as well, so he could have easily done that. It, there's also the possibility that he went down, like, the whole fletching route and maybe just tried to get enough XP, maybe boosted with a Greenman's Ale or something like that to do Myth Bolts Enchanted, which require 58, and I think he was, like, 54 or 55 last time so it's definitely possible if he if he's trying to snake a win here that he goes for the uh for the myth bolts on top of that last episode we found out that bringing two recoils really isn't that great uh my recoil i put on almost instantly i think i took one damage um where i didn't have a recoil on uh, but i put the recoil on straight after that and my recoil had like 31 damage left in it so it doesn't make sense to bring two recoils anymore because of the amount of damage we're doing. So instead of a recoil, I thought we'll bring the anti-poison in case he's trying to snake a win with emerald bolts or a dragon dagger. I do not want to sit there and just slowly see myself die to poison. That would be horrendous, especially in the gear we've got. I don't think I need to take any chances. Might as well do it. Might as well come prepared. Let him know that I'm prepared for this so that he doesn't go and try and start doing that in future episodes as well. Um, and yeah, the rest is pretty, pretty, pretty sick. I'm pretty happy with everything. We might get an obby cape or a fire cape. One of the two. I don't know which one I'll go for. Um, I'll definitely look into that next episode. So yeah, that's the setup. That's the plan. Let's see how it's going to go. And uh, I'm hoping, I'm hoping there's poison in his plan. I will be over the moon. All right, I'm going to be going for 88% because I am getting a little low on death runes. Speaking of death runes, that's quite a bit good. If there's anything I need right now that isn't a Barrow's item, it's death runes because we definitely want to try to go to the deranged archaeologist in hopefully next episode's time, but sometime very soon. And, you know, we don't have much money on the account. And I want to alk all my Barrow's equipment. Chest number two of the day. Wish this man good luck. Um, okay, not the best. I'm about to die. Holy crap. I don't even know if I could tell you back. How much time do we have left on the uh, minigame teleport? Six minutes? That was a fucking horrible run. Okay, I'm gonna go buy my cram wands now then, guys. And then, um, back to Barrows, just so I don't waste any time. Eat the pop, get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> I don't know why that was so angry of me. 
All right, guys, we should be able to get one more chest if we're really quick. No death runes on that one. What? So Link is definitely going to show up with Barrows this fight. He's going to have Barrows. He might have a Crystal Shield. He's going to be pretty kitted out. Me, I am unfortunately rocking the same gear. Um, the gear itself with what I'm wearing definitely <laughs> wouldn't be enough to take him out. It couldn't even work on gear that was worse than this one. So I'm hoping the difference between... His gear and my gear isn't as big as the difference that Emerald Bolts can cause. If this thing poisons quick and he doesn't have an anti-poison, it's it like these are strong. These are incredibly strong. They have like a 55% chance of poisoning and they hit fives. And they constantly repoison again because it's 55% chance. So I, I don't think I'm gonna have to really be, you know, shooting these too much. If he has an anti-poison, I'm not even going to bother, of course. I just think at that point it wouldn't be worth it. But, um, of course, that was most of my plan this episode. And it's like my little Hail Mary, hoping that he just doesn't have anti-poison. He hasn't brought one yet, really. I mean, I think way early on, of course, he had it because I had the dagger, the Addy dagger. That's a throwback. Um, but even then, it didn't work. So, unless he has a hunch I did this, which, again, we didn't have any XP um in in skills so i'm really hoping he's not gonna see it coming but anyways let's go in the fight guys i'll see you there hey link four hours is up how you feeling man how you feeling after those four i mean i think i know i think you know how i'm feeling mate yeah you know well i mean I, I got... in in terms of the difference to what i know and what i don't know how how are you feeling because i i know you're gonna have barrows you know i you i miss you know i'm gonna look you up link because i know you got 70 defense i yeah. mean obviously i yeah. did yeah, yeah. Okay. um obviously so i mean you you know these items so i might as well put them on <laughs> yeah, you know what i have sake. i know you also know about this because because of how the episodes came out this week guys we had a chance to actually see the comments and stuff before we filmed so i know you know i have this as well yeah yeah um, i mean it's been it's been on my radar as well season two so i it's a definitely yeah. a play oh is it 80 range defense like fuck's sake i yeah. definitely expected it so so honestly mate at this point that <laughs> no just... <laughs> <laughs> i mean, you know what I I mean my gear could be different fuck i don't know yeah maybe yeah. you went to fucking deranged archaeologist my guy just threw on the fucking gear holy shit <laughs> Well, no, I was I, I, I think you could have some different stuff, but I don't want to waste everyone's time because everyone's known this gear for two episodes now, you know. I mean, this let's put um, on the stuff that you know that I have. Okay, well, it could change, but stuff that is gonna make or break anything. But it is the same, anyways. So, Link, you know what? Just call out some items. I'll, I'll, I'll put them up. I'll put them up. I'll put them up. All right, let's get legs. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I didn't. I don't know if I expect that to change or not because it does give a good range bonus, and it is defensive in a way. I I don't um, know if you're trying to patronize me right now or if this is a concern for you because like you had a fucking grand and play body last episode and you beat me. Well, you know, we'll I, see. I, I don't mean, even know why I'm trying to fucking sugarcoat this. <laughs> I didn't get right. any arrows. I okay, I got wow. fucking nothing. Link, can really? we please compare stats right now? Because I'm, I'm assuming uh, my defense might be a little higher, but your range attack must be through. I don't think it will be. Somewhere. I don't think it will be with this crystal shield. Oh, actually, I've got I forgot about that. Two, two, eight, two range defense. Wow, two, seven, six. It's close. Wow, yes. Um, with 115 range attack. 150. 15. Oh, I'm 103. I dude, wish I, it was... dude, I think my stats are closer than how your granite nonsense shit fucking was to this. So may maybe the RNG gods just favor the lesser build. So you, you watch me win this somehow. <laughs> um, oh, man. Okay. Okay. Honestly, I, I... that range attack's a bit lower than I thought, but your range defense is immaculate right now. So Ooh, Yeah, it's through the roof, yeah. Um, I'm going to look you up insane. briefly. Yeah, yeah. I actually just looked at your defense. I see 74 range, 70 defense, same as mine. Yeah. Okay, Although you so got a lot of XP other. into, uh, into yeah, the we're, next we're level. Yeah, we're 50k away from 75, which actually is a max hit in the current year. <laughs> so 75 is a big one to hit. Um... Mm -mm. 53 prayer. I got 56 prayer. I was doing a bit of baby dragons today, and I also went to the chaos 
or the wieldy altar with the dragon bones and baby dragon bones and some big bones I got from Obor. So I, I put in pretty much my whole, well, every bone I had in my bank up at the uh, chaos altar. Right, yeah, 56, um, okay. Okay. 64 magic. How many, how many chests did you do? Uh, well, this episode, I didn't do too many. It was only like five or so. I was just focusing on other stuff because, uh, I don't know, I just it, it seems like I was wasting so much time at Barrows. And, I mean, like deep down, I'm just thinking Barrows is still the move. But, you know, if, if I went all episode and got nothing, this fight would, would just be a loss. And I, I, <laughs> I, I don't know. Fletching up by one. Yeah, and then I fucking forgot how damn fucking slow that is, so I fucking gave up that nonsense. Uh, you didn't uh, have higher cooking than me, no chance. I that's from questing. I mean, you'll know. Oh, I, was, okay. I was I was just working on some RFD, and I think that was from right. I, that might even been from the cooks one. I, I didn't do a lot in in cooking right. XP, man. So, but man's got higher cooking than me now. Okay, uh, right, yeah, that's like fine. you don't have bonds and or sharks. So. <laughs> Um, uh okay not uh, much looks i'm actually different. a bit fuming Why? i'm actually a bit fuming i i'll trade with you i'll trade with you and uh -oh. i'll show you why i thought you would try and pull something out so i thought either a dds or emerald bolts was coming so i brought an anti-poison did you please say have you i mean are, are you know what? let's let's grab the gear let's grab the gear Let's okay, so I mean, as I showed you, boom. I I really I really thought I've got a good advantage. That I might as well, and I'll just see what happens. Maybe you bring it, maybe you don't. But it doesn't look like you're going to. I don't think you've got any poison on you, do you? <gasps> Honestly. Let's just hop worlds. You know what, Link? Just quickly show me your inventory. Quick. Quick. Sharks. Cram wands. I'm <laughs> hopping. Come on, RNG gods. I fucking need it in my favor. You know, the one good thing about this is now that you might feel obligated to fucking bring it every every episode. But of course... Oh, the, uh, the advantage... That was another reason I did it. I was like, if I bring it now, he probably won't even bother with the vaults. Fuck! I'm fucking over the moon at that shit. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Let's just, let's just go into this, man. Wow. Because I know wow, which wow. way this is headed. I know which way this is headed. Um, okay. I'm, I'm ready when you are. So. All right. I'll let you know. I'm potting I'm up. I'm, I'm a potty boy. Two second warning. Okay. This is where RNG is going to flip the other way around. <laughs> Honestly, dude, if I won, I give up on Jagex. Like, I, I, as, as much as I really want to win, I'd be incredibly shocked if I did. So, incredibly shocked. So, you bring in two bolts at the moment? Yeah. All right. Okay. So yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. I, I don't know if I showed that. It was in my inventory. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I have the rune. The emeralds so are not strong been... enough to win this fight. I, yeah, so yeah, weak. yeah, I know. For sure. I, I, I respect that. So I've technically haven't even lost a spot there because you had to bring two bolts for it for the antipod. I'm, I'm, fuck me, dude. I really, it, it was more just like trying to make some excitement, not going to lie, of like outplaying. And it wasn't 100% sure it was going to actually come off. And I'm fucking buzzing. I think it'd be dumb if you didn't do it, to be honest. I was just hoping you over. It was very it. similar to what, what you said last fight, where you were like, I think he's going to go for a wild card and just try and win it in some way. Like, that mm -hmm. was my thought process on you. Like, there's no way he's coming into this fight and just trying to go for a range on range fight, you know? Uh, you know, if we had five KC Barrows luck, I could easily do that. But unfortunately, <laughs> we don't live in that world, you know? We don't live in that world, guys. Oh, yeah. Fucking brilliant. I am hitting. How? Like, I wow, swear yeah. I'm hitting more than that granite fucking body. God, I missed that prayer flick. Can't wait to get roasted for that one. Fuck. <laughs> Honestly, guys, you guys have me fucking fuming. Honestly, I hate everything right now, Link. Oh, man. It's okay, kid. Everything's going to uh, be all right. That, that is a joke, guys, before anybody actually thinks I'm bent out of shape. Uh, it fine. is a he's joke. Fine. It is a joke. I love you all. How much? Underpaid. Just take that whole part out. Honestly, it's just not <laughs> worth it.
it's just not fucking worth it at this point. This is where Underpay doesn't listen to the fight and it stays in. Oh no, he, he edits it first, so... He likes to spoil it. He likes his pudding before his dinner, mate. Like well, if, actually tanky. Like, so. if you lost this, would you go back to the granite plate body? <laughs> <laughs> I, it, you think I'm joking? That's a serious I don't even question. I not want to talk about that. That's I don't a even serious want to talk question. That. That's the funny part, guys. I'm genuinely. No, I like, can't. You can't go against what the game's telling you. You can't. <laughs> I don't know about that, Link. Oh, that one I missed too. Come on. I've also got a seven prayer bonus in this as well, which is fucking lovely. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Dude, I'm actually hitting more on you and it bothers me. Yeah, you are. You are. I'm struggling here. <laughs> oh my god. Surely not. Surely not, Jagex. You are not going to do this. All RNG balance is out, right? At least that's what they've been telling me. Like, oh my god. That, that's what they've been telling me. Surely not. Surely not, Jagex. I haven't been hitting. I have not been hitting. Good. And your range attack is higher than last time. So. Yeah. Uh, my defense, defense is, up, is the I same. Like my defense is up by like a hundred and something. My defense is actually lower. I'll be completely honest. I I'm I'm rocking rock skin right now. So, Oof, uh, nice. maybe rock skin's broken, mate. <laughs> Something's broken, Link, and I'm, I'm <laughs> I am going to get to the bottom of this. Okay. Respect. Okay. Come on. Come on. Yes. I didn't go to Cambridge this week, so... Maybe that was your mistake. Yeah. Maybe it was the blowjobs. <laughs> Link, I would not get in the habit of saying that if I was you. Oh, did you see the top comments on the last fucking video? <laughs> it was all about me sucking off Monash. So that's, that's because you made the joke. Like, you started it. <laughs> all right? <laughs> The top comment has like 600 likes. It was like rug burns <laughs> on the knees or something, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Come on. Hit. <sighs> yes. And again. Come on. This should smoke Kins. This gear should absolutely smoke him. I'm more of a cured kind of guy, Link. I'm a Taylor Ham man, so. Ooh. What a fucking dish. <laughs> Guys, it's Taylor Ham report roll. Go. You have not brought that into this. I mean, we yes. we we always talk about something whack, don't we? You know, and that's that's today's topic of conversation. Okay. Feel like we didn't have a, a didn't, we didn't have one before the fight, did we? Ah, you know, Link, if you got something, say it now, man. Ooh, say it I don't now. have anything. I'm just focusing on not losing in this gear. Well, Link, it, it's like skill set is no longer. It's just RNG right now, man. You know. Mm. So my mouse is loving a double click right now. I'll tell you that. Oof. Oof. Come on. Who's got Pid, mate? Maybe it'll go down to Pid. Oh, man. Fucking hell. Having a good end here. Ooh. 
You want to whip the emeralds out quickly, mate? I actually thought about it, but it's such an obvious emote that, like... <laughs> yeah, it's like, like my whole body goes green. Yeah. Like... So, no, I'm good. Thanks, though. Un... Where are the hits at? Where are the hits at? Nice. Are you out? Yeah. Okay. Just don't fuck it up from here. Just don't fuck it up from here. What is this zero fest? Yeah, legit. What the fuck? You both just can't hit. That's a six. Fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. Oh my god. Yeah, that's it. Whew. <sighs> For a, for a bit, that early on in the fight, I did feel it could have swayed, but it definitely it, it set off towards the end. Whew. Okay. The age old okay. question, Link how much food? Uh, six. Last one was five. I, I, don't, I don't get how your gear now is like the same as your fucking granite plate body strat. I, I'm done trying to figure it out, though, man. Legit. Legit. All right, bees and G's. I mean, yeah, was expecting that. A little bit worried at the start. Um, it seemed a bit closer than it probably should have been, but you know, it, it, just the gear difference. It should have. That should be what happened. Um, but a little bit odd that it was literally one food difference between this gear and my granite and blue dehyde, but it's the way it goes in it. Um, let's go ahead and spin. To be honest, I just want to push up to the deranged archaeologist now, so that's what we're looking for. 205. We tried. We tried, guys. You saw it coming. Um, is what it is. You know, I'm going to keep trying my best to uh, try to get those outplays. It's like really all I could say at this point. Um, so let's um, see where we go next. Hopefully it's a good spin. 358. I'm getting a lot in this in this area. I think I know where this area is at least. 358. You have got to be fucking joking. You have got to be shitting me i'm actually angry because this now looks fake almost the rng what the fuck oh my god i actually feel bad i genuinely feel bad i i genuinely feel upset because the, the the rng i've had this season's actually is is mad poor fucking kinos Oh dear. 358 is by the Shanty Pass. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't know exactly where I'm going to lock yet, guys, but it's just a case of seeing wh what I want to do next episode. I have to make sure I, I have all the chunks for the Fossil Island quest, Bowen Voyage, and just fine tune some. Uh, some squares actually guys i looked into it a little bit more so obviously we got this chunk here um i got very excited but uh i actually <laughs> i got too excited too quickly you actually need this chunk or this chunk i can't remember it's one of the woodcutting guild chunks to do the quest and i'm nowhere near it i think my closest chunk is like here and obviously it means that i cannot get to Fossil Island until I roll a Zaya chunk. So, like, it was great to get it, but I'm actually not going to be able to get it until I roll Zaya and then get down here somehow. So, wasn't as OP as I thought it was going to be. Might save me some chunks in the future, but it's definitely still off limits for now. So, yeah. Not as good as I thought it was going to be. Congrats, Link. You just won yourself 125k XP in any skill, and I have myself 100k XP that can go in any skill. Again, man, GZ.
Hello V's and G's, welcome back to the PvP challenges chunk progression thing. If you haven't missed any of the previous episodes, I will leave a playlist up here by the YI and a playlist link in the description. Now, last episode, I got Fossil Island, or I got this chunk here. Um, I'm going to be opening up one, two, three, four, five for my five unlocks. Now, I was all like, Kins, I'm so sorry. I feel so bad that I unlocked Fossil Island. I actually think this is really, really bad. I think it's horrendous. There's not long left of the series. The only way I can get there and kill the deranged archaeologist or whatever he's called is if I luckily get a, what's it called, Zaya Chunk. And then I have to go down here. I can't remember which one it is. It's one of these two. I have to then get down here, which is one, two, three, four, maybe five. So I sort of have to land on a Zaya Chunk or one around it that already touches to, to be able to do this. So honestly, guys, I reckon this is dead. I think this is a completely dead chunk for me. I don't think I'm ever going to get there. And on top of that, it means that I can't go ahead and do any plans that I wanted to do. Because I wanted to do, like, one small favour. If we'd, you know, if we'd managed to, like, grab one of these squares or even a mainland square, we would have then been able to go do one small favour. And then I could get Guthix Rest, which I can't now do. Um, so, yeah, me and Kins were talking about how bullshit it was and my RNG and shit. It, it, it's not good. I can't get there. It's a waste of chunks. I'd rather the five chunks to use here to go and do something. Maybe like Kins was doing the stews to boost. It wouldn't be a bad idea to try and get a boost. I could have literally opened this and this. And then I'd be able to do the whole quest line to be able to do Freeing Evil Dave. That's Recipe for Disaster. Another glove unlocked. Um, so yeah, I'm actually, you know, I'm not complaining. Obviously, I've had good RNG this series. But that was... You know, it, it seemed a lot better at the time than it was, and uh, it's really not. Hey guys, welcome to episode 24 of the PvP Challenges. Now, I'm just going to come out and say it. Honestly, I am a little let down at some of the attitude that a lot of people have when watching this, saying, Oh, Rarg, just give up, just end the series, just forfeit the Winter Link, yada, yada, yada. Um, no, I'm not. You know, I came into this series, going to play to the very end, I don't care if I end up in the final fight with Bronze, I'd still play my heart out and try to get the win no matter what. So guys, come on, two thumbs up. Let's keep our head high, especially you, Team Rarg. I'm looking at you, okay? Series isn't over till it's over. We're not quitters over here on Team Rarg. I'd rather lose and keep my dignity and try to the end than give up halfway through, okay? So we're gonna keep going. We're gonna try to find a plan that works for us and to try to combat Link in the, in any fight, but especially the final fights, the ones that really matter. So picking the unlocks were actually kind of tricky because we don't really have a crazy amount of unlocks left in the series. Um, I unfortunately cannot get the Black Dehyde body this episode because of the one chunk way over here. I just need this one. And at the time, I wasn't thinking of it. I haven't had a Zaya chunk in ages which honestly is a good thing mostly but um yeah long story short i still can't get the black d hide body um so i'm able to get six unlocks as long as it's touching my giant land mass, which of course it is and there's not too many plays left with such a short amount of time but what I wanted to go towards is actually start to unlock Recipe for Disaster a bit more. So that is the Big Chompy Bird Hunting one. And then I also unlocked this one. Should probably clear them out. These two for the fishing contest. I can actually start it right there. It'd be really annoying, but it saves like two or three unlocks over there. Um, so that's three in total plus the Big Chompy. And then I don't know if I'll ever get enough squares to do it. But I had two options I was toying with. One, start going for Regicide as well. I know Link just did it last episode. It is a crazy shield in terms of uh, range defense. It was between that or either start working... Sorry, I keep clicking on dungeons. It was either that or work my way towards Soul Wars because that is Addy Bolts, which means Diamond Bolt Tips. Um, on top of that, guys, I'm not going to lie. I cannot do anything that I wanted to do. There's no quests I can now do. Uh, I looked into it, a fire cape, literally getting a ranging level 
is more DPS increase than getting a fire cape. And a fire cape will take at least two hours. And in two hours, I can get at least a level, maybe a level and a half, maybe two levels. I don't know exactly how much XP we're going to be getting at this rate. So a fire cape is literally not worth going for, especially when we can passively get an obsidian cape. Yes, there's a prayer bonus, etc, etc, but it's, it's not worth it. Um, and if I was going for it, it'd literally just be throwing it. Like, I'd be, I'd be throwing a fight or throwing DPS out the window, and I'm not here to do that. Um, so guys, I'm not going to lie. I don't think you're going to see me at all for the next four hours. I think I'm just going to be training range. It's, it's the unfortunate truth of getting lucky at Barrows, because I haven't had to spend any time there. It's also the unfortunate truth of unlocking this, because it means I've used five unlocks this episode, and it's unlocked nothing new that I can actually use. So, big apologies. We're going to get ourselves, like, 75 is a max hit, so 75 range is a huge, huge one to go for. Um, hopefully get 76, maybe even close to 77. I don't know exactly what we're going to be doing. Um, and I'll show you where we're going to be going. So let me start the timer. And then I will teleport to the Tazar. And we will send it over there. Boom. So I'm going to be killing undead druids. The reason for this is they drop a load of money. They drop a load of runes. And it's a passive way of getting an obby cape. Uh, we've already got a decent amount of money. We've got the more we can sell as well for Tockle. Um, and we've got a load of runes as well. So I don't think we're actually too far off. Um, but just the, the passive runes, the money that the undead druids drop. Plus they drop grubby keys. Plus they are good XP because you can uh, just sit by that altar. Um, and just yeah, keep spamming the altar really. So uh, yeah, there's a lot of positives for it. And uh, yeah, I think it's the way we're going to go. We got like 45, 50k XP last time I was here. And I think that was with like 72 range. And that was without the snakeskin boots. I don't know if we had the red dehyde body. Yeah, we definitely did. Um, so hopefully we'll uh, we'll be approaching that 50, 50 plus K. I don't know. We'll see. The problem with diamond bolt tips is that I'd have to get the Addy bolts, which probably aren't too hard. But then I also need to worry about fletching. I don't have the fletching level for it. And I'd have to get at least one level plus a five boost. I did put my XP in fletching. It still is possible. But I'm just not sure if that's the right move. Just going that extra tanky piece of gear is kind of where my head's at. Plus that's more guaranteed if I get the correct unlocks for it. So those are my six unlocks going to this episode. Um... In terms of what I want to do, I need to do Barrows, guys. My gear just isn't going to cut it, unfortunately. As much as I want to train and do other things on the account, the, the one major thing that's holding me back is, in fact, Barrows. Let's cross our fingers for some awesome RNG. Maybe I'll even stop after a Tank Helm. I, I, I have to try to fine-tune my plan and figure out where I'm going in the final episodes here because we are coming down close to the end. So, let's start the timer. I'm going to go buy some food. I'm going to go buy lots of Num Crunchies to sort me out for the rest of the episode, and then Barrows until we are satisfied with our loot. Just opened my 50th chest in total on the account. That's the second one of this episode. Um, a lot of people are actually asking, why, or actually kind of telling me to bring my stamina pots. And the reason I don't is because the, the ratio between my pots and food are pretty much spot on for like three trips at Barrows, which is about 20 minutes, which is the exact time it takes to tele back with the uh, Shades of Morton teleport. So that's why I don't actually use them. And I'm saving my stamina pots for things like questing like last episode. I used a crazy amount of stamina potions, so definitely my mindset on that one. I feel like even if I brought stamina pots here, I don't really think it'll speed it up that much. Maybe ever so slightly. I just think I get a much bigger benefit out of them through other things like questing. All right, let's see what we get. Nothing. Chest number three of the episode. 51 in total. I sense an item of chaos runes. I totally meant to say that. <laughs> I'm feeling lucky this time around. Ready? <laughs> okay, I mean, guys, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna start a collection. It's called having every plate body that Barrows has to offer. In fact, Variks, Guthins, Torags, 
and Darox. We alk the Darox one because we were fed up with that nonsense. But we got it. I think we have every one. That's crazy, dude. That's actually pretty crazy. Since we got every plate body, new challenge. Let's get every pair of tank legs and or every pair of tank helm, please. And death runes. Holy frig. No. Oh, okay. I like... <laughs> oh my gosh. I might have to use chaos runes. Actually, oh my gosh. Do I have a teleport? I feel like I should just tilly out and just buy more. Yeah, no, no, that's fucked. That is beyond messed up. <laughs> what? I'm thinking a lot about the plan going forward. Step one, probably not to die because <laughs> my HP is pretty low. Let's tell you out of here. Let's go to Varrock. Let's gear up again. The, the, the RNG has just been too sick to me. Um, item wise and stuff like there's nothing for me to go for. The last thing I wanted to go for was the black dehyde body. But obviously we now can't do that because I can't actually get to Fossil Island. Um, so yeah, it is it is really just a case of, of getting range up now. So I will probably see you in three hours, 20 minutes or something like that. And then unless I come up with a plan, I am going to have a little think and I will have a little look around. Um, and I will and I will see if we can if, if we can come up with anything. But um, yeah, this is going to be it. I just realized I've completely forgotten to say that uh, I put all my XP into fletching. So uh, yeah, we now have 61 fletching. I don't know how useful it's going to be, to be honest, guys. Um, I don't know if we're actually going to get to... Ooh, nice. I don't know if we're actually going to get to Dragonstone Bolt Z at this point now. So I don't know, but I do want to I do want to get it at least to the point where I could maybe bring Diamond Bolts, but I don't think they're even worth it, to be honest. The DPS you lose throughout the whole fight, I don't think is worth the uh, the the proc chance of 10%. But um, I couldn't really think of a skill to put it into, and 100k into like range or defense or whatever wouldn't have really got me that far. I'd rather have the skill. Um, so yeah, that was the thought process on that. And uh, there you go. I'm just going to sort of talk about what I'm feeling series-wise. Um, I know I sort of touched on it at the start of the episode. First of all, very happy with this haul. The only thing I'm not happy with is grubby keys. These fuckers are shit for grubby keys. I should have got like five, six, maybe. I've got two, um, but we will open them. Uh, and hopefully we can pull some. To be honest, I think I'm done on Sarah Brews. I think I'm pretty good on Sarah Brews. But um, yeah, hopefully we can pull some dragon bones, maybe. I don't really need anything from it. Maybe super restores would be pretty good. Uh, but yeah, we are going to get ourselves uh, 76 coming in here. We're not too far off a HP level as well. I need to pray. Um, so yeah, I mean, as I said, decent money. 215k in Alks and just money drops. Really good um, runes. Not as many chaoses as I thought I was going to get. They're like, you can get up to 80 in one drop. It's like 50 to 80. I thought we'd get a few more. Um, so I don't think we're going to be able to afford the obby cape today. I will go and check, but I don't think it's going to happen, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, just how I'm feeling on the on the series is with my gear. Obviously, I'm not wearing all my tank gear and stuff right now. Um, I just feel like the only upgrade I can really get is a black dehyde body. And the only way to realistically get that is from the deranged archaeologist over at Fossil Island. And as I was saying at the start of the episode, there's 76 range coming in. I will try and get this uh, HP level, so we will stay here and try and get that kill. So something that I've been thinking about a lot lately is what am I going to do for the later fights, the last fights, if I'm not going to get tank legs? And one of the things I've been trying to theory craft is how to approach a hybriding situation. The cool thing is, is that we do have a Carol's leather skirt, and we also have a Varix Brassy. Now, the Varix Brassy doesn't really have that great of defensive bonuses. It's like slightly stronger than a rune plate body, um, but it has an amazing effect, and that is that it gives very low range or I should say very low negative range attack bonus and very low negative magic attack bonus. So let's say, for example, I got an Aram skirt here. That would be an amazing setup, probably just as good as tank legs at this point because it can be paired well with the Carol skirt for a nice easy switch between Ibans and the Rune crossbow. 
If I, I mean, obviously, I'm not expecting to get an Aram skirt. That's a very specific item to get. And for a specific item, it's like 1 in 408 or something. Don't quote me on that, but it's pretty darn rare. But even something like a Mystic skirt could still do wonders. I believe Aram's actually gives no range defense. So from a range perspective, it's no different. Just that it gives less magic attack, which of course is pretty detrimental. Magic defense as well. I'm assuming he's going to be hibernating in the fight. He's not going to have Pity. There's no real way to get Pity this season unless... I shouldn't say that. Maybe he's going to grind it out, you know, for the last episodes. That could be his plan or something. But um, I'm thinking that that's going to be the direction I take if I don't get these tank legs. Of course, the tank helm won't really change anything. It'll just replace the rune full helm that I have. Um... So, I don't think I'm out for the count yet. I don't know how strong that build is going to be against Slink. I'd imagine if he's just going range with no switches. I, I, I want to say I'd have a fair shot. It's when he's hybriding back. That's the issue, of course. That's always going to be the issue. All right, let's see what we get. Oh, my God. <sighs> bro. I mean, I can't wear it, of course. Bro, 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 bro. I mean, I'd rather the bottoms, but you know what? That's so nice. That is so nice. Can we get those tank legs? Can we get those tank legs? Tank legs just got so much more crucial, guys. I don't think you understand. My magic is only level 65. Oh, man. This is tricky. This is tricky. Okay. Okay, we have to see how the rest of the, um, the episode pans out. Team Rarg, don't give up on me yet, man. Don't give up on me yet. His magic defense is not that high. And he can't unlock the Black D hide this episode. I mean, I won't be able to wear it this episode, but maybe he won't even have a Black D hide body for the final fight. Who knows? That is so fucking hype. Um... Yeah, without getting the woodcutting guild chunk, I, I I can't actually finish Bon Voyage, which well Bone Voyage even, which allows you to go to Fossil Island. So my sort of thinking right now is I don't really have much I can do until I either get that <laughs> until I either get a Zaya chunk, which is very very unlikely. Um, and as I said, going for a fire cape is actually a waste of time. It's better to go for the um obby cape passively while doing this because every attack or every uh what's it called range level adds dps so i I'm, I'm really sorry i feel bad but at the end of the day i'm here to win a season you know um and as much as people are like yeah you're so far ahead and everything's been good but if kins pulls like tank legs and then goes and gets a black dehyde body because he's got everything unlocked for um fossil island he has everything unlocked. So he's going to, you know, he pulls tank legs, tank helm, black dehyde body. There's there's a chance he goes and takes the season. And I would kick myself if I lost this season because I took it easy. And I was like, I'll go for a fire cape for the flex. I'll, I'll do this for the flex, you know. So that, that's my thought process. That's why I'm doing this. 76 range. Um, I just hope we pull a Zaya chunk for the content. Content wise, I hope we pull a Zaya chunk. Um, and I can do it because that would be great. I know Team Rog and everyone would be fuming if I did pull a Z chunk because of the RNG and all that shit. But, you know, at the end of the day, I want the content to be decent. Um, and it would be quite fun to hunt down the uh, deranged archaeologist for a little bit um, to uh, to try and get that. To try another amulet of strength. We've just been, while I've been talking, we've got so many amulets. Um, yeah, so it would be nice to uh, it would be nice to go down that route. But we'll see. We will see. Um, that's my thoughts. B's and G's. After this kill, I think it will be, yeah. Uh, well, uh, I don't know. I definitely can't afford the Obby Cape right now. I've got a few things in the bank, though. We've got like 800, 900 Death Runes in the bank. We've got some Chaos Runes in the bank, but it's definitely not enough yet. So uh, I will just get this level, and then I'll show you my setup. It's going to be pretty similar. I think it's going to be exactly the same, actually. Um, so yeah. Well, let's do this. I'm feeling something in this chest, guys. Ready? I'm feeling lucky with this one, guys. Feeling? I thought I alked you. No, no, no. I realized my, my timer paused. It didn't actually pause. There you go. I, what? <laughs> Hi, guys. This plate body luck, I can't get rid of. 
I can't shake it. I try to alk it. I try to alk it and I can't. It just pops back up in my life. Let's see if we can get back to back items. No, we cannot. No, you cannot. 73 chests though, guys. So uh, a lot of chests done this episode. A lot of chests. All right, guys, this is going to be my last chest. Why? Because I need to go on a bit of a shopping spree. I want to go magic this fight, and I need to sell some stuff to get some money, or actually alk some stuff to get some money to buy some mystic and whatnot, and, um, yeah, I need to plan exactly what I'm doing. We are 66 magic now, which is nice, so we can walk right in the guild without actually, um, boosting. Let's wish this guy good luck. Um, last chest, and nothing. That's okay, though. Let's telly out, um... And yeah, probably gonna elk that Darok plate body again, guys. Just get all that money and yeah, take it from there. I actually decided to elk the Guthins because it's the same stats as the Torag and the Darok, and it's prob. I mean, I I'm never gonna get a set, but it's like the most worthless set of the bunch. Actually, that's probably not true. Torag probably is. It really doesn't matter. We have 192k, guys. Let's just buy 50 death runes um, per world top a bit. Do I need anything else? Let's just buy some extra fires, too, because it can't hurt. I mean, there's probably going to be more barrows on the agenda at some point, so... Awesome. Alright, let's hop a few worlds, buy some death runes. Wizard... Sinina. Okay, what do we want? What do we want? What do we want? Right now, I'm thinking these two items, so 90k for the both. Again, I talked about that Varix Brassy plan probably going to be how we uh, approach it. And of course, we already have Mystic Gloves, so no need to buy those. Um, oh, six minutes left. Okay, I... Shit, what am I doing for six minutes? I need to buy Crambons. Let me make sure I have everything. I'm a bit nervous. I probably do. I just need Crambons and Runes. We already have Runes. Yeah, okay. Let's go get some Crambons, guys, and then I'm probably just gonna kill Tazars for range XP while I'm there and then end the episode. I was just about to start recording, saying, oh, I've forgotten to get the, uh, the grubby keys. <laughs> There we go, there's a third one, so we've got three to open, which is, a, I mean, I'm not going to say it's annoying, but it uh, means that we might be a bit low on inventory space here. If we are, I'll probably drop, like, the thing is, with the earth runes, I think you can sell them for Toggle as well, for like two each. Let's open these grubby keys, or the grubby chest. Super stores, that's what I want to see. Boom, that's not what I wanted to see at all. We've got some laws, a load of laws there. Some sharks, which I will take, um probably drop all of these to be honest i'm really not going to need them uh boom come on Ooh, okay ranging pot snapdragon yeah, a lot of sharks here you know what we're just not going to uh let's take the super defense we're just not going to open the last grubby key also someone was saying i was manipulating the grubby key chests in the comment section, there you go, mate. Like, pff, I've opened 22, so whoever thought I was opening Groby Keys until that, there you go. That one's for you, big man. Uh, yeah, I guess, to be honest, I might as well just attack the bad boys until this is over. Because, yeah, I don't really have much to do. Definitely not going to be able to afford the Obby Cape. Um, I'll let you know if I get a Groby Key or not in the next three minutes. I doubt it massively. Um, and, yeah. We will see. The old plan, obviously, was not working with the tank range. The only reason why I went tank range last fight was to see how well the emerald bolts would work. Of course, that backfired. But now he knows it's a thing. I cannot just go tank range anymore. I have crafted up this plan that I had mentioned earlier when I was doing Barrows of using this to tank with and go tank mage and do a quick range switch and keep going back between the two. The really bad thing about this is that our defense is so low and we can't really prayer flick while we do it. At least I can't. It's very hard to switch on tick because you want to get the surprise and of course to switch on tick and have the correct prayers unless you're just camping one of the prayers. And... I feel like this is the only way I could really possibly get the advantage. He's in a really, really, really good spot right now. And I was actually really thinking about saving this sort of setup for the final fight. 
but I have to see how it works. I have to see how it works. My magic attack really isn't that high, but his magic defense, granted, is higher than the magic, but um, if I'm hitting him off prayer, that's, that's a lot because, you know, protection prayer is 40% damage reduction. Plus, if I'm switching back and forth, he's probably not flicking and he'll either a run out of prayer or b just not have prayer up the entire time or i guess c just settle for these weaker prayers down here all of which would be a good scenario um i'm, I'm only bringing three prayer pots this time because again i don't think i'll be focused too much on offensive prayers i'm probably just gonna rock steel skin and protect from range and just keep switching back and forth um and just trying to get those extra hits in any way i can um, hopefully this works, and honestly, the reason why I'm trying this now is because if, if, if this mage build works, when I get 70 magic, we have this sucker right here, um, an arms rope top. Of course, it wouldn't work with this exact setup, because I feel like if I had the, uh, mystic row bottom and the arms top, top and bottom would be zero range defense, and he would destroy me, so, um... It wouldn't be as simple as just swapping out the uh, the body here, but it opens up new avenues of new strats and stuff with the arms, um, the arms rope top. So, oh, and I decided to actually not bring an anti poison. Um, I don't think he will bring one, but even if he does, I should be able to get a, a pretty clear picture of how this setup works against his current setup. And um, I just feel like if I do get close, I'm going to need all the food I can get. So, yeah, decided to drop it. Hopefully he thinks he's just so far ahead that he's not going to bring poison. But yet again, even if he does, this is like a test build setup just to see the DPS I can put out on. Right, B's and G's, this is going to be the setup. Um, it's actually, I think, exactly the same as last week, except uh, I'm bringing one less shark. I think that, I think that's it. I'm not 100% sure though. Uh, again, not bringing the recoils. Bringing in anti-poison because I think he might go cheeky and think, think I think that I'll be like, oh, he won't bring it again because I know that I've got the defense against it and he might try and snake a win there. A lot of people saying that I looked him up in the last episode and that's how I knew the anti-poison was there. If you watch my reveal, guys, I sit there and I say, he can't go magic. I'll kill him. Bolting him in robes, he will die. There's no way he wins magic. He could possibly have put his XP into attack, which means DDS, possible poison. He could have possibly got fletching up and then have emerald bolts. There was no way he was winning without coming up with some strat. And the only strat he had available to him that would make sense was trying to poison me. So everyone who's like, oh, you looked him up. His fucking stats were 55 fletching and like 50 attack. If I was looking him up, I wouldn't have brought anti-poison. Like, I would have been like, okay, no chance. I didn't, there's no way I would have thought that my cunt was down there with a kitten getting stews. The first time I ever did Recipe for Disaster, I did it with a kitten and it is hell. It took me like three hours. It's, it's mental. So, yeah. A little bit fuming, because if I'd been like losing every episode and my back was against the wall and I'd come out with that anti-poison play, everyone would be like, fair play, Link, well played. But because I've been winning, everyone's like, hey, he's cheating, cheating. Anyway, ran over, um, four prayer pots, super defense, ranging pot, food, crystal shield, all that good stuff. As I was saying earlier, the only upgrade realistically I can get is a Carol's top or... A black dehyde body. The Carols is just going to be ridiculous. I can't get range XP while doing Barrows, or I can get a small amount of range XP, but you know, it's not worth it. I'd rather uh, go for the deranged archaeologist um, for the black dehyde top. So that's why I'm sticking with this. Um, that's one of my worries. And as I was saying earlier, if he does pull like some tank legs, if he pulls some Torag legs, they're actually tankier than, than the Verrocks. These just give a nice prayer bonus. So he would have tankier legs, and then I know he's going to move on, and he'll try and get that Black Dehyde body. So he could turn up tank legs, Black Dehyde body, and maybe a Rune Full Helm. Maybe he gets super lucky, and he got um, a, a Helm this episode as well. So it's, it's very possible that Kins turns up with better gear than I do um, for the final fight. So I think a lot of people are writing him off very early. Um... 
I've been a bit harsh on kids, to be honest, because, yeah, tank legs, black DI body, I'd be in serious trouble. Uh, serious trouble. So uh, we'll see. We will see. And that's why I'm focusing on getting my range up, because if he does pull those things, I need to be able to hit harder than him. I need to be able to hit higher. Um, and that's the plan. So let's go to the fight. Let's see what happens. And Geo us. Skiddos. Hey, hey. We're back. Here we are again. It's, uh, you know, I, in my reveal, I spoke about what I was worried about you doing. Okay. I, you know, I, I'm almost certain you did barrows again. And if you, what I'm worried yeah. about is if you can pull like a tank legs, then you're free to go get that black dehyde body. And then I think you go into that fight, the final fight's looking fucking strong, you know? Because I don't think I'm getting nervous. <laughs> I, I would, because if you, let's say you pull like Torag legs or one of the tank tank legs, you know, mm -hmm. it's tankier than the barracks. And then you could go and pull the black D black D hide top fairly easily if you if you unlock it. And, and you know, mm -hmm. as you say, you've already done the woodcutting guild one. So... Oh, no, I haven't. I actually misspoke. Oh, I thought right. I had it, but I didn't. I'm, I was okay. an idiot. So, oh, OK. All right. Well, anyway, uh, you know, still still goes with the whole fact of like the Varrocks are good, obviously, but they're not the tankiest. You know, you could pull tankier. Yeah, but with the whole prayer situation, I if, if I had to pick one item right now, Link, it'd be a Varric skirt. Like I, I would take a Varric skirt over anything. It's definitely not a bad yeah. item, but I, you know, I, I, I was saying that I was quite worried about you being tanky right. and having the black, but yeah. Um, right, right. Honestly, mate, I don't have much to say. I just trained. I was just um, getting as much XP as I possibly could. Nice. So your gear is the exact same. Is, is that basically uh, what I'm hearing here? I, mean, I don't know what to expect here. I... Uh, okay, yeah. he's just throwing it on. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to sit here and make the B's and G's wait. Yeah. Jets, right. not going to lie. My setup is completely different. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. okay. Am I just going to start picking slots then? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go helm. Just kidding, motherfucker. No. Oh, you say the piss. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, it, it actually is different. Just that's the same. Uh, wait, before you keep going, I think I did, uh, I had like 46 or 47 uh, Barrows chests at this episode start, and now I have like 76 done or something. Fuck These are guesses. Me. Somebody probably knows the exact amount, but you I was just... bashing through that. Yeah, the whole entire episode was just Barrows wow. for me, man. Okay, yeah. so I'm guessing there's gonna... Oh, fuck off. Top, 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 top. Oh... I will say I am bringing no new barrow species to this fight, Link. I haven't even looked you up yet. I don't even know what your stats are. I mean, I did barrows all episode, <laughs> Link. What could they possibly be here? Okay, so I'm gonna look you up as well. Right, That's right. true. I mean, you probably you said you trained, or it's just, it's sounding like you trained all episode. Yeah. Yeah, 76 fucking. Oh, did you just get it too? Yeah. Fucking hell. I also oh, just got man. the HP level as well. Oh my god, you're not kidding. Um, yeah, I did zero training. I mean, I guess magic because Barrows. So I'm so confused. Folly. I thought maybe you'd go down magic and, and go Arim staff or something. When you said you were going completely different, that's what I thought. But right. You well, can't this be is going worse. melee. Definitely not. Unless I got a granite hammer, but even then, that oh wouldn't God. fucking kill you. So <laughs> is my guy about to put a fucking Carol's crossbow on? Oh God, no. <laughs> okay, all right. Oh all right, God, right. no. <laughs> Let's go shield then, kids. Okay. Carol's crossbow. Imagine that working. That definitely wouldn't work, guys. I tried that in season two. It actually backfired, and I got so roasted for it just because I wanted to see how it worked. And Legs? Yeah. Never again. Is he just going full tank? No. So just quickly, what's the thinking on the Varrox? It's less range negative? Is that what you're thinking? I... Y y it'll all come full circle once you, once you keep... Asking okay. the slots, man. All right, um, boots. Oh, he's going range mage. Um, wow. So, what's the difference between the Torags and the Verics in terms of magic attack, then? Because that's negative that's what's six going. Magic attack versus negative thirty magic attack. Wow. Yeah. So I had no choice if I wanted to tank mage. That is how I'd have to do it. 
My back's against the wall, guys. I gotta try things, because if I just went range, I, I had no wearable, or I should say, items that are gonna help me in the fight for, uh, from from Barrows for this episode. So What's your I, magic you attack know. in that? Um, 23. <sighs> wow. I had to try something. I, I might as well send you this. Let's get this out of the way. I did bring it again. Oh, you did? I don't have them. <laughs> I, I, I thought, you, I I thought mean, you'd go for the back-to-back -back and try no, it. No, no, dude. Uh, fuming. Good, fuming. good, 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 good. That's good. an inventory slot wasted. Did you bring a DDS this fight? I did not. And I don't have an anti-poison. Wow, he's making <laughs> big plays. I told myself, I have to go all in. Mm. I was like, even if you had the dagger, I could still see how this build works. Yeah. And get cream from the poison on top of you just probably doing more DPS. Right. But yeah. it doesn't affect me trying this method. But since I'm like, this might be closer than last fight, mm -hmm. to just go all in and try to counter in, in any way possible, so... All right, mate. Sounds like you've uh, you've played me a little bit in terms of the anti and no DDS and all that. So fair play. Ah, it's one inventory slot. <laughs> I'm not getting still, my hopes up still, yet. Still, you know, it's a win already, mate. In terms of in terms of inventory setup. I so... dropped a prayer pot. Too. Right. Okay. I can't put up my Carol skirt, so that's gonna be my empty inventory slot. And okay. All right. Yeah. I've uh, I've got three oh, Sharky wasn't... boys with okay. me. Okay. For some tickets. Oh, okay. uh, I it it really comes down to how good or bad the mage hits, honestly. Yeah, yeah, that would. Because it like it. if it just does not hit <clears throat> for anything, then it kind of becomes a case of that I'm forced to just go range and it still backfires because I'm in worse gear. Like this is much worse than yeah, yeah what yeah, I've yeah. been rocking. But yeah, I had to try it. So nah, respect. Had to respect. try it. Had to try it. <clears throat> All right, let's get into the fight, mate. Let's hop well. Oh, fuck. All right, man. Ready? Yep. I'm potting up. Cool. GL, dude. Um, oh, it's zero already. Ooh, got pid. Nice. Oh, he's just keeping up protect from range. Not hitting, I'm not hitting. I'm hitting. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not hitting either though. You're somehow tanking it. Ooh. Ooh, 25. Let's go. It's not what we want to see. It's not what we want to see, B's and G's. Let's go. Definitely gonna be a silent fight. Oh, for sure. Why am I not hitting? I don't know. Why I'm am I not so, hitting? I'm so distracted on other things that I'm not even looking at my own HP. Well, the hits I am, but just my HP bar I'm looking at. Hold on, drink some pots. Ooh, okay, nice. It's a little staff bash. <laughs> Good bashy boy there, mate. This ping is really fucking me up right now. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Can't believe how little I'm hitting. That's way too accurate. <laughs> Dude, <I'm, laughs> we're both just switching <laughs> me gear and you prayers like crazy. Holy shit. Oh, this is anxious. This is fucking anxious.
Oh, I had a four with a staff bash. Shit. How? Why am I not hitting? I don't get it. I do not get it. I do Ooh. not understand how I'm not hitting. My prayer dropped, my prayer dropped. My bad guys, I'm getting so caught up in these fucking flicks and shit. Holy crap. 25, 25, 25 guys. Shit. It was a mistake. It's trying to switch. I think it was a mistake. I should have just stayed on range. Ah, how much food? Four. 25 HP. And that, bees and G's, is why you don't fucking give skin shit and you don't write anyone off because it's not. It's, it's, it's anyone's game. Very happy that worked. Just goes to show you, never really write somebody off until the end, guys. Also, never give up. Never give up. We are going to try our hardest to the very end, guys. But let's generate... Um, a Zaya chunk would be the best. And... Yeah. So, let's spin. 300. That's not a Zaya chunk, unfortunately. Alright, peace and G's. Hello, hello, hello. Kins has won the last fight before we go into the final fight. So next episode is going to be 8 hours long. Or 8 hours of progress. And then we'll do 3 fights next thursday or two it'll be best of three so if someone wins two in a row then that's you know obviously one there you go bees and g's everyone's writing him off and saying that his plan shit and there's snowballing and honestly guys you know he's like one range level behind me with the same defense he's a couple magic behind me like he's now just gonna got himself combat xp like i think everyone gave us a lot of shit about the snowballing and stuff and this proves it you know this proves that his account can still easily, easily deal with mine. And he had four food left. So we have to hit a Zaya chunk if I want to be able to do the Black Dehyde body. If I can't do the Black Dehyde body, I have no idea what I'm going to do now. No idea. So, yeah. I don't know what's going to happen. Let's just roll. Let's see what happens. Boom. It's not Zaya. I can tell you that. So that's no Black Dehyde body. For Linky Boy. 300. I don't think I actually have this chunk, but it's right next to the giant land mass, so it definitely connects. Um, yeah, guys, no black dehyde body, unfortunately. But it probably means we can do things like um roving elves, regicide, stuff like that, and probably more of recipe for disaster as well. I don't really know exactly how much chunks, you know, all that's gonna take, so of course. That's for next episode. Eight hours. Let's have a look. Four, three, six is... Thudder pills. Not very useful at all, Bs and Gs. I think, uh, I think you've, you've, you've written Kins off too early, everybody. I really do. I am... I'm not confident going into this. Not getting a black dehyde body. That's not happening. Yeah, this is going to be interesting, but, uh, you know, it might also be an incredibly boring eight hours for me, guys, of just of just training at this point. But we'll see. We will see. He knows. Hey, hey. My man. You sound kind of happy. Zaya spin much? <laughs> uh, I'm not happy, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I'll tell you that That's right now. That's not good. <laughs> Unless he's already starting the mind games early. Uh, I don't know. No. I don't know. We're, uh, we're, we're, you're safe, mate. You're safe, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I'm not going to take that knowledge to the final fight. I know uh, you, Link. I know you. It
Hey guys, and welcome to episode 25 of the Random Chunk PvP series. Last episode, Team Rarg, we got the win. Hopefully, Link is now on his toes, and it's the, one of the greatest times to have him on his toes because you guys see that clock right there in the bottom right hand corner? That eight hours, yes, we have double progression this episode, but when that timer hits zero, we have to be 100% ready for at least three final fights because the final fights are going to be best two of three. So these last eight hours are going to be incredibly crucial to who's going to try to get the advantage in that final fight because the final fight is what dictates the winner of this season. I have a huge plan written down and everything, which we'll talk about, of course, as I'm filming it. But we got 400k combat experience last episode for winning that fight the cool thing about that is that my magic level was quite low and i decided to just dump all 400k xp into magic the reason i decided to do magic over range or defense is that one i plan on going magic in the fight probably for all the final fights because i have to i have to hybrid if i don't i am 100 percent going to lose Magic, of course, gives magic attack. Two, I can now wear that Aram's top that I got. Also, the Aram's hood probably won't wear the hood, but I also have a staff. I have this. I have pretty much so many Aram's pieces. I don't think I'm going to use any of that except the top, but we now have the option, depending on what Barrow's pieces we get today, to mix and match and come up with an awesome setup. And magic also acts as 70% of magic defense, so now if he's maging me, Magic levels now act as, or they always have, but now I'll have more defense, you know, without training defense and, you know, magic, magic attack and magic defense, better armor. It just seemed like the move. And if he doesn't put his XP into magic, which I think he might, but I, I, I don't know. I don't think he will, but he might. If he doesn't put his XP into magic, I have a higher magic level than him by an okay amount. And then if he's maging me, my magic was higher, my magic defense hopefully will tank some of those hits that he's throwing my way. And that pair with the Carols, the Arams, who hopefully just doesn't hit. Hello, Bs and Gs. Welcome back to the PvP chunk progression episode things. This is the last eight hours of progress in the Hog series. As you can see, we've got eight hours on the timer instead of the usual four. Uh, last episode, I got this very horrible like nothing junk absolutely nothing on it at all but you know what i've got a little plan together i think we've got some decent moves and it might be um you know series winning i put all the 350k xp that i got from losing last episode into range which then takes us fairly close to 79 range i do want to go for 80 slash 81 range today uh, the only problem with that is we do need to go and get 45 wood cutting. So that's one of the things I'm going to have to do today. Um, and then on top of that, I might need a little bit of money. And yeah, the rest will just come throughout the episode. So you know what, guys? Let's get into it. Let's start the timer. I've just realized I haven't showed you what I'm unlocking this episode. So it's actually this square here and this square here, just so we can connect to the giant land mass. Uh, then we're also going to be connecting up here so that we can use the fairy ring. Because uh, that's going to be really, really huge. And then I'm going to be opening up the Sears Village um, for the maple trees. And we'll be opening up the lumber yard. There we go. So I was going to sell my gems, but pff, they buy them for so little that I really don't want to do that. Let's uh, sell that for 7,500. Oh, God. Okay. And then let's go and sell these Chaos and Death Runes. I'm not going to need them at all. 46,000? How much do I need? Like 70? I should have probably looked at this before. Uh, 90. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Let's uh, let's get this done first. Okay. I got a few things to alk that I just never got around to alking to uh, boost our money up a little bit. We need to go to Edgeville. Boom. And uh, we're going to go up to the uh, Mage Bank to sell some blood runes off. I'll probably sell some uh, nature runes off as well. We just want to get as much money together as possible, although I do have quite a lot here. Now, a little bit of a bummer, guys. I did want to go for the crystal shield this episode, but I needed six unlocks. I overlooked the waterfall quest. So this actually counts as one unlocks. This was not actually on the giant landmass, but it connected to it. So if I got like the one next to it, I would have been able to do it, but because it's touching it and not on it, I only have five unlocks. The squares that I overlooked were these two things right here because it would have been these two and then I would have needed these three right here 
plus one of these to get the tar, I think it's called. Like this, I, I, I don't know exactly what you get, but you fill up a barrel over there when I was looking at the guide and I am <laughs> I'm not that happy about it, but it's probably more crucial to get barrels pieces anyway, but that would have been a guaranteed upgrade. So anyways, that was my one unlock where we started. Um, then over here, there really isn't too much to unlock, guys, because my plan largely is Barrows. But just to make my life easier, we're unlocking these three right here. Um, I needed that one for RFD, and these two just make it easier because I can teleport to Camelot and have access to this guy over here. You could start the quest on this side because um, this would have been locked off, so it still would have been possible. But just to make my life so much easier, uh, we unlock those three. Then we unlocked over here because we need to get a COD for the quest as well, and there really is no easy spots to get cod it was possible but this is just making my life so much easier without stressing about it and i don't think i actually need this square but i know for one part of rfd uh you take this transportation spot over here so i don't think you need it but i figure just in case if i fucked up but those are my six unlocks guys let's start this episode by doing some quests Let's get some RFD gloves. So the first thing I want to do is just keep it nice and simple. Chop some trees because we need to get 20 fire making on the account. It really shouldn't take long at all, but we do need it for the big chompy bird hunting portion of recipe for disaster. There we go, 20 fire making. So now it's just time to smash out these quests, guys. So we're going to start with the fishing contest quest. We're going to use our new Camelot teleport that we've never done on this account before ever, which kind of feels weird. And um, just start smashing them out. And then big chompy bird hunting and then RFD. I'm hoping I can do all of these quests in under like an hour and a half, which I don't know if it's possible, but we're going to hope for it. Uh, yeah, we'll open up these crystal keys, see what they give us, because they could give us some rune items as well. Um, and then we will probably have easily enough money. Um, so we'll do that and go from there. All right, let's uh, go for it. Four of these bad boys, come on. Okay, a dragon stone and a spinach roll, not really what you want to see. Another, just a dragon stone. Oh, come on. No. Do we get some GP? I think we might have got some GP there. Okay, they out for 6k now each. So we'll take it. We'll take it. I'm not going to need these at all. So we will get rid of them on the account. And there's a little bit more money. It's going to take us to over 500k, which is nice. I think I've got enough money, to be honest. I think we're looking good. Let's have a look. Come on. Come on, show me 90. Show me 90. Was my maths correct? It was. It was. Oh, yes. It was correct, V's and G's. We're just over 69 over. Of course we are. Buy a cape. And boom. There we go. It is on the account. We didn't get it spoon-fed like Kins did. You know, we had to buy it ourselves. But you know what? We've got it now and I'm happy. Let's move on. Okay, next up is we need to go and get 45 wood cutting so that we can cut maple trees. I've got a rune axe. Gonna have to use a steel axe until 41, unfortunately. Um, but we're gonna go over to Teaks on Apatol. That's why I've got the uh, Grigri with me. So I can sit there and just take no damage. Um, and this should take about 45 minutes to an hour, something like that, uh, to get the 45. So nothing too crazy. I will look at if there's a boost, actually. Maybe we'll be able to boost. There we go. 45 wood cutting. So let's teleport to the monastery and let's get ourselves over to Camelot. Because we opened up this chunk, we can cut these maple trees. We need two of them. There we go. And if we cut these into a maple shield... This is now going to help us with range defense or magic defense. It also gives us a bit of defense and other things. But if we now put green dehyde on this, it gives us range attack and even more range or mage defense. We now trade with him. We need 15 steel nails. So we're going to have to hop. I think we're going to need a hammer. I don't think I've ever made a shield before in Rooney. Let's go and tan this, get a hammer out and see if we're uh, good to go with a green dehyde shield. This should make a green dehyde shield. There we go. Awesome. Uh, the reason for this is it gives me range attack bonus. It gives me four range attack bonus and it gives me nine magic defense. So if he goes magic, this is such a good shield to use. Um, it just it just means that, you know, we're even more defensive against his magic and I'm more offensive. So uh, a really, really nice thing to get. I would have liked to have gone for, you know, the higher tier ones, but we just didn't have the stats for it, unfortunately. Uh, to be able to go for it there we go fishing contest has been complete guys took about seven minutes to do and now we are on our way to do big chompy bird hunting oh yeah i just realized i can't go over here that's so awkward okay 
I believe this is the quest complete. It actually took longer than I wanted it to. That fucking bird would not spawn like three times. Um, and then I just put three down and it's fine. It finally spawned. So uh, cool. That's that quest completed. Now it's just a matter of uh, knocking off recipe for disaster. Let's start with the dwarf one. Doesn't really matter what order I do them in, but we have four parts that we want to do, and I believe that'll get us to Myth Gloves. And another super fast one coming in. 1k Cooking, 1k Slayer. Interesting. Um, next up, let's just do Pirate Pete. All right, I got some extra ingredients just in case, but we didn't even burn it. Perfect. Perfect. Let's go give this to um, Pete over here. Make sure we use it. I don't even know if you can eat it by mistake. I know for um, the stew, you couldn't. Um, there we go. Okay, what's next? Let's do, uh, Wart Nose and- or Wart Face and Bent Nose, the two weirdest motherfuckers on- on RuneScape. Um, uh, actually, that's probably not true, but... Link's the weirdest mother- <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Oh, I've been dying to do something like this all series. Oh, Link did it once? Oh, yes! <laughs> Yoink! And then we can go right to the tree gnome to get ourselves an orange? Oh, yeah, honestly. Just- just call me a PvP challenge expert, you know? And we're still rocking the fashion skate from the last subquest. And another one done. 1k farming XP. That's such a weird thing to give farming XP. I didn't farm at all, but... Cool. Next up! Scratch Uglogwi. So my estimation for an hour and a half was a little off. An hour and 40 minutes it took, but it also took a little longer to get that fire making than I expected. But... Here we are. Another subsection completed. The Mithril Gloves. They are equivalent in magic attack to the Mystic Gloves that I've been wearing and give a plus six range attack bonus. The perfect gloves to be using for the final fight. Now, guys, let's do some barrows. We're back at the dragons. <laughs> of course we are. Um, but the reason for this is... We've already got a few brews, we've already got a few super restores, but I want to have enough for every fight. If we go for th If we go for three fights then I probably need maybe one more brew, one more super restore to be okay for all of them. Um, and I definitely want to have that for every fight. Um, on top of that, the XP is mad good, the prayer XP is good, and the grubby keys means that maybe we can get ourselves some uh, prayer levels uh, with some dragon bones and obviously the baby dragon bones as well. Full on for it. We've got so many ranging pots from all the uh, grubby keys that I did. Um, and yeah, we are going to be really, really going for the best possible XP here. Uh, because, you know, it doesn't matter anymore. We've got so many ranging pots on the account from doing the grubby keys that I can now use them in the... Uh, in the main time because these were these were done in my own time if that makes sense there's no point not to go for it this way and just absolutely hammer through these pots and get as much xp as possible so we'll give you a little update and we'll uh see what we get in but i'm expecting 55 to 60. yeah it is going to be right up there we're currently getting 61 62k it is going to be amazing just the ranging pots plus constantly having the prayer on is going to be so, so good for XP. We'll definitely get 81 at this rate. Definitely. I'll be doing some red dragons in between the kills while there's nothing here. Uh, just to pull up some, some dragon bones and stuff. And hopefully pull some more grubby keys. So I will see you in a while, guys. This needs to be done. That took a little, way longer than I thought it was going to. We've got 80 range coming in here. I am going to stay for the 75 HP as well. We are 3k off, so yeah, might as well. Uh, there's no chance I'm getting another um, prayer level, so I've stopped picking up the bones because there's no point at this point. I was really hoping I could get 60 prayer, but we're nowhere near close. Um, because that would have given extra sips per prayer or super restore. Uh, but unfortunately that hasn't happened. I might bring some crumb ones for some tick eats. Um, just to save on some, uh, hitting time. Um, but yeah, other than that, really, there's not much to be done. I've, defense level's not gonna happen. A magic level's not really gonna happen. I don't really have any runes. I sold them all off, um to oh unless oh no i don't have any god stuffs yeah i sold them all off to buy the obby cape so i can't really get a magic level uh i don't really know what i'm gonna do with my last hour to be honest guys i might try and get a magic level 15 16 17 somewhere around there but uh let's open the first one here that we got on this trip and see 200 laws okay some prayer pots and a ranging pot okay not great 
but we will go from there, and I think I'm just gonna Monastery Teleport, use the square we opened up today um, with the Draymond staff, so that we can uh, get back to the Chasm of Fire. And, uh, and go around that way. Okay, remember guys, we are looking for Tank Helm, Tank Legs, Iron Skirt, or Carol's Top. Those are the items of choice um, today. Now we have six hours, guys, and that was our first chest. So there's so much time to do Barrows. We did 78 in total. Um, I mean, of course, the best case scenario would be to get a nice pair of Tank Legs. I think if I get Tank Legs, I'm out of Barrows and going to just train. I don't know exactly if I'm going to do that. It really depends how much time I have left on the clock and what I think I can do otherwise. But there is some stuff I want to do um, in this six hours as well, like maybe getting a rune pouch. But I just think getting tank legs and or a tank helm is far more crucial than saving one inventory spot because that item would save way more than one food in the final fight, you know, so... Yeah, just kept the grind it out, guys, and hopefully we get some good luck. This is chest number 90, guys. 9-0. Nothing. I'm gonna have to take some time and recharge my staff and actually buy some more food. I don't think we have a lot left. 104. Uh, I'm gonna do it all at once, though. This should be the last time I have to recharge it. I'll, I'll, of course, check at the end to make sure I have enough for the final fight. When you actually attack players, it uses twice as many charges. Guys, this is chest number 100. Let's see what we get. Oh, man. 100 chests. I don't know how many this episode, but um, we are absolutely flying through. Seeing that clock go down with every chest, we don't get anything. I'll be honest, it's a, it's a bit scary. Because after 100, there's no tank legs in sight. But um, that could, of course, change in the next 7 minutes or so if we get a bit lucky. <gasps> oh! oh, dude! No way! <laughs> so, <I'm... laughs> oh, this is actually one of the worst helms for the melee ones. Or it is the worst one, but it's a helm nonetheless. Oh my god! Oh, with two hours and two minutes left of the series. No more rune full helm. Guys, I'm actually speechless. I've just been mind-numbingly doing barrows to the past four and a half hours. And then this happens. <laughs> How many chests have we done? 111. 34 chests done in this Barrow's run, or this Barrow's trip on this episode. I can't even get my words right. I don't even know where the fucking ladder is. I'm just so happy. Guys. Oh, let's look at the stats on this bad boy. Let's compare. Let's compare. With the Rune Full Helm 190 range defense to 211 for Slash 150 to 166. Uh, Magic defense stays the same. Look at even the magic attack! Oh my god! It only goes down by three versus six. This is amazing. To be honest, we're very close to having... I, I We could even have enough sharks um, for all the fights at this point. So I think maybe I'll get like a few sharks and then I'll start dropping them as well. Um, at this point, it's just the bruised and super restores I'm looking for, really. Um, so yeah. We will uh, we'll start dropping some things, which is going to be painful, but it has to happen. So, let's open the first one. <laughs> oh, you naughty, naughty thing. Awesome, we'll drop those. We will keep that. We'll drop all of that. The astrals I don't really need, but we'll keep them just because I, I can't drop 200 astrals. That feels too wrong. Um, range of potions, super defense, sharks, nice. Dragon bones at this point doesn't really matter. That was a pretty bad... Pretty bad chest there, and another pretty bad chest, although I guess I can now take these. I do have soul runes, but only nine. I think that's from like episode one or two when I was doing the rune crafting at the ZMI. I can't, I can't even do it. <laughs> can't even tell you there, so yeah, that doesn't work. All right, what are we going to get? Don't want any of that except maybe the sharks. I think we're done on sharks now. We should have enough for all the fights. So I probably will start dropping them and we can bring some more brews. Super restore. Awesome. 10k. That could be useful in our attempt to get this magic level. And the last one. Nope. Okay. I've got a bit nuts this time and we've gone for six keys. But I am going to start dropping sharks now. So it doesn't really matter. 
See, I literally, this whole thing is droppable. Like, I don't need any of that. So that's why we've gone for this option. Can I please see some brews? Please, 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 please. Oh. Death runes, though. Take it. Blood runes. Prayer pots. Super defense. Bit more money. Some Rainars. Did I drop anything here? Super defense, Ranger Potion, Prayer Potion. Ah, no. That is painful. Let's take the Sharks. We 100% have enough Sharks for every fight now. Um, that's really annoying. No bruise in that one. Okay, the last three. Come on. Yes! Yes! Oh, yes! Oh, that's amazing. That is amazing. Oh, yes. And we got some death runes as well. Last chest is not going to give us any more, but you know what? That could do us. That could do us. 200 death runes there. Uh, don't need any of that. Let's get out of here. And I have a plan for the last hour. So it turns out you actually need to do big chompy bird hunting to be able to do Zoga flesh eaters. And unfortunately, I don't have the... Uh, the squares for that so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna go up and uh, buy some fire runes from Hetty or Betty I can't remember it's one of the two isn't it um, and we will get ourselves um, some magic going this is amazing this is amazing this is amazing this is amazing do I still want to do barrows I mean I still want tank legs fuck um, mm, am I really gonna get tank legs in two hours it's possible it's possible can we get a back-to-back? -back? You always go for the back-to-back. -back. We can't. We can't. I'm out of fire runes, pretty much. I'm out of death runes. Uh, we have lots of money that we could get by um, by selling some stuff. Look at our... I mean, we could just sell these, for crying out loud. We'll never use those in this series. But I'm honestly trying to think if I want to do something else instead. Right now, uh, I just know tank legs would be the biggest thing, but it's not a guaranteed thing taking it to the final fight. But it would work so well with the arms body that I've gotten and... Be ashamed not to have a great pair with that. So guys, we're selling the Chaos Runes and buying 50 deaths per world. Also just bought a ton... Actually, let's buy some airs. We bought a ton of fires as well. Uh, we don't need a crazy amount of airs because they're just more for teleports and stuff. I have the arms top because I was comparing stuff really quick because I had to make a very fast decision on if I wanted to go back to Barrows for tank legs, if it was worth it. Um, and I'm going to show you my findings really quick. I just want to you know be totally open with you guys look at the range defense and magic attack with this 23 177 23 209 this setup is better i did a really bad job of explaining myself because the timer was ticking down there um long story short right now at the arms top because an arms top gives zero range defensive bonuses i would need really good tank legs to bring with it because you guys saw it with a plus zero difference or actually plus zero doesn't really make any sense with a zero magic attack difference my range defense just takes a massive plummet now the magic defense was a little higher but his range even if he put his xp into magic i think his range still is going to be a lot more deadly i think he had 76 range last episode i have 74 He's going to be bringing range to the final fight, obviously. He's going to be relying on it a lot. And if he's hybriding, I do not want to get caught with that range off prayer with like 170 range defense. So I decided to come back to Barrows to hopefully get those tank legs because that would make the Aram's top a little more usable because I'd feel a lot more comfortable bringing that setup if I had some really nice tank legs and not rune legs to go with it. And I can't just wear the Carol skirt because that gives even less range defense than the rune although my magic defense would be through the roof guys i just wanted to say that we are under an hour now and i'm actually starting to get em emotional now i'm really fucking emotional now i am really fucking emotional i'm going back to red dragons guys if i can pull myself a bit more sorrow brews a bit more super restores then it's totally totally worth it so uh let's buy 10 of these let's buy another 10 open these up we need quite a few fire runes right there we go i was gonna do it all you know precise but i thought you know what the time that that will take 
is it worth it? So 590 casts, uh, yeah, that will be enough actually because 1,000 death runes would be 5,000. Uh, but another magic level just to give us a bit more mage defense would be huge because uh, if you didn't know, 70% of your magic defense actually comes from your magic level rather than your defense level. Only 30% of it rolls on defense level. I was watching the last episode and he can't do the crystal shield. I know that for a fact he needed six unlocks and he only had five to unlock chunk wise so there's no way he's getting a crystal shield which means in a range on range setup there is no way he beats me and he knows that so i did think about killing the red dragons but i just don't think the groby keys are going to be as common because they're only one in 50 these are one in 80 so like i think it takes more than double the time to kill a red dragon what i will be doing is when i'm killing these guys i will just start hitting the red dragon every so often just to uh just to keep those damages coming in and give us that chance of a grubby key from there. Okay, this is going to be it. We did get a grubby key, which is nice. Uh, slacked a little bit because I was doing some theory crafting, but still 54k an hour. 68 magic coming in there. Um, let's open up this grubby key. Um, and I'm going to save these runes and I'm going to save the charges on the Ibans uh, for some hybriding in the fight. I, I sort of want brews now. I feel like we've got enough restores. You, that's your naughty. Your naughty. <laughs> oh, that's so worth it. So worth coming here as well. I also got a rune longsword from, um, what's it called? From killing the red dragons. And it's, <laughs> it's ridiculous how, how amazing the grubby keys are in a challenge like this. And definitely something we'll look at in the future. But you know what? It's there. I'm taking it. The issue was me getting so lucky at Barrows. You know, Barrows was meant to take episodes and episodes and episodes to get a decent setup. I got so lucky. You know, the next part of the game would be to go to God Wars and stuff. But the account definitely can't do that at this point. And the XP rewards aren't big enough to get me to the point of being able to do that. So the only thing now is to think, how can I improve my chances in the fight? And that is having brews and super restores. That'll be on my channel on Thursday, the fights. Uh, all three or all two, depending on how many we need, it will be a best of three. Um, so yeah, this could be the last thing you hear from me, guys. So if it is, goodbye. I hope it isn't because I want to grab a key. But um, yeah, see you on Thursday, if not. Just squeezing that last bit of RNG out of the series. That is what we love to see. Ah, uh, come on. One more grubby key. One more grubby key. It's happening, B's and G's. It's happening. Oh, yes. Didn't think I was going to be recording again. We've recorded twice now. Yes. Come on, one more. One more. Give me, give me one more. B's and G's. That's it. Three keys. Oh, yes. Surely we get some brews in here. Surely. Super restores or brews. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nope. Okay. Come on. Dart tips. No. How much are they out for, actually? Literally fucking nothing. All right. It all comes down to this one, B's and G's. It all comes down to this one. Here we go. No. Astral's deaths. Death runes, I guess, is decent for uh, if I'm going to hybrid in the fight. Uh, there wasn't anything dropped there, was there? No. What I'll do is I will just kill these guys, get a couple kills in the last two minutes, and maybe we get a grubby key out of these guys um, and have it. But, you know, the chances of that are very, very low. Uh, yeah. Very annoying. It would have been great to have seen just a little bit more luck there, but that's the way it goes. 1 minute 56 left. These are G's. I think this is going to be goodbye. I'll see you on my channel on Thursday. Uh, there will be a link in the description, I'm sure. And uh, yeah, we will fight it out, and we're going to find out who is going to win this season. Here's the funny part. I've had one pair of legs before this chest. And that was the Carol's leather skirt. Any other pair of legs would have been efficient. Arams, perfect. Or any of the other tank legs would have been amazing. But I get the Carol's again. Wish this guy good luck. Wish this guy good luck. Because I'm going to need it. I want good karma. Oh, I want good karma. That's all I want. <laughs> We had a lot of death runes, so I scared I would have had to buy more, but I mean, who really gives a shit? Look how many fucking chaos runes we have. I'm getting nervous. 
guys. My nerves are are pumping. I'm a nervy boy. This is this is the last 36 minutes of the series. This is gonna have to be my last chest, guys. We just got the good luck from however you pronounce that name. Last Barrow's chest of the season. Damn it. All right, guys, the last grubby chest I'll ever open on this account. Uh, 12 minutes left, so right after we open this, it's off to Artie take the boat by the cram wands. We'll have plenty of time for it. Um, I cannot believe this is it. If we get a sour brew, that'd be awesome. But we also, I guess we need a super store with it as well, or else it's kind of pointless. Um, I don't think that's possible. Maybe it is. And some sharks. We want sharks. Damn it. No sharks. Unlucky. All right, guys. I'm going to buy some cramp wands, and I will meet back up with you once I have three inventories of those. And that is everything. We are completely ready, or as ready as we can be, for the final fights. Now, on Thursday, Link and I will be battling it out. Best two out of three. The winner of that wins the season. All right, B's and G's, welcome to the finale. Oh, I had a little uh, message with kids on Discord. We're both a bit nervous about this one. I am, for sure. Um, so yeah, this is my setup. This is my plan. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, what are you doing? But let me let me explain. Looking at my stats, there is no chance I can hybrid. It's, it's not possible. You know, that I would get destroyed in magic, I would get destroyed in melee. Range is my only asset right now. In this gear, I have 84 magic defense bonus. And if he goes straight magic, he beats me on DPS. But if he goes straight magic, he has runes. He probably has a range switch as well, let's be honest. He probably uses five, maybe six slots with maybe an anti-poison to use his inventory up, which means he's using just as many slots as I am, probably. If he's going range on top of that with switches, then yeah, pff, he's using so many slots. He only has cramp ones. I have way more food. I let him mage me, all fight. He has a higher hit than me and higher DPS. I completely agree with the comment section who are going to be like, why did you do that, Link? Yes, but only slightly. He only slightly has higher DPS than me. I have a higher chance to hit him, so hopefully he'll be eating more than I am, which then puts the DPS back in my favor. If I'm switching prayers and he one ticks a rune crossbow at me, he can hit up to a 29. Especially in this gear, I have 163 defense. It's not huge. It is not huge. I'm not bringing the Verex. I'm not bringing the uh, Crystal Shield. The rune crossbow will do absolute work to me. So it's most important to be protecting from missiles and stopping that from coming in. Why don't you crab one brew, oh, shark crab one brew. The problem with that is, yep, yeah, great if I had 99 HP. It heals like a 51, 52. So for me to pull off a shark crumb, uh, shark brew crumb one, I would have to be sat on like 19, 20 HP to make it not an overheal. If he hits me down really heavily, then yeah, I might use it. If I'm there on 10, 20 HP, then yeah, I might go for it. But I won't be doing it through the fight because the, the chance of me being sat on, on 20, under 25 HP is zero because he can hit 25 with the Ibans. And um, then we've got the super restores because I am going to brew at the start of the fight to get the uh, the defense. This actually gives higher defense than a defense pot would be would do for me. Super defense would give one less defense. Um, so it's actually pretty good for that. Um... And yeah, I'll, I'll definitely have to use a brew, restore, range pot, four prayer pots on top of our 58, 60 with the monastery boost prayer. Um, Anti-poison just in case he brings emerald bolts because he might, you know, I thought about doing it. <sighs> let's get into it, V's and G's, and uh, let's see who's going to win. Hey guys, and welcome to the random chunk area locked PvP progression series thing. The series where there's never really been an official name. It's always just been like progression PvP. But uh, yeah, you guys love it when we literally don't know what to call the series. So I had to get one last one in for episode 26. Welcome to the finale. The gear hasn't changed much since last episode, but it worked so damn 
Well, that's that's the tricky part. You know, I, I know just tank range isn't going to get me a win. And this worked. I won by, I think it was four food uh, last time I came in this. Now, I'm sure he's going to have a trick up his sleeve or something. He might be going hybrid, which I'm kind of expecting. But if he doesn't, I mean, it'll make it easier on me, the hybrids, because then I don't have to change these prayers. Or I should say these prayers. I mean, maybe he is going melee. But I'm going to have a very similar approach going in. I was really thinking about, should I bring the Emerald Bolts Enchanted? I ultimately decided not to. I think he's going to bring the anti. Um, I know in season two, he actually brought the anti, I think, first fight. And then didn't bring it the second fight. And I didn't bring my emeralds then. I, I want to keep mind games out of this as much as possible. I know I have to win this by just being the better hybrid. Because if I win this fight, or two fights, I need to win two. If I win the fights... I am going to have to do a lot more damage than Link because we know he has a lot more food than I have. And I'm not exactly the tankiest person out there. So I need all the food I can get. So I'm, I'm, I, I definitely am taking a more play it safe approach. Um, I think if I lose the next fight, especially by a lot, I think he'll definitely expect me to bring emeralds. Oh man, now I'm kind of second guessing the whole emerald thing. I should just stick to my guts, guys. Honestly, th this is this is stressful. This is really stressful. I think I'm going to lock this in though. I think he's going to expect the emeralds right off the bat. So I'm going with this. Only three prayer pots. It seemed to work last time. I'm kind of going in with the mindset of treat it like last fight, but the one difference, expect him to possibly have hybrid rather than just tank range so guys i will see you in the final fight get ice here we are we made it we made it <laughs> um i mean one thing i want to say before we get into this guys do not worry i know a lot of people have been like what am i gonna do with my thursdays and tuesdays and appreciate it it's very kind of you to say don't worry content will be coming very very quickly so you won't have long to wait. So don't feel like it's the end of Link and Rog. Don't worry, it's coming Not back. when I slide tackle your other foot this time. Oh, it's going to be not a commit. <laughs> you know, how do you feel your episode went? You had eight hours. Um, I'm guessing you went to Barrows. That would probably be... I did. Right. I did. Right. I did. For how long? You know, that that's that's the question, though. You know, not if, but how long. I was there for uh, six and a half hours wow. of the eight. Wow. <laughs> So, okay. Yeah, safe to say that I was chasing an item to the very end. Yeah, Link. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, Which, you know, it, gotta play around it though. I, it I expected it. I expected it. I got my barrows pieces. I didn't have much to do. I'm not gonna lie. So I, I did, uh, I did one or two things, and then the rest was just training, just try and get that advantage of a, of a max hit as as high as possible, really. When we came up with that rule to be like, okay, we get unlimited grubby keys for the items that we needed. You and me were expecting like three or four episodes of Barrows where you and me would be like grinding it. But I was done with Barrows in literally like two hours. Fine, I'll do it to you. 82, fuck. 78. 78. I feel like I've just been like four behind the entirety mm -hmm. yeah. of the series. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I'll let you uh, go first. I won't look at it. I have clicked you, okay. but I'll, I'll let you. All right. Ah. Uh. Oh, he's not gone down the melee route. I was actually hoping you were going to dump it in strength, thinking yeah, that'd be better. That I was thinking no piety, no chivalry. Uh, oh, actually, 58 prayer. Fuck. I mean, I guess you could have gotten if you really wanted to. Could have gone to, for it, but... yeah, if I wanted to, but... But, yeah, no, I mean, I, I, like, if I date back episodes, people are like, Link, why aren't you dropping your fucking XP in melee? And, like, I, I'm not going to say anything. I know why you're not doing it. <laughs> But, you know, I was, I was hoping the comments would have gotten to you a little bit, like Tribrid in the fight link, you know? I, I'd that gone to the point, and obviously you know this, but I'd got to the point where my range and magic was so high that if I tried to then catch up with attack and strength, there was no way I was going to be effective enough in the final fight, so... Yeah, it's 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 yeah. two skills you have yeah. to worry about, yeah. not just so, one. I mean, fuck, yeah, you, dude, that range level is, oh, it's high. That is high. Yeah, have a look at you. Have a look that at is you. really right. fucking high. 50 attack, oh. 50 strength, yeah, yeah, yeah. 70 defense, normal, uh, 74 range. Have you done nothing to range? Just to kill some skeletons and arrows at Varus. Range wasn't touched. Oh my god, he's going full mage, isn't he? 53 prayer, that hasn't changed. 73 magic! Desert treasure was so many unlocks. That was actually that my plan. You would plan. have had to plan for it, like... Dude, 
episode like four weeks in episode seven or something i planned it and remember we got the hunter level i was going to get the magic logs from the mm -hmm. from the implings i was going to do temple of ikov i had the agility pyramid so i was going to start doing like all those quests around there like i genuinely had the plan but the problem was i just wasn't sure how effective it would be because obviously we wouldn't have ice barrage or blood barrage or anything like that it would be a case of using like blitz and stuff um, I genuinely think if you got 80, I think 80 magic for uh, Blood Blitz mm -hmm. and just tank mage setup, I think that would dominate, especially if I had an Aram Staff plus 5% magic But you got to remember, stuff. like, the other person, all they got to do is sit there and protect from magic, and you're not healing that much, and they don't hit very hard. I don't, I don't know. Think, so. I, I would have definitely done it if it was a bit easier, Fair. 100%. I dropped it around episode 11, 12. Um, right. I honestly thought you were probably going to put your XP into magic, man. Oh, really? Because, well, first of all, I assumed you were going to hybrid me. Mm. And I figured you would have gotten more bang for your buck because your magic level is much lower than your range level. Right, yeah, yeah. I could have I could have probably been around your level. So my, my thought process was if I go down the magic route, I am going to get outdone. I'd have to have gone to Barrows as well and hope that I pull better items. And, and I was already items behind you. Um... And I, I just didn't think I was going to catch you up in a hybrid fight. Uh, not right. to say that I'm not going oh, to. Like I still not do. Not hybriding. I still, <laughs> I still do have charges oh, and runes and stuff. Fucking granite plate body is going to make a fucking <laughs> appearance again. Fuck. But, Dude, um, I think I'd rather see a Turai plate body than a granite <laughs> at this point. I'm not even trolling. Okay. Um. Body. I never go body first. That's like a sin. But I'm doing it. Uh, uh, doing it. I want to see that granite. Or actually, I don't want to see the granite, so... Whew. Not to say he still doesn't have one, though. Yep, correct. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Here comes the tank mage. <laughs> Here comes the tank mage. <laughs> now, it's, it's, I know you were expecting it, but are you happy or sad to see the tank mage set up? I really don't now? know. Because I don't know in the last episode or the last fight we had whether you should have won that or not. I don't know whether You did just, like, not hit... Some yeah, like time. like my my hits were incredibly poor, so I I just don't know. I just don't know. Um, yeah, uh, let's right. go legs, man. Dude, mm. I got a second pair of these fuckers. Are you fucking with me? The only oh, two leg no. items that I got were Carol's skirt times two. You don't have <laughs> tank legs. I don't have tank legs. Oh my I don't god! Have oh, it hurts, man. I tried, guys. I tried. I'm not I going. I'm not going end, down that route either. I don't know what he's doing here. Ooh. I don't know what he's doing here. These and G's. I'm thrown. Oh, I'm it's... thrown. Um, your pick, mate. Uh, oh, I don't know what he's up to here. This... I'm gonna say gloves. Okay. Does he rock on the gloves? But same red dehyde. Yeah. So I'm maybe spiky. he's really not hybrid. Is he not high? Are you going full fucking mage defense here? Let's see, mate. Let's see. Ooh, okay. That's not good to see. That's not good to see. Awesome hybrid and gloves. Yeah. Ooh. Only an hour and a half of the episode to finish really? it off. Really? Yeah. yeah, it was ah. dumb. Dude, the quest helper, like, deserves the biggest shout out. Because any, any way else, it would have taken me an extra 45 minutes to do. It's, yeah. it's nuts, guys, how quick and easy that makes questing crazy let's go boots mate booties this will give away what he's up to i think yeah fuck okay I mean, that wasn't oh, obvious <laughs> yeah okay uh i still got my snakeies <laughs> i've still got my snakeies <laughs> oh he's going full fucking magic defense he's gotta have a switch though surely he's got show me your other leg slot link i have no other leg slot you have no other leg slot. You're no not other trolling. Leg slot. I'm not trolling. I don't know if this is good or bad. I don't know I've got. I'm, I'm, I'm going dad. wild card, kids. I'm I going know wild card. Sad, bro. Let's go. Let's go, Cape. Let's go, Cape. Okay, I sort of gave this away, actually. Yeah, accidentally. you did. You did. Yeah. You did. Um, What's he going? You, you oh, going okay, okay. I, yeah. I lose that nine range defense, man. But the, but the attack bonus on that is just so nice. It is so nice. Okay. Um. Amulet? I'm guessing you go power. I mean, oh, hybriding, yeah. it makes no sense not to. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go hell, man. I mean, you know what I've got here. Did he get an upgrade is the question. 118 chests. Okay, yeah, he did. Okay, yeah. 
What's he got? <laughs> Why did you say? Because you wouldn't, you wouldn't say the chest number, would you? Well, I, I said the total chest number. Oh, I thought you meant like I got this chest 118. No, 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 no. Right. No, no. Oh. But I did. And it's actually best hybriding oh, melee that health. that gives less magic defense, doesn't it? Or magic attack. Or it gives like negative. negative three magic attack, but it does give less stats than like your Torag, Varix, and Guthins. Do you have any other legs or are you just rocking the fucking carols? I do. <sighs> I mean, okay, you know, I actually, I don't know why I just threw that on. I mean, all right. Well, obviously Before you're bringing anybody... a fucking staff. Well, I know, but I have the Aram staff. I cannot I even cast the only, Fire Wave. The only reason, the only reason to bring the Arams would be if you had full Arams, which, mate, if you're pulling full Arams in 118 KC, I'd be like, what the fuck? I'm scared. I'm scared he's got, like, better bolts along with that, too. All right, let's go yeah. Shield, mate. I don't know whose turn it is, but you've got um... a weapon up, so... <laughs> I mean, as you've stated, I mean, you've fucking nailed it. I could not, um, I could not get the crystal. I was actually one shy, one square shy. Yeah, I actually did a, like, what is this, two episodes ago, I think you unlocked them, and I did a deep dive into your last picks, and I was like, yeah, nah, it's not happening. The, the one trade-off was that I was able to get the myth gloves, which I, uh, would I have rather the crystal shield? I don't know. It would have taken so much longer to get. Also, I, I the crystal shield gives crystal negative. Shield, yeah. It gives negative ten in magic attack and range. Like it is, it is punishing. What? I've gone full on, full on here, and probably an item you're not expecting at all. Are you fucking kidding me? I went and got forty-five wood cutting so I could cut maple trees and make this. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good here, V's and G's. I feel like this should. I mean, I do. I do have a crossbow too, though. Like... Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I was expecting that. What is your magic defense? Do I even run a hybrid, <laughs> guys? What the fuck? Uh, my magic oh, defense no. is 84. Yeah, guys. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, can... I, I don't know how to approach this. Do I try to hybrid him, or do I just? Except the fact that my inventory's filled up and just try to tank range him. All right, kids. Inventory reveal. Little tradie boy. This is my scariest part, honestly. Yeah, I mean, as I said, I was at red, so, you know. Yeah. God. What the fuck? Yeah, that's fucked. He's got so much prayer alongside with that. He's got the ant. Oh, he's not fucking about. He is genuinely not <laughs> I was like, I'm not losing to poison. Fuck that shit. What's he got? What's he got? What's he got? What's he got? So that, yeah, um, yeah. can't, I can't put up my Ibins. Yeah. I did bring an anti because I don't want to lose on poison. Yeah. Um, the skirt switch. Yeah. The runes. Yeah. The Ibins, obviously, as you said. Because, because Barrows claimed me this whole season i don't have any upgrades and of course that's about is the items he's got me on food massively guys i don't even know if i should try to just tank range you the whole time i'm scared to switch now dude you're 80 something magic defense that's ridiculous yeah my thought process <laughs> was there's no way there's no way i out hybrid you and there was no way you weren't bringing hybrid, so I thought, fuck it, first fight, let's go full range defense, see what happens, or magic defense, see what happens. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Guys, Kins accidentally star bashed me, <laughs> that's why he's skulled, but he did no damage, so we're, we're good. Man wanted a sneaky extra bit of yeah. DPS. I know somebody's saying I cheated right now, no, guys, <laughs> it's bad. Oh, dear. Okay, mate, okay. Ah, he's got two ranged pots. This guy's gonna be hitting that Max hit he always talks about. Yeah. Every, like, all <laughs> the Maxi boy, mate. Fight. Um, oh, honestly, man, okay. mate, I want to get this out of the way. I want to get this done. I know okay. you do. Me too, because I'm nervous now, man. Um, I get first hit, correct? Correct, mate. So just let me know. Oh. I've, got, I've got a few pots to eat at the start. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Mate, so. 
I'm gonna but, let you start potting before I get okay. my two second warning. <laughs> right. I'll, I'll, right. I'll, I'll, I'll be fair. I'll be fair. He's a, he's a nice bloke. All right. So, so start potting, man. Start. Right. Here we go. I just gotta make sure I'm doing this in the right order because I know Team Link will kill me if I'm not. Okay. Yeah, we are. All right. Boom. Boom. All right. I'm potting now as well. Cool. Let me know on that two second. Uh, two seconds, man. Why are you screaming? Why? Because <laughs> I thought it was the pit. I thought that uh, I'd gone too early. But oh, we're good. Bro. I have to try it. Oh, he's just keeping up. Protect from range. He's not switching. He's not switching, guys. Oh, God. Fuck it. I'm going to try it. Yeah, this he's, he's a fucking tanky boy. He's a tanky fucking boy. This little shit. Oh, yes. Uh, Yes, 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 yes. Come on, keep hitting. Keep hitting. No need to fuck around. No need to fuck around. Oh, at least the max hits up there now, though. It's like I'm trading max hits for accuracy. Yeah. Or vice versa, I should say. It's a big hit. It's a big hit. Yes. Oh my god. I don't know if this is working or not, guys. I genuinely don't. <laughs> oh my god, my prayer dropped. Oh, he was eating. He was eating. Um, Lucky boy. Come on. Oh, you're tanky. You are tanky. You can do that, Kins. You need to be when you have an 80 fucking range level, Link. Oh, man. Fuck. Hit! <laughs> fucking hit! It's actually looking like magic was better. Can't hit to save my fucking life. I hate. Why can't I hit? Why can't I hit? Actually, I know why I can't hit. Oh no, it's so hard to flick fucking yeah. prayers when you're... Oh man. It's a lot to do. It's a lot to do. Maybe range is better? I don't know, man. I don't know. Yes! 18 through prayer, that's why. Yes! Wild. I think I can hit up to a 20. Guys, my magic just wasn't hitting, so I don't think I could take that approach. It's a big zero first.
Come on. This prayer's got to be out soon, surely. How much food was that? Nine. Yeah, that's fucked. Guys, the magic just did not hit. Wow. Okay, okay. All right. Round one of, one of three, potentially. Okay. Magic didn't work. Magic didn't work because he was way, way too tanky. I'm pretty sure my, my range DPS was actually higher then my magic. I got a decent amount of magic hits at the start and it was getting me all excited, but then I just stopped hitting completely. And of course I'm more vulnerable with the magic on. So I'm trying, or I did think of a way where I can keep the ma the magic build, utilize my Aram's top, get max magic attack. Well, not max, but being smart about it. We still have tank shield, tank helm, uh, plus 62 magic attack. But of course, with magic, you only have 128 range defense. So a way to kind of combat that, that I schemed up, is after every magic attack, switch. So hit with magic, put that on. Hit with magic, put it back on. And just keep doing that all fight. I'm still going to bring the crossbow and the range pots because if this does work, I do think he's going to start changing his prayers around, in which case I want to be ready um, we are a lot higher range defense, but it's at the cost of eight range bonus. I am going in this fight thinking magic will be your main combat style. So we're still bringing the anti because I, I'd hate to lose by poison. I'd, I'd hate to have the better plan and lose because of poison. He might think I'm going to go in with everything this fight. Um, and he might think I'll drop it to get all the food I can possibly get, which to be honest, wouldn't be totally wrong. I did think about it, but I am going to play it safe. I'm going to play it safe because if he did bring poison, that's game. That is game. Um, but yeah, still three prayer pots. I had some remaining after that last fight when I died there. But then again, he did have nine. Oh, but that also was me with me not hitting. I'll try to conserve it. I really do not want to bring another prayer pot to this fight. So I'll see you guys in the fight, and hopefully we can bring this to fight three. All right, bees and G's. Good first fight. Good first fight. We got the uh, we got the win, which is great to see. Puts us in a really good spot. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going for the exact same setup. If he goes magic again, which he might do, he might think, okay, Link's going to switch it up now. Uh, let's try magic and see if we can win with that, possibly. Or maybe he's going to go full range. And that way, this setup should beat full range as well. 291 range defense with 115 range attack. Um, obviously, we've got the bruise. I'm bringing the exact same pots. There's no need to not bring an anti-poison. Let's do it. Let's make sure he doesn't bring emerald bolts or something. Um, and these work so perfectly. We had enough prayer at the end. We had enough food. Lovely. We finished on nine food, which means I can easily afford to bring these two extra things to defend me against range. The only problem is if he does bring magic... I then go to a 61 defense bonus, so I probably just stay like this and leave these two alone. But if he goes full range, we should have that covered, which would be really nice to see. Uh, rest is going to be sharks, obviously, and, you know, we've got a recoil. So, let's get into it. Let's see what's going to happen. Kinos, fight two. Uh, just Correct. so everyone knows exactly what's going on here. If Kins loses, that's season for me. If Kins wins, it goes to a third fight here, so... There is still there is still things to come. Um, not much to talk about, mate, other than if we're going to be changing up our uh, setup. So I'll just let you go ahead and, and call, a, call a bit and we'll go. I, I got to be honest, dude. Most of the setup's the same. So Right, okay. I'm All just right. going to say chuck up your gear and then I'll chuck up mine. Fuck it. I, right. I cannot eat around with this. Okay. My heart is pounding, bro. All right. All right, Season's then. on the line and my guy wants to play games. All so right. he's going the same thing. What's he going? Ooh. Is that full mage? With a tankier switch. Oh, oh, he is bringing it. Okay. I don't know what to do now. I don't know what to do. Mmm, interesting. He did bring a switch. I think that's actually good for me. 
But What's I'm not your sure. Switch? What? What's your Switch? Wow, yeah, okay. Interesting. Very interesting. That is tanky as shit. Yeah, it's nearly 300 range defense. Really? What's yeah. the range attack? 100. Still broke triple digits. Wow. Which actually isn't that much of a sacrifice from from last setup. Yeah. So okay. I figured, fuck it. Like, it's all in or it's a fucking loss, you know? Yeah. All right. Well, let's do this, mate. All right, dude. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. All right, I get first hit, yeah? No, yeah, you get first hit. I get first hit, so I guess I've got a pot and do all that shit anyway, so... Did you bring three prayer pots again this time? I did. Okay, all right. Are you ready? Yep. All right, I'm going to start potting. Is this a Two a second, second warning. warning. Here you go, mate. Okay. Oh, that's, yeah, a that's a good start. start. Fuck me. Fucking Hellkins. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's fucking smashing it. What the fuck? Wow. That was a train. Wow. Oh my god. What, what the, fuck? the fuck? Wow, dude. Man's on a fucking train. I just overate. Fuck. Oh, very drops. Oh, shit. Oh, he has zero. Thank God for that. Sorry guys, my prayer is going down. So, oh, I just staffed bash an 11? Fuck's sake. Holy shit. <gasps> he has absolutely sent me to the cleanest guy. Guys, I see my prayer. Oh my god, it's... Fuck, wrong prayer. It. I'm so focused on my switches, guys, that... <laughs> fuck. My staff is hitting. 50 attack coming in clutch, I guess, man. Big hits, big hits, big hits. Fuck, I keep misclicking.
hits, big hits, come on. No food. No food. 11 HP. Wow. Oh my god. <sighs> what a I finish though, so kids. So what a finish. Fair fucking play. Fuck. Guys, I've never hybrided like that before, so I'm sorry it was so bad. I it thought was it was pretty so good, bad. man. I thought it was no, pretty good. No, because I kept, I kept putting armor on when you weren't attacking me, and then maging you when you were hitting me, and I just... Oh, fuck. Like, if you watch my switches, I'm doing it. I'm doing everything way too delayed. Kins, mate. Uh, yeah. You know, Woo. I know a lot of Team Ragas are going to be like, oh, Link's so smug and all that shit. But I genuinely do think you played really well there. Um, to go Thank from, you, Link. To go from 9 <laughs> food, fight 1, to 11 HP, that's fucking, that's fair play. You know, that that's that's well played. Yeah, um, dude. I, uh, it, it, I mean, I, I didn't like practice. I didn't practice at all. But I mm -hmm. never hybrided. Was well, really hybriding. I've never switched gear when keeping the same combat style like that and switch yeah. on tick. And mm -hmm. it, it was so bad. But you know, it's, it, at the it, end of the day, it, mate, it, it made up what? dark. You know, it it made up like uh, nine food. Let's call it twenty each. That's like what one hundred eighty. 178 food you managed or hp you managed if to anything, recoup that dude, i did more dps yeah man, i had you less killing it. food maybe more inventory spots i have the runes i had three prayer pots uh uh ranging attack super defense or ranging pot super defense and then a three-way switch my inventory yeah. was crowded. Your, your inventory was full of stuff and and it looks like and, my inventory is more full than it is because two of those pots are brews which heal 52 each so that's 104 hp just there oh which almost recoups like a few of the pots just straight there you know yeah. um Nah, I think it, on, a, on a normal fight, it wouldn't have bothered me, but 11 HP. Yeah. Because I, I, I tried to sneak in those ranged attacks. Because I said prior that if this works out really well, he's going to switch on his, his mage prayer 100%. The, the problem and is. And I felt like just... every time I brought it out, it just planked my, my fucking range. And you were on also, point with your yeah, switch like too. all I've got to do is click one button. Like I can switch yeah. back and forth in the time it takes you to attack again, you know? Yeah. So I was staying on mage, and then I was clicking range for one tick, and then going back to mage, mm -hmm. um, hoping that would fake you a little bit as well. But fair play, man, you were you were hitting off ticks or off my prayers a few times, and you know, I know I there's, I feel like this is a time to bring it up. There's a lot of people who are team. I'm not saying team rug or team link. It's both teams that are very harsh to the other person. I know a lot of people are like. Oh, Rug's such a dick to Link about this, or Link's such a dick to Rug. Like, genuinely, guys, we are very, very good friends, and, you know, we're going to be filming after this. Like, honestly, Team Link, Team Rug, don't have a go at other teams, please. Like, this is all fun and games at the end of the day. Like, we really, we really want to see a nice community, not people, like, having a go at each other. Um, talking of that, mate. Just oh, the, the, the world champion of all esports. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry, mate, you came to the wrong event. Uh, um,. <laughs> Talking about that, we are actually going to be filming on the second channel straight after this, guys. So if you haven't watched any of the Then We Fight stuff, which is the channel Then We Fight, it's our second channel that me and Kins co-own. Um, we do a load of stuff on there. And, uh, yeah. Let's just say it's been we pretty easy. We actually wrapped up a season over there, Link. Yeah. The RuneScape video. It was, yeah. There's, there's RuneScape so... content on there as well. Extra PvP challenges. Yeah. One in RS3, um, if, if, that, if that's your thing. It's not yeah. up yet, maybe, when this goes live, but it will be shortly. Yeah, it will so. be on there shortly. And and forfeits as well. We've been eating some pretty horrible stuff over there. Which oh, is God. There. Yeah, Link, you have a lot of stuff to post. Guys, yes. seriously, subscribe. My guy has been killing his taste buds. I'm surprised <laughs> we're not fried off at this point. Um... <laughs> I mean, dude, is there anything else you want to just talk about? Obviously, we've got to do this part, guys, so that anyone watching the video, they'll see, like, a full-length video rather than, like, a yeah. shorter one so they know that someone won in two fights. So that's why we're doing this sort of talk. I mean, you got anything you want to bring up, dude, you know? Uh, I, I guess this is a good time just to reflect on the series as a whole. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we going into it that luck 
luck was going to be a major factor, but the yeah. reason why, I mean, I, I guess to even backtrack even further, season two happened, we love season two, but it was, it was pretty stressful in terms of like balancing. And then we came up with this idea where it's like, fuck the whole balancing aspect. Mm -hmm. What if we just randomly spun and we just threw ourselves in the situation and just see what happens? See what the um, game throws at us, effectively. Yeah. So for for just the people who say like, oh, I don't know why you did that. This is stupid. Like mm -hmm. we came into this series full well knowing that this could happen. And where, the, you like, know, RNG the role it was and everything. pretty interesting to see because like, for example, your crystal shield plan just the RNG threw you to the point where you were one chunk away from being able to do that. Um, yeah. I didn't actually address it in this um, episode or last episode, but I was actually two chunks away from being able to do one small favor, and then I would have had Guthix rest in this fight. And these are like plans that we had, but we had to like plan for whether RNG was going to be nice to us or not in those cases. And I mean, that yeah. brings us to Barrows, just disgustingly nice to me. And a lot of people were like, you know, why did you make Grubby Keys Unlimited or some of the things from Grubby Keys Unlimited if Link was just going to go there the whole time? I mean, that's again, we didn't plan the RNG. I got the very good end of it, which I'm not going to hide away from. Kin's got the very bad end of it. I mean, he got <laughs> items, but he didn't get the items he wanted. Um, and that just shows like, I don't know. I love RNG. I do love it. I think it's very fun. And I like the fact that you can't plan where a series is going. But at the same time, yeah. I agree that, you know, it is a bit BS that I went and did one hour of Barrows and, I, and I'm now, like, fully stacked. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, that, but, but hey, that's the series, though, you know? Yeah. I mean, I, I, I can't sit here and say I enjoy getting my ass kicked week to week, but it was always enjoyable trying to scheme up plans and theory craft ways around it. Like, if I go back, you know... 10 episodes and you told me I my my main combat style in the final fight was going to be fucking magic and it lost by 11 HP on yeah. the second fight. <laughs> yeah. uh, considering Link went tank magic and his magic was always higher and I was like, <laughs> yeah, I got this plan. Magic defense, magic attack, 73 magic. We're going all in with Ibins. Um, I, I, I did a strat today that I <laughs> honestly i bet you didn't saw even, myself in a million years I bet even ever attempting this morning when you planned it you didn't see that coming you know oh god no dude i mean i i i expected maybe you to have high magic defense but but as a switch not as just as my full your thing. character and it's crazy because like i'm sure some people are thinking oh rar why didn't you just fucking put on your tank range setup the problem with that is, is that one, I didn't know he was going to do that. Two, if I tank range this against him, I have an inventory that's half filled up with runes, pots, and all this stuff where Link is is geared to absorb 20% like more damage this, than I... This yeah. setup has 291 range defense with 115 range oh, attack. That shield is... It's fucking up, broken. Dude. It's so broken. <laughs> So that was my plan. I knew you had to hybrid to win, and I was like, okay, let's just try and cover all bases and just see what happens. Um, and here we are, man. Here we are. In, in a universe where I clutched the end of that fight, Link, I'll be honest, I probably would have went in the fight the exact same plan because yeah. I genuinely wouldn't know how else to counter it so what would have been your move? I genuinely don't think I could have changed anything. I have brought everything here if that had worked i may have just taken this and not taken the shield and barracks and just and hoped just, that the extra food right. would get me through the fight play a range versus range fight because let's be honest you wouldn't mage me if i was in this the whole time um i don't know that that was my intention possibly. If, if you did it again right. with the aram stop it's just so scary because arams and mystic give zero range defense yeah. guys zero, like literally zero so i so... think that's what i would have done i would have tried to play that so in this gear i have 84 magic defense i think i would have been just sat here hoping that the fact you were in robes the whole time that i would then out dps you um these fights are also right. very interesting at the end because with every other fight we can do dps calcs and we can guess what the other person's bringing and stuff but these fights guys were literally done back to back like we had five minutes of planning in between there was no time to do dps calcs work out what was better like this was just straight yeah. on 
straight on RuneScape knowledge of what we thought the other person was doing. And they, as I said at the start of this little chat, I think you fucking smashed it. And I, Thank you. I <laughs> genuinely do feel a bit bad that you don't get a third fight after that because that is disgusting. Uh, how disgusting it goes, play. Man. Fair play. Fair play. It's how it goes. Um, sometimes you can do your best, it's not good enough, man. You sometimes know? it's just 11 HP off, which is oh, so close. Yeah. So That's close. to be the new meme, dude. <laughs> oh. I can't wait to make an 11 HP, uh, mate. That's gonna dude, be because I, I know for a fact that if I won that fight, I would have had the better mindset going into that oh, final yeah, fight. Oh, yeah, I would have been everywhere. would have been in shambles. I would have been would have been in absolute shambles, yeah, bro. Yeah, for sure. And, for sure. Oh, I knew the psychological warfare would have been on my side. Yeah. Um... Fuck, bro. But B's and G's, if you uh, enjoy goes. these sort of little chats that we have, and you, if you've enjoyed the last nine and a half minutes, which probably is enough, um, I'm live every single Friday at uh, 10, 11 p.m. UK time or 5, 6 p.m. EST time. Kins, you're live every Saturday around the similar sort of time, maybe a little bit later yeah, than that. Yeah, like an hour or two later, but it's it's yeah. struck at the same time. Every Saturday. So there are solo streams where you can come and just talk to Rog on a Saturday or you can just come and talk to me on a Friday. And then on Sunday, we do a duo stream, similar time. That's sort of 10, 11 p.m. UK. 5, 6 p.m. EST, that sort of time. We do a duo stream every Sunday, um, and that is on our YouTube channels. So on a Sunday, just check both channels and you'll be able to find it. Um, and you can come in, you can have a chat with us, and we do a load of fun stuff. Um, we've got some really fun stuff planned for streams and videos coming up really, really soon, guys. Um, yeah, there is, there is not going to be a massive break between yeah. now and when more videos come out um we're gonna just keep them pumping honestly we're, we're hungry for that content the only reason there's gonna be a slight break and when we say a slight break like a few days maybe a week is because i actually had my house uh offer accepted the other day and i'm actually in the process of like buying and exchanging and doing a load of grown-up shit so that's the only reason that we're not gonna bang it out straight away but there's still content on the second channel coming out and this is going to be a fairly quick break. If you made it this late in the video and you're still watching, <laughs> type in homeowner <laughs> in the comment section, okay? Uh, or like, my okay. guy's a homeowner. Just put homeowner in your message, okay? And we'll fucking know. We'll know. We always read the comments, for better or worse. I feel like my mental health went in the tubes when I read the comments <laughs> sometimes, but it, it, it makes me, you know, want to approach the fights a much more... Yeah. Um, I guess better way. You guys keep me on edge, miss missing prayer flicks, <laughs> SMH, fuck's sake. Well, yeah. that one I I will stand stand <laughs> for, but everything else I don't know, guys. Oh, these are James. Homeowner, type it now. It has been an absolute and, pleasure. And, and oh, wait, I've never publicly congratulated you. It was only behind the scenes, so congrats, Link. Anyways, I think you did it a couple right. times, but I'll take it. Have Thank I? you, mate. Yeah, I think you okay. did say congrats a couple times, but yeah. Thank oh, you, mate. Shit. All right. Um, B's and G's, it's been a pleasure. Like, thank you so much for the support on this season. You know, 28 episodes again, or 29, whatever it is. and 26. 20... <laughs> there we go. Apparently, I can't do maths. So, you know what? Thanks for a million views on every video. <laughs> can't do first grade math. That, that's, that's the real kicker. I uh, appreciate it, guys. And as we say, we will be back very, very soon for a very interesting new concept.